70 years ago, the game descended into reality, the beasts raged and the demonic plague spread, in order to resist the invasion of ferocious beasts, everyone has to choose a career change and upgrade madly to become strong, Sheen Fan, who has always been mediocre, binds the system at the transfer ceremony and successfully awakens the SSS grade talent Dragon God Guardian, and turns to the hidden profession, Dragon Master, he thought that he would soar into the sky and become a giant, however, gargoyles are too powerful, and there has never been a precedent of a human taming a gargoyle, Dragon Master, thus becoming the most wasted profession, Ding, signed in successfully, obtained Frost Dragon Egg, please collect it in time, Ding, once every 3 months lucky draw is complete, obtaining the Black Dragon King Cub, please sign the contract with the summoned beast in time, with the system by his side, Sheen Fan played steadily, in the end, Sheen Fan, who was a Dragon Master, summoned a dozen or so giant dragons in one breath to stand in front of the final boss, the Supreme Demon God, Frost Dragon, Flame Dragon, Black Dragon King, Emerald Green Dragon, facing Qin Fan, and his summoned divine beasts, the giant dragons, the Supreme Demon God's feet went weak, who dares to say that Dragon Master is the most wasted profession, Chapter 1 SSS Grade Talent, Affinity for All Beasts, First Grade, Third Class, the transfer ceremony is about to begin, and that will mean the day when a thousand horses will cross a single bridge. Today, I hope that once I change my profession to become a holy mage, I will transform into a turret and blast the magical beasts in pieces, defending the dignity of my first form. Crazy, mages aren't enough, you're a holy mage, that's a first turn hidden profession. The probability of triggering a hidden profession in the popularized transfer ceremony is less than one in a billion. You think you're the son of destiny? Classroom, the students were nervous, apprehensive, expectant, and talkative. The triennial transfer ceremony was about to begin, and with the fate of every senior in the room at stake, no one dared to take it lightly. On the window seat in the penultimate third row, Qin Fan exhaled a mouthful of turbid air, his gaze looking out the window with a somewhat complicated mood. As a traveler, it had already been seven years since Qin Fan crossed over to this parallel world. For seven years, he gradually integrates into this strange world, understands its language and its cultural background. A hundred years ago, this world underwent a mutation. The cross-generation divine realm game overlapped with the real world, and after the fusion, the area of the earth expanded by millions of times. After the fusion, the area of the earth expanded by millions of times, and secret realms and copies of the game descended, with monsters wreaking havoc and plagues spreading across the globe. Against this backdrop of the times, the transmogrifier was born. In order to defend against the demonic plague, Everyone who had reached the age of 18 and leveled up to level 10 was required to participate in the transfer ceremony to choose a first turn profession. Some people take a flying leap of faith when they turn their combat professions. There are also people who turn to a lifestyle career and become a cook. Obviously, the first turn careers are divided into 3, 6, 9 classes just as they are. Top of the pyramid 1 turn combat profession. Mage, Archer, Warrior, Enhanced Class Professions, Enchanter, Forger, Apothecary as well as the most prevalent and most populous life class professions that have stifled countless switchers, cooks, diggers, and herbalists. But, cooks are as heavenly as cooks. The cook of the first turn life class occupation and the cook of the ordinary world were not the same in terms of status, position and ability. In the former case, the meals produced by the cook could quickly increase the attribute points for the transmigrant. Taking the meal for a long period of time could also maximize and make this gain permanent. In the latter case, it was just a way to satisfy one's appetite and fill one's stomach. In other words, as long as you succeed in transferring, even the most common life class occupation, you are just as much a member of the transferer industry. And from then on, you are completely detached from the life of ordinary people, and are born to be superior. At the podium, the teacher was still talking. Before the transfer ceremony, for each student, thousands of first turn careers were introduced in detail with their respective characteristics and development routes. Undoubtedly, the first sequence of combat professions among the three categories is the coveted and hot existence of every transmuter. Even so, must the strengthening class professions and life class professions, which are subordinate to the combat professions, have no future to speak of and limited development? No, not really. Use the enhancement class profession, enchanter, as an example. The disadvantage of an enchantress is that when upgrading and developing in the early stages, you need to squander a huge amount of resources to accumulate experience. Learn and familiarize yourself with the characteristics of the enchantment materials. Generally, it's hard for rich second generation people who aren't nurtured by a big family to get through this stage. And once an enchanter is purely experienced, his or her small base will shine to the extreme. 
a weapon enchantment quest that couldn't be more ordinary, the remuneration that the enchantress received would be astronomical in the eyes of ordinary people. Please remember that no first turn profession can be equated with trash. This sentence, I give to all of you here. Of course, limited to the different natural characteristics of each person. The direction of the first turn career you ultimately choose is still up to you. The classroom teacher has finished his speech. Off stage, the word gifted caused another ripple. After the global mutation, everyone has awakened their own talent from the moment they are born. Talents are categorized from F to S grade. Different talent levels and traits can have just as big an impact on a turn one career. The homeroom teacher had repeated these words countless times, but Qin Fan continued to listen attentively. What he had awakened was the E plus ranked talent, culinary mastery, a very ribald talent. But Qin Fan didn't want to become a cook. He still wished to become a combat profession. The reason for this is that within the thousands of first turn professions, only the combat professions have the strongest earning power. After the Divine Realm game rejoins the real world, the Dragon Kingdom also issued a relevant policy that before each person's first career change, the state provided all resources free of charge. After the first career change, this kind of gratuitous funding is cancelled. And in the future, if you want to upgrade, obtain equipment and weapons, you can only rely on yourself. Not everyone is a rich kid with the backing of a big family behind them. After the first turn, there is the second and third turn. As a civilian, Qin Fan had to face a realistic and cruel problem. How do you feed yourself? The reason why the combat profession has become popular. One of its most important reasons, is not precisely the combat profession which is the combat profession in the early stage of the money burning mechanic, summoner, but also through the contracted beasts to enter the copy. Solo brushing monsters, the use of magical beasts materials to make money. Just, very few of the previous transfer ceremonies had E-ranked talents that awaken combat professions. Even though Qin Fan was excellent in all aspects of his class on weekdays, his talent level was too low, and it still became his shortcoming. Snap. There was a tap on the shoulder and a chubby round face came up. I'm done ah. D talent, stone skin. This transfer ceremony has a high probability of a one transfer fortification class occupation. Qin Fan. You seem to be an E plus talent, right? Not as good as me. Have you decided on a career change? The little fat man named Fong Dahai. Qin Fan's back seat is a straightforward person. Not yet. Depends on luck. Qin Fan obviously didn't want to say much. Fong Dahai. God damn it depends on luck. In all the transfer ceremonies, the level of individual talent corresponding to the occupation of the first turn is fixed. For example, his D talent is, ideally, a one turn enhanced class career. There is also a certain probability that a turn in a life class occupation. Qin Fan's talent was even lower than his. What? You're an E plus talent and you're trying to one up a combat career. You think you're Lady Lux bastard? The words don't add up. Fong Dahai turned around and went back to chatting with the female classmate in the neighboring seat. In the meantime, ding, the transfer ceremony will begin immediately. System activation in progress. The system binds successfully. A newcomer's gift pack has been issued. Do you want to claim it? Ding, a newcomer's gift pack containing the SSS rank talent. Affinity for all beasts. A system tone suddenly sounded in Qin Fan's mind. Chapter 2, 10,000 beasts come to the palace. Miracles come to the city. First high school. Playground. Boom. A magician dressed in moon robes. His staff raised in his hand. As a wave of magic power was injected into the huge magic formation on the high platform. The phalanx revived. And pillars of light in the seven colors of red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. Blue. And purple were magically ignited. This also signaled that the transfer ceremony had officially begun. The following students whose names I call are ready to enter the magic array. The magic array will automatically detect the attributes, talents, and other information on your body to finalize the first turn occupation. Number 1. Li Hai. As the first transmuter, Li Hai entered the magic formation with nervousness and apprehension. Buzz. The moment the person stood on the high platform, above the magic formation, seven colored pillars of light lit up. A beam of light fell on Li Hai engulfing and enveloping his entire being. I also wonder what profession Li Hai will switch to. As the first student to turn professional in one turn, Li Hai has good attributes in all categories and a D plus talent. I'm sure the school side has this in mind. Wrestling for an open door. I'm guessing odds are one turn in the combat profession. One minute later, above the magic array, a rune flowing with the aura of flame suddenly appeared above Li Hai's head. Flame rune, this is a first turn profession mage. Nope, this is the fortification class occupation. The forge master rune. The results are in. The crowd wailed. Li Hai is a schoolmaster level, although not a top class schoolmaster, but all of his own attributes are well balanced, and his talent is also D+. 
If a bully like that falls down, what do you want the others to do? This result was an even bigger blow to Li Hai himself. The person walked out from the magic formation with a pair of red eyes, silently returning to his fifth class, as if he was a deflated ball. Class 5 teacher surnamed Xie, Li Hai is the class bully, has been the focus of training seed level players, but at this point, he could only offer a few kind words of comfort and could do nothing. A good portion of the morning had been spent on the transfer ceremony. Some people are happy and some people are sad. Off stage. Old Zhao. How's your class doing? How many students have turned combat professions in the first turn? Class 1 was the top class, and the class teacher's surname was Fong. 3. The third class teacher returned without a word of humor. This asshole is clearly falling on his sword. Only 3. Ha, huh? oh. Our first class has 6 students with first turn combat professions. Old Zhao you have to cheer up. Several school leaders can watch from the podium. The class 1 teacher laughed in a conspiratorial manner. The two of them had always been at odds. But whenever you get the chance, you're sure to squeeze a little. Usually the first class teacher always had the upper hand. There's no way. People lead the top class. The whole school's top students are concentrated under their hands. What can Jolly compare with others? Yeah. Huang Ming from our class has also turned one combat profession. Old Zhao. This time you have to be careful. Your performance this year. Ha ha. Should say no. Just now the principal seems to have smiled at me. The first class teacher is not without complacency a flurry of showing off. Can show his face in front of the principal adults once? This year's performance is stable. Jolly was so angry that he wanted to hit someone. This asshole smug virtue is so annoying. Pissed off. What can be done about it? Unless. This awakening ceremony the third class can come out with a first turn hidden profession. But it's unlikely when you think about it. Not to mention the small city of Zhang Zhang. Even in those first tier and second tier cities. A hidden profession may not appear in several transfer ceremonies. The probability is too low. One in a million? Or one in a billion? However, if the third class can come up with a hidden profession, I'll just fucking take off in place and see if this asshole still laughs then. Jolly laughed bitterly in his heart for a moment. The odds were better than closing his eyes and sleeping. There was everything in his dreams. Next, class 3, Qin Fan, on the team. Fang Dahai exclaimed, Teacher, it's Qin Fan. Qin Fan went in. Xin Fan has a talent of B+, plus and Fang Dahai has a talent of D-. In comparison, Fang Dahai was so much stronger than Xin Fan. Jolly couldn't help but be a bit speechless as he looked at him yelling. Is this a substitute? As the too little transparency in the class, Jolly was not very attentive on weekdays. However, it was not good to strike him down at the moment, and he casually made a few perfunctory remarks. Both of you have similar talents. According to previous experience, Xin Fan's E+, plus talent. There is a high probability that he will turn to a life class occupation in one turn. And there is a possibility that he will turn to a fortification class occupation in one turn if he is lucky. You're all going to all have to be mentally prepared for this. Boom. However, in the next second, in the magic formation, a sudden and shocking change occurred. There was a huge silhouette that broke through the magic formation and manifested in the void under the gaze of thousands of pairs of eyes looking up. Oh my god. What is that? Miracles? After people were stunned. They were completely abuzz. Roar. A high-pitched dragon roar boomed like thunder. In the sky above the magic formation, a huge shadow manifested in the void. And at first it was still blurry to see. Accompanied by an earth-shaking dragon roar that resounded through the clouds, the shadow gradually solidified. Dragon's head. Wings. Body and tail. A giant dragon with a body length of 10 feet and wings that stretched out as if it could cover the sky and the sun suddenly appeared directly above Chin Fan's head. At the same time, Hundreds of beast silhouettes also manifested one by one. Ten thousand beasts came to the court and covered the sky. Jesus. It's a miracle. There really is a miracle. The students were shocked beyond words. And when they looked over, they still couldn't see the full picture of the hundred beasts even though they stretched their necks on tiptoe. A manifested dragon. Above all beasts, there was an extremely terrifying aura sweeping out from the dragon. It was dragon might. The overwhelming pressure caused the humans standing under the giant dragon's shadow to be as small as ants and they couldn't help but rise up with a sense of worship. Teacher, it's Qin Fan. He made this commotion. My god, what the hell happened? On the team, the students in the same class as Qin Fan lost their collective voice, including the class teacher who was not too optimistic about Qin Fan at the beginning. At this time, the people were already dumbfounded. Countless shocked gazes were focused on the 10,000 beasts void, but the dragon at the very top raised its head and let out an obscure and grandiose voice of dragon language. The dragon, lord of the beasts, under the sun, moon and stars, the dragon's soul is eternal. What was clearly an obscure passage of dragon language resounded in the minds of the crowd, but they automatically understood its meaning. 
Next, the dragon gently flapped its wings, and sand flew over the magic formation, creating a terrifying tornado. Roar! Roar! The shadows of the 10,000 beasts also crumbled when they heard the dragon's roar. Only a few of the shadows didn't crumble, but they also trembled as they crouched on the ground with one pair of front limbs, displaying a submissive stance. Crackle! At a certain moment, the shadow of the 10,000 beasts along with the giant dragon's shadow began to shrink and solidify rapidly. In the end, the gigantic shadow disappeared, leaving only a point of light emitting a mysterious aura in its place. Phew! The point of light shot straight towards Qin Fan and flickered away at his forehead, leaving behind a pocket-sized version of the mysterious mark. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the SSS grade talent, affinity for all beasts. Qin Fan's body shook violently. In just one breath of effort, the various attributes of his body had been violently raised by at least seven or eight attribute points at once. The body was in unprecedentedly good condition, and his entire body was filled with explosive power, as if he could shatter a boulder with a single punch. More importantly, Qin Fan's entire temperament changed, as if he had much more innate affinity and control over the beast race. Chapter 3, Hidden Profession, Dragon Master. At this point, the group of leaders on the podium finally came back to their senses. After witnessing this scene with their own eyes, even they felt a wave of shock and incredulity. Headmaster, if I'm not mistaken, this student awakened a new talent during the transfer ceremony? There was no lack of excitement and exhilaration in the eyes of the head teacher. Previous transfer ceremonies do have precedence for this. Of course, such examples have only happened in big cities of the first and second tiers. Looking at this movement, the awakened talent, at the very least, is an A rank, or even S rank might be possible. It's really, too much face for our first middle school. Ha ha ha, the principal was also in a good mood. Honestly speaking in this session's transfer ceremony, before Qin Fan's appearance, the student's performance was more or less poor, a giant dragon vision accompanied by the shadows of 10,000 beasts. It seems that this student's first career change is, I'm afraid, related to, dragons. Is it a dragon grammarian, or a dragon blood warrior? Good, very good. A good seed has finally appeared at this transfer ceremony. The principal shook his fist in excitement. The dragon grammarian, dragon blood warrior, both can be hidden professions, could it be that, first middle school, a small city outside of the 8th tier, is finally going to have a first turn hidden profession, even if it had nothing to do with dragons and was just a beast master, it was still the same proper first sequence combat profession, at this moment, countless people's palms were sweating with nervousness, a single gaze, deadlocked on Qin Fan who was still in the middle of the transfer, a one in a billion chance, once the student turned a hidden profession, his future achievements would be unlimited, as long as he didn't fall, it would only be a matter of time before he became a giant of a party. Envy. Excitement. Rapture. The principal had already decided in his own mind that once the student called Qin Fan, a first turn hidden profession. After today, the first middle school will spare no resources to fully cultivate it. This was no longer a matter for Qin Fan alone. Rather, the future of the entire first school is at stake. School visibility. Next year's student body. Government funding efforts. As one man gained a position, the entire no, one middle school would benefit because of Qin Fan alone. All of this was still unknown to Qin Fan himself. The transfer ceremony has finally come to an end. Bang! Above the magic formation, seven colored pillars of light intertwined, and a ray of light was projected onto the body. One minute later, a rune flowing with an arcane aura appeared, within Qin Fan's reach. This rune, this kind of aura, it can't be wrong. It's a hidden profession. This student, he did it. The runes appeared for a split second. Several school leaders successively stood up in shock, a gaze falling on top of the runes, gasping for air, their inner excitement beyond words. Click. In the magic formation, Qin Fan stretched out a right hand and gently touched the runes. One touch and you're out. The talisman culture turned into diffuse points of light and merged into the limbs and bones. One turn. Success. Phew. Almost at the same time, the crowd only heard a loud bang and a figure shot from the direction of the podium like a discharged cannonball. It's the principal. The headmaster Sama stomped his foot on the table, and in the next moment, the table shattered. People only felt a blur before their eyes. The principal had already stood in front of Qin Fan who had just completed the first turn of profession with an excited face, a national face reddened from excitement, a pair of eyes as if they were glaring round like bells. Qin Fan, what is your first turn occupation? A dragon blood warrior, or a dragon grammarian? A pair of big hands grabbed Qin Fan's shoulders, and it was as if all the bones in his own body were going to be crushed. It could be imagined that at this moment, the emotions of the principal were already agitated like a powder keg, and a little bit of it would catch on. 
Facing the principal's blazing eyes, Sheen Fan saluted before truthfully saying, My first turn hidden occupation is, a dragon master. Principal, question mark. Crowd, dragon master. What's that occupation? Harnessing dragons? Everyone looked at each other in disbelief, including the knowledgeable principal who was confused at this point. Why have I never heard of this profession? But the name alone seems like a very dominant one. Okay. After Chin Fan's first turn, there was a relevant career introduction. Much like what the crowd had guessed, Dragon Masters, as the name suggests, belong to the upgrade of Beast Masters. The former contracted magical beasts, while the latter contracted sacred dragons, or sub-dragon bloodlines were fine. The principal's face changed again and again, his eyes staring at Chin Fan, nervously asking, Are you sure? that you can only contract sacred dragons or sub-dragon races, and you can't outlaw them with other magical beasts? Sheen Fan nodded. Okay. Moreover, the dragon race that a dragon master is contracted to must have a pure bloodline. Even the lowliest earth dragon race, some of which had extremely thin dragon bloodlines, would be naturally rejected by the pact. The expression on the principal's face finally settled. It was a look that was hard to describe, as if someone had poured a pot of cold water over his head and only an expression of endless disappointment remained after the surprise, same as him. When from Chin Fan's mouth, he learned about the nature of a dragon master. There were several thousand people present, and every single one of them had the same look on their faces. Dragon master, sounds like a domineering name. Oh, these days, not to mention the fact that true dragons are rarely seen, but where sub-dragons are concerned, the weakest of them are equivalent to third and fourth turn powerhouses, right? Wasted, wasted, you, a little weakling of the first turn, still want to capture the dragons as contracted beasts. Dreaming? A dragon master. First you have to have a dragon. Chin Fan himself had just said that the dragon master contract would automatically reject contracted beasts with impure dragon bloodlines. In that case, the kid switched jobs and earned his loneliness. The principal's big black face twitched fiercely, patted Chin Fan's shoulder, and forced himself to settle down. It's alright, at least it's a hidden profession and it's still a profession that has never appeared before. Not to say the potential is endless, but at least the research value is still there. Research. Research value. Pust. So many people just couldn't hold it back and were annoyed by the laughter spew. Hey, my principal, do you want to be so amusing? What? You're still going to slice people up? Just outrageous. Countless people changed from hope to disappointment. But on the contrary, the person in question, Sheen Fan, looked like he was fine. This guy isn't so stimulated that he's scared silly, is he? In case he can overcome the contractual lower limit, the gargoyles and subdragons can't. Then try a flying dragon or an earth dragon? Flying dragons are out of the question. Unless it's an earth dragon clan whose dragon bloodline is thin to the extreme, it still has to be the lowest class of existence among the earth dragon clan. But there's no need. But all magical beasts possess special innate talents, the lowest and lowliest earth dragon. On the other hand, is not only not recognized by the dragon bloodline, it has even lost the innate talent of being a magical beast itself. One second it's in high demand. The next, it falls off the face of the earth. The key this is also too fast. The genius is not even a second yet. Finished. It's a person who has to go crazy. Ugh. Poor thing. There's still a month to go before the college entrance exam. What about this guy's exams? As a brittle beast master, bare knuckle fighting the demonic beasts in the secret realm against each other. It's better to contract the Earth Dragon Clan. My family used to raise a mangy dog that is said to have a hint of dragon bloodline. Ha ha. Many shoots. The principal left, exhorting Chin Fan in a serious tone before he left. One month after the college entrance exam, after entering the secret realm, try to avoid monsters when you see them. If you are lucky, in case you run into some low-level demonic beasts, you can at least feed yourself by acquiring monster materials and experience. In the meantime, once again, a system beep sounded in Chin Fan's head. Ding. Congratulations to the host for triggering the challenge mission. Task requirement, one month after the college entrance examination. Compete to be the top one in the city and become the top student in the college entrance examination at the city level or above. Outstanding rating, city champion slash perfect score, provincial champion. Mission rewards. Ding. The system has issued daily tasks. Please complete them in time. Chapter 4 Newbie Gift Pack. SSS Grade Dragon Eggs. For all those mocking and ridiculing voices of the surrounding classmates, Sheen Fan didn't care. He returned to the classroom and sat quietly. His inner focus had been all on the system that had suddenly appeared. In his previous life, he had read a lot of internet articles, so he naturally knew that the golden finger that belonged solely to him had finally appeared. Sure enough, what's a traveler without a golden finger? Upon completion of the achievement task, 
the system will give the host a generous reward corresponding to it, and if the mission fails, then the host will be punished very severely. In order to facilitate the system to give the host rewards corresponding to the occupation, please bind the occupation as soon as possible. May I ask if the host is bound to the Dragon Master profession? Facing the system's questions, without any hesitation, Qin Fan shows yes, there was no way out. He could only switch to this profession. The good news is that, Dragon Harnesser is a combat profession. The bad news is, he presses no dragons, and the profession of Dragon Master has been out of sight for many years, so there is very little detailed information about this occupation. Even the skill book output of this profession is very rare. It seemed to have sensed Qin Fan's troubles. After Qin Fan chose yes, ding, the system's beep sounded again, host binds profession successfully. Congratulations to the host for activating the strongest beast mastery system. We are now issuing the corresponding newbie career packs for the hosts. Congratulations on obtaining a dragon egg. Please ask the host to enter the system's exclusive warehouse to check it out. Dragon eggs. The newbie pack is actually a dragon egg. The system is really timely. Whatever you want comes to you. Open the system warehouse. There was no hesitation. Sheen Fan murmured inwardly. Buzz. An Azure Blue information panel then floated before his eyes. And the moment this Azure Blue information panel appeared, Qin Fan instantly froze. Suffered. Now he's still in the classroom. This system panel would cause unnecessary trouble if others saw it. Just as Qin Fan looked around with a nervous face, only to find that none of the people around had noticed the Azure panel of information surfacing. On the contrary, there were a few classmates who found Qin Fan's transfer to Dragon Master ridiculous, and they continued to cast pitying and contemptuous gazes at Qin Fan from time to time. Phew. It seems that the system's information panel is not the same as the personal information template, which only you can see. Sheen Fan, who knew this, finally put his heart down, then put his eyes on this system warehouse. Only a crimson dragon egg was still in the warehouse. The surface of the dragon egg was covered with very nice golden lines, letting one know at a glance that it was not a mortal object. Under the generalized skill eye of appraisal, the detailed information of this dragon egg surfaced in front of Sheen Fan's eyes as much as possible. Dragon Egg, SSS you can use Dragon Mastery on it to tame it. And after successful taming you will receive a Blazing Sacred Dragon Cub as a Dragon Pet. Remarks, the favorite food of the Blazing Sacred Dragon Cub is Divine Flame Chalcedony. If you can give Divine Flame Chalcedony as a gift when you tame it, the success rate of taming will be greatly increased. Divine Fire Chalcedony? That's an S-Class Heavenly Treasure. How could I possibly possess it? Seeing that docketed information, Qin Fan's face slightly stagnated. Forget it. Let's try taming it directly with the dragon harnessing technique first and see if it works. Sheen Fan made up his mind. Spinning around, he organized his things and left the classroom with a smile on his face. This was very confusing to the rest of the class. This guy Sheen Fan had changed his occupation to something like Dragon Master and he was still laughing? Are you out of your mind? Sheen Fan finally returned to his so-called home. Anning Orphanage. That's right. Like all traveling protagonists, it all fucking triggers isolation. But Sheen Fan was somewhat special. According to the Amma who takes care of the children in the orphanage, Qin Fan was abandoned. In other words, Qin Fan's real parents are actually still alive. However, Qin Fan did not have the slightest desire to search for his real parents. From the moment they began to abandon them, they had no more to do with them. Brother Qin Fan, Brother Qin Fan is back, just pushed open the door to the orphanage. Immediately, a group of cute and lovable children ran towards Qin Fan, grabbed Qin Fan's pants leg and started to climb towards him. Not a moment too soon. Qin Fan was like a big tree with monkeys hanging from it. At the orphanage, Qin Fan had already gotten acquainted with the children a long time ago, and it's very bonding with the kids. Qin Fan is back? Hearing the commotion outside the courtyard, a middle-aged woman in her 40s or 50s walked out from the inner courtyard. The middle-aged woman had kind brows and a gentle demeanor between her eyebrows. She is the AMA here, responsible for the care of all children, including Qin Fan who was also raised by her. She is a cook by profession. The talent was the same as Qin Fan's, which was also an E-plus level culinary proficiency. Uh, back. Qin Fan replied with a smile. What profession did you switch to? Did it turn to chef? Ama asked with a grin. Ama knows the importance of transferring, yet she was never harsh on the children. Many of the children who come out of the orphanage are not actually combat professions, but life professions. It's not a chef profession anyway. That's a secret. I'll tell auntie in a few days. Qin Fan intentionally also kept it a secret. The reason why I didn't say it now was naturally because I was afraid that Ama would think too much. What's there to keep secret? Come on in. I've got dinner ready. Ama rasped. Had dinner. Qin Fan returned to his humble and dilapidated little room and checked his information panel. Name, Qin Fan. Age, 18. Level, 10. 
Occupation, Dragon Master. Talent, Affinity for All Animals, SSS. Four Dimensional Attributes, Strength 15, Wisdom 15, Physique 15, Agility 15. Occupational Skill, Dragon Mastery, S. Dragon Mastery, S Active Skill. Use it on a dragon egg or a dragon race. There is a certain probability to tame the opponent and make them their dragon pet. Generally speaking, when they were first transferred, everyone's four dimensional attributes were 10 points. However, Qin Fan was hardened by the affinity for all beasts, an SSS ranked talent, which boosted each attribute by 5 points. Not much elevation. However, Qin Fan was aware that the true function of the affinity for all beasts talent was not to enhance one's own attributes, but rather to make it easier for one to gain the goodwill of magical beasts, spirit beasts, and even divine beasts, and at the same time, it also has an extremely powerful increase to all of the beast master's skills. As a hidden profession type of beast master, dragon masters naturally enjoyed this increase as well. It was only that currently Qin Fan had not yet learned the other skills of the dragon master, so he was unable to try out how powerful this 10,000 beast affinity increase was. But it's possible to try taming this dragon egg with the dragon harnessing technique. Let's see if it can work. Qin Fan immediately took out the SSS grade dragon egg from the system space. Chapter 5 Rookie Quest Adventure Guild the dragon egg was the size of a man's head, and the shell was not white. Instead, it was a fiery red color, and there was a hint of golden lines on it that emanated subtle fluctuations. You could even feel the rolling temperature when you held it in your hand, and even the room was affected and became a lot hotter. And, Qin Fan could even feel the breathing rate of this dragon egg. Phew, Qin Fan took a deep breath. He then directly used the occupational skill he possessed, Dragon Mastery, on this dragon egg. Unfortunately, taming has failed. Unfortunately, taming has failed. Unfortunately, taming has failed. Unfortunately, taming has failed. A this, with Qin Fan's incredulous expression, he was unable to tame it successfully until he had depleted his own blue amount. The probability of success is too low. More surprisingly, at this moment, from the dragon egg, Qin Fan could actually feel the delicate humming emotions of the dragon cub inside. It was as if it was saying, without the divine flame chalcedony, don't try to tame this dragon. A this, Qin Fan scratched his head with a face full of difficulties. At first, I was worried that there were no dragons. As a result, there are now dragon eggs, but they are dead set on not being tamed. Divine Flame Chalcedony that kind of S-class heavenly material treasure. Even if Qin Fan was sold, he couldn't buy it ah. Ding. As if sensing Qin Fan's difficulties, the prompt of the strongest beast harnessing system suddenly sounded. Congratulations to the host for triggering the novice quest. Novice quest, stage 1 host is requested to go to the spectral forest range to hunt and kill 30 cat demons. Reward for mission completion, 1 bottle of divine fire chalcedony, 20 free attribute points. Penalty for mission failure, none. Time limit, 3 days. Please complete the task as soon as possible. The system is awesome. When Qin Fan saw the system mission that popped up in front of him, his eyes went wild with joy. Nice guy. He had just needed the divine flame chalcedony and the system sent it over. Of course, it's too early to be happy. After all, this was going to be the decapitation of 30 cat demons. With Qin Fan's current strength, if he wanted to accomplish this mission, he had to be careful and cautious. The Phantom Forest Mountains, located at the edge of the city of Anning. This mountain range came to this place with the map section changes during the world catastrophe. Not only did it harbor many monsters and magical beasts, but it also contained countless rare materials. There are countless groups of adventurers who team up on weekdays to explore. One presence has to be mentioned here. Adventure Guild. A lot of trans migrants. After graduating from high school or college, if they didn't head to the front lines of battle, then they basically just chose to become an adventurer. Or maybe join an adventure team. Then take quests issued by others in the Adventure Guild and receive money, props, or equipment rewards for completing them. Of course, these quests are usually issued by some rich gold master. Every country is acquiescent and supportive of the existence of Adventure Guilds. The reason is simple. Monsters from these field maps also infest the city borders on weekdays, and these strong adventurers who went to the wild secret realm to kill monsters on weekdays were also considered to be contributing to the defense of the border in disguise. It's dangerous, but it's the only way to go in order to successfully tame this dragon egg. Qin Fan gritted his teeth and had already made up his mind. Without the divine flame chalcedony, if one wanted to tame this precious and incomparable dragon egg, there was no telling when one would get it, and the transfer high school is just a month away. Thinking about it. Qin Fan put on the white product basic defense gear that was uniformly issued by the school, as well as a level 10 white product weapon, left a note, and left the orphanage, running in the direction of where the Anning City Adventure Guild was located. When Qin Fan arrived at the hall of the Anning City Adventure Guild, found the place surprisingly lively. 
you know it's 3 or 4 in the morning, but on second thought, it's normal. In the context of the overlap between the Divine Realm game and reality, the monster wraiths in the field maps are respawning regularly, including those heavenly materials and treasures, they would also reappear on a random location at irregular intervals. As long as one was lucky enough to pick heavenly materials, then one would be directly rich. For these ordinary adventurers, this is a huge amount of money. Plus, these adventurers are going to grab the list. After all, some easy difficulty commission quests were highly sought after and would be taken up basically as soon as they were posted. And those difficult difficult commission quests are rarely taken on. After all, there are liquidated damages for being late. Adhering to the principle of the early bird gets the worm. Even in the wee hours of the morning, there were many adventurers standing in front of the screens in the lobby, ready to grab orders on their own cell phones. Noteworthy. Chin Fan also saw quite a few student-looking transmigrators in the crowd. That's normal. Two. Many students who had already switched jobs would use their free time to come over and take on simple tasks to earn some pocket money. Ha, huh, isn't this Chin Fan? Soon, a few students in the crowd let out a gasp of disbelief. Chin Fan turned his head to look, only to find out that it was actually three of the same classmates. Zhuo Feng, Lu Qing, Su Zhuo, two men and one woman. What brings you here? Zhuo Feng was a bit gangly looking, and he switched to the warrior profession. After he saw Chin Fan, he walked over with a sneer. Lu Qing was a boy with glasses who had switched to become a mage. As for Su Ro, she had a beautiful look and a delicate temperament. Looking at her made people unable to resist hugging her into their arms and pitying her. Her profession was a priest. Warrior, mage, priest, front row, output, and support. Sort of a standard adventure squad, trying to make some pocket money. It was naturally impossible for Qin Fan to reply that I came to complete the system mission. Are you sure? I remember you're a dragon master right? It's obviously a hidden profession, but I didn't expect it to be that useless as a result. Zhuo Feng laughed. To this, Lu Qing also revealed a smile. At first, they all thought that Qin Fan would rise to heaven in one step and become a heavenly pride. It turned out that I didn't expect to be the most useless dragon master. Su Ro did not look at Qin Fan, nor did she echo Zhuo Feng and Lu Qing. She just scanned the area with a light gaze. Qin Fan had heard about Su Ro's background. Seems like a rich young lady. It was evident enough from the scepter she held in her hand, which was studded with three enchanted crystals, that its scepter should be at least a level 10 purple weapon. The grades of the equipment are, from lowest to highest, white, blue, purple, gold, spiritual weapons, and sacred objects. Above and beyond the holy items is the mythic equipment. Ignore this guy, Miss Sue. Whatever mission you take on, we will definitely help you complete it and accompany you. Zhuo Feng Fond. See it at. This Xue Feng and Lu Qing should be Su Ro's licking dogs. Of course, this has nothing to do with Qin Fan. Then grabbed a couple of quests to decapitate cat demons, or material quests that required the collection of cat demon bone claws. It was only then that he stepped onto the light rail bus to the Phantom Forest Mountains. And that's when, Su Ro, Xue Feng, and Lu Qing also walked onto the light rail bus. Only that they were followed by three level 14 strong men. Chapter 6 Killed a Cat Demon. Mission Completed. When the light rail came to the entrance of the Phantom Forest Mountains, the time was already coming to 5 in the morning. Unknown bird calls echoed in the valleys around them, accompanied by the chirping of insects and frogs. After Qin Fan got down from the light rail bus, he didn't bother to pay attention to Su Ro, Zhuo Feng, and Lu Cheng, and directly plunged headlong into the outskirts of the Yulin Mountain Range. Don't worry, with the uncles here, this mission will be completed casually. The big men following Su Ro slapped their chests and laughed. This made Su Ro frown. She hadn't wanted these three ugly-looking hulks to join the group, but the two boys, Zhuo Feng and Lu Qing, were intimidated by the other party and were scared into agreeing to the deal in two sentences. But it's done. And only departure. Qin Fan actually wanted to remind Su Ro, like those three burly men who were very much like groundhogs, it was best not to team up with them, even to stay away. Because these types of idle adventurers have the dirtiest hearts and the hardest hands. Selling out your friends, stabbing them in the back, killing and looting their goods. They will do anything as long as there is profit. Besides, Suzo is still a pretty pretty girl with money at home. In this rare and sparsely populated spectral forest mountain range, which was filled with monsters, they, who had long been poor and afraid, would definitely make a move against Su Ro. That's all. What happens to those three classmates is none of your business anyway. Qin Fan is not a saintly mother. After organizing your thoughts, Qin Fan then unfolded the map and felt his way towards the more remote areas. During the rush, Qin Fan also saw quite a few magical beasts that could normally be used to make gourmet food. For example, magic horn antelope, cloaked boar, unicorn rabbit, 
These are lower grades and the meat is deliciously fatty and tender. However, Qin Fan was not here to hunt today. Instead, you're here to complete the system's newbie quests. Soon, Qin Fan arrived at a small valley. Meet the target of this newbie quest, the cat demon, Qin Fan, who was standing on top of a certain large tree overlooking the small valley, immediately swept over the group of cat demonic monsters with the generalized skill eye of appraisal. Monster, cat demon, level, 11, type, beast monster, skills, bite, berserk, qualification, black iron. Remarks, a very common gargoyle in the spectral forest mountains that likes to tear into its enemies with its sharp claws and teeth. Under the skill eye of appraisal, the detailed information of the cat demon was presented to Qin Fan's eyes. A rough estimate of the number was about 30 or 40. If he directly rushed in like this, there was no need to think that the one who would die would definitely be Qin Fan. Tell the truth. The difficulty of this task is beyond what an ordinary student can accomplish. Even the teachers in the school would be extremely overwhelmed in dealing with such a group of cat demons. However, it was good that Qin Fan already had a plan in place. Don't forget his profession. The hidden profession of the Beast Master. The Dragon Master. And he himself even carries the SSS grade talent of affinity for all beasts. Although the dragon harnessing technique could not tame this group of cat demons, but as long as one has the SSS rank talent of affinity for all beasts, then dealing with them should be a piece of cake. Of course, even with an SSS rank talent at his disposal, he had to be careful to avoid turning over in the gutter. Let's try with a cat demon first. Thinking about it, Xin Fan cast a generic skill cat's foot on himself. Cat's foot, F within three minutes. Make yourself walk, jump, climb, and other various movements without making any sound. In this world, skills are divided into three main categories. Natural skills, vocational skills, generic skills, talent skills as the name suggests, active skills extended from one's own awakened talent, occupational skills this needs no explanation, and the so-called universal skills are the skills that all professions can use. One of them, eye of appraisal, was the most common generalized skill, which every transmogrifier possessed. The cat's foot skill is naturally a generalized skill. Many students who lack real-world experience find the cat foot skill useless. But in Qin Fan's eyes it seemed that this skill was a must point. It would not be a waste of skill points. Right now, Qin Fan, who had executed the cat feet, quietly and without a sound, arrived behind a single cat demon. Subsequently, buzz, the affinity for all beasts talent was instantly activated. Ah, uh, the cat demon that was originally licking its own paws. That ugly face actually directly revealed a horrified and appalled emotion. The whole body was trembling with fear, because it was as if it had felt a kingly pressure enveloping it. Flop. There was no hesitation. This cat demon actually turned around and worshipped Qin Fan. In the meantime, the cat demon's heart was even more filled with awe and friendliness towards this human figure. Looking at the prostrate and shivering cat demon, Qin Fan also finally revealed an expression of it's really like this. All beasts shock, SSS after casting. It can shock all beasts. And at the same time, it will make the targets of the shocked beasts close and worship themselves from the bottom of their hearts, treating themselves as their king. Note, still works on dragon targets whose level does not exceed your own by 20. Although he could not tame this cat demon himself, the effect produced at this moment was already no different from taming. Put, there was no hesitation. Qin Fan directly stabbed the novice longsword in his hand into this cat demon's head. Ah, uh, this cat demon nearly let out a muffled grunt before dying completely. Before it died, its expression was actually one of contentment and happiness, as if in its eyes, it was an honor to be killed by Qin Fan. Mission Objective, Cat Demon, January 30th. Subsequently, Qin Fan slowly began to try to shock two, three, or even four cat demons at once again. The follow-ups surprisingly all worked out perfectly. Waste no more time, do it in one breath. Qin Fan, who had already killed half of the cat demons, jumped directly to the center of the small valley, so blatantly present. Meow. The only dozen or so cat demons left immediately hissed, about to raise their claws and pounce. However, buzz, affinity for all beasts triggered again. Swish, these dozen or so cat demons that were originally still full of fierce killing intent, at this moment instantly prostrated and knelt down towards Qin Fan with reverence and awe. Pust, 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 with a handful of swords, these dozen or so cat demons died cleanly under Qin Fan's novice longsword, and the novice longsword, which only had 50 points of durability only had 8 points of durability left at the moment. Sheen Fan, who had killed 42 cat demons, had gained 420 experience points and his level had surprisingly increased to level 11. Of course, these were not Sheen Fan's main concern. What he was most concerned about was the system's rewards at the moment. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the first stage of the novice quest. Rewards are now being handed out. 
Congratulations on obtaining a bottle of Divine Flame Chalcedony. Congratulations, you've gained 20 free attribute points. Newbie Quest, Stage 2, is now released. Quest content, please ask the host to successfully tame the cub of the Blazing Sacred Dragon. Reward, 3 B-Class Vocational Skill Books. Penalty, none. Time limit, 24 hours. Please complete the task as soon as possible. Chapter 7, Taming Success. Terrifying Dragon Pup. Phew. At this moment, Sheen Fan let out a deep breath and calmed himself. Now it's finally come to a turning point of its own. It depended on whether or not this Divine Flame Chalcedony could really increase the taming success rate. The only reason why Qin Fan wanted to switch to a combat profession so badly was because he wanted to guard that dilapidated orphanage. Though Ama hadn't told him. He had already known for a long time that the gold owner who had originally funded the orphanage had passed away two years ago. The sons and daughters of that gold owner are unwilling to invest any more money in this orphanage. For the past two years it has been Ama alone who has been secretly working three jobs to make ends meet. If this goes on, sooner or later auntie's health will collapse. Without the shelter of Ama, the children in the orphanage will be even more miserable when the time comes. So, success or failure is in the balance. Sheen Fan took out the dragon egg that was still emitting a rolling heat wave from the system storage. The dragon's egg even shook gently when he first took it out. It was as if it was blaming Sheen Fan for putting it into the silent and boring warehouse space. Then he took out the bottle of divine flame chalcedony again. Gently uncorked. Bears. A pure to the extreme fire elemental aura was coming at him. That wave of heat actually attracted even the surrounding fire elements to converge. It's worthy of being an S-class heavenly material divine flame chalcedony. Qin Fan couldn't even help but let out a dark sigh. Such a pure divine fire chalcedony. If it was absorbed by a flame mage, then I'm afraid that it would have an extremely terrifying increase in its own fire attribute damage. And the moment the pure aura of the divine flame chalcedony spread out. Knock knock. The dragon egg that hadn't hatched yet even bounced twice in excitement, seemingly expressing a strong sense of salivation. Want a drink? Be good and be tamed by me and I'll give you a drink. Qin Fan smiled as he put the divine flame chalcedony to the side, then cupped this dragon egg that kept shaking as if expressing prideful emotions and said softly, Don't worry, after you tame it, all of this bottle of divine flame chalcedony will be given to you. The words fell. The originally agitated dragon egg suddenly quieted down. Qin Fan also finally started to use his only dragon harnessing technique on this dragon egg once again. Congratulations, taming is successful. Of uh, this, I can't believe it worked in one go. Holy shit. It seemed like this little dragon cub was definitely a foodie and compromised directly after seeing the divine flame chalcedony. Of course, the SSS ranked talent of affinity for all beasts also played an extremely crucial role. You know, except for those already domesticated earth dragons and flying dragons, which are low-level dragons. Those high-level dragons above the sub-dragon level were very cold and repulsive towards humans. However this dragon egg did not fiercely resist when it was held in Qin Fan's hands. It was actually the passive of the affinity for all beasts talent that was doing the trick. Buzz. At this point, Qin Fan's body unexpectedly began to crawl with arcane fire red light patterns. These arcane light patterns then spread out from Qin Fan's fingertips and draped over the fiery red dragon egg. At the same time, these arcane fiery red light patterns and the golden light patterns on the dragon egg contacted and mingled with each other. Qin Fan only felt as if his mind's thoughts had begun to communicate with the dragon egg, creating an extremely subtle connection. Even Qin Fan can understand the urgent eating mood of the little dragon cub who wants to drink the divine fire chalcedony at this moment, as well as the closeness and friendliness it had developed towards Qin Fan, as the light patterns between the two became more and more intertwined. Buzz. At this moment, the dragon egg actually directly bloomed with a dazzling light, ka -ching, and covered in light. Qin Fan could clearly hear the sound of this dragon egg shattering. This means, this dragon egg is about to be hatched, and the true blazing sacred dragon cub was about to be born. Wow. The bright, dazzling light receded like a tidal wave. When Qin Fan once again looked down at the dragon egg he was holding in his hand. However, it was found that the eggshell had disappeared as much as possible. And a cute and naive looking little dragon cub stretched out its two little dragon claws, grasping the bottle of divine flame chalcedony and tilting its head back to drink. I finally have a dragon pet. At this point, Qin Fan, who was excited and joyful inside, also began to carefully examine the dragon cub in his hands. Its whole body scales were reddish in color, and under the illumination of the morning sunlight, it flickered with a light that mesmerized the mind and soul, as if it were a small ball of fire that was burning. A pair of wings spread with golden lines slowly stretched. The two golden yellow vertical pupils narrowed slightly, their expressions overflowing with happiness as if they were savoring a supreme delicacy. Obviously, its size was as petite and cute as a cat, but the power fluctuations that spread out between the movement of its limbs made even Qin Fan, who was its owner feel his scalp tingle, and on its chest, 
A golden pattern shaped like divine fire loomed as it breathed. It seemed to be signaling that it was the lord of all fire. The deed is done. This little dragon cub became Qin Fan's dragon pet, living and dying together. Without even using that eye of appraisal skill, Qin Fan simply moved his mind and detailed information about the little dragon cub completely surfaced in front of his eyes. Dragon's favorite, blazing sacred dragon, lord of endless fire. Name and nickname, not yet available. Sex, female. Age, under a month. Level, 1. Four-dimensional attributes, strength 300, wisdom 300, physique 270, agility 270, without any buff. Equipment, props to enhance, skills possessed, immunity of fire, s passive skill, as the lord of endless fire, you are immune to 100% fire attribute damage, inflammatory spit, s active skill, spits out a flaming dragon's breath forward, inflicting massive fire damage to all enemies within a certain range in front of you, divine fire scale armor, s passive skill, the dragon scales of the dragon race are the strongest defense. All attacks are 70% less powerful when blocked by dragon scales. Destructive Inferno Claw, A active skill. The dragon's claw burns with a blazing flame and swings forward ferociously, dealing damage to all enemies within a fan-shaped area in front of it. Horror. It's simply horrible. What the heck is this high-breaking four-dimensional attribute? And out of the four skills that come with it, three of them are actually S-ranked and one is A-ranked. It was important to realize that in this world where resources were already scarce, not to mention A-rank skill books, even C-rank skill books were exceptionally precious. If a C-rank skill book was put on the market to sell, it would be at least 10 million dragon coins. The point is that you want to buy it and you don't have it yet. But the other dragons had only just been born, and they came with four super powerful skills. No wonder the dragons are high on the list. It was no wonder that no beast master had managed to tame a high-level dragon so far. The end of your life may not even reach the beginning of someone's. Thinking back to the previous transfer ceremony, those classmates mocked and gloated at themselves. The current Qin fan just couldn't help but sneer. Weakest profession? Lousy is now the strongest profession. Chapter 8, Taking the Name of Firefly Wine, Digesting the Divine Flame Chalcedony. Dot dash. The moment. The little dragon cub had already finished drinking the divine fire chalcedony in the bottle. Very contentedly belching, a flame sprang out from its mouth then twisted its rounded dragon body, rubbing its head very affectionately against Qin Fan's palm. It was hard for you to imagine that the noble and proud dragon race was nestled in Qin Fan's arms at the moment and being cute. And at the moment, ding, the system's electronic beep also finally sounded again. Congratulations to the host for completing the second stage of the novice quest. Rewards are now being handed out. Reward, B-rank skill hate marker. Reward, B-rank skill dragon's berserking. Reward, B-rank skill dragon claw strong attack. The rewards have been distributed. And the final stage of the novice quest is now open. Quest content, please raise the level of your own dragon pet to level 10. Reward, 2s rank profession exclusive passive skills. Penalty, none. Time limit, 30 days. Please complete the task as soon as possible. Mark of hatred, be apply a mark to a certain target, causing one's dragon pet to have great hatred for that target. And the damage taken by the marked target at the same time will be increased by 30%. Dragons berserking, B enables himself and his dragon pet to enter a state of berserking, increasing all attributes by 20% for the duration of the state. Dragon Claw Attack, B after using this, your arms change into dragon claws and attack the target in front of you, dealing great damage to the target. Another great reward. It seemed that the system also knew that Qin Fan was too weak nowadays, which was why it released such a generous reward in the novice quest. It seems that the power of the dragon master profession lies not only in harnessing the dragons, but also in the fact that the dragon's abilities are assimilated into themselves as well. Qin Fan's eyes also lit up slightly as he looked at the descriptions of these three skills. Noteworthy. Nowadays one's panels don't change for a while. The four dimensions remain a very balanced 15. However, Qin Fan didn't care. Anyway, he had such a strong dragon pet. As long as he didn't make any stupid mistakes. In the future, no matter if it was a copy of the exam or fighting against someone, then he didn't have to worry. Of course, Qin Fan was not the best in the class despite his natural talent, but his practical test scores have always been first in the class. The heavens did not give him a natural talent as good as others, but they did give him an extremely excellent fighting instinct. Even if you can't one-up someone in a sparring match, relying on the pull of combat skills, as long as you don't meet an opponent with too great a gap in strength, self-preservation is not a problem. Gah! The moment. The little dragon cub was gently rubbing his cute little head against Qin Fan's chest and the pair of golden yellow vertical pupils were even flickering with happiness. Ever since the little guy drank the divine flame chalcedony, the divine flame golden patterns on the dragon's body were all much brighter. Qin Fan tenderly rubbed the little dragon cub's head and said softly, You don't have a name yet, 
and it's about time you had one. Ga Wu, hearing that Qin Fan was going to give it a name, it stood up happily, its two cute little dragon claws waving non-stop, but Qin Fan knew, don't look at this little guy who was harmless in front of himself, but once an enemy or monster appeared in front of it, then its cute looking little dragon claws would turn into sharp blades that would tear apart the enemy, after all, this little dragon cub's four-dimensional panel was outrageous to the extreme, I was going to give you the middle name of Great Vulcan, but you're a girl, so let's go with something poetic or cute, Xin Fan said with a smile, go wu, when the little dragon cub heard the name Great Fire God, a pair of dragon ears even drooped down. However, when he heard Qin Fan say that he would give it a poetic or cute name, he was suddenly happy and expectant again. Two of my favorite poems, the streaming fireflies are winding down their fires and green ants roasting new wine. And you like drinking divine fire chalcedony so much that you're all red like a drunken little drunkard. How about the name Blow Wine and the nickname Sake? Qin Fan said with a smile. Ga, ga. When Qin Fan's words fell, the little dragon cub's expectant and nervous eyes slowly widened and the pair of golden and clear gem-like vertical pupils flowed with happy and joyful colors, then he rubbed his little head against Qin Fan's chest again and again, apparently, it was very pleased with the nice and poetic name, then it's settled, when Qin Fan decided, buzz, in the little dragon cub's information panel, a change appeared there in the name nickname column, name, firefly wine, nickname, sake, after rubbing up against Qin Fan for a while, sake suddenly leapt up, those little dragon wings snapping, phew, a powerful storm that made even Qin Fan almost unsteady on his feet swept out, and Sake's figure had come into the air, have to say, the dragons are worthy of being the lords of the sky, Sake's airborne speed could not be captured even with Qin Fan's naked eye, after taking off, Sake unfolded his wings to wrap his dragon body and just hovered in the sky, absorbing the golden light from the sun, gulp, even above the ground, Qin Fan could still clearly hear the violent heartbeat from Sake, it's, digesting the pure energy of the divine fire chalcedony, Divine Flame Chalcedony could be an S-Class Heavenly Treasure no matter what. The fire elemental energy it contained was naturally very pure and huge. Although Sake was a Saint Dragon level existence, it had only just hatched out of the dragon egg and was in its juvenile stage. It was impossible to instantly digest this pure and huge fire elemental energy like an adult dragon race. And during the digestion of this fire elemental energy, Sake's body, which was originally the size of a cat, was growing larger in circles at a speed visible to the naked eye. Half an hour later, Suspended in mid-air, Sake finally slowly unfolded those dragon wings that were covered in divine fire and gold patterns, and it had grown to a full 1 meter 6 category in height. The blazing aura that permeated his body was even more alarming. Qin Fan didn't doubt for a second that if Little Wine sprayed a mouthful of spit at the small mountain in front of him, it would probably be able to melt the entire mountain in one go. Phew! Little Wine, who had already thoroughly digested the divine flame Chalcedony, swooped down from the sky. It then hovered in front of Qin Fan. Ga! It instantly jumped into Qin Fan's arms with excitement. The huge head rubbed against Qin Fan affectionately. The little guy didn't seem to realize that his size had changed drastically. Qin Fan was struggling to support Sake's pouting as he rechecked Sake's information panel again. Dragon's favorite, Blazing Sacred Dragon, Lord of Endless Fire. Name, Firefly Wine. Nickname, Sake. Sex, Female. Age, Under a Month. Level, 5. Four-dimensional attributes, Strength 500, Wisdom 500. Physique 450, Agility 450, without any buff. Equipment, Props to Enhance. Chapter 9, Terrible Strength, Killing the Minotaur Swarm in Seconds. After absorbing all of the energy from the S-Class Divine Flame Chalcedony, the level had actually only risen by 4 levels. Nice guy, what the hell is this? It was important to know that at level 1, if a human was able to take a digested S-ranked heavenly treasure, then they would definitely soar straight up to a dozen levels. But for sake, it was only a mere 4 level up. This was enough to see that the experience needed for the dragon race to upgrade was really too much compared to humans, of course, but because of this, the attribute boosts from upgrading were also terrifying. Strength and wisdom attributes helicoptered from 300 to 500, agility and physique attributes helicoptered from 270 to 450, of this, let's just say it's worthy of a dragon. Gah! Suddenly, intimately rubbing against Qin Fan's little wine alertly raised his head. A pair of golden-colored dragon pupils just looking towards a certain corner of the small valley. Qin Fan followed Xiao Wine's line of sight, only to realize that it was actually a group of minotaur monsters with stones in their hands. Monster, Minotaur. Level, 12. Type, Beast Monster. Skills, Throwing. Horn Punching. Qualification, Black Iron. Remarks, a very common gargoyle in the spectral forest mountains that likes to eat the meat of cat demons, and cat demons are enemies of each other. Looking at this group of bull-headed monsters, 
Qin Fan knew that they actually wanted to come to this small valley to hunt cat demons. Only what they don't expect is, the cat demons are all dead. In its place, there was a blazing holy dragon. Clunk! The minotaur monsters that were originally raging in full of furious killing intent were now trembling in full of fear under Sake's dragon's might. Even the stones in their hands, which they used to throw to kill the enemy, were simply loosened. Obviously, in front of this dragon race, which was located at the top of the 10,000 beasts, the guts of these little monsters had been completely scared out of their wits. Ka? Even if inwardly, he was no more dissatisfied with this group of minotaurs who dared to interrupt his intimacy with his master. However, Xiao Wine was still very good and turned her head to ask for instructions from Qin Fan. Master, can I kill them? Qin Fan naturally didn't have any reason to refuse Xiao Wine. Got permission from the owner. Sake was instantly happy. Just a shock of wings. Swish. As if it were a floating light. Even Qin Fan, who was the owner, didn't see what was going on. Sake's figure then instantly arrived in front of the group of minotaurs that had already been scared out of their wits. There is no hesitation. The dragon's mouth opened. Spit of inferno. Bears. Just see a monstrous flame like a waterfall from the mouth of the dragon of the small wine spit out. Just a moment. Ugh. This group of minotaurs was then drowned in the spit. Burned to the point where not even ashes remained. Straight up seconds. Qin Fan's entire body looked dumbfounded. It was important to realize that if he didn't have the affinity for all beasts, an SSS ranked talent, then Qin Fan would have struggled greatly just to deal with a cat demon. Even if we can win, it's going to be a lot of wear and tear. And if he dealt with two or three cat demons at once, then Qin Fan would only be able to run away. It's not that Qin Fan is trash. Rather, the monster was considerably stronger than any being of the same level. Otherwise why would so many transmigrators enter the spectral forest mountain range to form a group? Even cat demons were so difficult to deal with, let alone a level 12 minotaur. Hordes of minotaurs, to be dealt with, would require at least a level 15 five-man adventuring team to destroy. But in front of the noble holy dragon Sake, just a mouthful of spit. The point is this is still a big deal. According to Qin Fan's estimation, if Little Wine wanted to exterminate this group of minotaur monsters, it would only be a matter of a claw going over. Only it resented the fact that these minotaurs would get their claws dirty. It is important to know that the dragons are not inferior to the human race in terms of intelligence. So the dragons have the same unparalleled elegance. Even food-wise, it wouldn't be like those ordinary magical beasts that would just eat it raw. Instead, cook it properly or do something delicate with it before you put your mouth on it. Gah! Easily destroying this group of minotaur monsters that gave even Qin Fan a headache. Little Wine fluttered his dragon wings and returned to Qin Fan's front with gusto then put on a praise me now face. Awesome. Qin Fan smiled and reached out to rub Shu's head. Sake hunted monsters, and as the master himself, he naturally shared the experience together. Qin Fan's level had also risen from level 11 to level 12. Gah! After accepting the compliment, Little Wine then stretched out his dragon claw and patted his small stomach that was covered in divine fire gold patterns. Qin Fan, who was in tune with Little Wine's mind, naturally understood the meaning it expressed. It's hungry. This made Qin Fan cry and laugh. This little foodie had only just finished drinking the s rank Divine Flame Chalcedony Ah. I ended up getting hungry again after a mouthful of spit. I'll take care of the cat demon and the minotaur's bodies. Will you eat? Qin Fan asked. He didn't know much about the dragons. Thought it was fine to feed random monster corpses like normal magical beasts. Gah! There was no surprise to be greeted with a disgusted shake of Sake's head. It's not eating any of that nasty stuff. It is going to eat the food. Alright, alright. Let's go make food. But first, we have to hunt some unicorn rabbits and magic antelopes. And I'll make you roasted whole goat and roasted whole rabbit. Sheen Fan said with a smile. This time, when he entered the spectral forest mountain range, Sheen Fan was prepared to stay here for a few days at the beginning. The built-in space is loaded with spices as well as wilderness survival stuff. After all, for him, decimating 30 cat demons couldn't be done overnight. He just didn't expect that with the affinity for all beasts talent. It would allow him to finish it in a flash. Roar! Hearing that Qin Fan was going to make a gourmet food for him to eat, Little Wine let out a happy dragon's roar, and his wings shook violently as he shot straight up into the clouds. Frightened, all the nearby magical beasts shivered and lay on the ground, not daring to move. Dragons are supposed to be the top hunters in the world. Just 10 minutes of your time. Qin Fan was then shocked to see Xiao Wine, who had circled around, return with powerful limbs grasping a dozen or so unicorn rabbits and magic antelopes. Looking at the cute little dragon cub that was so happy that it was spinning in place, Qin Fan could only give a doting smile. It's just that. Who let this be their own little dragon cub? What else to do but spoil it? And while Qin Fan was handling the ingredients and preparing to start the barbecue feast, at another valley in the Yulin mountain range, 
Swish, a burly, strong man raised his giant axe and easily hacked the two cat demons in front of him to death. The reason why he, as a level 14 warrior, was able to kill the cat demon in seconds so easily. Of course it was because he had the gain skill given to him by the priest in his body. Weapon blessing. Strong body mantra. Ha ha, beauty you're quite powerful. Not only do you have a level 10 purple staff, but you also have a C-rank auxiliary skill like strong body spell. Without you, we wouldn't have been able to kill so many cat demons. The burly man laughed. The other two burly men of the same warrior profession also laughed together. They're three brothers. The oldest brother is called Big Dragon. And then the other two are called Second Dragon and Third Dragon. Being praised by these three burly men, Su Ro didn't say anything, but only nodded her head lightly, revealing a condescending color between her moves. Chapter 10 Leveling Up Trigger Quest That's, don't even look at the status of our Miss Su. She's the daughter of Su Qinghua, the richest man in Anning City. With outstanding natural talent and extraordinary backgrounds, the three uncles you'll be honored to be teamed up with Miss Su. Seeing Su Ro faintly did not say anything. Zhuo Feng, however, stood out and announced in a proud tone. Lu Qing also held up his glasses as if he was honored. In the front, they were trying to reject the three burly men's invitation to form a group. But at the time, he was so intimidated by the ferocity of these three burly men that he immediately agreed. Now that he had slowed down, he felt that he had lost face in front of the goddess Su Ro. So he wanted to mend his ways and in turn use Su Ro's identity to scare these three big men. Hopefully it will make them put some respect on themselves. So it is. That's really an honor for us. Yeah, it's indeed an honor for us ordinary transmigrators to be teamed up with Miss Su. Don't worry, we promise to guard the safety of Miss Su. When Zhuofeng said it, these three burly men really did show fawning smiles. However, they didn't see that a flash of greed and cruelty swept through the depths of these three burly men's eyes at the same time. Go, keep moving. Su Ro also issued a clear and cold command at this moment. The three burly men sniffed and agreed even more happily. They can't wait to go deeper, because the deeper they went, the fewer adventurers appeared around them. At that time, they will be able to start their plan with confidence and boldness. Soon, the time came to the next day. At this moment, Qin Fan's location was already out of the outskirts of the Spectral Forest mountain range. It's rocky, poor and unpopulated. The basic levels of the monsters that inhabited this place had all come to level 15 or 16. Usually only those adventuring teams with rich experience in actual combat dared to come here to kill monsters and hunt for treasures. Last night Qin Fan had baked a sumptuous meal for his own little dragon cub. Sake ate it up. Qin Fan could feel Xiao Wine's favoritism towards him increasing. Of course, Qin Fan also didn't expect that the E plus grade life talent culinary proficiency that he had discarded would come in handy at this moment. Roar. A dragon's roar suddenly exploded from the quiet valley. Boom. What came with it was the sound of flames exploding. Appearing in front of Qin Fan were five one-horned rhinoceroses covered in tough scale armor. They are called black scale demon rhinos. Level 16. Qualification of Black Iron Monsters. Only now it was completely toasted and lifeless. Under Sake's spit, these little monsters were no match at all. Picked up successfully, obtained five hearts of Black Scale Demon Rhinoceros. Picked up successfully, obtained five unicorn horns of the Black Scale Demon Rhinoceros. Picked up successfully, obtained 500 Black Scale pieces of Black Scale Demon Rhinoceros. Qin Fan also picked up all the valuable things on the Black Scale Demon Rhino. The heart can be used for medicine. The unicorn horn can be used to cast weapons, and the black scales can be used to cast defenses. These materials were huge amounts of money for the poor Qin Fan. Buzz. And at the moment, Qin Fan's level was unexpectedly raised once again, coming to level 13. Sure enough, the experience gained from hunting monsters of a higher level than your own was indeed a lot. Now Qin Fan's personal panel had also changed quite a bit. Name, Qin Fan. Age, 18. Level, 13. Occupation, Dragon Master. Talent, Affinity for All Animals, SSS. Culinary Mastery, E+. Four-Dimensional Attributes, Strength 40, Wisdom 40, Physique 30, Agility 30. Profession Skills, Dragon Mastery, S. Hate Marker, B. Dragon Frenzy, B. Dragon Claw Attack, B. If he let others know that he had leveled up 2 in 2 days, then he would probably have his jaw dropped in surprise. In a context where resources are basically monopolized by major universities, organizations, and giants. The fact that a civilian can level up 2 in 2 days is truly shocking. But Qin Fan is aware of. Your own growth has just begun. Sake, on the other hand, had been stuck at level 5. It seemed that the experience required for this kind of top level dragon pet to upgrade was still a lot. Still have to keep hunting. Qin Fan stroked his chin, intending to move on. Of course, not all of the hunting process was left by Qin Fan to Little Wine to deal with. He himself found the right moment to keep Xiao Wine from coming over and interfering. 
Then he himself sought out the black-scaled demon rhino for a one-on-one -on -one fight. Perhaps it seemed superfluous in the eyes of others. However, in Qin Fan's eyes, it seemed very necessary. Even though he had a strong dragon pet, he could not afford to slack on his own strength. Improving your strength will also make it easier for you to cope with the battlefield. Keep going deeper. Qin Fan slowly exhaled a breath, and his expression gradually hardened. Gah! Feeling his master's determination to become stronger, Sake followed along with his bloodlust. Three days passed in the blink of an eye. At the apex of a mountain peak, Xin Fan, who had just hunted and killed a level 18 magical beast, the Green Star Leopard, was covered in blood as he sat down in the shade. His clothes as well as his primary defense gear were in tatters after these three days of killing and grinding. His level, on the other hand, was raised to level 15. Five days, upgraded from level 10 to level 15. Such a terrifying upgrade speed is rare. If the outside media knew about it, then it would definitely cause an uproar. And Sake's level has been raised from the original level 5 to level 7. Dragon's favorite, Blazing Sacred Dragon, Lord of Endless Fire. Name, Firefly Wine. Nickname, Sake. Sex, female. Age, under a month. Level, 7. Four-dimensional attributes, strength 800, wisdom 800, physical fitness 670, agility 720, without any buff. Equipment. Props to enhance. What a terrifying increase in this attribute. It was only a two-level increase, but it gave a terrifying two to three hundred increase in the four-dimensional attributes. Ding. Congratulations to the host for triggering the randomized quest, Heroic Rescue. Mission content, please ask the host to successfully save the Su family's eldest Miss Su Ro. Reward, two diamond treasure chests, one legendary treasure chest. Penalty, none. Time limit, 12 hours. Please complete the task as soon as possible. Just as Qin Fan was planning to continue to bring little wine across the spectral forest mountain range, the system, which hadn't heard a sound in days, finally responded again. And as soon as it comes out, it triggers random quests. Hmm, a hero saving the day. Looking at the content of the mission, Qin Fan couldn't help but be slightly stunned. Suddenly remembered Su Ro, Zhuo Feng, Lu Qing this three-person squad when they entered the Yulin mountain range. It seems that they also let three big men with vicious faces join. Lean. Sure enough, there was something wrong with those three menacing hulks. This is actually quite normal. Su Ro just grandly held a very rare level 10 purple product scepter in her hand. It's no different than a three-year-old child carrying a large gold nugget down the street. Pitbulls are not guilty. It's normal to be targeted. Sake, directly unfold the mental domain. Sense all the movements around you. Xin Fan also began to give orders at this moment. Chapter 11, Betrayal. The Phantom Forest Mountains somewhere near the edge of the inner perimeter in a small valley. The moment, in the small valley, six silhouettes stood. On top of that, there were monster corpses as well as bloodstains all over the place, and the surroundings were even more of a mess. The monster corpses on the ground were not only ordinary minotaurs and cat demons, but also one or two elemental cat demons as well as the corpses of minotaur giants. Elemental cat demon, a mutant species of cat demon, level 14 presence. It is more flexible than the normal cat demon and its attacks also have attribute damage, while hitting the target will also give the target two negative statuses of confusion and poisoning. The Minotaur, a mutant species of the Minotaur, level 15 exists, huge in stature and strength, three times the size of a normal Minotaur. The skill Earth Rumble is a double fist hammering the ground, causing a huge tremor, causing huge damage to targets within range while also stunning them. Both of these are actually considered minor head honchos in general. Those six figures were now covered in wounds and fatigue. It could be seen that although they had defeated these two groups of monsters, they were also extremely depleted, especially Su Ro and her two licking dogs Zhuo Feng and Lu Qing. Zhuo Feng and Lu Qing had worked extremely hard to protect Su Ro, and at the moment, their HP and MP as well as their physical strength were at a low state, and Su Ro had used up an extreme amount of blue and stamina in order to frantically add buffs to her teammates. On the contrary, the Great Dragon, the Second Dragon, and the Third Dragon, the three burly men were much less expendable. They had already been crawling around the outskirts of the spectral forest mountain range for more than 10 years, so they naturally knew that the more dangerous and chaotic the situation was, the more they had to conserve their strength, because it's the only way. Only then do you retain the power to stab at your own companions, or prevent being stabbed by your teammates, just like right now. After the big dragon and the second and third dragons exchanged glances, they all carried huge axes and stared at the three student cubs wistfully. What do you want? Zhuo Feng was instantly on guard when he saw the unsuspecting sight of these three people. Lu Qing silently picked up his staff. Su Ro also pursed her red lips tightly and picked up the valuable purple product scepter. What do we want? Guess, Dayron said with a smirk. Spinning around, these three men just walked over carrying huge axes. 
Looking at these three people's tall and burly bodies pressing over like small mountains, Zhuo Feng's face had turned white. Don't you guys forget, our captain is the daughter of the richest man in Anning. If you dare to commit backstabbing here, then there will be no place for you in Anning City. Lu Qing hurriedly shouted out angrily at this critical juncture. He hoped that he could use Su Ro's identity to scare off the other party. Who knows? Ha 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 ha. The three burly men laughed out loud. Kid, if you few were just students of ordinary status, then we might not bother messing with you. After all, civilians are no good. It's not worth it if you get caught and get into trouble. But nowadays I didn't realize that Yu Chick is still the daughter of Su Shofu. Ha ha, that's good to know. That's the kind of rich guy my brothers are messing with. Dayron sneered. And when the big dragon's words fell, Su Ro's face instantly turned pale. She never expected that the honorable status that she was usually most proud of would be the factor that killed her at this moment. Brothers, move your hands, kill the other two except this chick. Dayron gave a greeting. Erlong and Sanlong then carried their giant axes and attacked towards Zhuofeng and Luqing. However, flop. Just then, under the slightly stunned as well as teasing gazes of those three dragon brothers, Zhuofeng and Luqing directly knelt to the ground. Three good men spare your lives. The two of us will definitely not interfere with you. You can do whatever you want to Su Ro. Just please let us off the hook. The two actually begged for mercy in unison. You guys. When Su Ro saw this scene, her heart was even more broken and desperate. She never thought in a million years that these two lickspittles would be so bottomless as to abandon her. Solo, don't blame us. We want to live too. Lu Qing said coldly. Even. Swish. In order to gain the trio's trust. Lu Qing, who was wearing glasses. Even suddenly raised his staff in his hand, and aimed at Su Ro to blast over a skill. Bang! The skill beam smashed into the delicate body of Su Ro who was caught off guard, immediately sending her flying with serious injuries. Three big brothers, you guys please, now you can play with this woman however you want. Zhuo Feng and I won't intervene. I only beg you to let me live, because I also took a shot at Su Ro. Don't worry, we'll never tell. Lu Qing held his eyes and said very grimly, Zhuo Feng, who was on the side? hurriedly nodded his head. Good boy, dirty enough heart, also decisive enough, he even knows how to hand in his name. Dayron was really surprised to see that. He never thought that Lu Qing, who was still a student, would be so decisive and ruthless in his approach. Not enough. However, Dayron still shook his head gently. What's not enough? Lu Qing asked. You're not doing it hard enough. Dayron laughed blandly. Please, big brother, show me, or I can just go over and cut off Su Ro's arm. Lu Qing usually looks full of bookishness, who knows that the heart is more ruthless than Zhuo Feng. Haven't you two been admiring this chick for a long time? I appreciate you guys today, you big dragon brother. Now, you two go up and lunch her right now. I'm on the sidelines with my cell phone taking video, and that's in case you guys backpedal. If you guys dare to snitch on me after you go out, I'll immediately post the video online. At that time, you two will have to die as well. Dayron spoke without surprise. The two dragons and three dragons on the side even laughed. Have to say, this big dragon was able to hang out in such a brutal wilderness map for over a decade. The head is very good. He knew that killing three students at once, that would definitely arouse suspicion. But if the two students were kept, it would also be convenient to tamper with the statements. If they asked why Su Ro didn't come back, then Zhuo Feng and Lu Qing could also testify. With two students testifying, it's natural to think nothing of it. The moment. Zhuo Feng and Lu Qing looked at each other. Both saw the other's heartbeat. Didn't see that coming. I can't believe this is a good thing. The reason why they became Su Ro's licking dogs was because of Su Ro's status as the daughter of the richest man. Too naturally because of her white skin. There is a chance for a kiss at this moment. Then there's no reason to give up. Gulp. Zhuo Feng and Lu Qing gulped. He then turned around and walked towards Su Ro, taking off his clothes as he went. No, don't. Su Ro who had been pampered since childhood and was already used to being respected and polite by others. Where had she experienced betrayal? She was already in utter despair. There's no one around. As a priest profession himself, he was even more incapable of defending himself when he had no amount of blue. She, doomed to die a humiliating death. Woo. Thinking of this, Su Ro instantly burst into tears. Su Ro, don't cry. We'll be gentler on you. Lu Qing said with a smile. Only his smile was filled with a strong evil. Ha, I thought there were only three Chu Sheng, but I didn't realize it turned out to be five Ah. But just then, suddenly, a cold voice with slight emotion came out. Chapter 12 He's so strong, it's my hero. Who? When that icy voice rang out, the three dragon brothers, who were originally filled with evil smiles, instantly looked around with alertness. Lu Cheng and Zhuo Feng were even more startled. Su Ro's originally desperate look also surfaced with hope. Someone's coming for her. 
Who else could it be? Naturally, it's me. At this point, in a dark corner, a slender figure walked out. Who else could it be but Qin Fan? Just, when the three dragon brothers saw Qin Fan's very lousy dress and his mediocre aura, they immediately laughed coldly again. Even Zhuo Feng and Lu Cheng relaxed, and the fire of hope that Su Ro had originally risen was once again extinguished. Surprisingly, it's him. Nope, all is lost. Who in first middle school didn't know that Qin Fan had become a dragon master during the transfer ceremony? The profession of dragon master was indeed a hidden profession, but in everyone's eyes, it was the most wasteful profession, because there are no dragons to harness. In this world, the true high dragons were existences at the top of the magical beasts. They are high and powerful and will not succumb to human servitude. Even the most trashy earth dragons and flying dragons were so powerful that even if a rich person wanted to buy them, it would be hard to do so. The key is, the profession of a dragon master was golden. How expensive is it? That was that the dragon mastery technique could only be used on higher dragon races with extremely pure dragon blood. Miscellaneous dragons with thin dragon blood that a dragon master pact won't work on. This also leads to, the profession of dragon master is empty of dragon mastery, but has no dragons to master. To put it bluntly, that meant that the current Qin Fan was actually a waste. As for why Qin Fan could survive here alone for so many days, these people assumed that Qin Fan was living in hiding after seeing his scruffy appearance. Ha! I thought it was someone. It's you! The punk, Zhuo Feng, who was originally afraid of being discovered by others, was full of sarcasm when he saw Qin Fan at this moment. You guys know this kid? Dayron asked with a frown. Big brother, of course we know each other. He's just a pure, pure waste. Don't worry, if you can't threaten us, just kill them directly, Zhuo Feng said in a hurry. Being told this by Zhuo Feng, De Long immediately put his heart down. Everyone has privacy permissions for their basic information panel. Qin Fan had completely set his data panel to no one may investigate, so De Lung couldn't see the other party's basic information, and being cautious, he was really a bit afraid of falling over in the gutter. However, now that he saw that Zhuo Feng recognized and also said that this Qin Fan was a waste, then he was relieved. Qin Fan, you hurry up and run, go out and tell my dad, just tell him that I died at the hands of these Chusun, let him be sure to avenge me. At this point, desperate once again, Su Ro desperately shouted. She felt that with Qin Fan's strength she wouldn't be able to beat these five people in front of her no matter what. Might as well run away then. As long as she managed to escape, then she was still saved. After all, if her dad found out about this, the assholes might throw in the towel and use her as a hostage in exchange for money at best. And don't dare do anything to hurt her. After all, everyone knew that if they dared to harm Su Ro, then Su Ro's father would definitely not spare this group of people. If they didn't hurt Su Ro and simply asked for money, then the Su family wouldn't be immortal. Want to escape? Can you escape? Erlong, however, sneered. Then and the three dragons blocked both directions directly. Zhuo Feng and Lu Qin were also very tacitly blocking the other two directions at this moment. The moment, Qin Fan couldn't escape with his wings. Kid, I don't like your attitude. You're big dragon brother. So, pick it. Will you go on your own? Or will we send you on your way? De Lun sneered cruelly. As a matter of course, Qin Fan, such a loser surrounded and surrounded on all sides should be desperate and afraid. However, at this moment, Qin Fan's face was frighteningly calm. Not even his eyes wavered for a moment. It was as if the group was not taken into account at all. Good thing too. Take these five Chu students to practice. Qin Fan's eyes instantly glazed over. Clank. He drew a novice longsword. Give it to me. Big Dragon didn't have any nonsense. And with a wave of his big hand, he himself rushed towards Qin Fan carrying the giant axe first. The two dragons and three dragons as well as the four Zhuo Feng Lu Qing, did not have any carelessness and also charged towards Qin Fan at the same time. Although Qin Fan was a waste, but you can't have an accident with something like this. So the lion fights the hare with all its might. All aboard. Just as the two sides were about to engage, Su Ro was already crying and closing her eyes in despair. She couldn't bear to see Qin Fan being killed by these five Chu Shang. However, inwardly, he was rising a favorable feeling towards Qin Fan. She can't figure it out. Why was this boy so willing to save her? Could it be that he liked himself? But today, it's no longer useful. He and she are doomed to die. Blame her naivety. 2. Failure to take to heart the repeated words of the teacher. Ignore the sinister nature of this society. Ah! Just as she was rambling, suddenly, there came a ragged scream. Whom? Su Ro froze, then immediately looked up. In the next second, a stunned expression violently surfaced on her pretty, blowing face, only to see that Qin Fan who was originally supposed to be surrounded and decapitated. At this moment, it is a novice longsword in hand. I do not know what stance to use. 
around to the back of Zhuo Feng, and then, the already bloodstained novice longsword just ran through Zhuo Feng's heart from behind. Bang! Zhuo Feng, who was still wide-eyed and full of disbelief, just snapped and fell to the ground. How is that possible? How is he so fast? Even the calm and steady-minded De Long could not help but be shocked at this moment. Just now, they saw that their weapons were about to slash at this Qin fan. The result is just a moment. The kid just disappeared into thin air. The crowd has not yet understood what is going on it. A Zhuofeng screamed out miserably, and then look over. It was discovered that Zhuofeng had already been stabbed by Qin Fan. Ah uh, this. Damn it. Lu Qing, didn't you say that this guy is trash? Aragon couldn't help but roar out in anger. He felt cheated. Such exaggerated body movement. And such old-fashioned and unhesitating downfall. Where is this crap? It was clearly a strong one. I. Don't know. Lu Qing was also confused. He also didn't expect his trashy classmate to be so powerful. Cut the crap. Okay? Didn't you guys say you wanted to kill me? Come on. Under the illumination of the bonfire on the side, Qin Fan revealed a weird and cruel smile, and as Su Ro looked at that slender figure, the hope she had originally lost rose again. He, so strong, simply my hero, a pair of beautiful eyes were already flowing with a strange color, staring dead on at Mu Chen's slender back. Brothers, go straight ahead, use tactic B, and that's when, naturally, it was impossible for Deron to escape. It has to be hard on. Chapter 13 All Dead, The Beheader, Qin Fan, when the big dragon's words fell, swish, the three dragon brothers, who were holding a giant axe, suddenly replaced the giant axe in their hands with a thick shield, charge, clunk, these three brothers instantly surrounded Qin Fan in a triangular battle formation, at the same time, he was also treading a heavy pace, slowly approaching towards Qin Fan, generally speaking, the charge skill of the warrior profession was extremely fast, but the charge form has two forms, one kind of fast pace, one kind of jog, Quick step charge as the name suggests. Charges at great speed to others while wrapped in an immensely powerful crash that can send enemies flying straight through the air. A slow charge, on the other hand, is a slowing down of the feet, a steadying of the center of gravity, and the raising of the shield in an oppressive approach to put pressure on the enemy. Today, after having seen the terrifying speed of this kid Qin Fan, the three dragon brothers of the East River have adopted plan B. That is to say, to play steadily and approach step by step until the opponent is forced to retreat. At that time, they could simply crush the other party. It was important to know that a warrior in shield-wielding form had extremely high defense despite their reduced agility. They were like a small mountain pushing Qin Fan to the brink of extinction before finally striking out to reap the rewards. Lu Qing, don't be idle. You kid, go and hijack that chick as a hostage. In case of an accident, she can also be used as a hostage to threaten this Qin Fan. Dayron is no less thoughtful. Even when it comes to the point where they're sure to win. Still still left a backhanded move. Yes, Lu Qing then sneered as he walked towards the heavily injured Su Ro. Looking at the three shield-wielding warriors in front of him, they approached step by step. Obviously all dead ends have been sealed. However, Qin Fan was smiling faintly at the moment. Very disdainful. The level of these three dragon brothers was only 17, though two levels above him. However, when it came to panel attributes, these three dragon brothers could be much lower than Qin Fan. Dragon Master was the strongest hidden profession. The reason why others laughed at Qin Fan in the beginning was because Qin Fan definitely couldn't contract a high-level dragon race. A dragon master without a dragon pet. That is indeed a waste. And if this profession succeeds in contracting the dragons, that would be the strongest profession. There isn't one. Take for example the current Qin Fan. Name, Qin Fan. Age, 18. Level, 15. Occupation, Dragon Master. Talent, Affinity for All Animals, SSS. Culinary Mastery, E+. Four dimensional attributes, strength 80, wisdom 80, physique 70, agility 70, profession skills, dragon mastery, S, hate marker, B, dragon frenzy, B, dragon claw attack, B, as the strongest hidden profession. The attribute points gained from upgrading the dragon master were also far superior to other professions. If the three dragon brothers were to see Qin Fan's current attribute panel, it would probably be a jaw dropping shock. This was because today's Qin Fan's four-dimensional attributes were no longer lower than those of a level 20 powerhouse, and as the eldest brother of the three brothers, De Long's strength attribute was only 50 points. This was still the case when he had allocated all the attribute points gained from upgrading to strength, and his physique, wisdom, and agility attributes, which were not even 30, were very crotch-pulling. So, facing the shield-wielding siege of these three brothers, instead of any panic, Qin Fan revealed a disdainful smile. That's it? You want to suppress me too? The words fell. His eyes suddenly blazed. 
Then the three dragon brothers were shocked to see a line like dragon scales crawling up Jean Fan's skin. Dragon's frenzy, B. Buzz. In the next second, a ferocious and incomparable aura completely erupted from Jean Fan's body like a volcano. Jean Fan's full attributes received a terrifying increase of a full 20%. Not only that, Jean Fan's arm also began to produce a mutation. Only his originally well-proportioned and slender arms were violently gnarled with muscles. Click here. A dragon scale that was fiery red and came with divine fire patterns perfectly covered his arm. Even the fingers transformed into five sharp dragon claws. It was like a five-clawed divine dragon. Bears. In front of a dumbfounded crowd, that crimson dragon arm bloomed with blazing flames. A terrifying dragon might unexpectedly swept out from within Chin Fan's body. This, the sudden mutation in front of their eyes caused all three dragon brothers to look collectively dumbfounded. Even Lu Ching, who was going to take Su Ro as a hostage. At this moment, his entire face went white. And Su Zhou, on the other hand, he was looking at the powerful figure that was covered in divine fire. As if it was a fire god descending into the world. Swish. Dragon claw strong attack. The next instant, Xin Fan, whose expression was as cold and determined as a god's, violently swung his dragon claw. Ka Ching. Under the gaze of the great dragon's extreme fear, the dragon's clawed vertical palm as if transformed into an overwhelmingly famous sword wrapped in divine fire, shattered his proud rock shield. Put. Then that dragon claw was even like chopping melons and cutting vegetables, piercing through the heart of the great dragon with extreme ease. Run. Second dragon and third dragon watched their big brother get killed by this kid in seconds. It's too late for fear. Now their only thought was to hurry up and run. Monster. Monster. This Qin fan was simply a monster. Lu Qing also woke up violently at this moment, and no longer cared about taking Su Ro as a hostage. He was about to turn around and escape. Gah! At this point, a small, cute head suddenly burrowed out of Qin Fan's arms. It's exactly Sake. Sake stretched out her little claws, wanting to rush out and help her master kill these scum scum in seconds. However, Qin Fan pressed its head down and laughed. These few scums are not worthy of little wine's hand. The words are gone. One step forward. Swish. The figure disappeared into thin air. Su Ro on the side covered her small mouth with both hands, obviously shocked by Qin Fan's speed. This speed, it was faster than her classmates who were assassins, and as Su trembled in shock, pust, pust, Xin Fan had already caught up with the second and third dragons, followed by one person and one claw, not even giving them a chance to get on their knees and beg for forgiveness, just execute their lives, solve the three dragon brothers, Xin Fan moved his feet one more time, swish, it appeared in front of Lu Qing again, flop, without saying anything, Lu Qing directly knelt on the ground, Xin Fan, I was wrong, I beg you to spare my life, I'm willing to work for you as an ox, however, ha, Xin Fan, however, looked at the prostrate Lu Qing with a cold smile, his eyes full of sneers, as well as, ice cold and merciless killing intent, Xin Fan was never a saintly mother, hate Madonna even more, since this Lu Qing had already teamed up with the three dragons just now, it meant that he wanted to kill Qin Fan, then it was naturally impossible for Qin Fan to forgive him, so, swish, the dragon's claw in his hand was wiped away. Lu Qing's head was then thrown up high. Wow. Immediately afterward, blood gushed out from the neck wound like spring water. Qin Fan, however, still turned around indifferently, not even bothering to look at Lu Qing's death. To this point, the brutal and evil three dragons brothers, and the filthy, stinking Zhuifeng Lu Qing, all five are dead. The decimator, Qin Fan, ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the heroic rescue quest. Rewards are now being distributed. Chapter 14, The Little Lizard. Congratulations on winning the Diamond Treasure Chest times 2. Congratulations on obtaining the Legendary Treasure Chest times 1. All rewards have been issued to the system warehouse. Please check by yourself. Host. The system settled the rewards rather quickly. At the moment of the 5 deaths. Then the rewards were delivered immediately. I don't know how many times better than those unscrupulous bosses who like to drag out their paychecks. Sheen Fan. Thank you. And just as Qin Fan wanted to open the spatial warehouse to check the rewards, a clear, pleasant voice rang out from the side, almost forgot, and there's such a girl as Su Zua. you're welcome, between classmates, it's only right to help each other, Qin Fan said very perfunctorily, the main reason was that he didn't know Su Zua well, in class, Su Ro is the rich white girl who was high up in the world, from elementary school through high school, she basically lived in the limelight, to exaggerate, she basically gets the wind in her sails, because of his family's wealth, there was naturally no shortage of heavenly treasures since he was a child. Not to mention cultivation resources. That's why she leveled up so quickly, completing the transfer ceremony in her freshman year of high school. And she was now as high as level 15. 
but nay she switched to a priestly profession. Priest profession can only assist. Single brush copy extremely strenuous. Not to mention the group attack skills used to clear monsters. Even single attack skills are less. Though so. However, the group priest profession is very popular. But none of this had anything to do with Qin Fan. Su Ro is the noble young lady. And he, just a poor kid from an orphanage. If there wasn't this quest issued by the system, then it was estimated that Qin Fan and her would not have any interactions. Since it's okay, I'll leave now. Qin Fan also hurriedly took his leave. Don't want to be overly associated with this rich white girl. In fact, it was mostly the little wine that was shrinking in his arms that was stirring and trying to get out and move around in a hurry. If we were to say why Sake was able to shrink its originally gigantic size of 1 meter 6 tall to the size of a kitten today, it was because it unlocked the exclusive dragon race skill when it was promoted from level 6 to level 7. Dragon Transformation This skill, in addition to allowing Sake to freely adjust his body size, it also comes with two other extremely strong dragon stances. Divine Fire Destruction Form Force Shakes the Sky Form Divine Flame Extinction Form Own Magic Damage is increased by 500% Physical damage is reduced by 500%. Force shakes the sky form. Your physical damage is increased by 500%. And your magic damage is decreased by 500%. Have to say. It was worthy of being the holy dragon clan that stood at the top of the dragon clan. Just by leveling up. One could awaken such a strong conversion skill. Qin Fan. Wait. Looking at Qin Fan about to leave. Su Ro. Who was usually so arrogant that it was as if she didn't put anyone in her eyes. Took the initiative to call out to him at this moment. What's wrong? Is there something else? Qin Fan wondered. People. He has killed. Monster. Well, after the terrifying dragon power that Sake had inadvertently exuded when he passed by earlier, all the monsters around had scattered and fled. Then Su Ro is absolutely safe. So what else is she calling about? Looking at Qin Fan's expression that did not ripple at all when he faced himself, Su Ro gritted her teeth. In the past, no matter which boy, being initiated by himself to talk, it was a very surprised look. But the Qin fan in front of us, instead of being surprised, he was slightly impatient. This made Su Ro helpless. Still, she said hurriedly, I'm just a priest by profession. It's too dangerous to stay here alone. And if a monster attacks in the middle of the night, I'll have trouble dealing with it. And, we are at least classmates. We can't just watch me fall into the monster's mouth, right? Qin fan heard it. That seems to be the case. Fine, then you'll follow me for the time being. Tomorrow you return the same way you came. However, Su Ro's pretty face was slightly red, and she softly said, I'm afraid that's not possible, I may have to follow you. Why? Qin Fan frowned, if it were any other man, seeing that Su Ro, who had white skin and a seductive figure, wanted to take the initiative to follow him and venture out to kill monsters. That must have been delightful, but Qin Fan didn't want her to follow, because my cell phone is broken and so is my high-tech nanocomputer, so electronic maps as well as navigation are gone and it's easy to get lost. Su Ro's pretty face surfaced with a pleading look. A pair of long eyes like jewel-like autumn water flooded with a churlish and pitiful color. Ha! Qin Fan heard this, but he was not moved in any way. Instead, he let out a long sigh. Women are trouble. Just wanted to keep talking. Anon. Suddenly, Qin Fan's collar began to move, as if something was trying to get out. In the next second, under Su Ro's slightly surprised gaze, a small head drilled out. A pair of golden yellow dragon pupils just locked eyes with Su Ro's. Yikes, lizards, all of a sudden, Su Ro had a surprised look on her face, she didn't expect Qin Fan to have a fiery red colored lizard nestled in his arms, on, um, hearing this smelly woman in front of her dare to call herself a lizard, Sake was instantly nonplussed, phew, a mouthful of flames spewed out directly, as if warning Su Ro, you stinking woman don't talk nonsense, this princess is a blazing holy dragon, not a lizard, Puffy is so cute, girls are into cute things. When Su Ro saw the adorable way Xiao Wine puffed up and would spit fire, she instantly smiled and narrowed her eyes. Wine, don't be angry don't be angry, I'll make you something delicious. She's got long hair and short scents, don't talk to her. Qin Fan hurriedly comforted the agitated Xiao Wine, can't let it pop out, otherwise Su Ro would be scared to death later. This was a genuine blazing sacred dragon cub, the legendary top dragons. You, when she heard Qin Fan say that she had long hair and short knowledge in order to coax such a little guy. Su Ro instantly became angry, but on second thought, the anger subsided, there's no need to get jealous with a little guy, and, it looked like this little guy was actually Qin Fan's pet, could it be that this lizard actually has dragon blood, Su Ro's beautiful eyes widened all of a sudden, she hadn't forgotten Qin Fan's profession, which was the legendary dragon master, is this a dragon, Su Ro suddenly asked, 
Qin Fan was silent for a moment, then slowly replied, Yes, this. Su Ro was all shocked for a moment. Her face was full of unbelief as she looked at the little guy who was nestled obediently in Qin Fan's arms. It was hard to imagine that this little lizard was actually a dragon. And what kind of dragon is it? Su Ro continued to pursue the question. Don't ask. It's rude to ask again. Qin Fan said indifferently. Oh, Su Zua felt apologetic at once. Indeed, it's someone's professional secret. Naturally, you can't pursue it. But regardless, she was truly shocked to the core. Qin Fan had actually succeeded in contracting a dragon race. I don't know what kind of dragon it is, but it does deed to it. And, what shocked Su Ro the most was still Qin Fan's extremely terrifying personal battle power. One person singled out the three dragon brothers plus Zhuofeng Lu Qing and instantly killed them in seconds. She suddenly realized, he had underestimated the man of his age in front of him. Chapter 15 Opening the Treasure Chest I'm already invincible. Completed the system. What comes next is a good thing. Finding a spacious and flat clearing at the top of the hill, he stationed himself in place and built a campfire. A few unicorn rabbits were hunted and cleaned, then roasted and eaten. Sheen Fan, of course, was very careful to tear the roasted rabbit meat and feed it bite by bite to the small dragon cub that had already shrunk in size. Sake had wanted to change back to his normal size and start feasting, but there was a human woman present next to him in the way, so it could only nestle prettily in its master's arms and enjoy his feeding. Have to mention, Sake's meal size has shrunk after her size has shrunk. At normal size, Sake could eat several roasted demon antelope. Now a couple of unicorn rabbits feed him. Su Ro on the side was astonished. This cute little dragon cub looked quite small, but was able to eat several unicorn rabbits. Also, Xin Fan's cooking is really good. Even for a young lady like her, who had been accustomed to eating mountain delicacies since she was a child, she was very satisfied with the rabbit meat that Qin Fan had roasted, and ate it with her little mouth dripping with oil. I hope you'll keep this matter of my having contracted a dragon cub a secret. After eating, before preparing to enter the tent to rest, Qin Fan said this, Well, don't worry, I won't even tell my father about this. Su Ro nodded seriously. She naturally knew how shocking the matter of Qin Fan successfully contracting a young dragon cub really was. One might even say, as long as this matter leaked out, then Qin Fan definitely immediately made it onto the nation's big news. The profession of dragon master is not unheard of in the dragon kingdom, but no dragon master has ever succeeded in contracting a true dragon. However, Qin Fan had succeeded, becoming an existence that had never been seen before or since. This is definitely going to be in the spotlight. This cute little dragon cub in front of her, although she didn't know what level of dragon it was, but to be able to be contracted by a dragon master, it must have a high bloodline level. It's just that it's still in the early years and may not be showing. Seeing Su Ro promise to keep it a secret, Qin Fan gently nodded his head. Finally, each went back to their tents to sleep. In their own little tent, Qin Fan closed his eyes and slowly immersed his mind as he silently chanted. System, open the warehouse. Buzz, a system warehouse panel visible only to Qin Fan himself surfaced. There were three treasure chests lying quietly on top, emitting a faint glow. This is naturally the reward for this random quest. There was no hesitation. Qin Fan directly tapped on the two diamond treasure chests. Ding! All diamond chests have been successfully opened. Congratulations on obtaining the metaphysical crystal earth scale sword. Congratulations on obtaining the swift wind set. Congratulations on obtaining the top genetic enhancement potion. Congratulations on acquiring the B-rank skill fire dragon bomb. Equipment, Xianjing earth scale sword. Quality, purple. Occupation, dragon master. Dragon Blood Warrior. Level, 15. Attributes, Strength plus 40, Wisdom plus 40, Agility plus 30. Enchantment Effect. Each time an attack hits a target, its own physical and legal resistance increases by 2% for 10 seconds. Stackable up to 5 times. Increase the power of all your skills by 5%. When attacking, there is a 30% chance that the enemy will be put into a poisoned, confused state. The Swift Wind Set is a level 15 purple defense set. There are 3 parts in total shoulder armor, belt, and leg guards. The attribute phrases for all three parts are the same, strength plus 10, stamina plus 50. Shoulder armor enchantment effect is, increase your own attack speed by 30%. The belt enchantment effect is, increase your spellcasting speed by 30%. The leg guards are enchanted to increase your movement speed by 30%. Set effect, gain 20% reduction on all damage when struck. Top genetic enhancement potion, A after taking it, all of your four dimensional attributes are increased by 50 points, at the same time, your genes are greatly improved. Fire dragon bomb, B when the spell is finished, it will coalesce a huge fireball of inflammatory dragons, creating a wide area explosion when it hits the target, dealing extremely high magic damage to enemies within the range. Abundance, 
the rewards are simply immense. Sheen Fan, who was originally calm inside, was instantly all energized after seeing the unboxing rewards. These are things he desperately needs. The durability of his own novice longsword was almost depleted. The novice defense gear on his body had also been damaged long ago in the battle with the monsters. These rewards are properly timely. Sheen Fan couldn't wait to put his defense gear on, and a sharp long sword covered in black scales appeared in his hand. At the same time, he directly picked up the top grade gene strengthening potion and drank tons and tons of it. If it wasn't exactly nighttime with a beautiful girl resting next to her. Otherwise, Qin Fan would have to get up and try the power of the fire dragon bomb skill. Phew. Qin Fan exhaled with excitement. His whole body was warm and melting after drinking the top grade gene improvement potion. And his four dimensional attributes had reached a new high. Strength, 130, wisdom, 130, physique, 120, agility, 120. Without any props, equipment or buffs. If Su Ro were to see Qin Fan's current attribute panel, she was afraid that she would have to cry out in shock again. Because this attribute panel already far exceeded all the transmutations of the same level. It was important to realize that the four-dimensional attributes of transmutators under the same level were different. There are naturally strong and weak. And this attribute point of Qin Fans was the strongest in this class. Next up, the most valuable legendary treasure chest of all. Qin Fans eyes blazed. Then reached straight up and clicked to open the legendary treasure chest. Ding. You have successfully opened the legendary treasure chest. Congratulations on obtaining the SSS ranked passive skill Bloodline Fusion. Bloodline Fusion, SSS the blood of the dragon's pet fuses with you, causing you to inherit 20% of the dragon's pet's full attributes. Note, when you have two or more dragon pets, the inherited attributes can be stacked with no limit on the number. Holy shit. This, what a demonic passive skill. Not bad for a legendary treasure chest. Terror. It's just horrible. Inherit to get 20% of the full attributes of the dragon's favor even if. The key is that the 20% is stackable. It meant that when Qin Fan had 3 dragon pets, then he gained 20% of the full attributes of each of the 3 dragon pets stacked on top of each other. In total, that's a 60% stack of all attributes. If there are more dragon pets, then the stacking can continue. Of course, that's just delusional for now. Being able to obtain the blazing sacred dragon as a dragon pet was already a blessing from the system. If you want a second or third dragon pet, you can only think about it in your dreams. But even so, it was also enough for Qin Fan. Sake's current 4-dimensional attributes are, 4-dimensional attributes, Strength 800, Wisdom 800, Physique 670, Agility 720. Now Qin Fan's 4-dimensional attributes after inheritance were, Strength, 290, Wisdom, 290, Physique, 254, Agility, 264. In the same class, I am already invincible. Qin Fan's eyes were bright with joy. Gah! Seemingly sensing its master's growing strength and joy. Little wine who was lying in front of Qin Fan's chest, also let out a joyful cry. Chapter 16, Wild Mysteries, Cobalt Village. The next day, early morning, come on, I'll take you back to camp. After Qin Fan put away the high-tech folding tent, he said to Su Ro. At this moment, Su Ro had also finished washing up and stepped out from her luxurious technological tent. When you are practicing in the wilderness, the wind and food are unavoidable. In this highly developed background of technology and magic, all kinds of technological magic props came into being, like Su Ro's set of tents. It would take at least 200, 000 dragon coins to afford it. After this tech tent is opened, it doesn't even need to be assembled manually. It opens automatically by itself and has all kinds of folding appliances inside. It allows you to enjoy the comforts of home even in a tent. On the contrary, Sheen Fan, just a regular tent. I really thank you for this time. Without you, I dare not imagine what kind of things would have happened to me. Su Ro said with a playful and sincere face. At the same time, she was also sensitive to the fact that the boy in front of her appeared to have changed greatly over the course of the night. The features are more handsome and handsome. The temperament is more dusty. And the proportion of the body actually gives a very well-proportioned sense of comfort and pleasantness. And, the boy's aura was so vaguely oppressive that it took her breath away. He merely stood in front of Su Ro. Yet he made her feel an unrivaled sense of oppressive suffocation. Nice guy. Is it possible that I'm blind? Or was it that it was too dark last night and he wasn't able to see Qin Fan very closely? Which was why he felt the oppressive feeling Qin Fan brought after looking closely now. But anyway, Qin Fan's charm was actually making her. A girl? Thump inside. Between classmates. It's proper to help each other. In response to her thanks, Qin Fan still responded perfunctorily. Go! The two departed. Only halfway there. Instead, he found that six student-like adventurers had actually gathered in front of him. The equipment they wore? as well as that high-grade clothing, made it clear that they were definitely not ordinary people either. When Qin Fan and Su Ro passed by, 
The group of adventurers who were discussing something suddenly turned their heads to look over. Su Chan, a cry of disbelief came out from the crowd. Qin Fan and Su Ro also had to stop in their tracks. Turn your head and look. Instead, he found a handsome looking boy wearing a mage's white robe walking out, his face full of surprise as he looked at Su Ro in front of him. Hello, Zhou Shen Ken. In response, Su Ro just lightly nodded her head. Why are you here? Here to practice an upgrade as well? Zhou Shen Ken asked as he came over with a smiling face. After seeing Qin Fan, who was far ahead of him in terms of temperament and appearance, out of the corner of his eye, a shade swept through the depths of his pupils. Indeed, I came here to practice an upgrade, and now I'm ready to go back, Su Ro faintly said. Treating Qin Fan, Su Ro was already too cold to be cold. However, when it came to other people, Su Ro's attitude naturally remained clear and cold as the Su family's noble young miss. This is, Zhou Shenken looked at Qin Fan. I'm just a passerby, Qin Fan said. He replied this way, naturally wanting to tell this Zhou Shenken, Lao Zi doesn't want to play the embarrassing drama of jealousy with you, please just be my little transparent. Zhou Shenken laughed at his words, obviously not comprehending Qin Fan's meaning. Brother Zhou, is this your sister-in-law? At this point, a boy with dyed yellow hair next to him suddenly came up. A giddy hangdog look. Don't be ridiculous. No, just a childhood friend. Zhou Shenken pretended to say, by the way, didn't we find a wild secret place here? It just so happens that there's a shortage of people. Why don't you take your childhood friend in with you, brother Zhou? Yellow hair hemmed and hawed. Yeah, just in time to be short of people. This girl is also a priest. Just in time. Well, not cheap outsiders. Others raised their hands in favor. The moment. It was only then that Qin Fan turned his head to look at the place where they had stood earlier, where there was a spatially distorted vortex that emitted an eerie blue light. The so-called wild secret world. It's actually a copy of a secret realm that randomly appears on a field map. Through that twisted spatial vortex, it's a straight shot. This is an unattainable opportunity for many adventurers. Many adventurers had been practicing in the wild map for decades, but they had never stumbled upon the appearance of a wild secret realm once. And after the wild secret pass, naturally, there are extremely generous experience, props, equipment, skills and other various rewards. Of course, it was also extremely dangerous because of the location of the wild mysteries. Sometimes it's hard when you go in, only to find that it's a super difficult copy of a secret realm. Even more unlucky ones will die inside. But, I have to say that these boys were really lucky that they actually met the wild secret world for them. Facing the warm invitation from Joe Swankin and the others, Su Ro, however, did not hastily agree to it, but turned her head, her large eyes as bright as jewels looking at Qin Fan. Ever since she experienced what happened last night, she would no longer trust so-called acquaintances. She was more willing to trust the strange Qin Fan in front of her. Zhou Shenkan saw that Su Ro was actually seeking Qin Fan's attitude. The shade in the depths of his pupils was even more intense. However, he still said to Qin Fan with a smile on his face, This brother, why don't you come along? There's just a shortage of people. Qin Fan was about to refuse, but who knows just then. Ding. Congratulations to the host for triggering the randomized quest seize the opportunity. Mission, clear the wild secret world in front of you and take the highest damage ranking. Reward, life profession second turning scroll times one. Penalty, none. Please complete the task as soon as possible. Of uh, this. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot then. Qin Fan nodded and agreed. Zhou Shenken turned his head and gave the other five little friends a wink. The five little ones nodded knowingly. Okay, let's go then. Zhou Shenken laughed. Buzz. As the crowd stepped through the spatial vortex into this wild secret realm, a holographic projection of the mission panel then appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Secret, Cobalt Village. Grade, Silver Mystery. Level, 15 or above can enter. Difficulty, Hellish. Number of persons required, 8. Remarks, deep in the humid rainforest, a group of ferocious and brutal cobalt monsters live, who not only like to eat human flesh and blood, but are also full of desire for the delicate bodies of human women. After seeing the pop-up window showing the details of this wild secret world, aside from Qin Fan, everyone's complexion was a bit taut. Holy shit, a silver level secret realm on hell difficulty. It's broken. I don't feel like I can beat it. Originally, I was thinking of getting rich, but I didn't realize it was such a terrible secret realm. Should I quit? A few of the other boys were already budging. Even Su Ro looked at the rainforest entrance in front of her with a face full of gravity. Everyone knew that once they entered the entrance of this rainforest, what awaited them were hideous and horrible cobalt monsters. Chapter 17, The System Gives Too Much. In addition to the basic information about this wild secret world, there was also a secret passage condition attached to it. Passing condition, kill the goblin king to get the secret passing reward. 
Anyone who passes the wild mystery copy knows that they will receive extremely generous rewards. But the thing that makes it difficult right now is that it's a hellish difficulty copy. Not that they're underconfigured as a team. It just feels too risky. Because there's a good chance you'll die in it. What do you say? Show, should we go in? At that moment, that yellow hair looked towards Zhou Xianken. Zhou Xianken said lightly, Let's report your occupation first. Let's see if the configuration is good first. If it's good then we'll attack together. If it's not then we'll withdraw. He tried his best to look as swashbuckling and dashing as possible in front of Su Ro. However, glancing at him, he found Su Ro standing quietly next to the strange youth. Not even looking at him. Damn it. It made him rage inside. Then listen to brother Zhou. I'll report first. My occupation is warrior. I'm an assassin. I'm the shooter. I'm a swordsman. I'm a mage. A few of the boys finished their reports. Zhou Shenkin said in a deep voice, I am a martial artist. Xiao Ro is a priest. What is your profession? This brother? He deliberately addressed Su Ro as Xiao Ro to appear intimate. At the same time, he also looked at Qin Fan. The group was not from the first school, but from the third. So don't recognize Qin Fan. I am a dragon master. Qin Fan faintly reported his occupation. Ha, huh, a dragon master. You're the rumored dragon master? The moment Qin Fan reported his occupation, all the boys, including Zhou Swankin, stared blankly at once. Of course, also surfacing on their faces were looks of shock as well as a desire to laugh. I am indeed a dragon master. Why? Without a hint of anger, Qin Fan flatly asked back. What else could it be? Don't you know the problem yourself? You're a waste of a profession for a dragon master. Shit, now we have an extra ass-kicking paddler on this team. The group of boys began to curse and swear. In their eyes, dragon masters are indeed wasteful professions, because you don't have a dragon. Su Ro on the side was just about to open her mouth. However, thinking that Qin Fan didn't want to reveal that he had a dragon for the time being, she shut her mouth as well. This brother, I think it's time for you to get a little self-conscious. At that moment, Zhou Xian can arrived in front of Qin Fan. What do you mean? Qin Fan asked with a frown. It means you better quit first. You're clearly a waste profession. Pure paddling. Can't let you share the rewards along with it, right? Zhou Shenkin coldly said. Okay, I'll back off then. At this, Qin Fan was not angry. This wild secret copy was discovered by their group. Then it makes sense to not let yourself in to get your reward. I don't care about the secret reward. Just as Qin Fan was about to exit the secret realm. However, Su Ro suddenly pulled Qin Fan by the hand. Little Ro. What are you doing? Zhou Shenkan saw that Su Ro even took the initiative to pull Qin Fan's hand, and his eyes were once again gloomy for a minute. He's very strong. If he retreats, I think we'll never be able to pass the secret realm, Su Ro said seriously. Crowd. He's strong? Dragon masters are strong? Are you out of your mind? I can't believe I think this dragon master without dragons is strong. This instant, the expressions on the faces of the crowd were wonderful. If it wasn't for the fact that Zhou Swankin likes Su Ro, then this group of people would have long ago been unable to hold back their continuous mockery. Zoe, aren't you talking nonsense? How strong can a dragon master without a dragon be? Joe Swankin was dumbfounded. I don't care. Anyway, if he quits then I'll go out with him. I don't have to accompany you to your deaths. Su Ro coldly said. Joe Shen can. Ro, let him stay. But the next reward depends on the individual damage percentage distribution. How about whoever does more damage gets more rewards? Except, of course, for the priest support professions, Zhou Swankin was truly speechless. If Su Ro also withdrew with her, then it would really be impossible to attack. After all, with the key assistance of the priest missing, a lot of battle power would be lost. Good, that's it. Su Ro nodded. Xin Fan, who was on the side, couldn't help but want to sneer. You let the old man go and the old man go. You let the old man stay and the old man stay? Just as he tried to turn around and force his way out. Suddenly, ding. Congratulations to the host for triggering a randomized mission. Quest content, pass the Goblin Village Secret World. Reward, 50. 000, 000 experience value, same for dragon pets. Penalty, none. Please complete the task as soon as possible. Of this, listening to the system's relentless beep. Qin Fan's entire body stiffened. The system gives too much. And the point was that his top priority right now was indeed to get Sake up to level 10 and complete the final quest. This 5W experience value must be taken. Sheen Fan, who had originally planned to turn around and leave, settled down. Since they're all fine with it, let's start the secret realm attack. At Zhou Xuan Khan's announcement, the crowd equipped themselves with various defense weapons and adjusted their condition. And then they began to walk into the entrance of the rainforest. Buzz. As the crowd stepped into the entrance, a slight sense of vertigo surfaced, and immediately the group appeared in a new space. 
For Qin Fan it was also the first time that he had entered this kind of wild secret copy, and he had heard that the pattern of the next transfer high school exam was also for the students to pass the secret copy. Students are then judged to have good or bad grades based on the length of time it takes them to pass. To put it bluntly, it's secret copy racing. Right now, it was good to have such a wild secret copy to practice on first. Qin Fan began to survey its surroundings. Stuffy, humid, hot, the smell of dirt mixed with the smell of rotting leaves, overlaid with the stench left behind by various insect creatures, makes it hard on the sense of smell. Typical rainforest environment too. This secret space was large. If one climbed up the tall tree, but one could see the boundary of the space, which was a barrier like a purple curtain of light that could be touched, but could not be destroyed. This is the spatial barrier of the secret copy. That is to say, there was no turning back for the small group of adventurers who had now stepped into this place. Either that, or pass. Either that, or die here. However, the crowd was still very confident, and they felt that as long as they cooperated well, then they could definitely pass the test easily. Follow the trail all the way in. The crowd finally saw a mountain fortress standing in the middle of the valley not far away. Inside the cottage, kobolds of all colors live. The largest kobold observed so far is 3 meters tall, wearing iron armor and has an ugly face. The smallest kobolds were not even a meter, but their bodies were very agile, and they were obviously kobold pups. Chapter 18, Jean Fan. You're in the front row. Of course, the creepiest thing is, a human head that has been air-dried hangs from various towers of the cottage. It seemed to be highlighting the glorious past battles of this kobold village. It also shows that the difficulty of this secret copy is not normally high. All of the previous transmigrants who had broken in had been exterminated. Let's go. Kill all the way in. Fatty. As a warrior, you charge to the front to take the front row. Blue hair you as an assassin swept alongside. Responsible for protecting the output professions. Everyone else just output. Remember to control your blue level. And drink blue pills in time to replenish it when it bottoms out. Zoe just stand behind me. I'll protect you. As for this master dragon master brother. Just follow at the end and throw some long range props to interfere with the monsters. Zhou Shenkin spoke quickly as he gave the order. His tone not to be questioned. Yes. The others readily agreed. Su Ro, however, gently shook her head. No need. I'll stay back with Jean Fan and just add buffs to you guys. Joe Swankin didn't force the issue and nodded his head lightly. In his heart, he was thinking that he would find an opportunity to detach this dragon master alone later. Best. It's straight up letting him die here completely. Isn't it normal for a few people to die when attacking a copy of a wild secret? Thinking about it, the corner of Zhou Xian Ken's mouth lifted into a cold smile. Hiss. The cobalt sentries located in front of the gates of the cobalt cottage village seemed to sense something. At the moment they began to emit a hoarse chirping sound. A short, ugly looking cobalt then tried to turn around and tip off the other cobalts in the cottage village. But just then, phew, an incomparably sharp feathered arrow broke through the air. Put, spinning around with unerring precision, the cobalt that was trying to ventilate ran right through it. Charge, immediately after, at Zhou Xian Ken's command, the whole adventuring party began to move forward. The group of goblin sentinels were enraged when they saw that the district humans dared to attack their base camp in such a dignified manner. Ah, sharp, unpleasant roars came from the throats of the group of cobalt sentries. They then copied their spears, stone axes, and other weapons and charged towards this human party. Buzz, the moment, as the only priest in the team, Su Ro began to wield the valuable purple product scepter. A gentle blow of blessing fell on all the players in the group. Weapon blessing, strong body mantra, gifts of courage, Heavenly music. For gain buffs are applied. It instantly galvanized the will of both the front row and the output professions. Weapon blessing provided them with an additional 20% physical attack power. Magic attack power. Strong body mantra provides them with continuous restoration of stamina. Gift of courage galvanizes their will to fight, causing a 10% increase in their full attributes. Heavenly music increases everyone's physical and legal resistance by 20%. Have to say, as a priest profession, Su Ro was very qualified. It was also worthy of being an extremely famous daughter of heaven in the first high school. Extremely smooth chanting spell casting motions and the care taken to take into account each teammate. This is something that many novice pastors fail to do. With Su Ro's buff boost, the 30 or so goblin sentinels in front of them were resolved by the crowd in just 10 seconds. Bull, worthy of being the strongest priest in first grade. Yeah, it's not like the fellow priests I've teamed up with before. Not only do the buffs add more attributes, but the key is that the buffs go on fast. Strong strong strong, brother Zhou, this childhood friend of yours can indeed do it. Su Ro's brilliant maneuver was met with rave reviews from the crowd. He he, no matter what, Xiao Ro and I grew up together. I'm sure I can trust her strength. Zhou Shenken was also smiling and praising. 
but then the words swirled, someone hasn't even had a little output up to now, so the distribution of rewards after clearing the level later may not be shared, the words came out, the crowd was instantly quiet, but the faces were holding back smiles, the eyes also collectively looked at the expressionless Chin Fan, only Su Ro shook her head gently, this group, lol, you've got eyes, don't you, that is, right now Chin Fan is too lazy to make a move up, if you enter the depths of the cottage village, then you will know how powerful Chin Fan really is, well, keep moving, Joe Swankin waved his hand, started out towards the cottage village where human heads were hanging, the cobalt sentries in front of them were nothing more than an appetizer, anyone who knows the really powerful cobalts, are behind them, soon, when they crashed through that gate, it triggered a loud noise, and a group of goblin minions with two different skin colors instantly surged over, holy shit, a hundred minions, the fat man in the front row stared at this scene, even he had to be careful when facing this number of monsters, at the same time everyone cast eye of appraisal and read through the information of the goblin minions in front of them, monster, goblin soldier, level, 15, category, humanoid monster, skills, sharp claw bite, berserking, precision throwing, qualification, silver, remarks, the most common type of small soldier in the goblin tribe, with a violent and cruel character, enjoying dismantling the enemy into large pieces, monster, frost goblin trooper, level, 15, category, humanoid monster, skills, ice pick throwing, berserking, claw tearing, self-destruct, qualification, silver, remarks, a mutant species of goblin minion that can use ice magic and loves to make ice sculptures out of its enemies, nice guy, silver minor monster, and crucially, the number was upwards of a hundred, line up in formation, shall row remember to continuously add blood and buffs to the front row, remember to use group attack skills for the other outputs, Joe Swankin gave the order very calmly, in this battle, Chin Fan remained calm and did not make a move, but it wasn't as smooth this time than the previous crush, it took a full 10 minutes to destroy the second wave of goblin monsters, and, this time the team was consumed, especially Fatty as a front row fighter, at the moment it was even sweating profusely, after all, all of the attacks from the group of goblin minions earlier had been a stream of attacks thrown at his shield, it was very taxing on him, brother Joe, rest for a while, I can't, Fatty said bitterly, okay, you rest, get a new guy on top, Zhou Shinken turned his head with a smile and landed his eyes on Xin Fan, whose expression had never changed, Xin Fan, we can't let you keep paddling to get experience, right, now that Fatty's tired, you come and top him, of course, Fatty, you'll follow Qin Fan's lead, and once he can't hold up anymore, you'll replace him, this statement was made, the crowd fell back on their faces, what the hell is this, putting a brittle dragon master in the front row, chapter 19, actively seeking death, due to the team sharing mechanism, so even if Qin Fan was paddling around, as long as Zhou Xin Can and the others killed the monsters, then they could still gain experience value, it's reasonable to expect everyone on the team to contribute and not paddle, however, Zhou Xuancan's decision to allow Qin Fan, a brittle dragon master, to take the front row position did cause the crowd to faintly freeze for a moment, especially Suzua, she even balked at it without hesitation, no, dragon masters are just as brittle as mage archer professions, what's the difference between you letting Qin Fan be a front row meat shield and letting him die, a few of the other boys sniffed and fell slightly silent, they knew that what Su Ro said made sense, then what do you think should be the distribution, Ro, he's a dragon master without a dragon, and he can't output remotely, and he's brittle in melee, according to this, is he really allowed to share in all this experience by paddling for nothing, I don't really care, but I can't let the rest of my teammates work for nothing, Joe Swankin shrugged his shoulders and said in a slightly innocent manner, that's right, Cho is right, we're fighting to the death on the sidelines, and he's paddling around comfortably eating his experience all by himself, get on, let him top the front row, cover as long as you can, and replace him if you get hurt, they were originally following Zhou Shenken. Now that Zhou Swankin had spoken, they naturally supported it. Then the reward after the secret realm is cleared. As a compensation, I don't want my share. That's always fine, right? Su Ro said in a clear voice. The words came out. The crowd changed color. Especially Zhou Shenken, whose face was still smiling, instantly turned gloomy. He never expected Su Ro to be willing to sacrifice so much for this Qin fan. It's a wild secret place. Many ordinary adventurers in the city of Anning might not be able to meet this opportunity once in their entire lives, as long as you pass the level, the rewards that must be scary rich, as a result, Su Ro, a rich young lady, was willing to give up these benefits for a poor boy, the point is that this poor kid is also a dragon master who is a waste of space without a dragon, boy, are you still a man, just keep standing behind a woman without saying a word, 
Zhou Shinken turned his head with a gloomy face, his pair of icy eyes staring at Qin Fan in death. All right, Su San, there's no need to sacrifice you to compensate me. Front row is front row. I am indifferent. As soon as Qin Fan's bland words fell, clank, a crisp sword chant buzzed in everyone's ears, and then the crowd was shocked to see. A sharp heavy sword inlaid with black scales was just held in Qin Fan's hand, the terrifying sword qi lingering within it even caused everyone around them to resist placing their gazes on it, especially the fat man who was a warrior profession felt the uncomplicated nature of this heavy sword, at least several notches stronger than the rock heavy sword in his hand, nice guy, it was definitely a level 15 purple heavy sword, no wonder they were so surprised, it was important to know that even for children like Su Ro and Zhou Shenken who came from wealthy families, what they were using in their hands right now was only a level 10 purple weapon. As a result, this kid from a poor background took out a level 15 purple weapon all of a sudden. Of uh, this, it does seem a little off. Sheen Fan, where did you get this weapon? At this time, Joe Swankin couldn't help but ask. I don't seem to have to tell you, do I? To this, Sheen Fan only replied in a cold tone. You, Joe Shenken was choked up like that, and his eyes became more shadowy. Good, that's good. Originally, I was still thinking that for the sake of Su Ro's face, I would just let you be seriously injured and teach you a lesson. Since you have such an arrogant attitude, don't blame me for being ruthless. Xin Fan you must die in this secret realm. Keep moving, Zhou Shenken ordered coldly. Then he pulled Fatty aside again and said with voice transmission technique, remember not to make a move to help him. Let him get seriously injured in the next wave of monster onslaught, and then find a chance to sell him when you get to the level of the elite monsters or bosses and let him die at the hands of the monsters. Voice transmission is a category of generalized skills. The so-called universal skills are actually skills that can be used by all professions. For example, eye of identification, smell shield, perception enhancement. There's also block which can be used exclusively by physics professions, and spell stance which can be used exclusively by law professions. Of course, generic skills are also divided into levels. There are some secret copies of the realm will also drop high-level generic skill books. Hearing Zhou Xian Kan's exhortation, Fatty instantly nodded his head excitedly and asked hopefully, Brother Zhou, then if he dies, can I have that heavy sword in his hand? That's a weapon that fits my warrior profession perfectly. Zhou Shenkin said blandly, No problem, as long as he dies, you take that heavy sword. Thanks Cho, come on, keep moving. Needless to say, as a silver level held difficulty copy of the wild mystery, there was indeed a lot of space, especially this cottage village built by the kobold monsters themselves. The journey was endless and surrounded by a large crossbow and stone-throwing battery on top of the cabin buildings. The moment, as they gradually went deeper and deeper in this cottage village, Qin Fan and the others also finally encountered the third wave of monsters, only to see a swarm of goblin monsters with blue and green skin tones suddenly appear before them. At the same time the crossbows and turrets on the roofs around them appeared to be manned by goblin monsters. Phew! That huge crossbow bolt in the hands of the maniacally grinning cobalt gargoyle snapped at the group. Holy light shield! With Su Ro letting out a crisp, Low drink. Buzz. A huge light shield completely enveloped the entire team. Ding. That one incoming crossbow bolt was directly bounced off the light shield. And at this time, a group of cobalt monsters with weapons in front of them quickly rushed up. In contrast to the previous two waves of monsters, this time the monsters even knew how to utilize the building's crossbows and turrets on the roof to attack the invading adventurers. Remote output kill the small monsters on the roofs around us. Don't drop your chain in the front row. Zhou Shenkan roared. However, what he didn't know was that Qin Fan simply didn't place Zhou Xuancan's words in his eyes. In the face of this group of pouncing goblin monsters, he even just walked out directly outside the range of the holy light shield released by Su Ro in a dignified manner. What are you doing? Trying to get killed? See this scene. The rest of the team was in a hurry. However, Fatty and Zhou Xuancan's eyes lit up. This guy even took the initiative to run out and seek death. Originally, with Su Ro's holy light shield in place, even if Qin Fan was brittle, he would be fine. Hiding in the shield and poking with his sword to kill the monsters that were isolated outside the shield. Turns out this guy took it upon himself to get out of shield range. Seeing this, Su Ro's pretty face also swept through a flash of anxiety. But, the next moment, a scene that made everyone's jaws drop appeared. Chapter 20, Previously Despised. Now needed to be looked up to. Only to see Qin Fan lifting up that Shin Crystal Earth Scale sword with a calm expression. Followed by a lightly swung sword sweep. Put. The dozen or so goblin monsters that required two outputs to set fire to kill them in seconds were directly cut off by the terrifying sword chi that he swung out, killing them on the spot. It was too late to even scream. After killing a dozen or so goblin monsters with a single sword, Qin Fan did not retreat. Instead, he stepped heavily towards the front. Clunk! Under his terrifying power, 
the ground was directly sunken, and the Xian Crystal Earth Scale Sword in his hand swung out a second sword once again. Swish, the incomparably sharp sword chi spread out in ripples at a speed visible to the naked eye. What took off with it was the upper half of the cut-off cobalt mini-monster and the sticky blood that soared like a fountain. Bang, bang, bang. The small group of cobalt monsters that had been frantically howling and running towards the adventuring team had all lost their lives at this moment, and the culprit for all this, but only two swords were swung. Silly. Everyone in the group looked dumbfounded. Each and every one of them was dumbfounded, with a strong shock as well as unbelievability filling their cheeks. It was as if all the inner perceptions had been shaken and shattered viciously. However, the shock Qin Fan gave the crowd was much more than that. His toes flicked, and his entire figure, with borrowed strength, ascended to the top of these wooden house buildings in a single leap. Swish, another sword chi. Aya, those little cobalt monsters that were maneuvering crossbows and stone throwing turrets only had time to let out a mournful scream before they were sliced in half with their crossbows by the sword chi. Phew, the cobalt gargoyle on the other side, who was maneuvering the crossbow turret gritted his teeth violently and suddenly shot a tricky angle arrow at the human figure that struck fear into all of them. Little. The word heart hadn't even fallen from Su Ro's small mouth. Kaching. The steel-feathered arrow that shot out at a rapid pace was then grabbed by Qin Fan with his hand and snapped with a sound. What a horrible perceptual response. What a terrible power. Surprisingly, even the feathered arrows made of steel were easily pinched and broken. Immediately after that, another sword Qi swept out ending the only two remaining goblin minions and ending this third wave of monster attacks. Not even the Xian Crystal Earth Scale Sword was stained with the monster's blood. When Qin Fan refalls to the ground, he realizes that the expressions of everyone in the team are frozen, each one of them just staring at him as if they had seen a monster. With the monster resolved, isn't it time to move on? Qin Fan asked indifferently. In response to him, there was a deathly silence, especially Zhou Xin Kan and Fatty, who wanted to find an opportunity to put Qin Fan to death were even more pale and white at this moment. Why are you? You so strong? After holding his tongue for a while, Blue Hair, who was an assassin in the team, swallowed hard before asking with a trembling voice. The others were also gazing at Qin Fan incredulously. They can't figure it out. Isn't it true that dragon masters are trash when they don't have a dragon contracted to them? Then why was Qin Fan's combat power so terrifying? Two seconds killed the monster swarm that would take them half an hour to tackle. And... It seemed like this guy had simply swung his sword from start to finish without using any of his skills at all. Coupled with that terrifying sense of combat intuition, and the surging power that steel can be easily gripped and broken. No one wanted to believe that this would be something a dragon master without dragons could do. Facing Blue Hair's inquiry, Qin Fan coldly returned, Am I obligated to answer you? Crowd. If it was before entering the secret realm and Qin Fan dared to speak to them in such a tone, then they would definitely make a move to beat Qin Fan up. But now, one could only shrink his head, and although his face was ugly and his heart was upset, he didn't dare to retort, because the other side is too strong. However, Su Ro was the only one, and her pair of beautiful eyes that looked at Qin Fan were already filled with different colors. Next, we all listened to Qin Fan's command. Do you all have any comments? At this point, Su Ro even took the initiative to come forward and made a suggestion that made Zhou Xian can gnash his teeth. The crowd looked at each other in utter silence. As per the usual rules, it is true that whoever is strong in the team then assumes command. The outstanding battle power displayed by Qin Fan in front of him could already be said to have crushed everyone. Since all of you are silent, it's considered agreed. Su Ro said with a big smile. In this regard, Qin Fan was quite happy to see it. First of all, he didn't want to hear this Zhou Xuan Khan's self-righteous command again. Secondly, he also sensed the intense killing intent that Zhou Xuan Khan as well as that fatty were exuding towards him. That's right. It's the killing intent. Don't underestimate the SSS ranked passive skill of bloodline fusion. Even the excellent perception as well as combat intuition that belonged uniquely to the dragon race had been inherited by Qin Fan. This was why he didn't even need to look at it. He could casually cancel out the monster's sneak attack. And, the dragons also had a very keen sense of those malicious intentions against them. Qin Fan had just gotten a glimpse of the intense killing intent that Zhou Xin Kan and that fat man had aimed at him. So Qin Fan didn't mind snatching the command position over. Being careful is a good thing. Even if you are already unbeatable among your peers, being cautious is the only way to go for a long time. By the way, the rules for the distribution of benefits remain the same. Whoever has a high percentage of output then receives a high percentage of rewards. Sheen Fan's sentence. Have everyone opened their team's damage stats panel. Then they despaired to see. Output percentage. No. 1. Sheen Fan. 80% output. No. 2. Zhou Xin Kan. 10% output. No. Li Dafu. 5% of output. No surprises, Qin Fan was the highest. After all, 
all the DPS of this third wave of monsters belonged to him, and his teammates at the time looked dumbfounded, completely forgetting about output, and as a pastor, Suzu pads the bottom of the list, but it's normal because of the specificity of the profession, just, the percentage of output professions like Zhou Shinkan and Li Dafu, however, was heartbreaking, this means that in addition to the pastor's share of the fixed income, the remaining 80% of the total proceeds were to be divided by Qin Fan, and for the team lineup distribution, everything will be commanded by Su Ro, I, on the other hand, am free to play the bit, after all, I don't want you guys to hold me back, Qin Fan's cold words, however, were like a slap in their faces, the key is, they haven't been able to refute it, the dragon master that they had previously despised and spat upon, now turn around and become a being that they need to look up to, this time, inside they already couldn't help but be skeptical, this Qin Fan had become so strong, could it be that he had really contracted him to a high level dragon race, but it was quickly dismissed with a shake of their heads, no way, he must have gotten lucky and eaten some kind of heavenly material to become so strong, as for contracting to the legendary dragons, that was absolutely impossible, chapter 21, people's hearts turn against each other, we can only run away, after this one, Zhou Shinkan and the others, who had originally mocked and looked down on Qin Fan, fell into a collective silence, they no longer dared to point fingers at Qin Fan, Su Ro was relieved to see this, she was really afraid that this Zhou Shinkan would continue to provoke Qin Fan without knowing what to do, she had a sixth sense, if it was said that if Qin Fan was not brought into the secret realm before, then this adventure squad would definitely die here, since this third wave of monsters were almost all solved by Qin Fan himself, the others just watched the show and did not consume much stamina, instead of choosing to rest, they continued on towards the depths of the village, finally, after moving forward for a few minutes, in front of a large gate, a 5 meter tall cobalt heavy warrior filled with exploding muscles was seen, the reason why it's a reload, that's because the giant cobalt was wearing a heavy steel armor with a huge helmet that armed his body from head to tail, leaving only a slit for his own view of what was in front of him, and in his hand was a huge rusty iron sword, roar, when the giant cobalt saw the human that appeared in front of it, it roared out in anger, instead, Mu Dust was still calmly scanning the other party with that eye of appraisal, monster, giant cobalt, level, 17, type, humanoid, skills, war trample, charge assault, mega decapitation, skin hardening, support summoning, berserking, qualification, silver, remarks, the cobalt king's right hand man has extremely strong strength, and strong defense, general physical attacks will be immune to 30%, everyone be careful, this should be an elite monster level existence, make sure not to be careless, Su Ro also prompted the other teammates at this moment with a pretty face, however, the words just fell, roar, the giant cobalt just came crashing towards the crowd wrapped in a terrifying destructive force, punch and judy, this is its exclusive skill, at the same time, it could be seen that its originally turquoise skin was rapidly turning brown at this moment, as if it was like a layer of brown paint had been brushed on its body, skin hardening, this is how it became immune to 30% of physical attacks, Su Ro, Zhou Shenkan, Li Dafu and the others quickly fled away, however, the fat man of the warrior profession was a step slower because his agility was not high enough, in the nick of time, he could only grit his teeth and raise his shield, there was a loud bang, the crowd then saw that fatty, who could handle even a charge against dozens of goblin mini monsters, was actually knocked away without any resistance under the charge of this giant goblin, and while the fat man flew backwards and spat out blood, that giant cobalt even stopped itself hard from continuing its running in sudden advance, forcibly twisting his body, he locked his sight on Li Dafu's body, this, Li Dafu's face changed, he simply did not expect this giant goblin to have such agility and flexibility while possessing great strength, run, there was no hesitation, as an assassin profession, Li Dafu could not possibly fight this kind of elite monsters, in the heat of the moment, he directly turned on Shadow Sneak and dodged towards the surrounding rooms. Stupid. In the face of this move by Li Dafu, Qin Fan only spat out these two words icily. Next, it really seems to be to corroborate Qin Fan's assessment. Ah! A scream came instantly from Dafu Li, who had rushed into the building. There was also the sound of teeth tearing into flesh and bone. Apparently, there are just as many goblin minions lurking inside the room. It's well known. Some games will give elite monsters a skill that can summon minions when they get to the level of elite monsters. When Qin Fan saw a support summoning in the skill information of this giant goblin, he knew then that a good number of cobalt gargoyles actually inhabited the room that seemed to be empty all around. All it takes is for the giant goblin to use the support summoning skill. These goblin gremlins will then charge out of the room in a frenzy. And this Li Dafu hide where not good, but want to hide into the room. No need to look. 
Li Dafu was dead as a doornail. Hearing Li Dafu's miserable screams, the faces of the few partners around him turned white. Qin Fan was the only one who remained calm and indifferent. To say why Qin Fan didn't step in to save them, the reason was simple. They also wanted Qin Fan to die. Earlier, when this group of people looked at Qin Fan filled with mocking smiles as he acted as the front row, Qin Fan knew that they couldn't wait for him to die. If he had not contracted to the blazing holy dragon, then he himself remained weak and continued to serve as the front row, and it was estimated that he would pretty much hang up in the first wave of the small monsters. To be clear, on the surface this is a team, but in reality the hearts and minds of the people have long since gone their separate ways. Then Qin Fan would naturally not incarnate as a holy mother to save the other party. Besides, without them, Qin Fan could still pass through the secret realm. He has the cutest and most powerful sips. Roar. Solve Li Dafu. The giant goblin instantly placed its murderous and brutal sight on Joe Swankin and the others again. Run. Without any hesitation, Joe Swankin directly turned his head and ran. It didn't even occur to him to run with Su Ro as he passed by. By this time they had realized that this secret realm was completely impossible to attack. Even with Su Ro, a priest, giving them buffs, they were no match for this giant kobold. A brutal charge blitz from the other side could completely disorganize the entire team's formation. Eyes on the boys running faster than a dog. The giant kobold grunted angrily, not bothering to expend any more effort to pursue the cowards. It placed its eyes on the white-skinned Su Ro, huffing and puffing, just for a second. Su Ro then saw with a pale face that the giant kobold had actually fallen into a state of excitement, and dirty sticky saliva kept flowing down. It was a disgusting look, like a demented man seeing a beautiful woman. Welp! Su Ro was so frightened that she hurried to Qin Fan's side, treating Su Ro. Qin Fan more or less had to manage a bit. You back off. I'll take care of this monster. Qin Fan said calmly and incomparably. Neither arrogance nor conviction. But it was this calm voice that gave Su Ro a full sense of security. Well, I can put a couple buffs on you. Su Ro nodded with incomparable peace of mind. Then waved her scepter and gave Qin Fan all the buffs she could. Buzz. Qin Fan's combat power soared nearly tenfold at this moment. No wonder everyone else has to name a priest as a support position for their copies. This kind of buff increase is really fierce. Feeling the sense of power filling his body. Qin Fan shook his hand and revealed a cold smile. Chapter 22 Fire Dragon Bomb Kill the Giant Kobold The moment The giant kobold was already roaring and charging towards Qin Fan, still using charge assault plus skin hardening in conjunction. It made the giant kobold seem like a bulldozer that pushed everything horizontally, wrapped in terrifying destructive power, and just crushed towards Qin Fan. It's still only two seconds. The distance of dozens of meters was narrowed down to less than two meters by the giant kobold. Even Qin Fan could smell the disgusting stench from this giant kobold. Get on your knees. In the face of this giant kobold that seemed invincible, Qin Fan however let out a low shout, twisted his wrist, and the incomparably sharp Xin Jing earth scale sword was just swept out violently by him. Boom. The sharp sword Qi slashed at its shoulder, coming into close collision with its hard brown skin. Under the effect of 30% physical damage immunity, this invincible Xin Jing earth scale sword merely left a shallow wound on it. Ah. Uh, but the troll kobold was already screaming out, and his ferocious and unrivaled impact momentum was so hard to be blocked. At the same time, because the sharp sword that slashed at its shoulder carried a monstrous force, it caused it to drop to one knee with a loud boom. Roar! The giant kobold who was forced to kneel on one knee only felt endlessly humiliated. In this kobold village, only the kobold king can bring it to its knees. This tiny human in front of him dared to make it kneel. Disobedience! Buzz! The giant kobold's muscles bulged once again and a heart-stopping pressure swept out even more. Berserking, it finally used the move to increase the buff. However, looking at the giant kobold whose breath was climbing up, Qin Fan however let out a cold smile. The only reason you're so arrogant is because of the protection of your armor and the physical immunity effect of skin hardening. But have you ever wondered what would happen if I blasted a fire dragon round into your helmet at such close range? The words fell. It didn't matter if the giant kobold understood or not. Qin Fan violently released the Shin Crystal Earth Scale Sword in his hand. The moment he let go of the Xin Jing Earth Scale Sword, Fire Dragon Bomb, the B-rank skill that had already finished chanting long ago blasted out directly from Qin Fan's hands, and it just blasted right into the gap in the giant kobold's helmet. Rumble, under the gaze of Su Ro who was surprised to the extreme, the terrifyingly incomparable flames transformed into an inflammatory dragon, whistling and burrowing inside the helmet, completely burning and melting the giant kobold's head. Bang, there wasn't even time to make a resistance or a scream. The huge figure then fell straight down. So far, the giant goblin elite monster. The crusade has been successful, but there weren't any materials, props, or equipment drops. The secret copies are usually cleared before you get the total reward. Su Ro, 
who had watched the entire battle, just watched as this teenager completely crushed this giant goblin that even Zhou Xian Can and the others could only run away from. What's even more incredible to her is that, Jin Fan actually knew how to use flame magic. She was sure she was right. The flames that burned the giant cobalt instantly were magic damage, and looking at the power of the skill, it was at least B rank or above. This giant goblin has high physical immunity and physical defense, but low legal resistance. Being bombarded by Qin Fan in such a way towards his head, the head directly blossomed and the flesh was completely burned and melted away. After all, this was the exclusive skill of a dragon master. Fire Dragon Bomb. It looked similar to a mage's fireball spell, but in reality, it didn't know how many times stronger it was. Qin Fan, do you still want to keep going? Su Ro also walked to Qin Fan's side at this time. Perhaps the only way she could feel safe was to be near this teenager. Speaking of which, in just two days, she had sort of experienced the true indifference of human beings, the betrayal of Zhuo Feng and Lu Qing, as well as Zhou Shenkan and the others who said they were running. Arguably, if it wasn't for Qin Fan, then Su Ro would have to die twice. LOL. It's hard to know what's going on. Acquaintances betray instead, but strangers help themselves. This had to make Su Ro feel a lot of emotions inside. Of course I'm going to keep raiding. But if you're scared, you can go ahead and leave, and I'll be fine raiding on my own. Xin Fan said calmly, he was now a dragon master with dragons, as long as Sake is around. Nothing scares me. Gah. And this time, sensing the departure of Joe Swankin and the others, Little Wine, who had been sleeping in Qin Fan's arms, poked out a cute little head from the opening of Qin Fan's collar. It squinted and hummed happily, because it senses its master's trust and dependence on it. No, I'm going to follow you. Even though I'm only a support profession, I can at least add buffs to you and make your battle power skyrocket several times. Su Ro's pretty face was filled with determination. All right, then when the time comes to distribute the rewards, we'll split it in half. For teammates who were willing to follow him, Qin Fan was never stingy. So the two men came to the gate of the final citadel fortress and slowly pushed the gate open. Swish, beyond the secret world, four figures teleported out from the entrance vortex. It was none other than the four Zhou Shinken people. Originally there were six of them, Li Dafu and Fatty died inside, only four have escaped safely now, and during the escape, the other two were sneak attacked by a small monster that suddenly appeared and lost an arm, right now, one could only barely take a primary recovery elixir to stop the bleeding, if he wanted to break his arm and regenerate it, he was afraid that he would have to spend nearly a hundred million dragon coins again to get a second turned great priest to make a move, grass, shit, Zhou Shenkan, who was covered in a mess could not help but hurl out a tirade of curses. He was genuinely having trouble accepting it. How could that trashy dragon master be so tough? Brother Zhou, what now? One of them asked cautiously. Wait here for a bit, until Qin Fan and Su Ro come out, Zhou Shenkin said in a deep voice. The entrance to the secret realm hadn't disappeared. That means Qin Fan and Su Ro should not be dead, because in all wild secret realms, once someone goes in and they all die, or if they all escape, the entrance to the secret realm will disappear randomly appear at the next location. Damn it, a silver level wild secret realm is this hard to beat. It's rumored that the secret realm of the transfer exam is also a silver level secret realm copy, and it's even more difficult than that, because it's that Yama who makes the questions. The other man couldn't help but sigh bitterly. The so-called Yama is the nickname of some high school exam questioner. The name is Zhang Xiaoshan. Zhang Xiaoshan always liked to come up with some difficult secret copies as exam questions in the previous transitional exams. So he was addressed as Yin Wang by the candidates. It probably means that this questioner has no feelings and only knows how to make things difficult for the students. Brother Zhou, what do you think we should do in case that Qin Fan passes this copy with Su Ro? A partner with dyed red hair couldn't help but ask. Being asked that, Zhou Swankin fell into silence, and his eyes were even more completely clouded. Chapter 23, Give Me a Breath to Kill It. When Qin Fan's powerful arms pushed open the door in front of him, stepped into this cottage castle with Su Ro. The entire cottage castle was built utilizing trees as well as various metal materials and appeared to be extremely sturdy. Under the gradual progression, Qin Fan and Su Ro traveled through a few more gates and eventually arrived at the deepest part of this cottage castle. In front of him, there was a hall filled with a fishy odor. Ornaments made from human bones hung around them. Only in the middle of this hall, there was a tall giant figure sitting on top of an equally huge stone seat. As the place was dim and dreary and devoid of light, it caused this giant figure to seemingly disappear into the shadows. Humans, seemingly smelling an unfamiliar yet familiar scent, the giant figure that was originally slumbering on the stone seat finally slowly opened its eyes, and the instant its scarlet eyes, larger than copper bells, opened, buzz, a strong pressure that belonged solely to a boss level monster instantly swept away, how many years, 
No human has ever come before the king alive. I didn't expect to see you two insignificant humans today. This gigantic figure actually spat out human words while rising from its stone seat. This, Su Ro's pretty face turned white from this terrifying boss pressure. She never expected the deepest boss of this goblin village to be so terrifying, but soon she was celebrating. Luckily she didn't follow Zhou Xian Ken's bunch of cowards. Luckily, she insisted on letting Qin Fan join the team. If it wasn't for Qin Fan, then Zhou Shenkan and the others would have already died when they faced that giant goblin. Now, even though she was facing a boss that was emitting a terrifying pressure, but Su Ro still didn't despair because she knew that Qin Fan definitely had a way to defeat this ultimate boss that was even stronger than a giant goblin. And Qin Fan had already used the eye of appraisal to look through the basic information of the boss in front of him. Monster, Cobalt King, Level, 19, Type, Humanoid, Gift, King's Authority, Skills, War Trample, Charge Assault, Precision Throw, Mega Decapitation, Skin Hardening, Support Summoning, Berserking, King's Shelter, Magic Shield, Qualification, Silver, Remarks, The Lord of the Cobalt Village, Possessing Unparalleled Terrifying Strength and Undaunted Valor. It can be seen, this goblin king has one more, talent, message than that giant goblin. That's normal. Those monsters with high levels, or bosses, then basically have their own talents. Something like the Cobalt King's King's Authority, which is immune to 70% of physical damage. It's considered an extremely strong talent among monsters. At least with this one skill, it was enough to crush an adventure squad that favored the physical system. More critically, there was also such a skill as Magic Shield in the skill bar of this boss. As the name suggests, when used, it can form a special effect shield on the body of the boss that is used to protect against magical attacks. That is to say, the boss in front of him not only possessed extremely terrifying physical damage reduction, but also possessed shield skills that restrained magic professions. If Zhou Shinkan and the others appeared here and saw such an imposing boss, I'm afraid that they would again be scared shitless and run away. Xin Fan, what should we do? Seeing that this boss whose body was as massive as a small mountain stood up and also picked up the sharp giant axe in her hand, Su Ro also nervously inquired. She was now completely dependent on Qin Fan. If Qin Fan told her to go east, then she would definitely not dare to go west. No need to do anything. Let's just watch the show. If this boss can survive for more than 10 seconds, I'll count it as great. Qin Fan replied indifferently. Ha! Huh? Su Ro sniffed and froze completely. Just watch the show? And such a strong boss couldn't survive more than 10 seconds in Qin Fan's eyes? This, ha ha, you're the first human who hasn't been scared into kneeling down upon seeing this king and who can still be so arrogant. The Cobalt King, who was proficient in the human language, burst into a contemptuous sneer. The moment. It was only then that it slowly stood out from the shadows, striding towards the direction where Qin Fan and Su Ro were. Its massive body wore a shimmering, mottled armor. Gripped in his hand was a huge plate axe that was enough to slap a dozen or so people into meat patties. Under its stride. Clunk. 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 The ground was even more cracked with spiderweb-like cracks under its trampling. Arrogant? You'll see if I'm arrogant later. Qin Fan sneered. Spinning around, he let out a low. Sake. Swish. A petite and cute figure emerged from Qin Fan's collar. That goblin king didn't have time to see what was flying out. Roar. A roar filled with terrifying dragon might rang out directly. Under the horrify to the core expression of the Goblin King, who who who, the entire castle hall suddenly swept up a huge storm, and that originally petite and cute figure was instantly skyrocketing in the storm. Next, Sake finally showed its true size. A crimson dragon that was 10 meters tall and had its head reaching the ceiling just appeared in front of everyone. This, Su Ro on the side looked at such a huge behemoth, her sharp jaw dropped in shock, and her entire delicate body stiffened. Dragon, I can't believe it's really a dragon. Oh. My god. Moreover, the majestic and sacred aura emanating from it even made Su Ro understand that this giant dragon with endless flames burning all over its body was definitely a top-level existence even when placed in the dragon race. Qin Fan had actually contracted a dragon. And it was still this top-notch dragon. Ah. All of Su Ro's original fear of that boss monster was instantly emptied at this moment. And her inner worldview seemed to have been struck hard by a hammer. Completely collapsing. Actually. It's not just Su Zua who is like that. Even the goblin king that was originally laughing towards Qin Fan and the others. At this moment, its ugly cheeks were even twitching as it looked at the horrible creature that appeared before it. This invincible dragon that even it needed to look up to made it feel a strong threat of death as well as a deep fear. Of course, more than anything else, it is terrified by. The teenager named Qin Fan suddenly smiled and shouted little whine. Gah! As a result, this 10 meter tall flame dragon actually squinted its eyes for real and a purring sound like that of a cat rang out from its throat as it lowered its huge head to Qin Fan. This, this human who was only level 15, 
Surprisingly, it made a divine and noble blazing saint dragon lower its head. However, it was too late for the goblin king to marvel. Because, next, only to see that human turn his icy gaze towards it, while at the same time giving orders to this blazing saint dragon. Sake, see this ugly monster in front of you? Give me a mouthful of dragon breath to spray it to death. Chapter 24 A Sea of Fire Previously, Sake had awakened dragon shape transformation, an exclusive skill of the dragon race, when he upgraded, divine fire destruction form, force shakes the sky form, divine flame extinction form, own magic damage is increased by 500%, physical damage is reduced by 500%, force shakes the sky form, your physical damage is increased by 500%, and your magic damage is decreased by 500%. Now that Sake was covered in blazing flames, the rolling heat wave swept around causing the entire cottage castle to start showing signs of being burned, even the temperature around it had risen. Su Ro even had to apply a holy light shield on herself to barely isolate the layer of heat that made her almost get roasted. As for being the owner of a tipple, Xin Fan would not even be affected in any way when he stood beside Xiao Wine. This is what makes the Dragon Master profession so powerful. The Goblin King, which was the boss, had been scared to death at the moment, and the rolling heat wave was making the appearance of its skin tend to be close to being baked. It caused it to cast a self-healing skill, constantly repairing against the sweeping heat wave. The fact that it was still standing peacefully now was actually because Little Wine saw that its master's friend, Su Ro, was present, which was why it had deliberately restrained the might of the divine fire on its body. Otherwise, with Sake's current divine flame extinction stance, if it was unfolded at full strength, it wouldn't even mention the goblin king and Su Ro. I'm afraid that even this cottage palace in front of me will be burned to ashes in an instant. And at Qin Fan's command, it was only then that Little Wine raised his huge dragon head, and his golden vertical pupils filled with brilliant dragon authority just looked down with contempt at the goblin king who had been scared stiff. That look, as if to say, little inferior creature, how dare you show your teeth at my master. Clunk, the ground simply wasn't strong enough to hold Sake's own hefty weight, and so moved his dragon feet towards the goblin king, that goblin king's eyes were wide open at the moment, his heart filled with fear and despair, and for the first time, the thought of trying to escape arose. Instead, it found its arms and legs completely stiffened. Only then did Su Ro come back to her senses. She looked at the blazing flame holy dragon that seemed to be moving like a small mountain in disbelief as she looked at Qin Fan. I originally thought that the one who made a contract with you was an inferior dragon. I didn't expect it to be the top existence in the dragon race. The blazing sacred dragon. Although there were no records of any dragon masters in this world who had successfully tamed a high-level dragon race, but that doesn't mean humans don't have information about dragons. The major countries had long ago ordered their own publishing houses to develop information books on major monsters and magical beasts, supplying them to the major transmogrifier adventurers to watch and study. The records about the dragon race within it were also very detailed. Su Ro had once also carefully read the detailed descriptions of the high-ranking dragons in the books, where, that blazing flame holy dragon with its lofty aura, as if it was the lord of divine flame, had left an extremely deep impression on Su Ro. She never thought that she would be able to see the legendary blazing flame holy dragon that stood at the apex of the dragon race here today. What's more, I didn't expect that this student, who was extremely low-key and had no presence in the class on weekdays, would have the honor of contracting this legendary existence. The feeling can no longer be expressed by envy. In response to Su Ro's marveling, Qin Fan's expression remained calm, not seeing any ripples. However, Su Ro was smiling bitterly to herself at the moment and muttered. It's said that Dragon Master is the most wasteful hidden profession. This argument is kind of scrapped on you, Sheen Fan. If it were said that people all over the world knew that you, Sheen Fan, had successfully contracted a blazing sacred dragon, I'm afraid that their jaws would drop in shock. She really wasn't exaggerating at all with that statement. And, it really did leave her with incredibly mixed emotions. Since she was a child she was almost always labeled a genius. It could almost be said that she should be the strongest priest among the high school students in Ning. But in Qin Fan this demon compared to, not only in terms of battle power than others, at the same time, they also have the strongest dragon pet. Just ask if you're convinced. The moment. Qin Fan was too lazy to respond to Su Ro's bitter sentiment. Forsake had moved his massive dragon body to descend in front of that goblin king. Level 7 blazing holy dragon versus level 19 boss goblin king. Obviously the goblin king was a full 12 levels higher than Sake. But the goblin king suddenly flopped down on his knees. Big brother spare, I know it's wrong. The words were not finished. Bears, a mouthful of dragon's breath wrapped in monstrous waves of fire was spat out from little wine's dragon's mouth. Aya, ah. in Su Ro's shocked sight, this goblin king merely had time to let out a miserable scream before instantly drowning in that monstrous wave of fire. Seconds, 
Straight up seconds. The Goblin King didn't even put up any resistance and instantly died in this dragon's breath. It probably didn't even dream that it was just a small boss in the Silver Mystic Realm that had attracted a blazing sacred dragon to kill it. Stop gawking and get up here. Sheen Fan pulled over Su Ro's hand and led Su Ro to jump onto the back of the little wine. Gah! Sake let out a disgruntled growl this time. It didn't like humans other than Sheen Fan climbing on its back. Alright, wine good boy, consider it a favor I owe you. After this, I'll make you whatever you want to eat, and until you're satisfied and comfortable. Sheen Fan was also quick to comfort his own little dragon cub. As a noble and extremely top-notch dragon race, Sake treated all humans other than Sheen Fan as trash. Naturally, they don't allow other humans to climb on their backs. But Sheen Fan can't do anything about it. Sake's data panel was already extremely terrifying. Plus now that he had converted into the divine flame extinction form, he had a full 500% bonus to his magical flames. This mouthful of dragon's breath went down. This huge hill fortress castle was also instantly burned to ashes. The surroundings were plunged into a sea of fire. To this, if Qin Fan didn't take Su Ro with him, then Su Ro would definitely be buried in the fire along with that goblin king. Gah! Hearing the benefits that his master had promised him, the snack foodie didn't mind after all. Phew! The huge dragon wings instantly stretched out and flapped violently under. Boom! The ground actually swept up a terrifying tornado storm, blowing the surrounding sea of fire even more ferociously. Swish! Almost instantly, Little Wine had then taken Sheen Fan and Su Ro up into the air and soared into the sky, overlooking this very vast rainforest world from a high altitude. Su Ro's heart was beating, and she was even so nervous that she had to tightly embrace Sheen Fan, fearing that she would fall down. A pair of jewel-like eyes flashed with a strange color. And the scent from Qin Fan's body that made her feel at ease came from the tip of her nose, and coupled with the royal wind, Su Ro's entire body fell into an extremely comfortable and ethereal state. Chapter 25 Secret Passage, Bountiful Rewards Boom! But Sake didn't want the girl on his back for long. After leaping out of that rolling sea of fire, he found a clearing to land instantly. Gah! Sake huffed and urged Su Ro to hurry down. If it wasn't for its own master bribing it with tasty treats, it wouldn't have hitched a ride with this human. Qin Fan also hurriedly took Su Ro down. In the meantime, buzz, a pillar of light suddenly descended from the sky, completely enveloping the two. Looks like it's time to hand out pass rewards. Now not to mention that Goblin King, even the Goblin Village was burning and spreading under a mouthful of Sake's dragon breath. The divine fire of the blazing holy dragon was naturally not an ordinary flame. Not only does it contain a tremendous amount of destructive power, but it also causes great burning damage to the target spirit. A level 7 dragon pet with a mouthful of dragon's breath directly passes through the silver level secret realm on level 15 hell difficulty. It's that much of a stretch. It's just so unreasonable. It's just so invincible. A dragon master with dragons was already the strongest profession. Bar none. Su Ro, who was on the side, looked at the sea of fire still burning in the distance, and her pretty face moved. A mouthful of dragon's breath is comparable to a natural disaster. As the daughter of the richest man in Anning City, Su Ro had seen many mage powerhouses since she was young. Even the few offerings in his own home were all second turn Dharma kings with ranks as high as level 45. She had personally seen these second turn Dharma kings strike out against their enemies before. And at the time, she was still shocked at how powerful second turn Dharma kings were. But now that she saw Qin Fan's dragon pet pass the secret realm with a mouthful of spit, Su Ro only felt. The gap between man and dragon is really big. The key was that this blazing saint dragon was still in its cub stage. No goddamned way. Qin Fan did not share Su Ro's heartfelt feelings, because the secret reward has dropped. A quest information panel appeared in front of Qin Fan and Su Ro. Congratulations on successfully clearing the Goblin Village secret world. Passing time, 7 minutes 21 seconds. Rating, SSS. Rewards are now being handed out. Congratulations on gaining 5. 000 experience points. Congratulations on earning the title of Goblin Slayer. Congratulations on gaining 30 free attribute points and 30 skill points. Clunk. At the end of the day, a silver treasure chest that shimmered with silver light crashed down in front of Qin Fan. This made Qin Fan realize that the above experience, title, and attribute point rewards were available to everyone in the team. And this silver treasure chest is the real great reward. That's actually the bad thing about grouping. The experience and attribute point rewards after clearing the level are distributed evenly to all. Take this pass. Qin Fan gained 5000 experience value. Su Ro should have gained the same 5000 experience value and the total experience value for clearing the level was 1W. If Zhou Xian Kan's group of losers were still here, then the 1W experience value would be split into 8. Each one gets a thousand experience at best. So if you can solo through the secret world, then it's best to do so, or your teammates will split the rewards. Ka Ching! 
Without any hesitation, Qin Fan opened the silver treasure chest that shimmered with silver light. Buzz. This was followed by the dropping of several items. The detailed information of all these items also appeared in front of Qin Fan and Su Ro's eyes. Item, Priest Profession C Grade Skill Book Holy Light Guardian Times 1. Item, Silver Ring Game Magic Ring Times 1. Item, Life Profession Second Turning Scroll Times 1. Item, C Rank Material Cobalt King's Heart Times 1. Item, Silver Weapon Goblin King's Giant Sword Times 1. Item 6, Goblin King Enchanted Card X1. No wonder adventurers regard the wild secret realm as a precious opportunity. The sentiment is that the rewards are so rich. In the context of a world where resources are monopolized in the hands of major universities, organizations, and powerful families, most civilian trannies have a hard time getting ahead. It has also resulted in resources becoming extremely valuable. Even a D-rank skill book could fetch a sky-high price of tens of millions of dragon coins in the market. It even breaks into the 100 plus million dollars range at times. Not to mention a C-rank skill book. And a silver ring and a silver weapon are worth at least about 30 million dragon coins on the market. The life profession second turn scroll was quite a bit cheaper compared to the prices of the above items, but it still cost around 5 million dollars. Also, there are also C-rank materials. Enchantment cards for goblin kings. This thing is also worth tens of millions of dollars. That is to say, such a trip down a silver level copy of a wild secret. The income alone was at least two or three hundred million dragon coins. This is money that nearly 99% of families will never make in their lifetime. Sheen Fan, who had been a pauper in his previous and current lives, was subconsciously breathing heavily. Su Ro, as a rich young lady, was also slightly moved. Anning is a small fourth or fifth tier city. Her family, being the richest, and her family's company has a market capitalization of 30 to 40 billion dollars. It sure looks like a lot, but that was only through the efforts of her forefathers, generation after generation, that she had the strong fortune she had today. But nowadays, it's just a wild secret realm, but you can get rewards worth a few hundred million dollars. If this met a few more wild resource mysteries, wouldn't that easily exceed her family's wealth? While both were lamenting, the only one who looked at these rewards with a disdainful face was Sake, who had already turned back into a small lizard state. It's a noble blazing sacred dragon. A single drop of its refined dragon blood, that was a rare thing that couldn't be measured in terms of money. With these small rewards in front of it, it was naturally too lazy to let it get on with it. For more than these rewards, the little dragon cub wished to hurry home and then let his master make delicious food for him. Sheen Fan, I barely contributed to the secret realm attack this time. It was you and your dragon pet that took care of it. So as for the reward, I have no problem with you taking it all. Suro said softly, she was very pushed in her mind. These rewards in front of you are truly generous, but she's not qualified to take it. Because it was Qin Fan who carried her throughout the entirety of the secret realm, it was not even an exaggeration to say that she was a drag, so she was also very self-aware and wasn't going to take these rewards at all. That cleric skill book and the gaming ring go to you, the rest goes to me. Qin Fan also directly distributed the rewards. This, Su Ro sniffed a bit dumbfounded. The C-rank skill book and gain magic ring should be the most expensive of all the rewards. But Qin Fan just assigned it to himself, and Su Ro was ashamed. Take it if it's given to you, and besides, it's not like you're going to get all this stuff for nothing, you're going to have to pay something for it. Qin Fan said blandly, at what cost? Su Ro asked cautiously, as if she had thought of something, a touch of redness suddenly surfaced on her playful little face. This guy, you don't think you want her to give yourself to you, do you? Facts, she's overthinking it. Only Qin Fan faintly said, I just need you to do two things. Chapter 26 Shamelessness, Putting SB, on Death's Door. First, keep the matter about me having contracted a dragon pet a secret, even from your closest people, until I finish my entrance exams. Secondly, transfer 30 million dollars to my bank card. This matter should likewise be done secretly. I believe that with your status as the eldest miss of the Su family it shouldn't be difficult to do so. Agree to the above two conditions and this skill book and ring will be yours. Xin Fan said calmly. The reason why he did this was actually because the skill book and ring could only be taken out and sold when they reached his hands. It is also more cumbersome and easier to be noticed at that time. Then why don't we give it to Su Ro as a favor? After all, the Su family's volume in Anning City was not small, and before Qin Fan had completely grown up, he still needed to operate other relationships as much as possible. Plus, during this period of time together, Qin Fan realized that Su Ro's character was quite good, neither arrogant nor bossy, then it would be nice to be friends with her. Okay, both of those conditions are fine. I promise I can do it. Su Ro nodded solemnly at this. Seeing this, Qin Fan did not hesitate in the slightest and directly threw the skill book and ring to her. The rest of the stuff was then loaded into his built-in space in one go. Ding. 
And at the moment, the system's beep also finally sounded. Congratulations to the host for completing all random quests. Now start handing out mission rewards. Congratulations on obtaining the life class profession second turn scroll times one. Congratulations on obtaining 5W experience elixir, shared by Dragon Pet X1. Now issued to the system warehouse. Please check it out by yourself. Host. Not bad at all. Especially the life class profession second turn scroll. Which was a good thing. Now Chin Fan had two scrolls in his hand. One for his own use and one to just sell directly. Of course, the most precious thing is this 5W experience elixir. Against this background of an extreme scarcity of experience resources, experience elixirs have become the most scarce resource. Those 3,000 and 5,000 experience pills on the market had been completely monopolized and could not be bought at all. It was something that only the powerful families could buy. As for the 5W experience elixir, that's even rarer of rare. Even if you spend money you can't buy it. At least at the moment, there is no output at all from sub-level 50 secret worlds. The most crucial thing was that the system rewarded this experience pill, which Chin Fan could also share with his dragon pet after eating it. Well, time to get out of this stuffy, hot hellhole. After counting the rewards, Chin Fan was also instantly relaxed. Gah! At this time, Xiao Wein, who had already turned into the size of a cat again, flapped its wings and landed on Chin Fan's shoulder. The little dragon cub's meaning was straightforward. I'm hungry. Hurry up and make food. Okay, 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 I'll make it for you as soon as I get out later. Treating this little baby, Chin Fan also had a doting face. Are you actually able to connect with your dragon pet's mind? Su Ro asked in surprise. This is all nonsense you ask. Don't all beast masters communicate with their beast pets? Chin Fan said helplessly. Well, I'm the lone voice. Su Ro looked sardonic. Soon, Chin Fan kept dimple in his arms as he and Su Ro left the secret realm that was already blazing. Buzz. After the brief dizziness from the space conveyor wore off, Chin Fan finally returned to the entrance of the secret realm in the real world. Just, hmm, what made Chin Fan frown was that Zhou Shenkan and these few people were still waiting at this entrance. Zoe, are you okay? Zhou Shenkan was slightly surprised to see that Chin Fan and Su Ro were able to escape the secret realm safely. And immediately afterward, he put on a concerned expression and came over towards Su Ro. The three remaining boys approached. I'm fine, thanks for asking, Su Ro said with a cold attitude. Not to mention that before Su Ro had no favorable impression of this Zhou Xian Can. Now after seeing Zhou Swan can turn and flee without the slightest regard for his teammates, Su Ro knew even more that this Zhou Xian Can was a complete and utter waste. If you teamed up with this kind of person for a copy, it was almost the same as saying that you would surely die. In the face of Su Ro's cold attitude, Zhou Xian Can could only give an awkward smile. I'm glad you're both okay, I thought you both wouldn't be able to escape. Ha! Who said we escaped? However, Su Ro, however, laughed coldly, her gaze sneering at Zhou Xianquan. Couldn't Qin Fan and I have come out only after we passed the barrier? Crowd. Pass. I can't believe they got through. How is that possible? That giant kobold would be completely out of the reach of students of their level. No need to bullshit them. Let's go. Qin Fan said indifferently. Su Ro lightly nodded her head. But just as they were about to turn around and leave, suddenly, slow down. The boy who dyed his hair red and whose profession was a swordsman shouted out. Chin Fan just turned around and looked at him indifferently. This, I don't know why. As he locked eyes with Chin Fan's cold and indifferent eyes, Red Hair unexpectedly felt a palpitating sense of creepiness. However, thinking of Zhou Swankin as well as his own little friends were beside him. So he was the bold one who said, Since you guys cleared the level, shouldn't the reward be taken out and shared? After all, we can be fellow members of a team. If it was really as Su Ro said, these two people had passed. The rewards reaped from that are definitely very generous. After all, this was a silver level hell difficulty copy of the secret realm, but that's the same sentence. It almost made both Qin Fan and Su Ro laugh in anger. How do they have this face? Midway through the game, he just ran away without regard for his teammates, only to turn around and realize that his teammates had cleared the level. So he licked his face and came over and said he wanted to split the reward. What the hell kind of words are those? Forget it, too lazy to bother with you bunch of losers. Su Ro, let's go. Qin Fan shook his head feeling that it was a waste of his time to bother with this group of self-righteous trash. Su nodded angrily as well. She had indeed never seen such a brazen person. I told you to stop. When this exasperated voice of the redhead rang out, swish, along with it, there was a sharp sword chi that stabbed straight behind Qin Fan. Gale chop. This redhead dared to draw his sword on Qin Fan. This caused Qin Fan, who originally did not intend to be bothered with them in general, to instantly chill his eyes. This sword, if it really hit, Qin Fan would lose at least most of his life. Although Gale Chop was only a D rank skill, 
as one of the killing moves at the low level of the swordsman profession. After hitting the enemy, the sword energy was like a gale drilling into the enemy's body, destroying the enemy's muscles and internal organs. If it was strengthened to 100% with skill points, then this gale sword chi would be even more violent. Needless to think, this redhead used this move at a critical moment, and was bound to want to put Qin Fan to death. Chapter 27, I can't believe I actually killed him. Su Ro, who was on the side, felt this sharp sword chi attacking towards Qin Fan. The pretty face also instantly changed color. She also never expected that this redhead would dare to suddenly sneak attack, just as she was about to shout the word watch out. Qin Fan's reaction was even faster. Clank. A sword chant. It only took Qin Fan a mere zero. 01 seconds to directly draw out the Xin Crystal Earth Scale Sword, followed by a sharp swing behind him. Ding! The Xin Jing Earth Scale Sword collided with this incomparably sharp sword chi, and dazzling sparks instantly bloomed. Hoomph! Qin Fan snorted coldly and twisted his wrist again. Swish! This razor sharp gale sword chi was actually just hardened and dissolved by him. This! Everyone around them changed color. You know that redhead's level was a full 17. It was two levels higher than Su Ro. Because this redhead was a guard in Zhou Xianquan's family, he looked quite young, but was actually in his late twenties, nearly thirty years old. Just because he's older doesn't mean he's stronger. However, the combat experience was definitely more seasoned than Zhou Xianquan and the others. He deliberately picked the moment when the other party's sense of vigilance was the weakest to strike instantly, and right out of the gate, it was the powerful D-rank skill gale slash. The result is still being reacted to by the other side, and it was also extremely easy to completely dissolve the gale sword chi. The key was that the other party didn't seem to have used any of their skills, and just crushed the skills by simply using their strength attribute. This, one moment, Redhead's face went a little white, because Qin Fan was just staring at him with killing intent in his eyes. Excuse me, what does this mean? Is it to stab at me? Qin Fan's ice-cold words caused Zhou Shenkan and the others to suddenly change in color. A terrifying and incomparable killing intent burst out from Qin Fan's body, causing Zhou Shenkan and the others to catch their breath. Damn! When did this punk get so strong? Where am I trying to stab at you? I'm merely fighting for my own interests. You guys got rewarded for clearing the level, and we're on the same team, and we can't share any of the rewards. That's more or less unreasonable, isn't it? The redhead engaged in a defense that was stiff to the core. Ha! Didn't you cowards escape the secret realm all by yourselves? Did you guys contribute a single point to the attack of the elite monsters and bosses? May I ask? What? Just want to sit around and eat for free? Qin Fan laughed coldly. I. All right, not much more to say, I, Sheen Fan, have always been a man of principle, and since you red-haired scumbag stabbed a sword at me, it's time for me to return the favor. The moment Sheen Fan's icy words fell, swish, Joe Swankin and the others were horrified to see that this dragon master's figure had even disappeared directly into thin air. Quick, so fast, how is this person so fast, dangerous, as a swordsman, he allowed himself to sense a strong flavor of danger with the perception talent that came with his profession. Back. He turned and swung his sword without any hesitation. However it is. Swish. His sword chi swung into the air and missed. Ha. Huh? I can't believe it's not in the back. Nya Xiong. You're left. At this point. Came Zhou Xian Kan's eager prompt. Without any hesitation. This redhead named Nya Xiong directly turned around. However. Still late. Swish. A biting white light flashed up. Wow. One arm was raised high in the air. Still with spurting blood. Ah immediately followed by the miserable cries of the redhead. Hiss. When the crowd of onlookers saw the scene, they directly couldn't help but suck in a mouthful of cold air, because this redhead's left arm had actually been cut off by that Qin fan without mercy. Not only that, the raging sword chi that remained on it even churned the broken arm. Quiet. Deadly silence. Except for the redhead who still rolled on the ground and kept wailing. Su Ro as well as Zhou Shenkan and the others were all staring at this scene in dumbfounded disbelief. Su Ro was because she didn't expect Qin Fan to be so decisive in killing. Zhou Shenkan, on the other hand, did not expect that this Qin Fan would be able to disable his family's powerful guard with just a single sword. This, tell me, was it your own idea to sneak up on me just now, or was it Zhou Xuancan's, with a sword breaking his arm? Qin Fan's handsome face did not have any tension or ups and downs. It was as if such things had no effect on him at all. I, I, tear-filled redhead stammered, wanting to speak but not daring to do so. Don't say it, do you? Then you're honestly going to die. Qin Fan raised his Shin Crystal Earth Scale Sword high and was about to violently swing it down at the redhead's neck. I say, I say, just in the nick of time, the redhead was finally unable to resist begging for mercy in a high voice, and the tip of the Shin Jing Earth Scale Sword was finally hovering less than a centimeter from his neck. Red Hair looked at the scene with a face full of horror. He knew that if he didn't say anything, 
then this guy would really kill himself. And, why is this kid so powerful? Didn't they say that a dragon master is simply a waste profession without a dragon? How did it come to this? And it's not like he's got a dragon following him. I'm only going to give you two seconds. If you don't I'm going to poke this sword through your throat and make you keep the secret to hell. Sheen Fan said coldly. Two. It was Joe Shinken who told me to do it. That's him. Don't you kill me. Kill him if you have to. As soon as the redhead's words fell. You fart. Joe Shinken then jumped to his feet in horror. Never in his wildest dreams did he think he would one day fear a civilian. Only then did Qin Fan fatally turn around, carrying the Xinjing Earth Scale Sword in his hand, and just walked towards Zhou Xinken step by step. Qin Fan at this moment, it was like a god of killing. His expression was devoid of joy or sorrow as he just carried his sword towards Zhou Xinken. Qin Fan, you can't kill this person. Su Ro suddenly whispered. Why? Qin Fan looked at her. He is the first son of the Zhou family in Anning City, and he also has an older brother who was enrolled in one of the key combat academies. Qin Fan instantly understood the meaning in Su Ro's words. She wasn't pleading for Zhou Xian Kan. Rather, he was telling Qin Fan, Zhou Xuan Kan's family background is not simple. The point is that his brother is also destined to be a character in the future. After all, the existences that could be close to the key combat academy were basically all bigwigs on one side when they finally graduated out. Phew, Zhou Xian Kan, who was covered in cold sweat, instantly let out a sigh of relief when he saw that Qin Fan had finally stopped. He should be jealous of my background and my brother. Ha ha. Even if you. Whom. Suddenly, Zhou Shenkan, who was about to burst out laughing, stared wide-eyed, his expression becoming even more horrified. Because. Swish. Swords and swords. In the next instant, a head with blood flying high in the air was thrown straight up. Flop. Zhou Shenkan, who had become a headless corpse, also collapsed straight onto the grass under the extremely shocked gazes of the surrounding crowd. Wow. Everyone was shocked beyond words. Killed. This Qin fan had actually killed Zhou Xianquan. Chapter 28. Killing Indecisive. The scene in front of them left everyone completely shocked. No one had expected that this Qin fan would actually dare to directly decapitate Zhou Xianquan. You. Su Ro's pretty face was also stunned. It wasn't that he felt Qin fan was cruel. Quite the contrary. This Zhou Xianquan was actually extremely annoying to her. Over the years, Zhou Xianquan, relying on his family's lineage background, had been arrogant and domineering in the city of Anning, and had done nothing wrong. It's extremely famous dude. His death wouldn't even cause a hint of pity within her. It's just that she's worried. After all, Zhou Xianquan was the first son of the Zhou family. The Zhou family was only a shade weaker than the Su family. Qin Fan's background, on the other hand, was nowhere near the Zhou family. At that time, if the Zhou family knew what Qin Fan had done, then it would undoubtedly be devastating for Qin Fan. Qin Fan, do you realize what you've done? I'm telling you, you're dead. How dare you kill the second young master of the Zhou family? If the Zhou family finds out about this, you and that shitty orphanage of yours, it's all over. The two boys on the side immediately glared at Qin Fan in horror. These two boys were in the same class as Zhou Xianquan. He was also Zhou Xuankan's lapdog on weekdays. Now that they had seen Zhou Xuankan killed, they were inwardly terrified beyond measure along with unparalleled anger. Indeed, if the Zhou family finds out, then I'll definitely have to play through. However, in the face of the intimidation of these two lapdogs, Qin Fan was not the least bit alarmed, but instead nodded his head with a face full of indistinctness. Immediately after that, his next sentence caused that redhead as well as the two dog legs to instantly turn pale. In that case, won't the Zhou family not know if you three are killed? The words fell. Simply do not wait for this red hair and the two dog legs in front of you to have any reaction. Swish. There was actually another clean sword light floating up. These three people could not even send out a scream. Their heads were flying high, accompanied by bright red blood like a fountain gushing up. Just two swords. Four people were killed in an instant. Among them, there was even the Zhou family's second youngest master, Zhou Shenkan, included. Su Ro, who was on the side, looked at this killing figure with a dumbfounded face. And for a moment, she was actually shocked by the biting killing intent on her body. She never thought that the character who was usually like a small transparent character in the class would be so frightening after launching a vicious attack. Solo. Can I trust you? At this point, Xin Fan did not turn around, but his words that were cold to the extreme came out in a ghostly manner. This caused Su Ro's delicate body just couldn't help but tremble directly. It's intimidating. Oddly enough though, it was clear that Xin Fan was so cold and ruthless that even she could be killed, but she didn't have the slightest bit of fear inside her at the moment. On the contrary, even the slightest trace of admiration for Xin Fan arose. She did not answer Xin Fan's words. Clank. She took out the scepter directly in her hand and with a twist of her hands, a sharp blade was simply pulled out of her staff. The sword and the staff, 
This scepter turned out to be a sword and a staff. The so-called sword and a staff is actually a composite weapon that can be used as a scepter or as a long sword. These weapons are still in high demand on the market and are much more expensive than normal weapons. The reason why it was expensive was naturally because one weapon could supply two professions. In certain emergencies, such as when someone in the team loses their weapon, then this composite weapon can come in handy. After Su Ro drew out the sword and the staff, there was no attack on Qin Fan. Instead, he came to Zhou Xuancan's body and raised the sword and the staff in his hand. Swish, swish, swish. Three sword lights went down. Zhou Xuancan's headless body was once again whipped and sliced into several pieces. Very miserable. From now on, I'm your accomplice too, Su Ro said with a smile. When Qin Fan saw this, his biting killing heart was considered to be completely erased. Having lived two lives, in today's cruel world, Qin Fan had long ago abandoned the so-called kindness. In this world, it is true that people can be bullied for being good. Only if you are strong enough and vicious enough will others not dare to mess with you. Happy cooperation. Qin Fan smiled and extended his hand. Su Ro smiled faintly and also stretched out her soft, boneless little hand to shake it. Actually, I should be thanking you. You kind of taught me two lessons. Su Ro said softly, and it's still two required classes. The first lesson was to teach her not to trust so-called acquaintances and that she must leave herself a way out no matter what happens in the future. The second lesson, on the other hand, was to teach her that she had to kill. Qin Fan was afraid that he had already developed a murderous intent towards Zhou Xianqin when he revealed his killing intent towards him. Su Ro even believed that if Zhou Xianqin did not choose to escape, but continue to stay in the secret realm, then Qin Fan would also definitely find an opportunity to very reasonably get Zhou Xianqin killed. What about these bodies? Solo asked. Sake. Qin Fan called out. Gah. The cute little wine then got out of Qin Fan's arms, flapped its wings, and flew in front of those three corpses. Phew. A mouthful of roaring flames was spat out. The three corpses instantly turned into ashes under this terrifying heat, as if they had never been in this world. Anon. After burning the corpse, Xiao Wine once again came to Qin Fan's face and let out a long petulant coda. It means hurry up and make him something good to eat. He's hungry. Okay. Let's go hunt the magic antelope and unicorn rabbit now. And we'll go home when you've had your fill. Qin Fan said with a smile. Earlier at the beginning it was with the idea of coming out for about 10 days. Successfully taming the dragon's egg and going home. But after that, the system kept releasing quests. Causing Qin Fan to stay here for more than half a month. However, it was good that Qin Fan had already left notes for both the Amas and the children in the orphanage. Made an excuse that he was going to the home of a wealthy classmate to focus on closed door training for a period of time to prepare for the upcoming transfer entrance exam. Ama shouldn't be worried. After all, in the current context, everyone knows the importance of transferring to a higher education institution. A trans migrant, whether or not he could carp and completely turn over a new leaf depended on whether or not he could make a splash in the trans migrant examination. As one of the most important exams in the Dragon Kingdom, it can be said that the whole country is in the spotlight. There will be all kinds of bigwigs coming to supervise the exams. The province's heavenly pride also made preparations. The degree of competition is no less intense than that of a thousand horses crossing a single log bridge. However, now that Qin Fan's system was in his hands and little wine was beside him, he was already not afraid of any of the so-called heaven's pride. Next time, Qin Fan didn't rush to send Su Ro back. Instead, he stayed in this spectral forest mountain range for a few more days, killing as many monsters as he could while also hunting quite a few magical beasts with tender meat suitable for consumption along the way. Qin Fan had already used a life class profession second turn scroll a long time ago. From a normal chef profession, it has become a spiritual benefit chef. Chapter 29 Getting Stronger Completing the Novice Quest Thoroughly The average chef by profession cooks a lot better than average. The spirit gained chef after the second turn. Not only were the meals more delicious than those made by the chef, but they also came with certain gain effects. Let's say it's the same dish. Braised pork. When the average chef makes it, there are only two words, delicious. But when Chef Ling Yi made it, not only was it delicious, but it also allowed the taker to increase their strength by 20 points as well as restore a certain amount of blood and stamina for a certain period of time. Don't underestimate the power of that. If the spirit benefit chef cooks you a full meal, then all your attributes will increase quite a bit after you eat it. Battle power increases by at least 10%. This was why life class second turn scrolls were worth millions of dragon coins. As long as you succeed in your second turn, then you can enter some adventure guilds and transmuter organizations to serve. The wages and earnings received will also be more. Many ordinary people who couldn't switch to combat professions were counting on this second turn scroll to change their fate. It was only a pity that the output of this second turn scroll was relatively small, and it was difficult to buy it even if you wanted to. To put it bluntly, this second turn scroll just can't be used by rich people. 
and ordinary people want to use it but don't have the money to buy it. Originally, Qin Fan had planned to sell both books for money, but thinking about the fact that he would subsequently have to take care of this picky eating little dragon cub, then his cooking skills definitely needed to be improved, and he couldn't stay put. Facts, that's a very good decision. Qin Fan, who was connected to the little dragon cub by heart, could feel the feeling of blissful pleasure after every time the little guy ate. Even Su Ro was full of praise for Qin Fan's cooking skills. The cooks in my family actually have two spiritually beneficial chefs who cook Western and Chinese food respectively, but I don't think any of their cooking is as good as yours. Obviously your condition is still in the wild. Su Ro lamented. Eat more if it's good. To Su Ro, Qin Fan also considered him as a friend. The main thing is that the girl has good character. Now, Qin Fan after taking that 5W experience pill, self leveled up to level 18. Sake also managed to officially step into level 10 today. And the final stage of the novice quest was completely finished. And the system rewarded two S rank skill passives. Separately, Affinity of Fire, S 80% reduction in fire damage you take. Dragon battles in the wild, S when you enter a battle state with your dragon pet. Your combat power will increase over time. Up to 70% of your combat power. Fire affinity is supposed to be inherited from Sake's fire immunity. Have to say, both passive attributes are strong. Especially Dragon War in the Wild. It simply made him take off. There was also the fact that nowadays, the detailed attributes of Qin Fan and the Dragon Pet had undergone a shocking change. Name, Qin Fan. Age, 18. Level, 18. Occupation, Dragon Master. Talent, Affinity for All Animals, SSS. Culinary Mastery, E+. Strength, 400. Wisdom, 400. Physique, 360. Agility, 370. Occupational Skills, Dragon Mastery, S. Bloodline Fusion, SSS, Hate Marker, B, Dragon Frenzy, B, Dragon Claw Strong Attack, B, Fire Dragon Bomb, B, Dragon's Favorite, Blazing Sacred Dragon, Lord of Endless Fire, Name, Firefly Wine, Nickname, Sake, Sex, Female, Age, Under a Month, Level, 10, 4 Dimensional Attributes, Strength 1, 200, Wisdom 1, 200, Physique 1, 100, Agility 1, 100, Without Any Buff, Equipment, Props to enhance. Skills possessed. Immunity of fire, S passive skill. As the lord of endless fire, you are immune to 100% fire attribute damage. Inflammatory spit, S active skill. Spits out a flaming dragon's breath forward. Inflicting massive fire damage to all enemies within a certain range in front of you. Divine fire scale armor, S passive skill. The dragon scales of the dragon race are the strongest defense. All attacks are 70% less powerful when blocked by dragon scales. Destructive Inferno Claw, A active skill. The dragon's claw burns with a blazing flame and swings forward ferociously, dealing damage to all enemies within a fan-shaped area in front of it. Dragon Form Transformation, S active skill. Free to switch between each of the four forms. Terror. It's simply terrifying. Sheen Fan goes without saying. Just the tipple. This little dragon cub's attributes had unexpectedly broken through the 1000 mark in unison. It's simply too much. Ah. Right now. Not far away an amethyst demon tiger, which was sufficiently level 25 and was a boss in the nearby domain, was actually turned into a puddle of flesh under Xiao Wine's lighthearted slap, only having the time to let out a miserable scream. Su Ro was even more dumbfounded. This was a level 25 field boss. That's an existence several notches above the Goblin King. The result was still a slap in the face in front of Sake. This, one could only say that it was worthy of being a blazing sacred dragon. At the same time, Su Ro inwardly also strengthened the idea of pulling in Xin Fan. Xin Fan's future potential was absolutely enormous. Even, she, the so-called Su family's eldest miss, was afraid that she was not even worthy of lifting her shoes in front of Qin Fan, because she knew that as long as Qin Fan could grow in the future, then he would definitely become a top-tier big shot. It was the kind of terrifying existence that would make the entire transmigration world tremble three times if he stopped his foot. When that time comes, not to mention the tiny Anning Su family. Even those top magnates in Fengtian province had to bow their heads in front of Qin Fan just the same. Think about it. Su Ro had already made up her mind that she had to get closer to Qin Fan in the future. There was also the fact that she would follow Qin Fan to whichever academy he went to. Best, try to capture his heart. Although she was only an auxiliary profession. In terms of figure and appearance, as the school's flower girl, she thought that she would not be inferior to other girls. Whom, when the time comes to figure out what type of girl the guy likes. You can just throw yourself into the mix. Thinking about this, her pretty face was inexplicably flushed. She naturally had a deep sense of goodwill towards Qin Fan. Not only had she saved her life, but her indifferent and handsome posture had also touched her heart fiercely. As a child of a powerful family, 
Su Ro was actually ready to sacrifice for the union. Several of her sisters were married to sons of powerful families in other provinces. She should be no exception. But today, when she met Qin Fan, then she absolutely had to fight for it. Well, it's time to go back. The college entrance exam is in a few days. Qin Fan clapped his hands and said blandly, Qin Fan, do you need a group to transfer to the entrance exam? Su Ro looked at him with bright eyes. But at the same time there is apprehension inside. Because, she knew that Qin Fan, who had now successfully contracted a dragon pet, was then definitely targeting the three top academies of the Dragon Kingdom. The other top 20 key academic institutions would not enter Qin Fan's eyes. But in order to get into the three top institutions, then you have to score in the top 100 at the provincial level on the transfer high school exam. A single brush is the way to get the highest score. In a group, teammates will more or less drag down your own rating. Chapter 30, Homecoming. The reason why Su Ro asked that. Naturally, he wanted to team up with Qin Fan and attack the secret realm copy in the entrance exam together. As a priest profession, most of the skills she possessed were support skills. There are very few active attack skills. It's not that it can't be soloed, but it's extremely time consuming and inefficient to do so. In the end, she probably won't even be able to do better solo than she can with a group of others. And after witnessing Qin Fan's power and the peace of mind he gave himself, Su Ro undoubtedly wanted to beg Qin Fan to take her with him. If the other students of the first middle school were to see that the little princess of the Tang Tang Su family was actually praying to be teamed up with Qin Fan, the dragon master, they were afraid that their jaws would drop. After all, Su Ro was famous in the first middle school, and many top students dreamed of teaming up with this rich white beauty. It was said that within so many people, there were also the pride from the top private schools. For example, Tian Jinming, who had also switched to the hidden profession Holy Spirit Mage, Knight of Light Hoiba, Punishment Shooter Bear Double. These three could all be the top three in the rocket class of that aristocratic private school, and Ning City Middle School. They had originally wanted to go for a solo in the transitional gauntlet. However, in order to win the heart of the beauty, he also willingly issued a group invitation to Su Ro. And, for them, maybe teaming up with Su Ro, who was in the priest profession, would result in better results, because this year's high school exam questions in southern state province. But by that Yan Wang Zhang Shaosun personally out of the formulation, its difficulty is naturally self-evident. By that time, it was likely that many of the heaven's pride would not be able to single-handedly pass through. So to keep a steady hand, if you can get into the top 500 at the provincial level, then you can definitely get your foot in the door of a major academic institution. As for those three legendary top schools, even these celestial pride didn't dare to think about it. Because if you want to get into these three legendary top schools, then at least you need to step into the top 100 at the provincial level to have a chance. Right now, Su Ro blinked a pair of long autumn water eyes and just looked at Qin Fan. One could tell from her eyes that she very much wanted to team up with Qin Fan. Qin Fan sniffed, thought for a moment, and said, It's not impossible to form a team in the entrance exam, but you have to listen to me in everything. You will do whatever I tell you to do and obey my orders unconditionally. If Tian Jinming, Hoi Ba, and other heavenly pride heard this, they were afraid that they would not be able to resist rushing up to beat Qin Fan. They begged hard to team up with this rich white beauty with both strength and beauty but failed to get what they wanted. As a result, this Qin Fan was the one who issued an extremely overbearing request to Su Ro. Good, I'll do whatever you want me to do as long as you can team up with me. Su Ro, however, smiled and narrowed her eyes. She knew that she had found a teammate who was more reliable than anyone else. When you go back and the Zhou family asks about it, you should know what to say, right? Qin Fan said indifferently. Uh, yeah, let's just say we never met them. Su nodded. Okay, go home. Qin Fan also finally ended his nearly month-long journey of wilderness training and brought Su Ro back to the Adventure Guild Hall. After the Adventure Guild's transmigrants saw that Su Ro had unexpectedly returned with all her whiskers intact, he was dumbfounded. The receptionist was even more careful in asking Su Ro, M.S. Su, what about the three dragon brothers? Su Ro gave a wry smile. You guess? Hiss. The receptionist sucked in a breath of cold air. M.S. Su, you shouldn't be. She made a neck-wiping motion. Seeing this, Su Ro did not answer. Still smiling, the three dragons are dead. Surprisingly dead. And their deaths definitely had something to do with Su Ro. Despite this, the receptionist was wearing a soothing smile at the moment. Good death. Those three dragons always liked to do some backstabbing and dirty things. And now that they were being solved, that was something everyone would like to see. Qin Fan didn't stand with Su Ro. He never wanted to draw attention to himself. After handing over the task, Qin Fan then headed to the subway station, intending to take the subway back to the orphanage. When passing through the security check and detecting the creature in Qin Fan's arms that was emitting a peculiar aura, 
The security officer was not surprised, but only asked Qin Fan to take the creature out and show it to her. After all, in a world where games and reality merge, Warcraft pets have become popular. Many families have intelligent and adorable wraith pets. Boing! An adorable little crimson head burrowed out of Qin Fan's collar, and made an adorable wooing sound. Wow, what a cute little lizard. I can't believe you dressed it up as a dragon. It's so cute. That security check lady took one look at it and instantly showed a girlish expression. As expected, this security lady didn't associate sake towards dragons at all. At best, it just feels like dressing up like a dragon. The dragons of this world were not only mysterious, but also powerful. In particular, the top class of the dragon race, the two racial existences of the giant dragon and the holy dragon, were even more divine. Ordinary trannies are afraid they'll never see it in their lives. Furthermore, in the eyes of many people, the dragon race had always been known for their majesty and ferocity. Sake was so cute, it was impossible to imagine that this was a legendary blazing flame holy dragon. Gah! Hearing that this human even compared it to an inferior creature like a lizard again, Sake Den roared angrily. If it wasn't for Qin Fan's quick eyes and hands covering Xiao Wine's mouth, he was afraid that a mouthful of flames would have been spewed out. So it was sort of a thrill to get on the subway. However, Little Wine, who had long been bored out of breath, naturally poked his little head out of Qin Fan's collar, staring at a pair of soulful golden yellow dragon pupils, curiously surveying the human world. But the consequences of doing so are, wow, what a cute little guy. Sisters, come on, there's an extremely cute little creature here. Help, how can it be so cute? Can I hold it? The ladies in the subway came over with loving eyes after seeing the cute and delicate sake. A pair of jade hands groped towards sake. Gah! Sake let out another angry snarl. He didn't want to be petted by a human other than his own master. In the eyes of sake, the master is supreme, and then to its own place. All the rest of the creatures. It's all garbage. If it wasn't for the master letting it restrain itself from hurting people indiscriminately, or else it would have spat out a mouthful of dragon breath, and the entire subway train's passengers would have to play through. I'm sorry, my little wine doesn't like people touching it, so please restrain yourselves. Ladies, Qin Fan also said helplessly. It's also sad that your own dragon pet looks too cute. Not letting these ladies get their hands on sake though, but it seems that women have a natural interest in cute things. Still sitting by Qin Fan's side. He kept asking questions and even wanted Qin Fan's contact information. This made Qin Fan laugh bitterly. He never thought that his womanless self would one day become popular because of a small drink. Chapter 31 Transfer Market A Chance Encounter with Hoi Ba Get off the subway. Qin Fan went directly to the nearby transfer market. The so-called transfer market was actually a place that facilitated the transferees to sell and buy materials. There are also small barter stalls here. When Qin Fan arrived at this market, he found that it was basically some ordinary transmigrators. The highest level is only 18. Same as yourself. And their aura was flat. They should be ordinary transmutants living at the bottom. But even so, ordinary transmuters, but anytime they are transmuted to a combat profession, then they will make more money than ordinary commuters. Going to the wild to kill some small monsters and stripping off the fur. That can be sold for a good price. Sure. The only thing the average office worker has to deal with is the stress of work but the transmogrifier needs to face the extreme danger of being killed at any moment. The market is divided into two halves. Zone A operates a number of large chain stores for materials, equipment and props. Area B, on the other hand, was a scattering of ground stalls, all of which were stalls set up by ordinary transmuters selling the props and materials they had obtained in the wilderness maps. There are a lot of people in the B section. There are very few people in Area A. However, all the people coming and going in Area A were well-dressed and many wealthy people brought their partners and children over to buy equipment, jewelry, elixirs, and so on. The reason Qin Fan came here was naturally because he wanted to sell off the C-grade material Goblin King's heart, as well as the silver weapon Goblin King's giant sword. As for the Goblin King's enchanted card, it's a great thing to be sold for. Its enchantment effect is, each attack that hits an enemy will increase its own strength and attack speed by 1%, stackable up to 10 times. It was definitely worth more than 50 million dragon coins because it's something that only spawns in the wild secret world. You other rich people want to go and buy it, and you still have to see if it's available. After all, a wild secret realm is not something that anyone can meet just because they want to, so Qin Fan wasn't in a hurry to sell it. If you go to the B section, I guess no one can buy what you are selling. It's only going to the A block. So Qin Fan walked towards Area A. Area A has been renovated into a very grand, upscale shopping plaza. The plainly dressed Qin Fan, walking here, could be considered out of place with those tourists around him, but he didn't care. After seeing a store called Sacred Treasure Inn, he walked in. As soon as he entered, 
Qin Fan instantly felt all the customer's eyes on his body. There is contempt, disdain, disdain. There was also frowning and amazement, mostly unkind looks. Ha, huh, isn't this Qin Fan? Why are you here? Suddenly, a girl's voice came over. Qin Fan turned his head to look, but realized that it was his classmate, Zhang Dan. At this moment, Zhang Dan, wearing a dress that was worth a lot of money at first glance, walked over on the arm of a handsome boy. In response, Qin Fan just nodded as a greeting and said, I just came over to sell something. Sell something? Zhang Dan sized up Qin Fan and urged, What do you, a poor man from an orphanage, have to sell? It can't be that you're here to steal, right? Hearing such sharp and mean words, Qin Fan just gently shook his head, too lazy to bother with this kind of mean girl in general. In class this Dan Zhang is a lousy piece of work. All day long, she takes a few of her little sisters to troll for girls, and when she inquires about any boy whose family has money, she hits on him. As far as some of the news Qin Fan had heard by chance, it was said that this Zhang Dan had changed more than a dozen boyfriends during these three years of her career as a transfer student, and the few boyfriends she had in the beginning, she played with their feelings, cheated them out of money, and then dumped them. The boys who have been played by this scumbag want revenge instead, but nah, this Zhang Dan found stronger boys as boyfriends every time. It turned out that this time it was out of Qin Fan's expectation, because this tall and handsome boy in front of him was the famous heavenly pride in Anning City, Hoi Ba. This guy is often in the newspaper and is said to be the most compatible prince candidate with Su Ro. It was even said that the position of municipal first prize winner would probably go to his head. The city of Anning is small. The provincial first prize winner won't be able to compete. But the municipal first prize winner many people think will be Hoi Ba. Only what Qin Fan did not expect was that Hoi Ba would even look at a commodity like Zhang Dan. And, didn't he say he wanted to pursue Su Ro? How did you get together with Zhang Dan? That's all. None of this had anything to do with Qin Fan. He had only come here to try to sell the materials, and if he had the chance, it would be nice to sell the giant sword again, now he's short of money. So not bothering to talk nonsense with Zhang Dan, Qin Fan turned around and headed towards the store. Shit, how dare you ignore my mother. Zhang Dan instantly gritted his teeth when he saw this beating attitude of Qin Fan. However, on the surface, he still beamed his little mouth and pouted to Hoi Ba. Honey, this kid even dared to ignore people. Then follow it in and see what happens. Hoi Ba said faintly. He wasn't so brainless as to get angry and furious on the basis of a few words from Zhang Dan. It's just really boring right now. Then follow it over to see what the kid is selling. It would be funny to say that what is being sold is some crap. When Qin Fan walked into the sacred treasure inn, a sweet-looking woman with an elegant temperament in the store walked out and asked very politely, Welcome, sir, may I ask if you're looking to buy something? Qin Fan shook his head. No, I'm trying to sell something. Okay, please take out what you want to sell. I'll take it for some appraisal and we'll negotiate after we determine the price. By the way, a warm reminder sir, we don't accept materials worth less than 10, 000 dragon coins in our store. The woman's voice reminded gently, he he, Sheen Fan, do you hear me? People don't accept anything worth less than 10, 000 dragon coins here. Zhang Dan, who followed him in, sneered, Miss, sir, may I ask if you are here to buy something? To Zhang Dan and Hoi Ba who suddenly came in, the woman sent the same inquiry. Dear, Zhang Dan blinked and looked at Hoi Ba. Hoi Ba frowned a little. Motherfucker. No wonder this Zhang Dan was deliberately picking on Qin Fan. The original purpose was to get him to spend money. That necklace over there. Buy it. Swipe your card. Hoi Ba naturally had to maintain his face outside. Took out his bank card and gave it to the customer service woman. Okay sir, that necklace is worth 300,000 dragon coins. I'll give you a discount. Just 250,000 dragon coins. The customer service woman's attitude became more and more respectful. The corner of Hoi Ba's mouth twitched slightly when he heard the price. Good fucking ghost. It's just a bronze necklace. Nearly looks good and adds little attributes. Turns out it's going to be so expensive. Hoi Ba's family was rich, but the family didn't give him much pocket money. Only half a million dragon coins a month. The results came out half depleted for this Dan. Blame it all on this dumbass Zhang Dan. Chapter 32 Cobalt King Heart At least 30 million. In this context of scarce resources, even if it was just a bronze level necklace, it was worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Although it was the Dragon Kingdom that enforced double 10 compulsory education, the only equipment that the school could provide for free was black iron grade novice equipment. Hoi Ba actually didn't want to buy such an expensive necklace for Zhang Dan at all, but boys are face lovers. Zhang Dan appeared to have seized this point, and with a small mouth, Hoi Ba had to spend money for it. Qin Fan. Ah Qin Fan. See, a random necklace here is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
It's better not to bring out your bit of trash material that you randomly picked up in the wild map to embarrass people. Zhang Dan wore a smile on his face, but his tone was extremely sarcastic. Speaking of why Zhang Dan would target Qin Fan so much, actually, that's because Zhang Dan used to be a child in an orphanage. At that time, Qin Fan had not yet been reincarnated, and according to the original owner's memories, Zhang Dan was a person with an overwhelming sense of vanity, and the other children in the orphanage did not like her. Qin Fan also wanted Zhang Dan to change his character at that time, but Zhang Dan was dead set against it. The follow-up is that Dan Zhang was adopted. However, Zhang Dan still holds a grudge against Qin Fan, presumably because she feels that Qin Fan, who is the king of the children in the orphanage, is leading the children to isolate her. Actually, no, the kids just plain hate her. Ever since Qin Fan's reincarnation, this Zhang Dan had actually been deliberately targeting Qin Fan. Qin Fan, however, was too lazy to pay attention to her. Unexpectedly today on the basis of climbing up Hoiba such a rich son once again stepped up. Qin Fan continued to ignore it. In his eyes, Zhang Dan was no different from a jumper. At this time, that shopper also walked over with a fine box and handed it to Zhang Dan. Miss, this is the necklace you asked for. The words are gone. Turning his head to Qin Fan again, he said softly, This gentleman, what material do you want to sell? Just take it out directly. I will appraise it for you right away. Qin Fan nodded, then asked, The money should be available on the spot, right? The words came out. Ha, huh, a look like you've never seen the world. How much can your little crap materials be worth? People would not be able to get it out of such a big store? Dan Zhang started taunting again. The shopper also smiled and said, Please don't worry about this, sir. About the material sales and purchases we all settle on the spot. Qin Fan still ignored Zhang Dan, the idiot, and nodded his head. Okay, then I'm relieved. This is the material I want to sell. The words are gone. Buzz. A spatial fluctuation arose. Then Hoi Ba and the others were shocked to see. A heart that was still beating nonstop just appeared in Qin Fan's hand. In particular, the heart contained a moving and majestic life force, which caused the guide and Hoi Ba to freeze on the spot. This, they genuinely did not expect Qin Fan to be able to take out such a thing. Eat Jack. That's disgusting. That's the kind of stuff you sell? However, the short-sighted Zhang Dan was the one who revealed an expression of disgust at this moment. Please take it for appraisal and see what the value is. Qin Fan said blandly. This appearance of ignorance from beginning to end was even more so, causing Zhang Dan to be furious inside. The feeling was like a vengeful fist hitting cotton, a feeling of not being able to use any energy at all. Subconsciously, she was about to go up and destroy the heart that made her feel sick. As a result, this time Hoi Ba was pulling her back. She looked back. He was instantly startled by Hoi Ba's incredibly gloomy expression. You, shut up, stop being a bitch. Hoi Ba growled lowly. Damn. How dare this stupid bitch try to go up there and destroy the material. This roar caused Zhang Dan's originally arrogant demeanor to instantly converge, and the guide rushed to take the heart to a nearby appraisal room for identification. She knew that the material was definitely not mortal. Just the majestic life force that was about to overflow was enough to determine a minimum value of 10 million. There was absolutely no way an ordinary monster's heart could still be beating after dying for so long. Soon, the guide hurried out of the appraisal room. That pretty face directly put on the most respectful and sweet smile. If the smile on the front is to respond to the customer, it is more or less perfunctory. But this time, her smile was sweet from the heart, because, the material that this youth had brought was actually the heart of the Goblin King. Oh, my god, that's a top-notch material worth at least 30 million dollars. You can't even buy it if you want to an anning. This honored guest, this way please, I'll serve you tea. May I ask if you need any other special services? This guide was as enthusiastic as fire. Zhang Dan also realized the change in the shopper's attitude, but she remains incredulous. By what right could Qin Fan, who was also from an orphanage, come up with such expensive materials? How much is the material he took out worth? Beautiful? Zhang Dan swallowed a mouthful of water and asked cautiously, the cobalt king's heart, worth at least 30 million dollars. The guide replied with a smile. Dan Zhang, Hoi Ba, hiss, 30 million dollars, this, even a rich son like Hoi Ba couldn't help but slightly change when he heard this amount. After all, his pocket money was only 500, 000 dragon coins a month. The guide was already too lazy to pay attention to these two people. She turned around with a smile, and her beautiful eyes kept making secret glances at Qin Fan. In fact, she didn't expect this handsome young man who was plainly dressed and could even be said to have an aura of poverty to be able to take out such an expensive material. 30 million dragon coins, for the average person. It's actually enough to spend for a lifetime. You, Zhang Dan's face was full of complexity as he looked at Qin Fan and wanted to say something. However, 
Hoiba turned around directly at this moment. What's the point of staying here? Continue to be humiliated? Seeing this, Zhang Dan also hurriedly chased after him, but he had already looked at Qin Fan three times a step back. Somehow, a wave of extreme regret inexplicably arose within. However, what she didn't know was that other than the stare-off at the beginning of the greeting, for the rest of the time, Qin Fan had never looked at her squarely once. In Qin Fan's eyes, this Zhang Dan was actually a mole cricket. You'll be pulling yourself down if you even bother with her. No need to keep winking at me. Settle the cash now. I'll take the money and go. Qin Fan said coldly. This guide was already sitting down next to him, almost about to lean her body up. Being said so by Qin Fan, she could only hurriedly get up with a red face and an embarrassed look, and went to submit the trade request. It's not a small amount, after all. Looking at is that guide flustered awkward back. Qin Fan is actually also inwardly feeling. Sure enough, whether in a previous life, or in this life, for most ordinary people, money is always the ultimate pursuit. Soon, half an hour later, bowed and cheered by the owner of this chain of stores as well as the shopper, Xin Fan took a bank card with a deposit of 30 million dragon coins and leisurely returned home. Chapter 33, The Great Exam is about to open. Back at the orphanage, Alma was relieved to see Qin Fan back safely, still wearing the gentle smile she normally wore. Brother Qin Fan is back, and I don't know which pup gave a howl. Immediately afterward, a dozen or so brats and little girls ran out from the courtyard and pounced on Qin Fan's body. After messing around with these kids for a while, it was only then that Qin Fan and Ama returned to the living room. Ama asked if Qin Fan was hungry. Qin Fan smiled and said hungry. So Ama went into the kitchen. Before long, a tantalizing aroma of egg noodles wafted out of the kitchen. In response, Qin Fan only felt full of warmth. Ama was never like that. She doesn't nag or pester with questions, always treating each child with a gentle smile and also leaving room for the child to keep his or her secrets. Soon, a bowl of steaming egg noodles was brought to Qin Fan. Just when Qin Fan was about to start eating, ka? Suddenly, a cute little head then poked out from Qin Fan's collar. Its golden dragon pupils just curiously surveyed the bowl of egg noodles in front of it. When Ama saw this scene, her eyes, which had always been smiling, widened. Fan, this is? She looked at the little guy curiously. And at the moment, this little guy also stared at Ama with big, budding eyes. Ama, let me explain it to you. Saying that, Qin Fan let Xiao Wine, who was in his arms, burrow out. When Ama saw the cat-like sized Xiaojiao showing its true form like a dragon, her expression became even more stunned, though she's only a lifelike profession. But the powerful legends about the dragons are known to almost everyone. Seeing before her eyes that Qin Fan had actually brought back such a small dragon cub, one could imagine how shocked Ama's heart was at this moment. Ama, don't be alarmed. Its name is Glow Wine. Glow as in firefly. Wine is in fine wine. Just call it little wine in normal times. As you can see, this is the legendary Blazing Flame Sacred Dragon. A top-tier existence among the dragon race. Didn't I successfully change professions before? And the profession I transferred to was called Dragon Master. The hidden profession. To Ama, Qin Fan had nothing to hide. And, Sake is also bound to shine in the public eye at the transfer high school in two days time. By then everyone would know that he possessed a holy dragon. While Qin Fan and Ama were explaining, Xiao Wein was bouncing onto the tabletop, sharing a common mind with Qin Fan. It knew that the kind-eyed woman in front of it was its master's closest relative, so it didn't act in the least bit like it was showing its teeth to Ama. Instead, it came over to the side of the egg noodles and sniffed it. A pair of big golden eyes surfaced with a touch of joy. Then the dragon's mouth opened and the bowl of egg noodles that should have belonged to Qin Fan was eaten by it in one bite. Instead of making sake wince, the boiling hot noodle soup made him squint in comfort, then bounced back up, like a mischievous little child, scurrying around the room, curiously surveying everything around him. Finally, he even picked up some toys from the children at the orphanage and played with them on his own. Seeing such a cute little dragon cub, Ama's original fear of the dragon race instantly disappeared. Although he still felt unbelievable about the matter of Qin Fan bringing back a young dragon cub, but the facts were in front of her, and she had to accept them. By the way, Ama, my classmates and I made a side trip to the Yulin mountain range while we were training, and as luck would have it, we just happened to pick up an E-class medicinal herb and sold it for more than 100. 000 dragon coins. I'll transfer the money over to you later. Xin Fan said with a smile. He didn't give all the tens of millions of dollars on the card to Auntie. Not that he was cheap and wanted to keep it. Rather, it was such a huge amount of money, taken out all at once, that the shock to Ama was absolutely unmistakable. Instead of keeping Ama guessing, it would be better to just keep it to herself. More than 100. 000 dragon coins. Enough to support the orphanage's operation. When there was not enough money, Qin Fan would just give it again. 
fruity, although more than 100, 000 dragon coins was also a huge amount of money for her, it was within the acceptable range. Still, Ama had urged several times to be careful, and to be sure to tell her first the next time she went to a place like the Spectral Forest Range. No matter how, Auntie smiled more, seeing his loved one smile more. Sheen Fan's heart, which had been suppressed all this time, finally exhaled fiercely. Seven years. It had been seven years since he had been reincarnated into a world that was thoroughly integrated with the game. In the previous time, there was no golden finger, and his own awakened talent was only an E-plus level culinary proficiency. How had he not worried about the future? Even though the system had finally awakened, Sheen Fan had never dared to relax. After all, he knew that the content of the quests issued by the system would also slowly become harder, and God knows what punishment would come if he failed to complete them. But the good thing is that nowadays it's kind of slowly getting on track. The transfer high school. Master is here. At night, lying on his cot, Sheen Fan stretched out his hand and clenched it into a fist, the expression on his face full of impassioned wariness. But in the next moment, put, Sheen Fan violently sprayed out a mouthful of water and fixed his eyes on the mischievous little wine who made a flying leap and then smashed down on his stomach. Although Sake had shrunk in size to the size of a cat, its attributes hadn't decreased due to its reduced size. With such a jump, Thanks to Chin Fan's bloodline mixture, an SSS ranked passive, he inherited a strong four dimensional attribute and his physique became much stronger. Otherwise, a normal person would be afraid of resting on the spot if they were pounced on by sake like that. Gah! Xiao Wine stepped on Chin Fan's belly, and a cat like gurgling sound actually came from his throat. Then just lying down like this, a pair of golden 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 dragon pupils, full of dependence and joy, gazed at Chin Fan's face. Speaking of which, this little guy is just like himself all without the presence of parents. This dragon egg was given to Qin Fan by the system as a newbie gift pack. I don't know if it was made by the system or if the system stole it from the side of the dragon sanctuary using the plug-in ability. But no matter what, himself is the only family it has left. For the next two days, Qin Fan was considered to have completely given himself a small vacation. In the spectral forest mountain range, the killing was non-stop for a moment. Now that the transfer exams are approaching, proper relaxation will more than likely put you in peak condition. When two days have passed, the morning of the third day came. This should be quiet and peaceful wireless small city, but at this moment is beginning to become hot and boiling up. One by one, the third year students woke up early, brought their equipment and props, and headed towards the middle of the Annan Square with excited but apprehensive faces. Tranquility Square. It is the only pilot for this transfer high school. All the third grade candidates in Anning City as well as the neighboring counties. All of them are coming here today to participate in this big test that is enough to decide to change their destiny. All the students who have been practicing hard for so many years, whether they can carp or not depends on today. Chapter 34 Heaven's Pride Debuts Sheen Fan I'm coming. In a world where games and reality merge, most of the resources are controlled by states. Only a few resources are in the hands of some powerful organizations. Examples include the Global Transmigrators Guild, the United Combatants International Association, and many more. The reason why it is said that the transfer college entrance examination is the most important examination in the life of every transferer is because as long as you can have a good score in the transfer college entrance examination, then you will have the qualification to enter the key academic institutions. The resources under the control of the state are basically to be allocated to each university campus. This is because the university house is to train all kinds of talents for the country. That's why the country's resources must be poured into the university house. Where? General academic institutions account for 10% of the country's total resources. Key academic institutions account for 20% of the country's total resources. Top academic institutions account for 30% of the country's combined resources. And the front lines of the alien demon battlefield. In turn, it accounts for 40% of the country's total resources. The front line of the alien demon battlefield was actually the location where the alien demon rift was located. With Qin Fan's current strength, he was still completely unqualified to come into contact with the information about the various parties of the alien demon rift. But the information on these college houses was read. According to the statistics, there are a total of 80 normal combat academies that exist in the Dragon Kingdom today. The number of key combat academies is 20. The top ace combat academies are 3. That is to say, the 80 general combat academies split 10% of the resources. 20 key combat academies split 20% of the resources. The three top combat academies split 30% of the resources. Look at it this way. Any fool knows what schoolhouse to choose. Plenty of resources means an extremely strong comprehensive faculty. And you have more opportunities to become stronger when you are in this top ace institution. So, today, all the top students from all the provinces of the Dragon Kingdom are aiming straight for the top ace institutions. The moment. 
The magnificent and wide Annunciation Square was already a sea of people. Every transmigrant student carried a face full of excitement as well as apprehension. Most of the transmogrifier students had formed their own groups, coming together in groups of three or five. Damn it! This year's exam question for our southern state province is from that Yama King Zhang Shaosan. It must be very difficult. Yeah, originally I was planning on soloing a normal difficulty secret copy, but now that I have to form a team, I'm afraid it's hard to even get a normal difficulty secret copy. Who do you guys think will be the top student in our city of Anning this year? Hoi Ba, right? After all, he's a hidden profession shining knight. Not necessarily. Tian Jin Ming and Xiong Shuang are also hidden professions. HM, as soon as you said hidden professions, then I remembered that didn't the first school also have a dragon master? Harm, dragon master, is simply a waste profession. It's not like he can contract a dragon. Just as the crowd was talking. Wow. There was a sudden clamor not far away. The crowd hurriedly turned their heads to look, and actually boiled over again. HM, isn't that Holy Spirit Mage Tian Jinming? Handsome enough. Only a figure could be seen stepping out of the stretch limousine. He wore a snow-white vestment and held an exquisite silver-white staff codified with arcane mystical patterns. Handsome and elegant, like a royal prince. He, none other than the Holy Spirit Mage, Tian Jinming, also in the eyes of the crowd. It is one of the most popular candidates who have the best chance to win the city's top prize. Many of the surrounding girls were already flushed with nymphomay mania, looking at the Tian Jinming who was like a prince in a fairy tale. Wow. But just then, the crowd at the other entrance let out another clamor. Only the same two stretch limousines were seen slowly approaching. The tall and burly knight of light Hoi Ba, whose body was full of explosive power, as well as the punishment archer Xiong Shuang, whose aura was as sharp as a falcon's, stepped out of the car at the same time which also caused quite a fluctuation. Nice guy, the three favorites for the city's top prize are all together. Of all the third-year candidates in this class, only that dragon master is the most unproductive. Indeed, a waste. These three were all renowned heavenly prides, and at the same time, their family background was also that of a luxurious family. It can be described as the prince of dreams in the eyes of most girls. When these three heavenly prides appeared in unison, their gazes met each other. Then, to the amazement of the crowd, they came together and shook hands and talked to each other. It seems that these three heavenly prides are good friends. A few more minutes passed. Tick tock. Another limo arrives. Immediately after. Dressed in a plain white priest's long dress. Su Ro. Whose looks were pure and moving. Just walked down from the pride car with her scepter in her hand. As soon as Su Ro appeared. Swish. 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 Not just the other candidates. Even the three favorites for the municipal first prize were all mapping their eyes to Su Ro's side in unison at this moment. And the three heavenly pride players who were like stars actually took the initiative to take a step and walked in front of Su Ro. Zoe, been waiting for you for a long time. The noble and elegant Tian Jinming revealed a smile. Zoe, have you formed a team yet? The imposing and domineering Ho Ba also asked. And that Xiong Shuang, whose demeanor was as high and cold as an ice mountain, even walked straight to Su Ro, his cold tone not to be questioned. Team up with me. Wow. This Mary Sue scene of three husbands competing for a daughter in front of her instantly made every girl cover their little mouths, full of envy and jealousy. Ah, damn it. How nice it would be if they were the ones to replace where Sue was. However, just when the crowd was ready to speculate on who Sue Ro would actually choose to team up with, instead, Sue Ro revealed a very polite and courteous sweet smile. Sorry guys, I already have someone for the group. You'll just have to hire someone else. I'm so sorry. The words fell. The originally lively scene was instantly silent. Everyone's expression froze. Suzo Shi. Surprisingly, there are candidates for the team. Of uh, this. What's going on? This princess of the Su family, who was considered a top priest among her peers, had other candidates? Who's that guy? Everyone was confused, including the three favorites for the city's top prize. If Su Ro were to choose one of these three heavenly prides to come out as a teammate, then the crowd won't be surprised. Even take it for granted. After all, the proud daughter of heaven should be matched with the proud son of heaven. But the problem is, now Su Ro had actually chosen someone other than these three heavenly prides as a teammate. How can this not be surprisingly shocking? Meanwhile, viewers are more curious about, who the hell is Su Ro's teaming partner? Countless people began to turn their heads and look around. Only Su Zhou. She gently turned her head, a pair of long eyes like autumn water locking onto the solitary figure standing quietly in the corner with a single glance. Immediately after, under the astonished eyes of the crowd, this princess of the Su clan, who was being fought over by the three heavenly prides, walked with a joyful pace and arrived in front of that solitary figure, revealing a gentle smile that no one had ever seen before. Sheen Fan, I'm coming. Chapter 35, Star Chopper Sword Saint Lubin. Quiet. 
Deadly silence. Everyone was dumbfounded at the scene in front of them. It's as if it's as if his own three views have been shattered. It was especially hard to accept after seeing the true face of that solitary figure. Sheen Fan. Surprisingly, it was Sheen Fan. How could it be him? It was a choice that took everyone by surprise. Rich princess chooses to team up with poor boy. You think you're in a love scene? The most unacceptable among them were the three heavens pride sons. If I had to describe them in one sentence, that is, I can't think of where I lost. In terms of appearance and temperament, they were not much worse than this Qin Fan. In terms of natural talent, it directly crushed Qin Fan. In terms of wealth background, again, it's crushing. Surprisingly, Su Ro didn't team up with them and instead ran to team up with this Qin Fan. And, it was rumored that this Qin Fan was also an extremely wasteful hidden profession. The Dragon Master. In the absence of dragons, Dragon Masters couldn't even compare to some enhanced class professions. For such a loser, Su Ro, who was a priest, even chose to team up with him. This, to say why these three proud sons of heaven valued Su Ro so much. On the one hand, it was because Su Ro's skin was white and beautiful. On the other hand, it was looking at Su Ro's future prospects. As early as before, the city of Anning had already spread the news that the head of the Su family seemed to have saved a big brother by mistake. And then that big brother, in order to repay the Su family for saving his life, took out a priest profession second turning scroll and gifted it to the Su family. Scrolls for priests second turn. For those so-called famous families, it is not very expensive. And you can afford it even if you bite your teeth. But the problem was that the scroll that the Su family had purchased was said to be a special scroll for the priest's second turn hidden profession. Hymn singers, the special existence of the future four turns to become killing angels. Oh, my god. This was also the fundamental reason why Su Ro would be pursued so desperately by these three heavenly prides. It's well known. The more advanced the secret realm copy, the higher the difficulty, the more important it was to form a group. Then reliable teammates are important. And Su Ro, who could turn two and become a hymn singer once she reached level 30, was undoubtedly their best choice. Not only is she white and beautiful, but she is also a powerful hidden support profession. Couple copies, while loving while killing monsters, think of all the beautiful. It was said that even some prestigious families in other provinces, after hearing about this, had contacted the head of the Su family, wanting to join in marriage, but they were all politely declined by the Su family head. However, everyone knew that these prestigious families would certainly not give up, taking advantage of the convenience of being close to the water. These three celestial pride then took the opportunity to send out a group request here. By the way, he proved a wave of his strength in the transfer entrance exam, so that Su Ro would be impressed with himself. But I did not expect this halfway as suddenly killed a program bite gold. But the point is, this programmer is still crap. That makes it very unconvincing. Su Ro, you're not going to tell me that your group selection is this trashy dragon master, are you? Tian Jin Ming frowned. His character was already arrogant. And although he was taking the initiative to pursue Su Ro, he would not be a licking dog. So his tone was not much more polite. He's my friend. Please show some respect. Hearing Tian Jin Ming call Qin Fan a waste. Su Ro's pretty face was immediately colored with a layer of frost. Su Ro, whether he's your friend or not, I don't think he's worthy of teaming up with you. Hoi Ba shook his head. He continued, fear that you do not know when you say a word. He has no father and no mother. Grew up in the orphanage. As for the occupation, you should know. No dragon is a waste of dragon master. It's only wise to team up with us. Even the silent Xiong Shuang spat out a few words. He really doesn't deserve you and after all three of these heavenly prides expressed their opinions, the surrounding candidates were also talking at this moment. Is Su Ro blind, fancying such a loser? A dragon master without dragons teaming up with a priest for a copy. Oh, it's funny to think about. I think this will drag down Su Ro's grades, and by then she might not even be able to go to a major school. This Qin Fan, he doesn't have any self-awareness at all, holding up another goddess's accomplishments. Hearing these voices, Su Ro's pretty face grew colder and colder just as she was about to rise up and retort. Instead, her wrist was pulled. Turn your head and look. Sheen Fan, who found that his expression was indifferent from beginning to end, gently shook his head at her, signaling that there was no need to bother with this group of dog-eyed guys. Seeing this, Su Ro also both let out a deep breath, and then once again revealed a gentle and sweet smile. She just obediently stood by Sheen Fan's side. The scene. Undoubtedly, it made the three celestial pride even angrier. But just then, Buzz. Suddenly, a spatial ripple surfaced in the podium at the very front of Tranquility Square, and its movement interrupted the tense atmosphere under the field. In the next second, dozens of suits and imposing figures appeared on the podium. When these dozens of figures surfaced, the originally noisy square was instantly quiet. A look of solemnity surfaced on everyone's face. 
Because the figures that appeared on the podium, in addition to the principals and teachers of all the major high school schools in Anning City, there were also three big shots from the general administration of education of the Dragon Kingdom. Lu Bin, that king of Yan's favorite disciple, he actually came to our little place in person to supervise the transfer entrance exam. Ah, is this that legendary third turn sword saint? How come the breath looks so ordinary? Foolish, at that realm, people's control of sword intent has long been exquisite. A heaven destroying sword intent can be restrained to an ancient well. My goodness, not bad for a bigot. In a whisper, all the candidates knew that the man who stood in the very center was the legendary sword saint of the chopping star. He is also the favorite disciple of that king of hell. Only 28 years old, he had already stepped into level 65 and achieved the position of third turn sword saint. I can't imagine that such a character would condescend to visit Anning City as the chief supervisor of the college entrance examination. Sheen Fan was also looking at the big man above him at the moment. At this point, that Lu Bin, who held the title of Sword Saint of the Chopping Star, suddenly stood up, and a pair of sharp eyes that seemed to have been washed by the sword intent to be incomparably clear, looked around at all the candidates in the square. Only then did he speak slowly and aloud. I'm sure your homeroom teacher has repeated some of the do's and don'ts, as well as the special rules, about the transfer high school. I don't know how many times. Here, I'll stop babbling. Then, I will hereby announce that the transfer exam officially begins. Please staff will release the secret portal. As soon as Lu Bin's words fell, buzz, at the very center of the entire square, there were extremely violent spatial ripples spreading all of a sudden. Chapter 36, The Great Exam Begins, The Labyrinth of the Earth's Tomb, only to see a silver-white door instantly emerge out of thin air in the middle of the square. Vaguely, all the third-year candidates could hear the low roar of the monster coming from behind the door. Sure enough, it's the silver level secret realm. When all the candidates saw the silver white gate floating in front of them, they also revealed expressions of gravity. Actually, in the past, the test questions of all the previous transitional exams were all silver level secret realms, and the monsters in it are relatively moderate in strength and not too difficult, but not this year. Although they were all silver level secret realms, everyone knew that the strength of the monsters inside was bound to be very strong, at least not something they could easily handle as third year graduates. This has led to 90% of the candidates in the field now choosing to team up. And those candidates who don't team up are basically trying to go solo. It's definitely a level down in terms of difficulty options though. Well, I'm not going to bother with the bullshit. A good wind sends me to the sky. Whether or not you can successfully capitalize on the good wind of the transfer higher education examination and leap into the world depends on your own strength. Now I announce that this year's Dragon Country Transfer Higher Education Examination officially begins. Lubin was worthy of being a disciple of that king of hell. It's not like those other leaders who like to crap all over the place. Straight away, they started announcing the start of the transfer high school exams. When Lu Bin's words fell, all candidates also responded. Buzz. When the fingers of these candidates gently touched the silver white door, the next instant, vast information about the copies just flooded into everyone's minds. Secret realm, labyrinth of the earth's tomb. Level requirement, 13 to 20. Difficulty available, easy, normal. Hard. Hell. Limit, 1 to 5 persons. Secret background, it is rumored that this is the burial place of the deceased king of a certain empire. Countless gravediggers have entered this tomb in order to get rich, but strangely, no one has ever been able to survive. Rules for transferring high school exams. Each candidate is only allowed to take two blue returning pills and two blood returning pills, and the total score will be lowered if the number of times is exceeded. Weapons and equipment of any grade. 3. The score in group mode is 20% less than the score obtained in solo mode. Holy shit, surprisingly, it's the Earth Tomb Labyrinth. Finished, I'm afraid of ghosts by nature. Looks like I'll have to pick an easy difficulty for my solo brush. I can't get past this normal difficulty. I'll go with easy difficulty too. And above normal difficulty, it's going to be a tough time with the environmental mitigation buffs. When the candidates saw that the exam question was actually an underground tomb labyrinth, they were on edge. The main reason was that this Earth Tomb Labyrinth was the hardest secret copy of the previous transitional exams, bar none, supposedly but the year that the Labyrinth of the Earth's Tomb was used as a question for the transitional high school exam, the solo clearance rate is as low as only 30%, even the group pass rate is only 50%, that's a very low value, the pass rate can be a very real reflection of whether the secret copy is difficult or not, generally speaking, anyone with a normal team can get through, as a result, this copy of the Earth Tomb Labyrinth was so difficult that even the clearance rate after teaming up was only 50%. That means nearly half of the candidates failed to pass. This, Miss Su Ro, are you sure you really want to team up with that trashy dragon master? Just before about to prepare to officially enter the copy. Tian Jinming, Hoi Ba, and Xiang Xuan, 
the three heavenly prides, once again came before Su Ro. Su Ro's expression remained cold. I'll say it again. Qin Fan is my friend. He's not a loser. He's better than any of you. As soon as Su Ro's words fell, pussed, not to mention the three Tian Jinming people, even the surrounding candidates couldn't help but snort out a laugh. Ha ha ha, the trashy dragon master is better than any of us. The Su family's eldest miss may be pretty, but she has no brain. Just wait, teaming up with this dragon master. I'm afraid Su Ro hasn't never died before. You know that people die in the secret realm of the high school examination as well. Listen to the chatter around you. Su Ro was so angry that her pretty face was red, and her delicate body was even trembling. Qin Fan's expression remained indifferent, and he had never cared about these disparaging and mocking words. Think of it all as a dog barking. And, next he will use his strength and achievements to hit this group of people hard in the face. Go! Qin Fan just pulled Su Ro's jade hand towards the inside of the silver white gate. Su Ro was suddenly pulled by Qin Fan's small hand like this. Her pretty face flushed, but she didn't struggle in the slightest, letting this teenager who was the same age as herself pull herself. The scene. Undoubtedly, it made Tian Jin Ming, Hoi Ba and the others even angrier. Shit, what a stupid woman. Hoi Ba couldn't help but curse. Teaming up with a loser. When the results come out, I'm afraid I'll be at the bottom. Xiong Shuang also said coldly. All right, guys, all speed into your copies. Tian Jin Ming said faintly. Subsequently, the many candidates also let out a deep breath, stabilized their nervous hearts, gritted their teeth, and all rushed into the silver white gate. Ding. A team has already entered the secret world. A team has already entered the secret world. A team has already entered the secret world. Soon, in the originally crowded Tranquility Square, it went straight to empty. A prompt message floated up on the screen responsible for broadcasting out live footage of the candidate's attack. Webcasting is not permitted for each year of the transfer high school. No outsiders are allowed to watch either. Only the leaders and teachers of the schools, as well as the leaders of the Longboy Education Bureau are only qualified to watch the live broadcast of each candidate's attack. At this moment, around the Tranquility Square, there had long been a single enforcer stationed there. In this world where game and reality merged, transmutators were a powerful force that all countries had to emphasize. To put it more heavily, these graduates of the college entrance examination, that are the mainstay of the future to support the Dragon Kingdom. It is also a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield of the evil front. With such an important presence, the Dragon Kingdom naturally did not allow information about these students to be made public. To know, every candidate will fight to the best of his or her ability in this transfer high school exam that requires all-out effort, sessions, his talents, secret arts, fighting style, and more. It's all going to be on the live screen. If this key information is leaked, then it will be remembered by foreign powers. Even if this student grew up in the future, but his talent and secret techniques were known by others in advance, then he would be easily targeted. That was why the Dragon Kingdom had extremely strict secrecy regarding the information of every transmigrator. Even teachers would instruct every student to make sure to set their information panel to private and unsearchable. This is why the whole of Tranquility Square is completely isolated. Chapter 37, Environmental Mitigating Effects, Worthy of Being Asked by Yama. HM, how come the Sioux family's little princess is even teamed up with that Qin fan? And at that point, the many teachers also finally saw one of the images from the huge floor-to-ceiling screen, in which the registered team information was, Qin fan, Su Ro. This is certainly something that has overwhelmed the principal and teachers. Isn't this Qin fan, a student who transferred to become a dragon master in the first middle school? Instead of giving up on the college entrance exam, he even found Su Ro as a teammate? Nonsense. Teaming up with a dragon master without a dragon to make a copy. Isn't this making fun of your entrance exam? Say, does Su's father know that his daughter is being so reckless? If I knew that, I'm afraid I'd spit out a mouthful of old blood. Old Luo. What's wrong with you? Out of all the priest candidates, Su Ro is one of the most outstanding. How dare you let her team up with a dragon master? Holy shit. And this kid even chose the hell difficulty. Sure enough. The principals of all the major high schools are starting to blame the principal of the first high school, Luo Yang, the principal of the first middle school, was also stunned when he heard this, he looked very sternly at Qin Fan's homeroom teacher, Zhao Li, Zhao Li also had a jolt, he also never expected that the most famous princess of the Su family in the class would choose to team up with Qin Fan ah. after all, it was known in everyone's perception that a dragon master without a dragon was no different from a waste, Zhao Li only felt like crying. Okay, what's wrong with you principals and teachers? Are all of you so demeaning to your students? At this time, Lu Bin couldn't look away. Director Lu you don't know. This Qin fan has been transferred to a dragon master. Although it's a hidden profession. But as you know, if this profession doesn't have dragons, 
It's pretty much the same as an ordinary person. At this time, the principal of the third middle school, Datong Fong, said with a sarcastic smile on his face, this statement was made. Even Lubin fell silent. Dragon master, it's a profession that makes people very weepy. It's well known. Dragons stand at the top of all beastly creatures. Very strong. Even an adult dragon was comparable to two fourth revolution supreme powerhouses. If it's the topmost holy dragon, then, after reaching adulthood, his strength was even able to dry out four fourth turn supreme powerhouses with the power of a single dragon. No way. Dragons are just so tough and unreasonable. And that's exactly why. Even the most trashy earth dragons had very condescending personalities. It will not be easy to make a contract with a human. And a dragon master was different from an ordinary beast master. He could only sign a contract with the dragon race with the purest and most powerful bloodline. But the problem is, would those incredibly powerful top tier dragons be willing to sign a contract with you and willingly become a human's dragon pet? That's definitely not willing. This time, even Lubin let out a secret sigh. This Suzu, not well thought out indeed. How can you team up with a dragon master? Obviously if she teamed up with Tian Jin Ming, Hoi Ba and the others. Hi not to mention, at least there is a chance to enter the provincial top 100. Su Ro's auxiliary ability is not a cover. Tian Jin Ming, Hoi Ba and the other heavenly pride were not fools. It was impossible that they would be willing to team up with Su Ro just because she was pretty. They were also all looking at Su Ro's auxiliary ability that far exceeded that of the other priest candidates. Well, since it's all been done, that means it's Su Ro's own choice. It's only right that we, as teachers, be more understanding of our students and sit back and wait for the results. Lubin finally snapped. The other principals and teachers also stopped talking. However, the look in Luo Yang's eyes was one of hatred, as if he was blaming him for letting such an excellent priest like Su Ro go off on a tangent, and it seemed that he could only make Su Ro wait for next year's re-examination. Your team has successfully entered the secret realm labyrinth of the Earth's tomb. Team selection difficulty, hell level. The scroll of return has been issued to your built-in space. Please use it when you encounter danger. The so-called built-in space is actually the game package. It's well known. In every game, characters will have their own parcels to hold materials, props, equipment, money, and various other items. Now that games are merging with reality, then built-in space is the name of the game package. Sheen Fan's current built-in space's grids were only five open, and Su Zua has opened dozens of them. That's the difference between a poor boy and a rich lady. Su Ro should have been given a lot of space expansion scrolls by her family, which was why she was able to open up so many compartments in her own built-in space. When the brief dizziness wore off, Qin Fan and Su Ro opened their eyes and what was presented to them was an extremely huge mausoleum. A ghostly black passageway leading underground just quietly appeared in front of them, as if the giant mouth of the abyss was quietly waiting for them to enter. Roar! The hoarse and unpleasant monster roar came out so blatantly, as if warning Qin Fan and Su Ro. Human! If you dare to trespass on the earth tomb, then there is only a way to die. Hellish difficulty of the labyrinth of the earth's tomb. It was believed that even Tian Jin Ming, Hoi Ba, and other celestial pride who wanted to go solo, would not dare to choose this difficulty. At best, they would only dare to choose hard difficulty. Only with a group would they dare to step foot on this difficulty. Looking at the gloomy and dark underground passage in front of her, Su Ro gripped the scepter in her hand tightly, then gently raised it. Buzz. Illumination. A bright light flashed at the head of the scepter. Go. Qin Fan walked at the front of the line. Su Ro also followed closely. Hmm. Just after entering this underground passage, a foul odor came to her face, causing Su Ro to almost dry heave. The stench was as if it emanated from thoroughly rotted and tattered flesh and blood. One didn't need to look to know that the tomb guarding monsters inside must be undead zombies. And, what made Su Ro's color change was that just after she stepped into this tunnel, an unspeakable pressure descended on her shoulders. After feeling it carefully, he realized that his attributes had been cut by 30% overall. Even perception and movement were much more sluggish. The illusionary mitigating effect of this hellish difficulty is really powerful. Surprisingly, it cuts the intruder's full attributes by 30%. Sheen Fan couldn't help but lament. Environmental mitigating effects. A mechanic that exists in many copies of the secret world. It's when you enter the secret realm that it weakens a certain attribute of the intruder. Things like strength, intelligence, perception etc. But like this debuff in front of him that reduced 30% of all attributes at once, it really made Qin Fan couldn't help but sigh. No wonder candidates wail when they hear that it is Yama who is the proposer. Who can top this kind of unreasonable environmental mitigation effect? If I'm not mistaken, normal difficulty cuts all attributes by 10%. Hard difficulty cuts all attributes by 20%. Hell difficulty cuts all attributes by 30%. Only Yama would set up such a heartless barrier. 
Chapter 38, The First Pass, Funeral Zombie, Olfactory Purification. Seeing Su Ro's pretty face turn white in disgust by the putrid stench, Qin Fan did not hesitate to apply such a skill as olfactory purification to himself as well as Su Ro. Olfactory purification is a generalized skill, just like eye of appraisal. Any career can be ordered. I can't believe you ordered this skill. Su Ro instantly felt much more comfortable. The sickening smell of decay purified into fresh air that entered her nostrils again, and she felt more relieved than ever. In the secret realm copy, the illusion will also affect the intruder to a certain extent. So just in case, I learned this skill. Qin Fan said indifferently. Sure, mostly, he used his skill points to learn these generic skills that he sometimes used out of the blue. In addition to strengthening his own skills, and then used the rest of his edges to learn these generic skills that he sometimes used out of the blue. It must be known that every transmuter's own vocational skills can be strengthened with skill points. It can be reinforced up to 100%, and every time it is strengthened to 30%, 50%, 70%, and 100%, new effects will appear on the vocational skills above B rank. So skill points can be used not only to learn skills, but also to strengthen the power of skills. The current skill points Qin Fan had gained from upgrading had only strengthened the fire dragon bomb to 5%. The more advanced the skill, the more skill points are required to strengthen it. It also shows how incredibly valuable skill points are. All transferees must be careful and cautious when strengthening and learning skills. After all, there aren't many ways to get skill points. The first way is when you upgrade, you will be rewarded with attribute points and skill points. The second way is that passing the secret copy will reward it. The third way is to eat expensive and rare celestial treasures. These are the three main pathways. Don't be surprised. The battle is ready to begin. Qin Fan said in a deep voice. Su Ro nodded heavily, and a look of grave seriousness appeared on her pretty face, as the two of them gradually went deeper and deeper into this underground passage. The ominous sense of danger grew stronger and stronger. It's coming, Qin Fan reminded gently. Extremely sharp perception allowed him to clearly hear the hoarse low roar of a zombie filled with hunger for flesh and blood coming from the end of the tunnel. Clank! The metaphysical crystal earth scale sword was finally held in his hand. Tada! Even instead of slowing down his pace because he was gradually approaching the monster. He directly accelerated and ran. Weapon blessing. Wind speak blessings. And Su Ro was very timely in delivering buffs to Qin Fan. Buzz. Under the support of these two skills, the Xin Crystal Earth Scale Sword in Qin Fan's hand began to flash with a bright light. Its attack power increased by 10%, and its speed also skyrocketed by 30% at this moment. Just as Su Ro was planning to continue applying buff to Qin Fan again, she heard Qin Fan's voice coming. Remember to control the blue. These two buffs are enough. The words are gone. Swish, his entire person leapt out from the entrance of the underground passage, officially entering the first level of the Earth Tomb Maze Barrier. Ow, oh, in this very wide dungeon square, nearly a hundred zombie monsters let out a furious hissing sound towards the humans who leapt into the air. Ta, Qin Fan's slender figure then lightly landed in front of the group of zombie monsters, under that eye of appraisal. The detailed information of all the zombie minions was directly presented. Monster, Funeral Zombie, Level, 17. Category, Humanoid Monster. Skills, Poisonous Bite, Self-Destructive Poisonous Mist. Qualification, Silver. Remarks, Originally a civilian. After the death of the Imperial Emperor, he was buried alive as a burial object, and his grievances were so strong that he turned into a zombie and wandered the labyrinth of the Earth's tomb. No need to look. As a secret copy of the transitional exam, it should be more traditional in terms of its level setting. The first level is the warm-up level, but even with the warm-up pass, the number of these accompanying zombies was surprisingly close to a hundred. It was important to realize that even in the goblin mysteries that Qin Fan had cleared in the wild before, there were only 20 to 30 goblin monsters in the first level. Turns out there are nearly a hundred of them here. And each accompanying walker is level 17. Still the same. It is worthy of the test questions arranged by Yama. Ow. Oh, there was no hesitation. This group of accompanying zombies directly began to pounce towards Qin Fan. The disgusting appearance of the body covered with maggots was even more cringeworthy. Su Ro, who had just stepped out of the tunnel, watched the scene and started applying buffs to Qin Fan whenever and wherever she could. She was very aware of her duties, as a supporting profession, that is to protect the front row output with all the strength. However, the image presented in the next second was one that left Su Ro completely shocked. Swish, only to see Qin Fan violently sweeping the Xin Crystal Earth Scale Sword in his hand forward. A snow white sword chi containing a terrifying cutting power just spread out. Aya. Ah. The accompanying zombies that rushed at the front unexpectedly screamed miserably under Qin Fan's sword and were directly cut into two halves. Seconds. And it was still a sword that killed at least a dozen accompanying zombies in a second. This. Before Su Ro could make a shocked sound. Swish. 
Sheen Fan, however, pointed his toes, and his entire figure instantly leaped to a height of 5 meters. It also simultaneously dodged the accompanying walkers that swooped in from behind. The group of accompanying zombies raised their heads, wanting to try to reach out and grab Chin Fan, who had jumped into the air. However, Chin Fan let out a low gulp at this moment and flung the Shin Crystal Earth Scale Sword in his hand in the direction where Su Ro was. Ding! A crisp sound rang out. The unparalleled sharp Shin Jing Earth Scale Sword was slanted next to Su Ro's body. Chin Fan, who should have fallen to the ground to be surrounded and eaten by the zombies, was directly pulled away by some unknown force and flew towards Su Ro's side. This time, it was only then that Su Ro realized that Qin Fan had long ago bound a silk thread to the hilt of the sword, and as the Xin Jing Earth Scale Sword was thrown out by him, his figure stepping into the air was also pulled over. Boom! At the next moment, the stomachs of the dozen or so accompanying zombies that were killed by Qin Fan bulged violently, and finally exploded with a bang, and an area of poisonous mist with a diameter of 5 meters was formed. Self-exploding poisonous fog. It seemed that this was a skill that would be automatically triggered by every accompanying zombie after they died. Of course, because of the reason why this group of funeral walkers came too close together, they were also involved by the dozen or so funeral walkers that blew themselves up. Boom boom boom. The consequence of this formation is serial self-immolation. A strand of turquoise-colored poisonous mist was directly generated and began to slowly spread towards this underground palace square. The zombies that still survived were still opening their hideous bloody mouths, attacking and killing Qin Fan and Su Ro. Su Ro's pretty face whitened as she looked at the scene, and was about to ask how she was going to cope with it when, whoosh, Qin Fan, who was on the side, was very calm and indifferent as he rushed out again. Swish, the cold Qin Fan just mercilessly waved the Xin Jing ground scale sword in his hand, cutting the dozen or so accompanying zombies in front of him under his sword once again. At the same time, he pulled out several round things directly from his built-in space and threw them directly towards the group of accompanying zombies, immediately following. Fire Dragon Bomb. Bears. A fireball emitting rolling heat waves instantly transformed into the shape of a dragon head and blasted towards the group of zombies. Chapter 39, Chin Fan. Terrifying Combat Skills. Have to say, the point at which this fireball slammed down was enough to make you tisk tisk. Unevenly, it happened to land right in the very center of the zombie group. The result is, boom. A deafening explosion sounded, only to see that a round black thing unexpectedly under the burning of the fire dragon bomb. All of them completely exploded. Bears. And that's exactly why. After the explosion of the already devastatingly hot fire dragon bombs, the flames became even more blazing after these bombs, completely drowning all the remaining accompanying zombies in an instant. Bang. 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 Unsurprisingly, the group of zombies triggered the poisonous mist to self-destruct again the moment they were burned to death. Hoo hoo. These poisonous mists spread out, like a tide of mist, gradually enveloping towards Qin Fan and Su Ro. Buzz. Just as Su Ro was planning to raise her scepter and cast the group skill Holy Light Purification, Qin Fan, however, reached out and stopped her. Then under Su Ro's puzzled gaze, he took out the white orb from the built-in space again. Then, bang, without hesitation, he slammed it into the ground. Buzz. The white orb immediately bloomed with dazzling white light while Su Ro keenly perceived that there was also a majestic purifying power spreading out. In her awestruck gaze, just for a moment, the small square of the underground palace that was about to be completely enveloped by the poisonous mist was directly dispersed by this purifying power. All of the poisonous fog was rapidly dissolving at this moment. Rumble. In the very center of the small square of the underground palace, a gate opened, and the entrance to an underground passage leading to the second level gradually emerged. This means, the first level is officially passed. This, Su Ro's entire body was dumbfounded. What the hell? That passed? She only released two skills. And, she had thought that Qin Fan would have to summon Shu Shu out under this predicament, but she had not expected it to be easily resolved by him. This instant, her inner concepts appeared to be shattered. It's not just dragons that are strong. As the master of the dragon, Qin Fan's personal combat power as well as combat skills were also ridiculously strong. Ah, what are you waiting for? Hurry up! Qin Fan prodded and without any hesitation. He began to walk towards the second level. Ooh hoo. Only then did Su Ro return to her senses and hurriedly followed Qin Fan's footsteps. Quiet. Deadly silence. The outside world at the moment. Above the podium, every teacher, principal, and even the leaders of the education bureau, and even Lu Bin, the sword saint of the chopping star, had expressions that were completely dumbfounded. Their eyes were filled with a strong look of disbelief. What the hell is this? One teacher's expression could already be described as horrified. What did she just see? 
Sheen Fan had actually passed the first level in less than 30 seconds. I can't be dreaming. Lubin was already slowly turning his head at this moment, looking at the group of teachers and the principal, and said in a deep voice, Is this the wasteful profession you all talk about? The Dragon Master. Crowd. One became mute instantly. One of the most shocking. It was actually Zhao Li, who was Qin Fan's homeroom teacher, and Luo Yang, the principal of the first middle school. To know, at the moment when he had just changed jobs, Luo Yang still felt very sorry, and could even be said to have strong regrets floating in his mind. But today, Qin Fan, who had thought that he was destined to be reduced to a waste, had staged a battle called perfection for all the teachers and the principal in these brief 20 seconds or so. Excellent. It's too excellent. This kid's fighting skills are top-notch. I can't believe that a candidate who's only just in his third year possesses this superb and outstanding fighting skill, as well as the valuable character of composure and calmness. At this point, a leader beside Lu Bin couldn't help but marvel out. This is the director of the Anning Municipal Education Bureau, named Lu Jin Liang. At this moment he finally couldn't help himself. No way. The scene that presented itself had to make him applaud and marvel at it. Excellent indeed. His body control is just perfect. The first wave's airborne entry landed right in the middle of the zombies, just so that it could pull all the monster hate and prevent the other zombies from going after Su Ro. And then there's his terrifying power attribute. That sword in his hand isn't an ordinary weapon, but the power fluctuation he generates when he swings it is even more amazing. One sword killed a dozen zombies, and the key is that under such a heavy encirclement, he was still able to calmly jump up, and with the inertia of flinging his sword out, he tied the hilt of the sword with a silk thread in advance causing himself to fall into the zombie horde again. This kind of fighting style of taking one step and then calculating the next three is truly amazing. It's inconceivable that this would come from a man you jokingly call a waste of a career. Another leader of the Anning Municipal Education Bureau also followed and chimed in. That's a lot of words. It instantly left all the teachers and principals dumbfounded, and a look of guilt appeared on their faces. I'd have to say the best. Thing is still the utilization of props just now. Regarding the utilization of props, our rules do not allow the use of props above grade B. As a result, this kid solved the zombie horde as well as the poisonous fog residue problem with the simplest boomstorm lightning as well as the purification bomb. If my teacher were here, he would inevitably be high-fiving and marveling. Even the star-shattering sword Saint Lubin followed along at this moment in admiration. Teachers in the crowd. Principals. Punch in the face. It's a red-hot slap in the face. The boom thunder and purification bomb are F-rated props. Normally no one would even bother to look at it for a few moments. As a result, I didn't expect this Qin fan to prepare so many props in advance. It favored him and really had an effect on him. Of course, the main thing was that this Qin fan had even mastered a fire attribute magic attack. This made the originally mediocrely powerful booming thunder. After the fire elemental enhancement of this fire attribute magic, the explosion power went up a level. And, the point is that it also saves a lot of blue for the priest profession in the team. Two birds with one stone. Keep in mind that the rules of the transfer high school only allow for two blue pills, and holy light purification, a group purification skill, is very blue consuming. Like these small priests who had just been converted not long ago, after casting it, it was estimated that they had to consume 20% of their maximum blue value. It was only the first level, and consuming so much blue was not a wise choice, obviously. Qin Fan also took this into consideration before he stopped Su Ro's skill from being cast and solved the problem himself. Then turn your head to look at the other candidates' shots. Some of the inexperienced candidates were so scared that they planned to have the priests and the team rush to dispel them with their purification skills after they had decapitated two or three zombies and exploded the poisonous mist. This is undoubtedly the stupidest choice. Chapter 40, Sake, show yourself. It's a pity. It would have been so good if he had switched to another combat profession. Bias transfers a dragon master. At this point, Lu Jin Liang, who is the director of the Anning City Education Bureau issued a sigh of relief. The other principal teachers also revealed a very regretful look when they heard this. Yes, if he were to switch to another combat profession, with this outstanding combat skill and combat instinct, his future achievements would really be unlimited. Just from this discreet and subtle details of fighting, one could actually tell whether a person was fit to fight or not. It was obvious that Qin Fan was the type of person who was fit for battle, but now that he'd changed his job to become a dragon master, he was unable to contract to a dragon. Legend has it that the top dragons live in forbidden areas where humans cannot set foot. They are as powerful as gods, and an adult dragon can take on three human fourth turners at the same time without losing. If it was a top tier adult saint dragon, then it was even less of a problem to fight ten with one. Even the lowest ranked earth dragon in the dragon race could almost possess a strength comparable to that of a fourth turn powerhouse after reaching adulthood. 
If the Dragon Master was able to contract a stream of Earth Dragons, then this hidden profession would definitely become an extremely strong combat profession. But alas, the requirements for a Dragon Master to contract a dragon were too high, it had to be a dragon with a pure bloodline to contract, and the pure-blooded dragons, it would at least have to be a gargoyle-level dragon to qualify for this. In summary, Sheen Fan's career is considered ruined. Currently, no Dragon Master in the world had ever successfully signed a contract with a dragon race above the level of Megalosaurus successfully. On the contrary, there were quite a few Beast Masters who were lucky and successfully contracted with Earth Dragons and Flying Dragons. The strong top-tier dragons simply wouldn't be willing to become enslaved to humans. Watch on, let's first see how far this Gene Fan can go. For now perhaps it will stop at the second level. After all, even though the second level is a tier of small monsters, they are all reinforced monsters. With today's Qin Fan's battle power, although his combat skills are outstanding, he is unable to effectively clear the small monsters, and that would be a bit difficult. Lubin said in a deep voice, It's well known, now it's a transfer high school. It's the fierce competition of a thousand horses crossing a single bridge. Even if Qin Fan was able to pass the test successfully, he was bound to be much slower than the others. That means that even if you pass, you're still not as good as you'd like to be in terms of grades, but that said, their group could only wait quietly for the results. Inside the copy, Sheen Fan, who had quickly cleared the first level, led Su Ro into the gloomy passageway leading to the second level of the Earth Tomb Maze. As Lu Bin said, the second level is still a small monster tier. When Sheen Fan came to the end of the tunnel and pushed open the stone door that had piled up rustling dust, what was presented to his eyes was that it was an underground palace hall. Inside this great hall, there was a very nasty-looking zombie gargoyle all over the place. A rough calculation. There were nearly 500 of them. Of course, the most surprising thing was that among these 500 zombie minions, apart from 100 of them being ordinary accompanying zombies, the other 400 zombies were all mutated species. This, Monster, Iron Walker. Level, 18. Category, Humanoid Monster. Skills, Skin Tempering. Steel Claw Tearing. Spiritual Rage. Qualification, Silver. Remarks, a species that has mutated after years of sucking up countless Ian Chi in the Earth's tombs. Its skin is as hard as steel, and its defense is even stronger than that of ordinary zombies. Monster, Cursed Zombie. Level, 18. Category, Humanoid Monster. Skills, Spell Killing Claws. Bloodthirsty Aura. Qualification, Silver. Remarks, a species that has mutated after years of sucking up countless Ian Chi in the Earth's tombs, and whose attacks contain the power of curses, and also possesses an aura of increasing companionship. Monster, Night's Walker. Level, 18. Category, Humanoid Monster. Skills, Charge, Trample, Death Hold Kill. Qualification, Silver. Remarks, a species that has mutated by sucking up countless Ian Chi in the Earth's tombs for years. In their lifetime, they were knights defending the Empire and possessed certain fighting skills and spiritual intelligence. Tricky. It's tricky. It's worthy of being a high school exam question drawn up by Yen himself. The first level is just an appetizer. The second level starts to be the main event that really tests the level of the transfer candidates. 500 little monsters. If we're talking about a solo brush, we're afraid to have a headache when we meet this level. Even group situations are difficult to deal with. Mainly, there are too many mutant enhancement monsters. This, Su Ro's pretty face also went white when she saw this dense herd of zombies. It's many times harder than that kobold village. I don't know how many times. And, it was so much harder than the secret attack training that was usually done at school. Sure. This was also because Qin Fan had chosen the hell level difficulty. If we were talking about choosing normal, or hard level difficulty, then maybe there wouldn't be such a large number of glitches. But hell yeah, it's normal to have such a difficult situation to cope with. 500 gargoyles. Nowadays, my personal strength isn't considered weak, and having inherited 20% of Sake's full attributes, it's enough to take care of these 500 small monsters, but that would necessarily take a lot of time. If it were any other time of the day, then it would be hard to fight without a small drink in order to hone one's fighting skills. But now being in the middle of the transfer high school exams, a one second difference in time could drop dozens of rankings, even hundreds of rankings. That leaves only one option. Sheen Fan's thoughts raced in that second. Eventually, he slowly closed his eyes, folded his hands together, and violently drank. Sake, show yourself. When the words fell, buzz, a large formation containing terrifying magical fluctuations instantly appeared in front of Sheen Fan. Anon, a deafening dragon roar that filled the air with pressure was heard from the magic formation. Next, boom, a huge crimson dragon's claw poked out from the magical array and stomped on the floor of this ancient and obsolete hall. As if it couldn't withstand the stomping of this behemoth, it soon dented and cracked. Immediately after, a huge dragon head with horns poked out from the magic array. 
and a pair of golden yellow dragon pupils filled with vast majesty scanned the surroundings. In the end, a crimson dragon that was more than 10 meters tall was completely revealed in the grand hall. Its head snapped up. Boom! The ceiling was shattered by it. A pair of eyes as if they were the eyes of a god overlooking all living beings just coldly swept towards the 500 zombies. On! The rotten stench in the great hall due to the zombie monsters caused Sake to instantly let out a low growl of extreme disgust. All without Chin Fan's order. Bears! Little Wine directly opened his dragon's mouth, and a mouthful of scorching hot and incomparable inflammatory dragon spit was poured out like a wave. Chapter 41, Dragon. It's really a dragon. Oh! oh. As this overwhelming fire poured down, the entire hall was instantly flooded by a sea of fire. The 500 zombies had only just awakened, and before they could pounce towards the intruders, they could only let out a miserable scream before they were burned into nothingness. Bright firelight reflected on Su Ro's pretty face. At this time she, a piece of stagnant look, even though she had already known the power of the dragon race in advance, she still couldn't help but shudder when she saw that the zombie horde, which had terrified her one second, had evaporated as much as they could in the next. Is this the top dragons? Terrible. It's really horrible. This is already standing completely at the top of all creatures. Same moment, outside the copy, when all the leaders, principals, and teachers saw the picture, Sheen Fan condensed the beast pet summoning formation that they were too familiar with. All of them had their expressions stiffened and frozen. Even their breathing had been forgotten, and they could only stare at this scene in disbelief. Beast pet summoning array. Surprisingly, it was a beast pet summoning formation. Oh my god. Why did this group of people have a ghostly expression on their faces when they saw this large formation? That was naturally because all beast master professions would condense such a summoning formation when they summoned out their contracted beasts. The texture of the spell formation on it. The operation track. They have all been familiar with it to the point that they can't be familiar with it. If it was said that it was any other beast master who had cast this beast pet summoning formation, then they wouldn't have been the slightest bit surprised. But the problem today is that, the person who condensed this beast pet summoning formation was Chin Fan who was a dragon master ah, a dragon master. A beast pet that a dragon master could contract could be anything but a dragon. Anon, fruity, the next second after that, a dragon roar that made even the sword saint of the chopper's scalp go numb came from the screen. Immediately afterward, a jaw-droppingly huge dragon was presented in front of everyone. One could only see that this huge dragon was wrapped in crimson hard dragon scales, and underneath the scales were the exploding muscles that were filled with terrifying power. A blazing aura of divine fire surrounded its body, making it look like a towering god of fire. Those golden dragon pupils were even more filled with contempt and looking down on all creatures in the world. Dragon. It really is a dragon. And a dragon cub in its infancy. Oh my god. Everyone in the podium stared with wide eyes, their pupils filled with an unparalleled color of shock, as if they felt they were dreaming. This, Lubin let out a syllable with great difficulty, and even so, it could still be felt that the syllable carried a tremor of extreme agitation. The others were even more excited that they couldn't even speak. It's a dragon. The real deal dragons. And, looking at its vast dragon might that looked out of the world and caused everyone to tremble in fear. It was enough to judge that this dragon was definitely a top dragon race above the level of a giant dragon. Sheen Fan, he actually managed to sign a contract with a dragon race. He, became the only dragon master in history to have a dragon. The moment, Zhao Li, who was Qin Fan's homeroom teacher, couldn't help but get up from his seat, waving his fists and shouting with abnormal excitement. Principal Luo Yang was even more short of breath. His face reddened as he got up, his eyes staring at the screen with a deadly stare at the mighty fiery red dragon. Suddenly regret arose within him. Just remember, on the day Qin Fan successfully completed the transfer ceremony, he was still flirting with the idea that Qin Fan might still have research value as a dragon master. At that time, all the students laughed. But now, this student that he had flirted with had actually contracted a real top-notch dragon race, ruthlessly slapping him in the face. But even so, Luo Yang still felt that it was a good slap. The principals and teachers of the other schools around them likewise stared their eyes dead at the screen. Their mouths pursed tightly as if a bomb had exploded inside them but had to be suppressed to death. And after they saw that fiery red dragon exterminate all the small monsters in the second level with a mouthful of dragon breath. Hiss. The sound of cold air being sucked in was even higher. This. What a strong dragon race. At a time when everyone in the outside world's three views seemed to be shattered. Chin Fan looked at the sea of fire in front of him and couldn't help but let out a bitter smile. Gah. As for the little wine that was more than 10 meters high. It had already shrunk in size again at this moment. Flapping its lovely wings and landing on Chin Fan's shoulder, then rubbing its little head against Chin Fan's cheeks in a very intimate manner. Little Wine's affectionate closeness to Chin Fan was almost overflowing. Su Ro on the side looked at this scene and was even more envious inside.
but she was more emotional. It was actually a bit redundant for Qin Fan to come and take the transfer entrance exam, but whenever he showed his dragon pet in front of the leaders of the education bureau, it would be a direct special recruitment. Even those three top academies begged Qin Fan to be allowed to pick them. Good boy, after the exam later, I'll go home and make you a good meal. Didn't you want to eat roasted suckling pig before? Go back and I'll buy you dozens of suckling pigs and then give you a beautiful suckling pig feast. Qin Fan smiled and rubbed Xiao Wine's head. Boing. Sake sniffed and actually made a sappy wailing sound. Hmm. Looks like the little she dragon is still a calling monster. It's always a low growl of on 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 weekdays. However, if he got along with Qin Fan, he was giving out a cute purr like a cat, which was really a heart dragon. Let's go. We can't waste any time. After all, the heavens pride over at the provincial capital isn't a vegetarian either. Qin Fan said faintly to Su Ro. Then it was a quick walk towards the passage leading to the third level. Su Ro hurriedly nodded her head to follow. Actually, she knew that without her so-called priest, Qin Fan could just as easily pass through this hellish difficulty earth tomb labyrinth solo. It was only because of the side trip to give her a ride that she chose to team up. This favor, Su Ro naturally had to keep it in her heart. In the meantime, a few other battlefields, Hoi Ba, who was wearing a golden light battle armor, used his own shield to defend himself against the zombies' attacks while swinging the battle axe in his hand to slash the zombies. In just two minutes, the first level was easily passed by him. Hoomph, the position of Anning City's top scholar will be mine. Hoi Ba, when the time comes, Su Ro, you'll go cry, to be teamed up with a punk dragon master. Hoi Ba walked towards the second level with a lonely face. He's thinking, surely the outside principal and teachers must be applauding in awe at his perfect performance at this moment? That's a given. Who made him so powerful? The other two, Tian Jinming and Xiong Shuang, who were also soloing the difficulty level Earth Tomb Labyrinth, were similarly sprouting complacent thoughts at this moment. Unknown, everyone on the podium, including their three principal teachers, didn't even bother to look at them. Even, Lubin also directly asked the guy to stop switching Qin Fan's footage so that everyone could seriously watch the next exciting performance of Qin Fan and that powerful dragon pet. Chapter 42, Pushing All the Way Across the Labyrinth As Qin Fan brought Xiao Wine and Su Ro to the third level, only Hoi Ba and Tian Jinming had just passed the first hurdle. And, the difficulty level they chose was just the hard level. The difficulty that Qin Fan had chosen was the hell level. Although Qin Fan was said to be in a group situation, it was clear that Su Ro's presence was actually dispensable. Even if it was a solo brush, Qin Fan could just as easily speed brush through the level with his own dragon pet. Soon, Qin Fan arrived at the third level. This earth tomb labyrinth had a total of six floors. This third level is a real maze. What was presented before Qin Fan's eyes was the twisting and turning underground cave. Obviously, this level is a test of the student's perception as well as directional judgment. However, in the face of this kind of barrier, Qin Fan but laughed coldly, then stretched out his finger, pointing ahead and said indifferently, little wine, bulldoze the entire labyrinth in front of me, on, Sake happily agreed, and immediately flapped his wings and stood in front of the entrance to the labyrinth, buzz, then, Su Ro was shocked to see that the dragon's body, which was originally the size of a cat, blossomed with a crimson light at this moment, and then grew rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye, in the end, little wine's size unexpectedly grew to a height of more than a hundred meters, and his head even touched the ceiling of this earth tomb labyrinth, Right now, Sake had changed too much from her previous normal form. First is the body type. It was even more massive and ferocious than the divine flame extinction state, and the terrifying power that was about to overflow manifested Sake's might. Its body's fiery red scales were even tinted with a layer of dark red, as if the dragon scales on its body had gotten hardened. The entire dragon body gave off a feeling of extreme power and beauty in addition to being tall and lofty. Nice. This was none other than Sake's fourth form. Force shakes the vault of heaven. On, after the successful transformation of its own form, Sake raised his head and let out a deafening dragon roar, followed by, under the awe-inspiring gazes of all the spectators in the outside world, this crimson dragon, which was large enough to cover the sky and the sun, was actually charging towards this earth tomb labyrinth with its own dragon body in a hard manner. Rumble, the wall that was used to isolate the passageway and that even a level 30 powerhouse could not destroy was like tofu under Sake's physical body's charge, shattering at the slightest touch. Boom. Boom, boom, in just 10 seconds or so, Sake had already plowed a 2-3 to three kilometer long road across the land as if it were a plow. One of Sake's sprint strides is hundreds of meters. A few strides and the end of this labyrinth was at hand. Su Ro, who was standing next to Qin Fan, her entire body was completely dumbfounded. Never in her wildest dreams did she think that this barrier, which tested perception and sense of direction, 
Would take only 10 seconds or so to find the exit under Sake's charge. Don't even talk about Su Zua. It was Lu Bin, Lu Jin Liang, Lu Ouyang and the others in the outside world who were the most shocked at the moment. They just watched as Yen Wang's well-designed barrier was reduced to rubble in just a dozen seconds under the rampage of this fiery red dragon. And the exit of the labyrinth was presented to all. Of course, what shocked them the most was Sake's physique that was strong to the extreme. In the second level, a single bite of Sake's dragon breath in his normal state had instantly annihilated 500 zombie monsters, and it was still the kind that killed in seconds. I had thought that Xiao Wine was a huge dragon that favored the magic system, but I didn't expect that this dragon pet of Qin fans could even transform into a pompous form that favored the power type. Nice guy, a top-tier gargoyle with both magic and martial arts training. Nope, it's likely that it's a top-tier holy dragon. If it were any other beast pet, they would only feel a threefold explosion, but now see that it's actually a dragon. Well, that's all right. The power and demonic nature of the dragon race was recognized by all of mankind, all of the races. If my teacher were to see this scene, he would probably have a very complicated expression. It took him half a month to design this level in the first place. As a result, I didn't expect that in front of Qin Fan's dragon pet, it didn't even last half a minute before it was cracked in front of that exaggerated to suffocating charge. After Lu Bin marveled, he was revealing a complicated smile. After going through this layer, there's no need to look even if Qin Fan teams up, but he'll definitely be the top scholar of Tianyun province. Lu Jinliang, the director of the Anning City Education Bureau, also said in words, when the other principals and teachers heard this, they did not say anything, obviously acquiescing to Lu Jinliang's words. Jolly and Luo Yang were the two happiest people. Jolly acted as Qin Fan's homeroom teacher, while Luo Yang acted as Qin Fan's principal. These two could both be directly related to Qin Fan. If Qin Fan became a provincial scholar, then the name of Anning No. One middle school would definitely resound throughout the entire Tianyun province. The moment. Qin Fan was already heading towards the fourth level. On the other side, Hoi Ba, Tian Jinming and the other heavenly pride furrowed their brows after seeing the zombie monsters that were densely packed in front of them. Numbering more than 300, even if it was only a difficult level. This number of small monsters was upwards of 300. Buzz. There was no hesitation. Tian Jinming raised the staff in his hand and a holy light mana ball smashed towards the group of zombies. Boom boom. The intense explosion instantly caught the attention of the zombie monsters. Roar. The zombie monsters let out a low roar and immediately pounced towards Tian Jinming. He kept flinging his skills at the other zombie monsters as he hastily dodged them. It could be seen that Tian Jinming's skill chanting was very fast, and his mastery of each skill was also very well placed. To be recognized as the pride of Anning City, he definitely didn't just rely on the support of the family behind him but also had an extremely strong strength himself. When the 300 zombie monsters were resolved, a full 10 minutes had already passed, and Tian Jinming's blue level had only 50% left, and full of woes. His clean white vestments even showed scratches in a few places. Obviously, he was also attacked in this battle, but with his defense gear protecting him, it was nothing. Ha, I guess that Qin Fan and Su Ro can't even pass this hurdle. If I choose hard difficulty, there are more than 300 monsters. Wouldn't there have to be 500 monsters in hell level difficulty? Even if they could eat their way through, the time required would be at least an hour or more. Tian Jinming smiled coldly inwardly. Several others thought the same. Unbeknownst to them, the wasteful profession in their eyes was at this moment already pushing all the way across. Coming to the fourth level without any obstacles. I wonder how many hours ahead of Tian Jinming and the others. Su Ro held the scepter and obediently followed Qin Fan. Trotting along. The next thing to face is the elite monsters. Chapter 43, Too Strong to be Reasonable. The strength attribute and physique attribute of Xiao Shu and the Force Shakes the Heaven State would come to a very exaggerated 3200 points, but the wisdom attribute will be much lower. Obviously, Sake in this state was better suited for melee combat. With such terrifying strength and physique, it was estimated that even a second turn powerhouse wouldn't be able to fight Sake head on. Only level 63rd turn powerhouses were qualified to collide. But the problem is, Sake is only level 10 now. It's still in its infancy. A juvenile Saint Dragon was enough to rival a human level 63rd turning powerhouse. There was no telling how terrifying this would be if Sake reached adulthood. It was no wonder that before Qin Fan, no human had ever succeeded in taming a dragon race above the gargoyle class. On the contrary, there were beast masters who were lucky enough to have made a contract with a subdragon with a lighter dragon bloodline. But it's also just a contract, and both parties are on equal footing. But now Qin Fan, Yet it is possible for Sake to carry out any command unconditionally. The moment. After Qin Fan pushed open the door to the fourth level and walked in, the entire dungeon hall began to automatically burn candles, and the light illuminated all around this dimly lit area. 
But soon, boom, before Qin Fan and Su Ro could see clearly what the inside of this hall looked like, the result was that it returned to its normal state, and the small wine that was only 30 meters tall just crashed in. Now, the dim light from outside shone in, causing everything in this hall to finally be truly reflected as well. Only at the end of the hall, there was a giant zombie with a height of 6 meters standing straight up. Of course, the most eye-catching thing was that this giant zombie actually had three heads and six hands, and each hand holds a different weapon. Its body was even more hideous, with countless stitches emerging, and you could even see several hideous human faces on its body. Without any hesitation, Qin Fan directly used the eye of appraisal. All the information about this giant zombie was also finally presented to himself. Monster, Giant Suture Zombie. Level, 21. Category, Humanoid Monster. Skill, Qualification, Gold. Remarks, an experimental product made by human beings, stitched together with the bodies of hundreds of powerful zombie elite monsters, extremely strong, good at both close combat and long distance, nice guy, the elite monsters of the silver ranked replica mysteries were surprisingly qualified as gold, and not surprisingly, the skills of this elite monster were deliberately hidden to increase the difficulty, it almost made Qin Fan not be able to straighten it out, one could only say that he once again had a new perception of the difficulty of that Yama's questions. But the good thing is that for him, it's not even a thing. At this time there may be people who think that Chuchin Fan actually rely on a little wine to be so overwhelming. If you're left on your own to actually solo, you're certainly no better than anyone else. To the person who had such a thought, Chin Fan could only say, you're such an idiot. I'm a dragon master. If the dragon master profession doesn't have a dragon pet, isn't that the same as a mage not being able to use magic and a swordsman not having a sword? This was Chin Fan's own professional advantage. Try transferring a dragon master by luck yourself if you don't. Roar. The giant stitching zombie immediately let out a hiss. Then without any hesitation, it directly charged towards Qin Fan. Even after seeing the blazing flame sacred dragon standing behind Qin Fan, this giant stitching zombie did not have any timidity or fear. After all, it no longer has a sense of belonging. It only knows how to devour and decapitate any human that breaks into the level. Even if the opponent was more powerful, it would never back down. However, even if this giant stitching walker was as brave and direct as it could be, but in front of the small wine, still can only be reduced to a small party dishes. Destructive Inferno Claw. On. The moment he received his master's command. Bears. Sake's front paws burst into flames. The entire hall was even more brightly illuminated because of these bright flames. Swish. In the face of this charging giant stitching zombie, Sake just waved his own dragon claw with a scornful expression. All that was heard was a poof. Under the dragon's claw. The body of this giant stitching zombie directly turned into meat foam, and the fire attribute attack attached to it completely burned the flesh of this giant stitching zombie. A life destructive inferno claw directly killed this level 21 in gold elite monster. Even though Qin Fan had already clearly understood the terrifying power of Xiao Wine long ago, witnessing it with his own eyes now still caused a great shock to Qin Fan. If nothing else, if he was left alone to solve this elite monster, then it would take at least 5 minutes. As a result, Sake raised the dragon's claw like this and flicked it to pull. With a poof, the elite monster was gone. Holy shit, that's gone. Outside, the crowd on the podium nearly had their jaws dropped after witnessing the images presented on the screen. Nice guy, it's so exaggerated. A level 21 gold elite monster huh? If this was put on a wild map, it could all be a boss in the inner perimeter of the dense forest mountain range. I have to mention something here, regarding the monster's qualifications. Monsters with higher qualifications not only represented that they were more powerful and had higher attributes than other monsters of the same level, but also represented that they had higher growth values as well as more skills that they possessed, like this gold giant stitched walker. A preliminary estimate was that it should have broken through 300 in terms of the strength attribute. To know that Qin Fan had the inherited attribute of bloodline fusion, his current strength attribute had only just reached 400 ah. Even so, to deal with this kind of thick-skinned and thick-fleshed elite monster, it was impossible to resolve it without a 5 or 6 minute tussle. It turned out to be in front of the 3 leaders as well as many principals and teachers. Put, this monster, which even a level 25 powerhouse would have an exceptionally hard time dealing with, and could even be said to be easily killed, was gone. Nope, this dragon race is also ridiculously strong. Exaggerated, it's exaggerated. And you should have also noticed that this little dragon cub has shown a total of 3 forms. It should be in its normal form now, the same as it was in the second level only 30 meters tall and giving the impression like its attributes are extremely balanced, and the form that rampaged through the third level was hundreds of meters high, it nearly topped the ceiling of the earth tomb labyrinth, the power fluctuations overflowing from its body even made me, a third turn powerhouse, feel my heart skip a beat, 
There is another form that becomes as big as a cat and stands on Qin Fan's shoulders, as the sword saint of the star chopper. Lu Bin's powers of observation were naturally extremely outstanding, very keenly perceived the changes in Sake's attributes in different states. Crowd. This, this juvenile dragon pet of Qin Fan's actually made even this third turn star shattering sword saint feel his heart skip a beat. This is too strong to be reasonable. Chapter 44, Divine Flame Extinction, Dragon's Breath. While the outside world marveled, Qin Fan within the copy had already brought Xiao Wan and Su Ro to the fifth level. The first two levels are mini monster levels that test the ability to clear monsters. The third level is a labyrinth, which tests the trespasser's ability to perceive pathfinding. The fourth level is an elite monster that tests your output. And when Qin Fan came to the fifth level, the first to come into view was a very barren and empty plains. You'd be hard pressed to imagine such an amazing plain sight opening up in a geode like this. And it's amazing that there's even sky here. It appears to be a special space that was carved out independently by the questioner. Mirror of mirrors. A big deal. To the point of opening up a small secret area in the secret area again as the fifth level. Only when Qin Fan saw the monsters in this level. Even he himself couldn't help but suck in a breath of cold air. Only to see that standing hundreds of meters away in the distance. There stood ten giant. Tall sized suture walkers. That's not the point. The bottom line is, behind these ten giant stitching zombies stood a dense, extremely terrifying number of zombie gremlins. At a cursory glance, there were at least close to two thousand zombie minions. Two thousand of them. Oh, my god. When Su Ro on the side saw this, her pretty face turned even whiter. She never dreamed that this fifth level would be like this. Ten elite monsters, plus two thousand gargoyles. This has been a mind-blowing army of monsters. Hiss. Even the many principals and teachers outside the replica couldn't help but viciously suck in a mouthful of cold air after seeing this scene. Hiss. God. What's wrong with this level? Why is it so perverted? Isn't this a secret copy of the transfer exam? Why is there a level of this difficulty? 10 elite monsters, plus 2000 small monsters. That's already over the top. Right? Don't forget. This topic is from that Yama. And it's normal for that Yama to come up with topics. Being reminded of this. The other principal teachers were instantly silent. It seems to be the right thing to say. After all, under these circumstances, only that being, King Yama, would come up with a question like this. There was a very odd transfer high school test a while back. None of the candidates made it through that transfer entrance exam. All of them stopped at the penultimate level. The reason is the same as the picture presented to all today. It is too difficult. It seems that this year in our southern state province, all the candidates who chose the hell level difficulty are probably having a pretty hard time. Even Lu Jin Liang, the director of Anning's Education Bureau, said with a bitter smile, you all don't have to worry. In fact, the exam questions in the scene before you are specially formulated for those who are grouped together. If we're talking about a single player breaking in, only five elite monsters will appear, and only a thousand small monsters will appear. If demons really do exist, then this situation can still be brushed aside single-handedly. Lu Bin explained softly. However, even after listening to Lu Bin's explanation, the principals and teachers were still full of emotion and bitter sighs, because even if the difficulty was halved, this wasn't something an average candidate could pass. It had to be the kind of demon that was extremely strong to the extreme in order to pass. Sure enough, Yama himself is a demon of questions, and the questions he gave were a test of the demons, ordinary candidates entering inside. Not to mention passing, I'm afraid it would be hard to get a better score. Read on. This little guy has a dragon. It's just as well for us to see if this little dragon cub can handle this test in front of us or not. Lubin said rather expectantly. For this level setting, Lubin felt it made sense. A demon's barrier is meant for demons to break. If the demon was allowed to brush some regular levels, how could it reflect the power of its demon? That's why it has to be this kind of level to detect who the real demons are. Right now, although Qin Fan was part of a group, the difficulty was twice as high as painting a copy solo and the monster blood bars will be thicker. To be clear, in fact, Qin Fan was no different from a solo copy nowadays. Although it was said that there was an extra priest, Su Ro, the whole time Su Ro was doing nothing more than adding some small buffs to Qin Fan. In the face of this overwhelming army of monsters, as well as the giant stitching zombies that were as tall as mountains, this small buff bonus was dispensable. Well, let's see if he can keep it up. Inside the secret, Qin Fan looked at the group of monsters in front of him, and although he was dumbfounded with surprise for a moment, immediately afterward, a touch of joy surfaced on his face. The reason was simple. It was because the higher the number of monsters, then the more experience he and Sake would gain. Secret copies basically settle rewards at the final pass. Sake, go! Without any hesitation, Shin Fan directly gave the order. The main reason was that there were too many monsters. 
If Jean Fan was allowed to kill them on his own, it would be possible to get rid of them, but it would take too long and too much time. This one level can be difficult for others, but for Jean Fan, excuse me, master has a dragon. Anon, little wine received its master's order and a dragon's roar resounded, and immediately afterward, with a quake of its wings, it jumped from Jean Fan's shoulder to high in the air. Buzz, huge magical formation patterns emerged. It was followed by a fiery red light that completely blossomed in the air like a firework. Little Wine's body began to be surrounded by a blazing divine fire, and his body size even rose against the wind, coming to a height of 50 meters. This time, however, Sake had no intention of jumping off the ground. It began to unfold its wings. Its sun-shadowing sigh swept across this gloomy sunless sky, and the crimson flames all over its body were enough to light up the entire heaven and earth. Divine Fire Destruction Form a golden divine fire pattern emerged from Little Wine's ponderous body, emitting an extremely fiery aura. Even the entire heaven and earth became fiery because of Sake's blossoming form. Anon, with a dragon's roar, it was like a bomber that swept sharply directly towards the side of the monster group. Ho 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 ho! The group of zombie minions and giant stitching zombies below the ground let out unknowing roars as they saw a cloud of divine fire sweeping sharply from the sky. However, no matter how much they rioted, how much they jumped up, how much they threw the weapons in their own hands, they were unable to touch this powerful and noble lord of the sky, there was no need for Jean Fan to give orders at all, Sake herself had opened her dragon's mouth and spat out that horrifyingly destructive dragon breath from high in the air, bears, the terrifying dragon's breath, which was like lava, poured out and covered the legion of zombies in an instant, chapter 45, the last level, tyrant's dead corpse, ah, uh, destroyed, instant seconds, once again, Sake showed his power to all, a mouthful of dragon's breath continued to spit out, just like the canopy poured out lava of destruction in general, just after half a minute, this group of fearful and scalp-numbing zombie legion, just completely drowned in the sea of blazing fire, even the ten giant stitching walkers couldn't resist the destruction of this dragon's breath, it was important to know that Sake's wisdom attribute had now broken through above 3000 at least, this was all due to the magical increase brought about by the divine fire extinction form, Facing this group of small monsters that probably didn't even have more than 200 mana resistance, this divine fire spit was undoubtedly devastating. You can only die obediently and cannot resist at all. Sake looked down at the sea of fire below with great satisfaction. These disgusting people just deserve to be destroyed. It was still afraid that there were small monsters that had not been cleaned up, so it circled around in the sky again until it could not sense the scent of any monster's presence, before it reverted back to its original little cute form and landed back on top of Chin Fan's shoulder. Gah! Little Wine, who had resumed the size of a pet, landed on Chin Fan's shoulder, and his barking actually became pampered, rubbing Chin Fan's face very affectionately, as if to express, Master praise me, the master praises me, Sake is awesome, thanks to you, we were able to break in so smoothly, at this, Chin Fan naturally did not have any stingy compliments, very facetiously, he stroked Sake's little head, Envy once again welled up within Su Ro on the side, wouldn't it be nice if she could have a dragon pet like this, but on second thought, it seemed that even if there was a dragon, he couldn't contract it himself, he was only a priest, not a dragon master, and it's a matter of fate if you want a contracted dragon, not just anyone can deed to it, thinking of this, Su Ro could only sigh helplessly, outside, those principals and teachers on the podium once again fell into silence and dead silence, though in their eyes it felt like the level was a bit over the top in terms of difficulty, however, they were still shocked beyond words when they saw Shao Sake once again display his invincible power in a different form. I had thought that Yama had come up with a demonic enough title. As a result, I didn't expect this Chin fan to be even more perverted. Lean. It's just completely unreasonable. I have a feeling that even if the last level is any more demonic, it won't be able to stop Chin fan. At the same time, it's very likely that he will become the best record keeper of this secret copy of the Earth Tomb Labyrinth. In other words, it's that he's bound to break records and we're about to witness history. As Chin Fan's homeroom teacher, Jolly could not help but say with excitement and thrill. No way. Dragon masters with dragons are really scary. A cross-pollination. Unreasonable. The so-called tactics, the so-called difficulty levels, the so-called tests, seem to be nothing in front of the dragons, worthy of being at the top of the biological chain. Congratulations in advance to your first form for producing such a unicorn child. It's ridiculous that we even thought that your first form's dragon master was a loser at first, and here I am to say I'm sorry. At this time, one of the principals of the third middle school stood out and arched his hand at Luo Yang, expressing his apologies. Me too me too. We shouldn't have jumped to conclusions too early, but now it seems to be slapping us old guys in the face. I have to apologize here too. Likewise, 
The other principals and teachers who had once laughed at the dragon harnessing division of the first high school surprisingly all hurriedly apologized at this moment. I can't do it without apologizing. Who made this dragon master really rise to the top? And, they weren't apologizing to this principal, but to Qin Fan, apologizing for their earlier mockery of Qin Fan. This dragon master is destined to rise, if you don't apologize now, and when they rise completely to the top and become a big brother, then what about turning around and taking revenge when you think back to when you used to be ridiculed by certain people in high school? Hurry up and apologize. Ha, it's just a misunderstanding. Just clear it up. Luo Yang's smile stiffened. In reality, how could he not have once been disappointed in Qin Fan? It didn't even give Qin Fan any subsidies for hidden professions simply because it felt that the other party had no possibility of rising to prominence. It should be known that the Double Ten Compulsory Education of the Dragon Kingdom stipulated that students who successfully switched to a hidden profession were rewarded with a certain amount of resources. And Qin Fan, as a dragon master and a hidden profession, deserved to be rewarded with resources. However, the first middle school side did not apply because they felt that Qin Fan could not rise to the top. No, when this college entrance exam is over, I have to personally come to the door and apologize properly. Luo Yang made up his mind. While a flurry of things were happening in the outside world, Qin Fan had finally arrived at the last barrier, that is, the deepest part of the labyrinth of the Earth's tomb. At the very center of the Earth tomb labyrinth stood a huge palace of golden splendor. When Qin Fan stepped into this palace with Xiao Wein and Su Ro, what kind of rats dare to trespass on my imperial tomb? A high shout rang out abruptly. Only in the very center of the golden palace, there was a tall figure standing. This figure wore a golden colored dragon robe and a gorgeous crown. His face was square but his skin was an iron blue color. The thick pressure emanating from its body was even more pervasive in every corner of this palace. Qin Fan directly used the eye of appraisal skill on it. Monster, Tyrant Dead Corpse. Level, 30. Category, Humanoid Monster. Skill, Qualification, Gold. Remarks, the emperor of an ancient empire was a brutal and tyrannical tyrant in his lifetime. And after his death, he became a corpse and was imprisoned here for eternity. Nice guy. Qin Fan could only call out to the good guys. The final boss of the silver level secret realm is actually a monster with a qualification as high as gold. Totally over the top. I'm afraid that all of its four dimensional attributes have reached 500. It was 100 higher than Sheen Fan's current attributes. And, the most crucial thing was that the level of this tyrant dead corpse had actually come to a terrifying level 30. This was something that Sheen Fan was afraid that he would not even be able to defeat if he was allowed to fight with him alone. What the hell? Is this year's transfer exam that hard? However, although he was surprised, Qin Fan was very settled. He himself is a dragon master, and a dragon master with dragons. Fear him. What makes Qin Fan feel happier is, the harder the level is, then that means more experience in clearing it. That's a good thing. On the other hand, Su Ro, who was on the side, was once again glad that she had hugged Qin Fan's thigh. I'm glad I didn't let it go. Humph, just as well. I have been alone and lonely for countless years, and it has been a long time since I have tasted human flesh and blood so it's just the right time to take you guys for a meal. Come on man. When this tyrant dead corpse's angry cry fell, I am here. Wow. Only to see the original empty golden palace. But out of nowhere, thousands of different costumes of the dead body of the general. Chapter 46, Born to Fight in Close Combat. Countless densely packed little monsters instantly appeared in all directions in this gilded underground palace. Compared to the fifth level, the number of small monsters in this final level had come to a staggering number of nearly 10,000. The most peculiar thing about, in front of these zombie minions, there were dozens of soul figures. All of these spirit figures were the robes of ministers in ancient times. Enough to see that these would be the subordinate subjects who were buried with the dead body of the tyrant. Have to say, it wasn't in vain that this boss was addressed as tyrant dead corpse. All these acts do deserve the word atrocious. Sheen Fan surveyed these monsters around him with interest. And at the same time, he also saw through the information of these leading elite monsters whose qualifications as well as levels were definitely not weaker than those of the giant suture walkers. Monster, the spiteful spirit of the king. Level, 25. Category, humanoid monster. Skills, order of the king's servant. Cursed spell. Soul sucking. Qualification, gold. Remarks, he was once a subordinate minister of a tyrant, and was buried here with him, and was transformed into a resentful soul by sucking up countless in chi in the tomb for many years. Monster, the dead body of a great general. Level, 25. Category, humanoid monster. Skills, call to charge. Trample. Self-destruct. Mega slash. Swordsmanship proficiency. Qualification, gold. Remarks, once a powerful general of the tyrant. He was buried here and turned into a corpse by absorbing the in energy of this place. Monster, knight's corpse. Level, 23. 
Category, Humanoid Monster. Skills, Lance Dance. Charge, Qualification, Gold. Remarks, the elite troops of the dead body of the great general, buried here with him, were likewise transformed into dead bodies, specializing in mounted charges. Not bad for a boss level. These levels of elite monsters alone were enough to cause big trouble that would be difficult to solve, especially with nearly 10, 000 zombie minions. This is simply not passable for an ordinary team, unless those few heavenly prides from the provincial capital teamed up together to clear a level of this difficulty. Perhaps it was that Yen King who felt that the annual transfer high school exam questions were too simple, so he intentionally sent this kind of question. However, Xin Fan knew that as long as it was this kind of difficult test question, it was bound to have a unique technique for passing. After all, the group of monsters in front of them were simply not something an ordinary team could get past. Even the Gang of Heaven's pride from the provincial capital would have trouble dealing with the situation if it was said to be a single person under the book. Therefore, Xin Fan guessed that there must be some sort of mechanism to reduce the difficulty in this level. Or it could be avoided by the Tyranid undead summoning a minion charge organ. Sure, even if Xin Fan knew that there was such an organ, he didn't even bother to look for it now. The reason is simple. He was just going to just exterminate all the little monsters. It is important to realize that the experience gained from killing monsters is now all settled jointly and in full after the pass. In this situation, Qin Fan was not willing to waste the experience of any monster. Besides, he still got the sip. Does a dragon master with a dragon need to think about anything else in this kind of transfer high school copy? Just push it all the way across. Little Wine was just lying on top of Qin Fan's shoulder, facing these densely packed zombie monsters, as well as that tyrant undead zombie. It didn't even bother to raise its eyelids for a moment, only focusing on humming beside its master's body. Su Ro was rather frightened. After all, she didn't expect a thousand armies to really emerge from the final level. However, it was good that she was able to force herself to calm down. Not saying that she could help Qin Fan, but at least she had to not drag him down. Sake, now this sight of a thousand armies is just the thing for you to have some fun with. Come on, go ahead and try the force shaker form and see if these monsters can survive your rushing and trampling. Xin Fan smiled and gave the order. Anon, Sake never violates his master's orders. Now that the two sides had signed a contract, inside Little Wine's perception, Master Qin Fan was everything to it, no matter who it was, but whoever dared to harm its master, then it would use its sharp dragon claws to tear the opposite side apart. Having received the order, Sake immediately displayed the force shaker form. The previous labyrinth had been too gloomy, preventing anyone from the outside world from getting a good look at Sake's true stance in this form. And today, in this gilded underground palace, the very nearly extravagant architecture shimmered with eye-catching splendor. It also completely illuminates Sake's force shaker form. Buzz. Sake's size skyrocketed against the wind in this instant, originally only the size of a cat. In flapping its wings to the center of the square in this underground palace, it had grown to a hundred meters high, which could be called the top of the sky. The fiery red scales all over his body seemed to be like magma that had been scorched by high temperatures at this moment and then experienced cooling, directly carbonizing down. The scales that had been carbonized seemed as if they were like a thick layer of metal armor worn on the body, displaying extremely domineering and unparalleled top-notch defensive power. The Shao Sake in this state no longer had any cute feeling. Instead, it gave off a sense of fear that the god of destruction had descended. Even its dragon claws had turned into a grayish-black color. The whole thing looked like it was transformed into a steel-armored dragon. Roar! The deafening sound of the dragon's roar rolled around in the underground palace and even Su Ro had to cover her ears. After everyone in the outside world witnessed little Sake's force-shaking heavenly dome form on the screen, this directly and completely refreshed their three views. Is this the dragon? This is the dragon. This Qin Fan again intended to crush everything in this level in the most brutal and direct way. The first thing others think of when they see such a terrible level is to just find the mechanism that weakens the monsters. But on this Qin Fan side, there was no need to consider anything more. Speculation? Looking for organs? Sorry. I don't need it, good fellow. This 100 meter tall ponderous stance is truly more surprising than a monster. Yeah, can anyone make a preliminary estimate of the attributes of this dragon right now? When that was said, all the principals and teachers, including those two bigwigs from the Anning Municipal Education Bureau, turned their heads to look at Lu Bin in the very center. It was because he, alone, was the only third turned existence in the podium today. It also shows that he's definitely seen way more scenery and experience than they have the circles of exposure will be different. If we speculate based on the majestic sense of power permeating this dragon's limbs right now, its power attribute is at least all of nearly 4, 0, 0, 0 points. Moreover, its defense attribute is definitely the top of the top as well. This stance as if possessed by black and gold armor. It's as if it was born for close combat fighting, 
when Lu Bin's words fell. Hiss. Everyone sucked in a cold breath. Chapter 47 Sweeping Away the Little Monsters. That dramatic? Even if it came from Lu Bin's mouth. All the other principal teachers remained in a state of confusion. Their hearts told themselves that even if a dragon that was only a mere hatchling was terrifying, it shouldn't possess such a terrifying attribute. But the reality in front of them slapped them hard in the face and then told them that this dragon was just so awesome. Even the star-shattering sword saint looked on with a face full of shock. Let alone them. Moreover, they also knew that their experience was definitely far inferior compared to the sword saint of the beheading. Then what Lubin said was most likely true. A dragon that was only a hatchling was able to raise its power attribute to the point of nearly 4,000 under the transformation of its form. This, pervert, really sick. Look carefully, you guys. Although this form of it has strengthened its attributes of strength and physique, its attribute of intelligence has weakened a lot at this moment. A final conclusion can be drawn. This crimson dragon possesses four variations of form. One that favors magic. One that is what it looks like at the moment, which favors physical attacks, as well as melee combat and two more, which are the 30 meter height in its normal form, as well as the adorable stance in its kitten form. Lubin is worthy of being Yen Wang's student. Just by looking at it for such a short while, he had already figured out the changes in the form of this juvenile dragon pet. The main reason was that ever since Qin Fan had pulled out this dragon pet, all the principals and teachers present had already been too lazy to put their eyes on the other students' exams. Instead, it was all placed in Qin Fan's exam. After all, this was the first time they had witnessed the moment of a high-ranked young dragon cub. Quickly look, Qin Fan is ready to give the order for this little dragon cub to crush everything. At that moment, a teacher exclaimed. Immediately after, the crowd was then shocked to see Qin Fan find a place to hide after having Su Ro buff herself. Then he himself jumped on top of Sake's head, standing a hundred meters above the ground. One could even feel the gloomy wind blowing from the labyrinth of the earth's tomb. Looking down, the legions of undead corpses that had originally amazed him were at this moment tiny ants. Is this the high ground? Sheen Fan, who was standing on Little Wine's head, couldn't help but lament. He was also finally experiencing Sake's perspective on other creatures. Under this perspective, it's as if everything is an ant. The feeling is really overwhelming. No wonder Sake always looked at other people with his head raised in arrogance, treating other creatures' presence with his nostrils. I'm afraid no one can suppress their inner condescension and arrogance under such a sweeping view of the mountains. Right? Damn human, what is this thing you're writing? Unlike the previous levels, the tyrant undead corpses of this level clearly retained a certain amount of spiritual intelligence. After it saw Sake reveal its true form, for some reason, a long-lost sense of fear resurfaced within itself. No, no way, it is a famous emperor, it's more of a dreaded tyrant slayer. How can you be intimidated by a human in front of you? Nope, not intimidated by this human, it was by the dragon in front of him. For the first time it felt small. It was as if under the defiance of this huge dragon, it all felt a strong threat of death rising from within. Perhaps it stems from a fear within himself. Surprisingly, it did not choose to have all of its subordinates charge and kill this hundred meter tall monster dragon race. Good fellow, I can't believe that it has really shaken the heart of this tyrant's dead soul, to the extent that it has fallen into the fear of not daring its subordinate subjects to charge. That happens to be one of the little tricks in my teacher's arrangement of this level. As long as we can get this tyrannical undead corpse to rage, then it will personally strike to decapitate the trespassers and will not order the swarms of lesser monsters to charge. And if it can put the tyrant dead corpse in fear, then it loses the passive skill emperor's guts, which is equivalent to losing the prestige belonging to the emperor. Then the elite monsters around them won't be able to follow the orders of this tyrannid undead corpse. When Lu Bin in the outside world saw that the tyrant dead corpse even showed a rare expression of fear, he softly explained. The crowd listened. Momentary dawning. So it is. No wonder this level is so difficult. The feelings are because of the arrangement of the organs in advance. You can avoid the group of gargoyles to charge over in a seizure. Actually, this mechanic skill trigger of avoiding certain monsters through mechanisms as well as tricks is found in many secret areas. Some of the more difficult copies of the secret world. Usually there will be cracked small organs. As long as to find and trigger the small organs, then the mechanism of this secret world will become very simple. Right now, I didn't expect that this dragon of Qin fans would shock the tyrant dead corpse even before it struck. Is this what makes dragons scary? And this time, Qin Fan within the secret territory didn't care if the other party was fearful or not. In his eyes, this group of small monsters under his eyes was equivalent to white flowery experience value. Once this tyrant undead corpse was killed, then it was expected that these little monsters would turn to dust along with it. So, Sake, charge straight ahead, crush all the little ants under your feet first, then crush that big one. Anon, Sake responded with an I know it. Subsequently, boom. 
when Sake had only taken the first step only, a huge pit with a dragon's claw that was three meters deep instantly appeared in the ground of the palace, those are footprints left by Sake, and more critically, as it took its steps, the entire palace began to tremble, the group of zombie minions closest to Sake didn't even have the chance to have any chance to move before they were shattered by the power-filled concussive aftershock, at this moment, Sake's strength attribute was actually coming to 4500, terror, extremely scary, of course, this was an attribute that could only be possessed in the force shakes the vault of heaven form, if the sip changes back to its usual stance, then the attributes are equalized, however, it had to be said that this form with a clear division of power and magic did provide Qin Fan with convenience, at least Qin Fan was free to switch freely between the two forms, magical and physical, boom, and the second kick had fallen, ah uh, ah, uh. another slice of dead zombie goblins, the group of similarly spiritually intelligent dead corpses of the great generals and the resentful souls of the king's ministers instantly retreated with greatly changed faces after sensing the devastating destruction. However, without having the time to leave, a huge black and gold dragon's tail was this like the scythe of the god of death, sweeping viciously towards the ground. Ah uh, ah. Uh. This time, there were even more deaths and injuries. Roughly estimated that such a fling of sake's tail had decimated at least a thousand zombie mini monsters. Chapter 48 Passing, Rating SSS. In just one sweep, more than a thousand zombie monsters were wiped out, takes up 10% of all the glitches overall, and that's just because the gargoyles aren't close together, if they were all close together, then that one sweep would be enough to wipe out all the little monsters, gah, looking at the zombie monsters that were swept to death by their own tails in everyone's unbelievable gazes, Sake also had a rare moment of playfulness, then those huge golden dragon pupils flashed with a playful color that only belonged to a child that would rise up, apparently, the final level, which was regarded as a certain death situation in many candidates, was like a playground for children in the eyes of Xiao Wein. this way of directly destroying the vitality of all monsters was very much in line with the destructive character in the dragon race, to say who rocked the scene the most, in fact, apart from the outside audience, it was only the tyrant dead corpse who was the final boss, it looked at its army of undead corpses and realized that it was so vulnerable to this dragon, Qin Fan looked at the tyrant undead corpse that had fallen into a stupor, and was relatively able to understand its mood at the moment. The king's division army that was looking down on the world was as fragile as paper in front of this giant dragon that could be called a monster. Actually, sometimes Qin Fan also pondered, since he was a dragon master, why couldn't he be harnessing a divine dragon from the myths and legends of the dragon kingdom? But a quick second thought, how can the dragon god of our dragon kingdom be subdued and mastered by a mere mortal of his rank, and only the great dragons of the west, the holy dragons, are harnessed? Of course. The main reason is that today humans have not yet been able to discover any traces of the eastern divine dragons, so much so that to this day, no one in the world knows whether the eastern divine dragon exists or not, if it existed, it would exist in which forbidden area, it's really too difficult for current humans to explore, but anyway, now Qin Fan was already satisfied, at least with Sake, his own salty life has finally been changed, he thought he would be ordinary all his life and then be an honest cook but he didn't realize that God had given him a chance to turn his life around, then he must be dead set on seizing this opportunity to completely turn over a new leaf, on, um, it seems to feel the bearishness of its own master at this moment, Xiao Jiu also growled at this moment, and then, charge, rumble, Sake just dragged his ponderous and incomparable body and sprinted towards the bearing where the tyrant dead body was, the ground is crumbling, the building collapsed, the legions of undead corpses all died under Sake's trampling charge, there was nothing left to hinder this destructive charge of sake, fight you, toward the end, this tyrant dead corpse also stirred up a hint of battle spirit, mustered up the guts and charged towards sake, the result is, snap, with just one kick, it was stomped into the ground by sake, buzz, but right at this moment, a faint layer of golden light surged from the body of this tyrant dead corpse, this faint layer of golden light contained an extremely majestic vitality, in Qin Fan's astonished line of sight, this level 30 gold 5 star boss, surprisingly, reassembled itself physically, and after two seconds, re-stood in front of Sake, advanced rebirth, a life-saving skill only possessed by monsters above level 30, as a copy of the secret world under the hell difficulty of the transitional examination, it was considered normal to have this life-saving skill, just, snap, the tyrant's dead body was greeted with an extremely impatient kick from Sake, to the tyrant undead corpse, even if it was just one of Sake's feet, it was as huge as the sky, as soon as the foot went down, not to mention the tyrant dead corpse, even the ground of the entire palace cracked, looking back, the palace, which was built in an underground tomb, was already in a state of disarray, with the broken limbs of zombie monsters everywhere, as for that group of elite monsters, 
they also all died under Sake's destructive charge. For the elite monsters of the spiteful spirit class, Xiao Wine was also simple. A mouthful of the plainest of Fire Dragon Inferno was spat out at them in an overwhelming manner. Although Sake's magic damage was much lower in the Force Shakes the Heaven state, it was more than enough to deal with any of these grieving spirit type elite monsters. To this point, the final level that was enough to make all the examinees look fearful. All the monsters in it were completely annihilated by Sake's crushing force. In fact, if Sake hadn't even gotten greedy in the middle of it, it would have been resolved much faster otherwise. But even so, Qin Fan knew that he was definitely the fastest team to pass the barrier. Bar none. Even the scores obtained by that group of singularly challenged Heaven's Pride would definitely not be higher than his. Whether it's the length of the pass, or the performance score, Qin Fan is definitely number one. Good boy. In addition to the roasted suckling pig, I'll fix you some roasted whole sheep, cumin, spicy, and saucy all to your taste. Qin Fan smiled and stroked Xiao Wine's head. Gah. Sake sniffed and squinted happily. It's just a snacker. The time before, for a bottle of divine flame chalcedony, he was even willing to sign a contract with Qin Fan. Sure, this was also because it felt a comfortable feeling like a warm sun from Qin Fan. It subconsciously felt in its mind that following this master, it would definitely be very happy and blissful in the future. And so the pact was made. This time, Sake shivered. Click here. Qin Fan was then surprised to see that the outer shell of Xiao Wine's body had countless steel scales falling off. After the steel scales fell off, they turned into dust, and at the same time, there were crimson dragon scales rapidly growing out of Sake's body. Gah! It was at this time that Sake let out a satisfied yelp before slowly shrinking in size. Qin Fan understood what Sake meant. Probably because it felt that after crushing the zombie monsters, those disgusting things were stained on the dragon scales, so it didn't want the original layer of dragon scales and re-metamorphosed itself into a new layer of scales. In terms of the majestic life force of the dragon race, it really wasn't that difficult to do so. Ding! And at this moment, the beep from the secret realm finally sounded slowly. Congratulations to new student Qin Fan for successfully clearing the silver level secret realm copy Earth Tomb Labyrinth. Current level difficulty, hell. Length of clearance, 12 minutes, 56 seconds. Performance rating, SSS. Duration rating, SSS. Overall rating, SSS. Your results have been successfully uploaded to the Dragon Country Transfer High School Data Center database. The rewards for the secret passage will be issued in one minute, so please ask new student Qin Fan to receive them in time. Phew. Until this moment, it was only then that Qin Fan finally came out with a slow sigh of relief. That's good. Finally. He had accomplished the first task given by the system in the first place, taking excellent grades in the transfer entrance exam. I just don't know what the system will reward this time. Too lazy to think about anything more though. Staying here and waiting for the reward should be about right anyway. Chapter 49, A Generous Reward. Outside the exam room. Once again, a silence fell over the podium. All the leaders, principals, and teachers seemed as if they had been transformed into statues, with appalled expressions frozen on their faces just staring unbelievably at the images on the screen. This, what the hell? Oh, my god, the final level with nearly 10, 000, 000 monsters, how can you just get regimented like that? And, the point is, that dragon doesn't seem to be using any skills, right? It just used its invincible dragon body to rampage through the level. Even in the center, a childlike playful look could be seen bursting out of its eyes. Level 30 gold 5 star boss, even for the principals on the floor here to deal with it, it seemed extremely overwhelming. After all, in this small, extremely isolated, fourth or fifth tier city, the principal and teachers were not much stronger. It's good enough to have a second turn, but it was such a difficult to deal with. And superb boss, it was just seconded. And after the second resurrection it was seconded again. It's really shocking. On this day, all the principals and teachers present finally experienced the power of the dragon race. It seems that even if the test questions that King Yama came up with were no more over the top, they weren't as over the top as this dragon of Qin fans. Lu Jin Liang, the director of the Anning City Education Bureau, couldn't help but let out a sigh of emotion. Superlatives. That's what director Lu Jin Liang said about this dragon. At the same time, it was also a comment on Qin fan, who was able to make a contract with the dragon race. Dragons are certainly powerful. The Qin fan who might have taken this such a powerful dragon as his dragon pet and made the other party obey his words was even more powerful. One must know that even those legendary hundred level beast masters, when they signed a contract with a sub-dragon species, it wasn't this kind of master-favorite contract. Rather, it is a very equal covenant of allies. In other words, even those top-tier beast masters had not achieved the feat of subduing such a powerful top-tier dragon like Qin Fan. A time of 12 minutes and 56 seconds. Plus all ratings are SSS. There's no need to look. 
The position of the top scholar in the southern state province this year is his, Lubin also said with a solemn face at this moment. The other principal teachers also nodded hurriedly. In particular, Luo Yang and Zhao Li both couldn't help but burst out laughing. I didn't expect that. The small city of Anning had broken the historical record of the previous transfer high school entrance exams, and a veritable provincial scholar had appeared. Previously, the best record of the transfer entrance examination in Anning City was only a hidden profession spirit harness master who had achieved the eighth place in that session of the transfer entrance examination, and that was decades ago. Today, the dragon master, who was treated as a waste profession by everyone at the beginning, cloaked and crushed his way to get the crown of the provincial scholar that never appeared in Anning City. Of course, nowadays it's just halfway to popping champagne, whether or not it can really achieve the position of the first prize. The people present can only say that there is a 99% probability. The remaining 1% probability leaves some leeway. After all, what if an extremely demonic genius also appeared in the capital city of Southern State Province or another city? But anyway, for the city of Anning, this is a good thing, because they have a dragon master who owns a dragon here. This is the first dragon master in history to have a dragon. Remember to keep it a secret. About Qin Fan's college entrance examination recording screen, it must not be leaked in the slightest as well as his success in contracting a true top-tier dragon. It must also be kept secret. Whoever dares to divulge, then don't blame me for mercilessly decapitating them. The moment. Lubin's eyes filled with killing intent and warning swept to all the principals and teachers present. Fizzle. Feeling the biting killing intent of the star-splitting sword saint. The expressions of all the principals and teachers couldn't help but tighten. This is no joke. Given the strict level of secrecy that the dragon kingdom kept on the information of transmutators nowadays. Whoever dared to divulge it would really be hunted down by the entire nation. The Dragon Kingdom treats the living forces of the future, especially those who haven't grown up yet as the pride of the sky, with great regard and care. Because everyone knows that the future stage of the Dragon Kingdom is destined to belong to this group of young people going up to perform. So, the Dragon Country has long been stipulated that the recording screen of the transfer high school entrance examination is not allowed to be made public every year and the principal teachers who are qualified to come to the scene to observe and supervise the examination are also the existence of the local weight. Confidentiality indeed. After all, this is the first exceptional example in the history of mankind to successfully tame an apex dragon race. Also later on, when that little guy comes out, we'll have to have a talk with him as well. Lu Jinliang nodded his head in great recognition. If word of this got out, he could guarantee that all the countries would be a buzz. That's a top-tier dragon race, not the Earth Dragon. Nor is it a flying dragon, much less Aaron. Rather, it was a top-level existence above the level of a giant dragon, possibly even a holy dragon. It was true that one couldn't be too vocal before this little guy had really grown up. And while these principal leaders were staring at each other's discussions, inside the copy, buzz, a vast pillar of golden light descended from the sky. Then there was an item generated from the golden light. At the same time the beeping of the spirit of the secret realm sounded in his head. The eye of appraisal swept straight through. And this reward information surfaced directly in front of his eyes. Fearless warrior. Congratulations on clearing the labyrinth of the Earth's tomb secret copy. The following are exclusive rewards for clearing the secret world. Reward, 15 W experience points. Reward, 200 skill points. 200 free attribute points. Reward, 1 title of Tomb Raider King. Reward, 3 piece set of Ean Wind defensive gear, armor, belt, and leg guards. Reward, Tyrant Dead Corpse's Scepter of Command, level 25. Gold. Reward 6, Tyrant Dead Corpse's Enchanted Pearl times 1. Reward, 7 Grade B Rare Material Tyrant Dead Corpse's Heart times 1. Abundance. It's unbeatably rich. Leaving aside the other rewards for now. Just this 15W of clearance experience was enough to make Qin Fan float into a thick surprise. Su Ro, how much experience value have you gained? Qin Fan asked softly. I gained 5W experience value. That's a lot already. Su Ro's bright and pretty face also surfaced with a rosy color of joy. 5W? Qin Fan muttered a little. It seems that this copy of the Secret Realm is not the same as the previous copy of the Cobalt Village. Experience is distributed according to contribution. Although it could almost be said that Su Ro played a small role in the Secret Realm attack, but it's a contribution. And there should be a minimum experience bonus threshold as well, which is 5W. Otherwise, if the distribution was purely based on contribution, it was estimated that Su Ro would already be blessed by God if she could get 1W of experience. What do you want with these rewards? Qin Fan asked with a smile. No, it's good enough that I was rewarded with experience points and attribute points, and mixed with a very good high school score. I'm content. All of this is yours. Su Ro was also very self-aware. She knew that if she didn't have Qin Fan, not to mention clearing the level, 
she was afraid that she wouldn't even have the courage to enter the hell-level difficulty. Where is the face to ask for distribution of supplies? Chapter 50, The Cruel Transitional College Entrance Exam. You can have this level 25 gold scepter. I can't use it anyway. Although Su Ro was self-aware enough to refuse the distribution of supplies. However, Qin Fan was not a stingy person. I can't have this. It's too expensive. Su Ro covered her small mouth and said, Indeed, this level 25 gold quality scepter. If it was taken out to be sold, more than enough, the starting bidding price would definitely be above 80 million dragon coins. That's still the starting bid. Mainly because there are just too few equipment and skill books circulating on the market. Especially this part of Anning. Not to mention level 25 gold grade equipment. Even level 20 good equipment came out rarely. It was also under these circumstances that equipment and skill books were once speculated to sky high prices. It's simply not affordable for the average family. I'm the captain. And since I've assigned it to you, just take it honestly. Qin Fan threw that golden scepter towards Su Ro without a second thought. The action was as if it was like throwing a piece of trash. Su Ro hurriedly and carefully picked it up, carefully examined it, and was also slightly moved. Not bad for gold level equipment. The enchantment effects contained herein and the boost to the wisdom attribute alone had far surpassed the scepter the family had built for her. Thanks. Su Ro thanked very sincerely. Qin Fan waved his hand, and the rest of the things fell into his built in space with all of them. All right, exams are over and it's time to get out. Qin Fan said with a smile. Those bigots out there are sure to drop their jaws. There's no doubt about it. Su Ro followed suit and smiled a very bright and healing smile. Hmm. Sometimes it's okay to take a beautiful woman with you on a copy. At least it's pleasing to the eye and the mood will follow. Gah. At this time, the little wine nestled in Qin Fan's arms but stretched out its little head and called out. Probably meaning my credit is not small either. Okay. 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 I know you've got the most credit. So I'll arrange a roasted suckling pig. Roasted lamb and roasted rabbit for you tonight. Sheen Fan smiled and touched the little one's head. Sake had a grunt of enjoyment on his face. Outside. Buzz. The magic teleportation array in the middle of the square suddenly had spatial ripples surging through it. The crowd turned their heads to look and realized that it was none other than the two figures of Qin Fan and Su Ro. This magical teleportation array corresponded to the return scroll in each candidate's hand. As long as the candidates encountered danger or finished taking rewards after clearing the level, they could use the city return scroll to return to the real world through this magic teleportation array. Lu Bin, who was sitting on the podium. When he saw that, he immediately had to get up and wanted to walk down to talk to Qin Fan. At this moment, Qin Fan had already made Little Wine return to the beast pet space. Every beast master has their own beast pet space, and the dragon master, which was the hidden profession of the beast master, certainly did. Moreover, the space of a dragon master's beast pet was unknown how many times larger than a beast master's. This was naturally to take care of the mammoth size of the dragons. But just as Lu Bin was about to speak, buzz, another ripple was immediately created in the magic formation. Immediately afterward, five very wretched figures were seen surfacing. Puff. However, when these five figures appeared, two of them instantly fainted. Take a closer look. It turned out to be a team of high school students who chose the difficulty level. Somebody, help. The priest girl whose blue level had completely dried up cried out. The healing team that had been on the field at all times immediately came up to heal the opponent. Qin Fan and Su Ro on the side quietly watched. In this team of five, the occupation distribution was two front row fighters, one melee output, one long range magic output, and one priest support. It's also kind of a classic down burner team lineup. But, now those two front row warriors were heavily scarred, with their defense gear shattered and blood staining their entire bodies, so it was thought that they should have suffered a heavy blow in one of the levels and had no choice but to retreat. Ah, it is also at this moment. Suddenly there was a cry of despair coming from the screen. Only to see that window. A mage who was soloing on normal difficulty had his legs crushed right off by that giant stitching walker. He hurriedly pulled out the return scroll from his arms and was about to use. Ah, instead, he saw that the mage boy was hardened and torn apart by the giant stitching walker. And blood flew all over the sky as if it was like a rain of blood. The giant stitched zombie, however, opened its own mouth very greedily and even the several other faces stitched on its body opened their mouths, wanting to lick these blood and flesh that were considered to be absolutely delicious for them. This, Su Ro covered her small mouth, and her small face went white in a flash. Someone's dead. It really took a life. A living human life died right in front of everyone's eyes. Woohoo. And the already frightened preacher's girl looked up and cried even more fearfully after seeing the scene, which probably left a shadow in her heart. The principal teacher on the podium also watched the scene in silence and did not say anything. To speak of grief, of course it's sad. Their principals, their teachers, 
and it was their students who died before their eyes. But, there's nothing they can do about it. That's the transfer high school. That's the reality. On that frontline battlefield, the monsters that the countless transmigration powerhouses faced were countless times more terrifying and powerful than the monsters in this transmigration gauntlet secret realm. These principal teachers have watched the live broadcast of the transfer high school entrance exam for I don't know how many sessions. Sheen Fan also stared fixedly at the scene, silently not saying anything. He knew that every transmogrifier had to go through this kind of cruel picture if they wanted to go on in the long run. It was like the previous time when Sheen Fan went to hatch a dragon egg in order to be able to obtain the divine flame Chalcedony. Also risked his life to kill the cat demon. At that time, he similarly didn't know if the affinity for all beasts talent was useful. If it didn't work, then the same deadly battle that greeted one's life was at stake. Just as the crowd fell silent. Buzz off. There were teams and singles emerging from the magical teleportation array without stopping. And to the amazement of everyone around. Surprisingly, even Hoiba came out in a mess. He picked a single brush under the difficulty level. Holy shit, even Hoiba can't get through. This session's exam questions are really hard. Don't say it. Look at this Chin fan and Su Ro who came out even before us. They must have failed to pass the same level as us and had to quit. Listening to these words, Hoi Ba, who was originally discouraged, also raised his head and looked towards Chin Fan and Su Ro's side. Then he got up and slowly came this way. He turned his head to Su Ro, just glaring, and said in a deep voice, Su Ro, I'll ask you, do you regret it? I suggest you do what I did. Repeat the course, and then team up with me for the next year. Isn't it elimination to go down the book with this loser dragon master? With that, he sneered. Obviously. He was really taking all this discussion noise seriously. Thinking that Chin Fan and Su Ro just failed. They came out early. This time, quite a few people around had looked this way as well. These are the people who can't get through. As for those who made it through, they're still slowly grinding away in the replica secret. Probably won't get out for an hour or two. The truth is that the questions on this year's high school exams are really too difficult. Harder than anyone could have imagined. The last level is out of the way. And most people stop at the fourth level. Now. Hoiba was disappointed in the examination, and seeing that Su Ro was also disappointed in the examination, he naturally came over to advise plus mock a bit. Chapter 51, The Beginning of Pretending When Su Ro heard Hoiba's unknowingly mocking words, the smile that was originally overflowing on his face disappeared, and in its place, there was a coldness. She just looked at Hoiba with an unkind face. Hoiba had thought that his words would bring Su Ro some blows and regretful emotions, but I didn't expect to provoke the other party's attitude to become so cold. This was what made him even more convinced that the other party really didn't do well in the exams either. Or else he definitely wouldn't look like this. Just when he was about to say something else. Suddenly, he realized that a group of principals and teachers from the podium had come down. Even the superintendent examiner sitting in the very center. Who was emitting a powerful sword intent. Walked towards the side with a smile on his face. This. For a moment. It made Hoiba freeze. What's this for? And. Why is it that every principal and teacher's face is filled with a big smile? Is it because of yourself? Hoiba had begun to doubt himself by this time. He himself had failed in the middle of the fifth level and had to quit without even seeing the boss of the last level. As a result, this time the teacher principal smiled and walked toward him here. Could it be because this exam was so difficult that even if he didn't pass it, he would be able to hit the Anning City top scholar position with his current grades? Watch the group of principals and teachers get closer and closer. Hoiba's back is also getting straighter. Those candidates around them were also dumbfounded as they watched this group of bigwigs approach, not understanding what was happening. But just then, buzz, three more figures were surprisingly teleported out one after another in less than three seconds apart from each other. Upon closer inspection, I realized that it was actually Tian Jinming and Xiong Shuang. At the same time they were accompanied by a girl who had a condescending expression and somewhat snarky features. Looking at the way she was dressed and the equipment on her body, it was thought that she was also a child of a certain family from Manning City. Only when Hoiba saw the scene. Instead, his face twitched viciously. You guys even teamed up together. Didn't we agree to single brush the difficult level Gao Gao secret realm? Seeing his colleague being passed out. How could Hoiba not understand the fact that the other party was teaming up? He never thought that it was clear that they had agreed to compete with each other. As a result, I didn't expect Tian Jinming and Xiong Shuang to team up with a priest to brush the books together. I'm sorry, before going in, I estimated that with Yama's habit of making questions. Even if it's a difficult level, we might not be able to get through it alone. And I didn't want to go brush the normal difficulty secret realms. So I temporarily got Xiong Shuang and Zhang Yu to join me. My decision proved to be right. The difficult level secret realm, we managed to clear it. If we were talking about a single person under the book, we would probably have failed already. Tian Jinming, 
who was handsome and wearing white mage robes, held up his glasses and said with a faint smile, there was no lack of braggadocio in his tone, and he said it so loudly on purpose. It's nothing more than wanting to put on a show in front of all these candidates who failed the entrance exams. Wow. Fruity. The surrounding candidates who had failed in the college entrance exams immediately cast envious and jealous gazes towards Tian Jinming, Xiang Xuan, and Zhang Yu. Words of praise followed even more closely. Sure enough, Tian Jinming not only has strength, but he also has brains. Unlike Hoi Ba, who is so stupid, it looks like Tian Jinming is destined to become Anning City's top scholar. Yes, the key academies are already randomly chosen by him. It's estimated that even those three top academies are going to send people over to enroll. That's something that hasn't happened in many years. As the audience marveled, they didn't forget to make a comparison with Hoi Ba. Shit, it's all your fault. You punk, pulling Su Ro away, or else my team performance would definitely not be worse than theirs. Under the exasperation of Hoi Ba, he immediately turned his head to Qin Fan and Su Ro and uttered extremely brainless descending words to Qin Fan and Su Ro. This caused Qin Fan's brows to furrow immediately. The reason why he didn't respond was because he didn't put this group of so-called municipal pride in his eyes. However, if the other party always came over like flies, then Qin Fan would definitely let the other party know what cruelty meant. Don't forget that. Qin Fan was no saintly mother. When they were in the wild mysteries, Zhuo Feng, Lu Qing, Zhou Xian Can, and the others, they killed when they said they would. It was only now that it was in public that he didn't bother to bother with such a dumbass like Ho Ba. If it was in the wild secret realm, this Ho Ba would have already been killed by Qin Fan for who knows how many times. What are you guys talking about? And that's when, the principal's teachers were also finally coming in groups. Seeing these bigwigs, Ho Ba's arrogant appearance finally tightened up a bit but he was bitter inside. This was because he knew that this group of bigwigs must have come over to congratulate Tian Jinming, Xiang Xuan, and Zhang Yu in advance for their excellent results in the transfer entrance exam. Tian Jinming and the others obviously thought the same thing. Immediately, he greeted them with a big smile, and a very polite hello. Hello to the three invigilators, as well as the principals and teachers. The bigwigs nodded slightly. The principal of the third middle school also walked to the side of Tian Jinming at this time, smilingly asked. Xiao Tian ah, look at you, the exam is very good ah, by the way, a quick question, what was your score on the pass, Kim E Tian, Xiong Xuan, Zhang Yu, not, principal, didn't you watch our live broadcast, nope, or is it, did the principal deliberately ask this out in front of a large audience so that he could name his grades and put on another show, aha, that must be it, back to the principal, the test questions this time are really too difficult, even with our best efforts, the final clearance time came to 22 minutes and 45 seconds, and the overall grade was also at a plus, which is really a disgrace to the third form. Tian Jinming pretended to be very guilty and said, he's posturing like one of those schoolboys in his class. Whenever he was asked how did you do in your exams this time, he would reply very badly. As a result, once the papers were handed out, he scored 98 out of 100 and put on a beatific expression that he couldn't do well. Wow, it was only when Tian Jinming's pretentious words fell. It still triggered a lot of awe and admiration from the candidates. Holy shit, it's too strong, to have an A plus grade. I soloed through the easy difficulty and only got a B rating. I can only say that it's bullish. It looks like our city's top student is really going to be chosen from him and Xiong Shuang. Hearing these words of praise, the expressions on Tian Jinming and Xiong Shuang's faces became even more complacent. Hoi Ba, however, had his teeth clenched. Only Qin Fan and Su Ro, as well as that group of bigwigs, their faces were not the least bit excited and thrilled, even as the principal of the school where Tian Jinming and Xiong Shuang are located. At this moment he also nodded his head faintly and gave a hum, barely praising, well, not bad, it's really not bad anymore. Chapter 52, We're Not the Champions. Hmm. After Tian Jinming Xiong Shuang and the others saw that the group of bigwigs actually just revealed a faint smile, they were a bit dumbfounded. Even the compliments from the principal of the third high school had a perfunctory tone. Isn't that score good enough? That's the achievement of passing the difficult level secret realm of the transitional exam in a group. Putting it in Anning City, it's already considered top notch, right? At least if you look around, no candidate can do it, right? Just as Tian Jinming Xiong Shuang and the others were wondering, that governor's examiner Lu Bin, who had a terrifying sword intent lingering around his body, at this time was the one who crossed over the three Tian Jinming people and arrived in front of Qin Fan and Su Ro. And amazingly, the other principals and teachers surprisingly followed close behind as this sword Saint Bigwig walked around. This instantly surrounded Qin Fan and Su Ro. This, what a situation. It wasn't just the surrounding candidates who froze. Even Tian Jinming, Hoi Ba, and the others froze. This group of bigots, 
What the hell? Sheen Fan, you are very good, very good. Next, under the sight of the crowd's shocked and incomparable eyes, they saw the unsmiling Third Revolution Sword Saint Big Brother, who unprecedentedly revealed an extremely satisfied smile, and even heavily patted Sheen Fan's shoulder twice. This gesture, isn't that the kind of gesture an elder makes when he or she extremely admires a junior? But hadn't he, Sheen Fan, failed to pass the level? What can he do? Tian Jinming and the others were all caught up in incomprehensible and confusing thoughts at the moment. The praise that should have belonged to them fell on Qin Fan. That's what makes sense. Well, you can both go back and get some rest. Just wait in peace for the release of the list in seven days. Also, take care of confidentiality. Lu Bin ended with a meaningful admonition. Good. Thank you Inspector Lu for your concern. Qin Fan and Su Ro both nodded their thanks. Then under the puzzled as well as confused gaze of the crowd, he left the examination room. Director Lu, you can't be stingy when it comes to treating the current top student. Wait until Qin Fan leaves. It was only at this time that Li Bin turned his head and looked meaningfully at Lu Jinliang again. On this point, you can rest assured. I, old Lu, had prepared a reward regarding the top student the moment I saw the results come out. For its part, the city's education bureau will be awarding two class of general skill books, 30 million dragon coins, a set of top quality villas in the century residence and a set of level 20 purple defense gear as the rewards for this year's municipal top scholar. Lu Jin Liang, director of the Anning City Education Bureau, immediately and generously said, this statement was made. Swish, not only the other principal teachers, but even all the candidates present instantly changed color. Holy shit, is it surprising that this year's top city student gets these such top prizes? Especially those two A-ranked general skill books, which were precious items that could not be bought at all. Of course, our local pill refining companies, forging companies, real estate companies, automobile companies, and so on, will also send generous rewards. This should satisfy you, Inspector Lu, right? Lu Jinliang then continues to put out small side dishes. The words fell. It drew renewed color from the candidates. Nice guy. This is an attempt to lift the entire city's resources to reward this year's municipal top student. The past municipal champions didn't have this kind of good treatment. Could it be that because the test questions were so difficult this year, the top scorers who achieved good grades were rewarded with some generous prizes? But this is too rich. After all, this is a small, fourth or fifth tier city. The rewards that can be taken out are now more generous than even the big cities. It was said that the reward for a municipal top student in a first tier city was only an A-rank general skill book. As a result, the city of Anning bit the bullet and rewarded two books. Of this, Tian Jin Ming and Xiong Shuang were completely dumbfounded. Excited too. The reason why Inspector Lu walked over and patted Qin Fan's shoulder just now. That should be because of Su Ro. Everyone knew that although the Anning Su family could only be considered a small family when looking at the entire Dragon Kingdom, Su Ro's father was the one who had saved the life of a fourth turn powerhouse. Su Ro even received a gift from that fourth turn powerhouse for this reason. The second turn scroll of the Holy Song Choir. Inspector Lu walked over to pat Qin Fan on the shoulder. The main purpose of which should be to comfort Su Ro and it was also considered to be a disguised way of giving that fourth turning powerhouse some face. Aha, that must be it. The city top prize is still still between Xiong Shuang and me, and Tian Jinming's output percentage was 5% higher than Xiong Shuang's in his secret performance just now. Then he'll probably be sitting in the city's top spot. Think about it. Even as much as Tian Jinming tried to be dignified, the corners of his mouth couldn't help but grin and start laughing in triumph. Cool, life is fast and furious. When he became a municipal scholar, then he must go over to the Su family's side to propose marriage. Marry Su Ro back home. And then hitch a ride on that fourth turn powerhouse's connections in the meantime. Whom? By then the contacts and resources are there. Metso. Shit. Xiong Shuang looked at Tian Jinming's smile and kicked up inside. He certainly knew that his output percentage was a step behind Tian Jinming's. Then there's a real possibility that the top spot could still be his. The more I thought about it, the more apprehensive I became. He then came next to his principal and quietly asked. Headmaster, do you think the municipal top student will be Tian Jinming? Although the principals do not have the right to correct the questions on the transfer high school exams, they have been through the transfer high school exams for many years and actually have a good idea of who the top city student is. What you kids are asking is just nonsense. How can Tian Jinming be a city scholar? The principal of the third form shook his head and laughed. Hmm, not Tian Jinming. Xiong Shuang's eyes were ecstatic in this instant. Not Tian Jinming's words. Wouldn't that be me? The principal of the third middle school glanced at him, as if he had read his mind under his excited expression, and had to helplessly add, Don't be happy, this municipal top student isn't you either. Xiong Xuan. What? Not Kim. Not Tian Jinming either. 
Who could that be? All of a sudden, Xiong Shuang was completely dumbfounded. He walked back to Tian Jinming in a state of disorientation. At this moment, Tian Jinming was still spirited, showing a smile as he looked at the candidates around him. Seeing the other party looking so smug, Xiong Shuang was instantly offended. The first prize isn't even yours or mine, and you're so stupid as to pose as a pretender. All right, come here and tell you something. Xiong Shuang pulls Tian Jinming straight into the corner. What's the matter? Is it possible that you're jealous that I'm about to become the city's top student? So you want me to give you a little bit of the reward? I'm telling you, not a chance. Tian Jinming snorted. Fuck. Xiong Shuang sniffed and couldn't help but just curse. Look, you're in a hurry, you're in a hurry. You're in a hurry. Neither of us is a municipal scholar. Do you know how stupid you look when you're complacent? Xiong Shuang glared at him. Ha, huh? not us. Tian Jinming was dumbfounded. Chapter 53, Sake's Terrible Growth. After Qin Fan left the examination center, he parted ways with Su Ro. Originally, Su Ro was still thinking of inviting Qin Fan to have a meal together, but she saw the little head that emerged from Qin Fan's collar, staring at her intently. This immediately made Su Ro not dare to open her mouth for another invitation. After all, she was very aware of how terrifying this little dragon cub was. Even if she had a good feeling about Qin Fan, she couldn't make this little ancestor angry. The first thing Qin Fan did after leaving the exam room was not to go home. Instead, they went to one of the largest meat markets in Anning. Under the shocked gazes of the major bosses, Qin Fan bought 20 demon antelopes, 20 Xianjing black hair pigs, and 20 unicorn demon rabbits in one breath. These are not wild, but they are better than the wild ones in terms of the tenderness and deliciousness of the meat. The reason for this is naturally that over the years, with the high level of development in magic and technology, as well as the background of gains integrating with reality, various industries have also developed at an extremely high speed. Among them, livestock farming has likewise been developed ahead of its time. These meat animals that Qin Fan purchased for consumption were carefully bred by humans and were many times tastier than the wild ones. After letting the owner handle the lamb, pork, and rabbit, loaded it into a storage ring, and on the way, went to buy a larger professional grill machine as well. Back at the orphanage, under the cheers of the children, Qin Fan directly roasted all of this meat. Gah! Little wine also burrowed out of Qin Fan's arms and let out a cute cry instantly attracting the attention of the small children. Brother Qin Fan, what is this? So cute. Brother Qin Fan, can I play with it? Wow, it's so cute. Can I pet it? The children came up to Sake in droves. Originally, Qin Fan was worried whether Little Wine would hate the approach of small children, but it turned out that the little dragon cub was holding its head high, not resisting the children's touch at all. Perhaps it senses the innocent kindness of children. On the side, Ama was still smiling kindly at all this. She didn't ask Qin Fan how he did on this year's transitional college entrance exam, whether it's in school or in life. Auntie demands very little from her children and never interferes, leaving them enough space to keep their secrets. Just don't do anything bad. Eat and drink. Seeing Sake finally burrow into his arms in contentment, he let out a comforting purr. Qin Fan also brought it back to the bedroom. It was only at this time that he had the time to check out the rewards he had received today from the transitional exam. First up, experience and attribute points skill points. The 15W experience reward allowed Qin Fan's level to directly soar from level 18 to level 22. Sake's level, on the other hand, has been raised from 10 to 12. Leveling up naturally brings changes in the four dimensional attributes. Then there was the Tomb Raider King title and the Gloomy Wind Defense set of 3. King of Tomb Raiders, title, increases strength by 15 points, wisdom by 15 points, and movement speed by 15%. Mosquito Legs title, but still, it's something that every transmogrifier should try to collect. This is because title attributes are resident, as are four-dimensional attributes. When the number of titles stacks up, that attribute can't be ignored. The attributes of the Gloom Wind set were not so good. The Gloomy Wind set is a level 20 purple defense set. There are three parts in total. Shoulder armor, belt, and leg guards. The attribute phrases for all three parts are the same. Strength plus 5, stamina plus 30. Shoulder armor enchantment effect is, increase your own attack speed by 15%. The belt enchantment effect is, increase your spellcasting speed by 15%. The leg guards are enchanted to increase your movement speed by 15%. Set effect, 10% all damage reduction when struck. Speaking of which, the effect of this set of defenses was almost the same as the swift wind set rewarded by the system's chest opening. However, in terms of attributes, it was a lot worse than the level 15 swift wind set. That's quite normal. The Grim Wind set is a normal secret copy drop. However, the Swift Wind set is exclusive to the system. Can this be compared? Definitely can't compare. Find a chance to sell it, or just sell it to Su Ro and exchange it for dragon coins. 
At least you can make sure this orphanage is clothed and fed. Xin Fan thought carefully. Meanwhile, he's also going to start getting ready for his far-flung study program. Before leaving Anning City, he had to arrange everything in this orphanage. And he couldn't let Ama work so hard anymore. Anyway, one has plenty of money now. With the money from selling the materials before, plus the 30 million dragon coins that Su Ro had called behind her, you would never imagine that Qin Fan, who was only 18 years old, already possessed nearly 100 million dollars in assets. That's if he didn't sell everything in the built-in space. Lastly, the tyrant dead corpse's enchanted pearl, the effect of which is, after enchanting the weapon, the attack can trigger the king's landing effect when hitting the target. King's landing effect, increase your strength by 15%. It's also good stuff. It's a percentage increase enchantment effect. As for the grade B material, tyrant dead corpse's heart, well, it can be used to make some kind of precious material for a poison pill. The biggest gain from this trip to the secret realm should be the experience value that far exceeds the normal secret realm rewards. Sheen Fan said with some emotion. The panel has changed dramatically for him and sake now. Name, Sheen Fan. Age, 18. Level, 22. Occupation, Dragon Master. Talent, Affinity for All Animals, SSS. Culinary Mastery, E+. Strength, 700. Wisdom, 700. Physique, 600. Agility, 600. Occupational Skills, Dragon Mastery, S. Bloodline Fusion, SSS. Hate Marker, B. Dragon Frenzy, B. Dragon Claw Strong Attack, B. Fire Dragon Bomb, B. Dragon's Favorite, Blazing Sacred Dragon, Lord of Endless Fire. Name, Firefly Wine. Nickname, Sake. Sex, Female. Age, Under a Month. Level, 12. Four Dimensional Attributes, Strength 2200, Wisdom 2200, Physique 2100, Agility 2100, Without Any Buff. Equipment, Props to Enhance. Sheen Fan's changes are not to be mentioned. It's the change in the sips that's scary. The four dimensional attributes had surprisingly all overall increased by 1000. Overall count up. Sake actually gained 4, 000 total attributes in this upgrade. This, exaggeration. It's simply an exaggeration. I can't imagine how powerful Sake will be if he reaches level 30 and enters his growth phase. The key is, the rewards for the quests released by the system haven't been settled yet. It should be until the official release of the college entrance exams. Holy shit, I'm really taking a step forward on the road to invincibility. Sheen Fan marveled. Even though he had prepared himself mentally in advance, he was still shocked by this terrifying growth of sake. Cluck cluck cluck. Little wine, who was lying on Sheen Fan's chest, sensed her master's amazement at her growth and also smiled adorably and proudly. Chapter 54, There's No Such Thing as a Banquet Under Heaven. Seven days passed in the blink of an eye. Early this morning, all the parents in Anning City all eagerly awaited, is already with the child sitting in front of the computer, nervously waiting for 9 o'clock Anning City Department of Education official website of the release of the list. Every year, today is actually the most awaited day for students as well as parents across the country, because it's up to this day whether or not you'll be salty or not. For the ordinary people, if it is said that the children of their own families can directly enter the key academic institutions, then the future destiny will undoubtedly change a lot. It was important to realize that due to the fusion of the game with reality and the opening of the cataclysm, the power of the transmutators had been highly valued by all the countries around the globe. A range of trades related to transmigrants have become the most sought after options. For example, transitional high school teacher, training instructor for the adventure guild, practical class instructor, and so on. The benefits of these careers that are not generally good. So a lot of ordinary people just want their kids to get into a major fighting school, learn something, and then become these meat and potatoes careers. Sure, it is even better to stay in a position at a university house, if one has excellent grades. In this regard, the day of the release of the list has naturally become a matter of national interest. Qin Fan didn't stay in front of the computer to wait for the release of the list because he already knew his results. That's bound to be number one. He spent the seven days preparing himself for his far-flung studies. Su Ro was also contacted during this time asking her to use the Su family's connections to find some reliable people to come over as the orphanage's new staff. At that moment, Sheen Fan's phone rang. After answering, what entered his ears was Su Ro's crisp voice filled with joy. Sheen Fan, the list is released. You are the first place. You're the top student in Southern State Province. In response, Sheen Fan did not have the slightest bit of excitement, as this had already been expected by him. What about you? What are your grades? Sheen Fan asked with a smile. Thanks to your blessing. My grades are also very good. The top 20 at the provincial level. Applying for the top 5 universities that's definitely no problem. I still have to say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I don't think my grades would have been as good as they were. Su Ro said very sincerely. 
She wasn't exaggerating in any way. The only thing she did the entire time was to add some buff skills to Qin Fan. Although it was said that this was because she was merely a supporting profession, if she was allowed to team up with other people, not to mention the top 20 at the provincial level, she was afraid that the top 20 in Anning City would be up in the air. After all, even if it is a group, the candidates composite score that is based on performance. It was all because Qin Fan alone had pulled up the entire team score that she was able to have such a high overall score as well as rating. Well, congratulations to you too. By the way, what college are you planning to enroll in? Qin Fan asked with a smile. What about you? What college are you enrolled in? Instead of answering, Su Ro asked a rhetorical question. There's a high probability that I'll enroll in the East Spirit Academy, right? Qin Fan said. The five top schools are East Spirit Academy, Feng Tian Academy, Sacred River Academy, South Cloud Academy, Yosei Academy. By definition, Qin Fan should have enrolled in the South Cloud Academy which was located closest to him. After all, the Southern Cloud Academy was within the Southern State Province. But alas, the Southern Cloud Academy was not an academy that trained combat professions. Instead, it is an academy that specializes in the training of vice professions. It's been mentioned before. In this world, occupations are divided into several categories. Life classes, enhancement classes, and combat classes. The combat class has the highest status, which is divided into output professions and support professions. Life type and enhancement type professions were then uniformly classified as vice professions. For example, chefs, enchanters, forgers, alchemists, these all fall under the category of side hustles. The Southern Cloud Academy, on the other hand, was an academy that specialized in training for vice professions. It was said that the several deans of the South Cloud Academy, that were all god-level associate professions, even in the entire Dragon Kingdom, and even globally, were enjoying an extremely high status as well as reputation. Noteworthy, the Southern Cloud Academy, as the top academy for vice professions, was undoubtedly the richest, and they didn't look at the results of the transfer entrance exams to collect students, but rather just looked at whether or not your awakened talent matched the vice professions. This was also the reason why Qin Fan did not choose the Southern Cloud Academy, but instead chose the Eastern Spirit Academy. My father means he wants me to go to the Bong Tian Academy. Su Ro's tone was noticeably gloomy. That's fine. After all, this is an important choice in life and the Feng Tian Academy's comprehensive faculty is very strong, so you'll be able to learn a lot when you go there as well. Xin Fan said with a smile, not that he cared much, I actually want to enroll in the same school as you. These words, buried inside by Su Ro, were not able to be said. She had promised Xin Fan before that the matter of him having a dragon pet had to be kept secret. Even her father couldn't tell. Add to that the fact that everything about a candidate for a high school entrance exam, other than their grades, is kept strictly confidential. So even after the release of the list, the outside world would only know that Qin Fan had become the top scholar, but the recording of his battle was to be kept strictly secret by the state. This is true for all candidates. Only the scores are published, not the candidates' information. All principals and teachers responsible for overseeing the exam room are not allowed to mention it. Well, don't forget to go to school tomorrow, when the enrollment teachers from the key academies will be here in person. Su Ro softly said such a sentence and hung up the phone with gloom. Qin Fan didn't care much about it. It was normal for Su Ro to choose Feng Tian Academy. Feng Tian Province was the capital of the Dragon Kingdom. There is a lot of pride there, and there are a lot of families and gate valves, and there are a lot of connections, and going there is very consistent with the Su family's future development plans. Maybe in the end, Su Ro should also come together in marriage with a demon from some worldly family. For these, are not Qin Fan care about, he just thinks Su Ro this niece is a rich family princess, but not the bad habits of the playboy and treat people also polite, as a friend to get along with also quite comfortable. If she was also applying to the same university as himself, then it would be possible to team up and bring her along in the future. But now that we're going our separate ways, that's the way it's going to have to be. There's no such thing as an unbroken feast. Ding. Just as Qin Fan was thinking about what would be good to eat at night, suddenly, the system's beep sounded violently. Congratulations to the host for making a splash in the transfer college entrance exam and successfully winning the laurels of the top student in Southern State Province. Combining all of the host's performances, the system's challenge task has been exceeded. The distribution of rewards to match the host is now about to begin. The moment Qin Fan heard these words, his eyes lit up, and the little bit of emotion in his heart instantly dissipated. Here we go. The big reward from the system has finally arrived. Chapter 55, Generous System Rewards. Ding. Reward, s rank Dragon Language Magic Skill Book Roar of the Inferno Dragon. Reward, 200 Skill Points. 200 Free Attribute Points. 
Reward, S rank talent transcendent healing. Reward, level 20 gold staff, falling inferno staff. Reward, S class dragon pet skill heavenly fire. Reward 6, title dragon's might. Reward, 7 S rank heavenly material heavenly fire divine essence. Abundance. It's simply uncharacteristically rich. When Qin Fan browsed through these rewards, a look of ecstasy surged across his entire face. Holy shit. All the rewards are surprisingly S rated. Not a bad system. Is this the reward for overshooting the quest? It's also too generous. Qin Fan only felt that he was dreaming. This challenge quest had been triggered on the day of his transfer. At the time, he only felt that the task was as difficult as it could be. Surprisingly, he wants to be the city's top student himself. The point is that you don't even use dragons yourself. As a result, I didn't realize that I had taken a step to the position of provincial scholar. Next it was time to count the rewards. The first thing is the 3S rank skill talents. Roar of the Inferno Dragon, S a high level AoE skill of the Dragon Grammarian. After casting, he or she can emit a powerful roar of flames, which can inflict great burning damage to the enemy. Needless to say, another high level AoE skill on its own. The strong point of a Dragon Master was not only that he could ride a giant dragon, but also that he could use all the skills of the profession about dragons. Whether it was a dragon blood warrior, a dragon grammarian, or even a dragon hunter, the skills of these professions could be used. Transcendent healing, as any injury you receive, including fatal wounds, can be healed quickly as long as it is not instant death. Very good. Another life-saving skill for yourself. Divine fire from the sky, as the dragon's pet spreads its wings and soars into the sky, raining down a bombardment of divine fire on all targets within locking range on the ground, dealing great searing explosion damage. Note, this skill can only be learned by the Blazing Holy Dragon. This is an exclusive reward for sake. As of now, all of Sake's skills, with the exception of Destructive Inferno Claw which was only an A-rank skill, were all S-rank. Let's just say it's worthy of the Legendary Holy Dragon. Then there was the Staff, the Title, and the S-rank Heavenly Treasure Heavenly Fire Divine Essence. Equipment, Falling Inferno Staff. Grade, Gold. Level, 20. Occupation, Mage. Dragon Grammarian. Dragon Master. Attributes, Wisdom plus 150, Agility plus 100. Enchantment Effect. Targets attacked by spells from this staff take 1% of their maximum life value and burn damage per second for 10 seconds. The staff has a 20% damage increase to the holder's fire attribute spell skills. The staff wielder's spell penetration is increased by 30%. Damage dealt by this staff will be converted into a layer of graft of fire shield, which will be used to ward off the enemy's upcoming damage. Remarks, this weapon was forged from a section of the spine of a celestial inferno dragon. It has a powerful bonus to fire attribute skills, and is the staff every explosive inferno mage dreams of. Another superb weapon. Said it before. The grades of weapons from low to high were white, blue, purple, gold, spiritual, sacred, and mythical. In fact the white product corresponds to the black iron bronze level. The blue product corresponds to the silver gold level. Purple corresponds to the platinum diamond level. Gold items, on the other hand, correspond to the rare grade. Spirit weapons correspond to legendary grade. Sacred objects correspond to epic. A myth is a myth. There are no aliases. Right now, if this gold pin staff were to appear in this Anning City's auction house, it would definitely cause shockwaves, and there would definitely be countless rich people rushing here to conduct the auction. This is a gold weapon. Even the rewards that didn't pop up in the secret realm of the transitional exam that was so difficult. Weapons of this level would only pop out from that extremely special realm of trials. Great. In this way, the metaphysical crystal earth scale sword can be used for melee combat fighting as well as charging assaults. And the falling inferno staff can be used for long range bombardment. Perfect. Qin Fan was naturally very joyful. Divine essence of heavenly fire, S contains the power of extremely pure flames. Not to be taken lightly by normal people. Remarks, legend has it that the blazing holy dragon clan lives in a forbidden land called endless fire domain where there is a 10, 000 year old fire coral growth. This item is quenched and made of 10, 000 year old fire coral. Ordinary people will take it to explode and die, and serve it to the blazing holy dragon to make its body as well as the power of the divine flame more exuberant and strong. Looking at the note information of this heavenly material treasure, Sheen Fan could not help but slightly draw the corners of his mouth. Nice guy. Regular people who take it directly explode and die. Instead of being fine, the blazing sacred dragon became stronger after eating it. It can't be helped. It's a dragon. Its physique is incomparably different from that of humans. Finally, dragon's might, title strength plus 300, physique plus 300, wisdom plus 300, agility plus 300, plus 20% damage to all dragon profession skills. Holy shit. Top title. A normal title adds that little bit of attribute. 
but this dragon's might title adds more than just a star. Jean Fan could only call out to the good guy straight away. The rewards given by the system this time were really too generous. Gah! The little dragon cub lying in Qin Fan's arms also chirped softly. Little Wine and Qin Fan shared a certain amount of heart to art. Each can sense the other's joy and sadness. Although it didn't know why its own master was so happy. Since his master was happy, it was also happy. Phew! Qin Fan exhaled deeply. Qin Fan and Xiao Wine were one. So there was no need for Xiao Wine to do anything to learn the skills on her own. All that was needed was for Qin Fan to close his eyes and enter the system warehouse to use all the skill books and the majestic and vast information would simultaneously flood into his and Xiao Wine's minds, just for a moment. These skills had then all been mastered by Qin Fan and Xiao Wine. Finally, Qin Fan also directly took out a bottle of Heavenly Flame Divine Essence. Gah! Little Wine's little nose smelled this unique fragrance from the Heavenly Flame Divine Purity, as well as sensing the intense flame scent contained in this bottle of divine medicine, and it instantly let out a cry of joy. Then just staring at a pair of golden yellow dragon pupils, he let out a wooing and pampering sound as if he was pampering and pleasing Qin Fan. Ha ha, look at you snacking, here you go, originally only a demonic little fellow like you could eat this kind of heavenly material. Without any hesitation, Qin Fan gave the bottle to Xiao Wine, only to see little Wine naively holding the bottle and sitting on the tabletop, then using his little mouth to open the cork. He raised his dragon's claw and then poured the heavenly fire divine essence into his mouth. Guru guru guru, the liquid, which was permeated with the rich scent of flames, flowed down Sake's mouth and into the stomach pouch. The heavenly fire divine essence that was enough to burn through a human's mouth was like a normal drink in Xiao Wine's mouth, and it was finished in one go. Chapter 56, The Whole Province is a Buzz. Burp. After finishing the heavenly fire divine essence in one gulp, Xiao Wine let out a long burp. Qin Fan was surprised to find that after drinking the heavenly fire divine essence, Xiao Wine's eyes began to glaze over. The dragon scales all over his body as well as the divine fire pattern on his chest were even brighter at this moment flickering with hot and bright firelight. The moment. It was as if this little dragon cub was like a child who had mistakenly drank highly alcoholic beverages, dazed and drunk. It seems that the medicinal power contained in this heavenly flame divine essence is even higher than the divine flame chalcedony. So I have to let Xiaozhou rest. Qin Fan picked up little wine, its small body resembling a hand warmer, emitting a scorching aura. Without the slightest struggle, it shifted into a comfortable position in its master's arms and began to fall into a deep sleep. Qin Fan knew that Little Wine was starting to fall asleep, slowly digesting the majestic medicinal power from the heavenly flame divine purity. I'm afraid that after digestion is complete, Sake's attributes will once again see a surge. While Qin Fan was watching over the little dragon cub, outside, the world was in a state of shock. When everyone saw the two words Qin Fan in the first place of that score sheet, each and everyone's eyes widened. I'm going, Qin Fan, he's actually the top scholar of our southern state province. Is there any mistake? I've never even heard of this guy's name. Good lord. This Qin Fan's overall rating is actually 200 points higher than the second place. 862 points. Oh my god. It's rumored that this guy is still teamed up to pass the hell level Gao Gao secret realm. If he hadn't teamed up, his score might have surpassed 930 points. What? You're not kidding. Are you? In an instant, the word Qin Fan completely burst into flames in southern state province. Countless people have begun to investigate the name's background. Family and personal information in droves, and all the businesses in Annan are already moving quickly, because they themselves knew Qin Fan as a person, who didn't know that on the day of the transfer ceremony, the third class of the first middle school had produced a rare profession of dragon master, at that time, they still felt that this kid was unlucky to have no dragons to contract, even though it was a hidden profession, the future is doomed to waste, but what I didn't expect was, in the blink of an eye, this existence, which they regarded as a waste, had directly taken the southern state province scholar crown. This is obviously a fact that everyone can't accept, but has to, because no one dares to question the fact that there is an inside track on the transfer high school. Since Qin Fan he had won the southern state province's top prize in the transfer higher education examination, then it showed that Qin Fan himself had found his own powerful path. These people who had been in the business world for most of their lives weren't so cerebral to think that the dragon kingdom would engage in an inside job over a tiny dragon master. Since the truth is already happening, then the action begins. I, the Spirit Water Alchemy Company of Anning City, announce that I am presenting three copies of Grade B Rare Medicinal Herbs to this newly promoted provincial scholar as a token of congratulations. Since the Pill Refining Company has expressed this, then I'll follow suit. I, Tianhao Real Estate, am willing to give one of the most expensive luxury villas in Anning City to the newly crowned provincial scholar for free, as a token of goodwill. Good fellow, you all have taken a stance. 
It seems like it's not possible for me not to take a stance. Dare I ask if Qin Fan has a partner? If not, I am willing to let my daughter marry you. That one up there is so shameless. Your daughter is obviously all high and mighty. While various bigwigs in the business world have come forward to take a stand, reporters in the media world naturally won't let go of this opportunity to rub it in. In addition to writing blessings about Qin Fan's winning the top prize of the college entrance examination to express his awe and congratulations, he also personally went to squat at the school or went to interview Qin Fan's classmates. Qin Fan's fellow classmates were actually confused. It was because none of them had expected that Qin Fan, who they had mocked as a waste of a profession at the beginning, had directly slapped them in the face today and stepped on their corpses to walk up to the position of the top scholar. So this group of students were interviewed with an embarrassed look on their faces, to the surprise of all media reporters. Su Ro, the Su family's eldest miss, who also existed as Qin Fan's team partner, was surprisingly willing to come forward for an interview. May I ask, M.S. Su Ro do you have any comments on Qin Fan? I'm not qualified to judge him, but I can state my impression of him in only two words, powerful. As far as we know, Qin Fan is a dragon master, and he managed to take the scholar Laurel. So does that mean he managed to contract a dragon pet? I'm not sure about this. If you guys want to know you can ask Qin Fan in person. Then may I ask if M.S. Su Ro has a crush on Qin Fan? Will they come together? I can answer with certainty that there is a good feeling, but whether it will go together depends on fate. Watching clips of interviews coming out of the TV, Tian Jinming, Xiang Xuan, and Hoi Ba were sitting in their homes at the moment, their faces extremely gloomy and horrible. Punch in the face. It's a red-hot slap in the face. Thinking back to my earlier taunts to others in the exam room and my own smug self-righteousness, these three knew how ridiculous they really were in the eyes of the principals and teachers. Damn it. Who is he? Qin Fan? Could it be that he had really contracted a dragon pet and become the first ever dragon master with a dragon pet? No. No way. These three municipal celestials were obviously unable to accept the reality in front of them. But whether they accepted it or not, it couldn't affect Qin Fan one iota anymore. In the meantime, numerous phone calls blew up the phone in the principal's office at the first school. Each call made Principal Roy and Giddy, because all of these calls were actually from the admissions offices of the top 20 fighting universities in the country, and every teacher in the admissions office has agreed to be at the first school immediately, tomorrow morning, for an admissions drive, let him hurry to inform Qin Fan and come over to choose a school at that time, have to say, these university houses are still moving quickly, the grades are in, called right away to get in touch and to be there tomorrow, no matter the distance. This was naturally due to the fact that there were large magical teleportation arrays with super long distances built between each province. Qin Fan also nodded his head and promised that he would definitely go to this enrollment meeting tomorrow after learning about this news. He also happens to choose his school. Generally speaking, unless they were the top 100 students at the provincial level, these key institutions wouldn't personally send their enrollment office teachers over. The top scholar of the southern state province is actually a dragon master. Did he really succeed in contracting a dragon pet? How do I know this? I only received a call from the principal, saying that he must do his best to make Qin Fan choose our school. Coincidentally, that's what our leaders on this side of the table conveyed. Hmm. It seemed that that Xing Sword Saint had indeed kept the fact that Qin Fan had contracted a dragon pet an absolute secret. Chapter 57 Teachers from various universities gather. Early the next morning, Qin Fan had just stepped out of the orphanage when he realized that there was a limousine already waiting there for a long time. The one who was driving the car was Zhao Li, Qin Fan's homeroom teacher. Good morning, student Qin Fan. Teacher is here to congratulate you on winning the crown of the top student of the Southern State Province's transfer entrance examination. Just after seeing Qin Fan walk out, Jolly came down from the car with a smile on his face. In fact, this place should have been surrounded by countless media reporters. After all, Qin Fan had become the top scholar of the Southern State Province, and these media reporters were surely going to compete for reports and interviews. But under the warning of Lu Jin Liang, the director of Anning Municipal Education Bureau, all the media were not allowed to disturb Qin Fan. Right now, the class teacher, Zhao Li, naturally came to pick up this precious student in person. He never dreamed that there could be a college entrance exam scholar in his class. And it's also a provincial high school student. It's not an exaggeration to say that they are smoking in their own graves. Qin Fan then directly got into Zhao Li's car and drove to the school. Soon, after Qin Fan arrived at the school, he was greeted by the admiring gazes of his schoolmates. Quickly look, that's senior Qin Fan. Ah, looking a little bit handsome. I really didn't expect that as a dragon master he would win the scholar crown of our southern state province. He wouldn't really have managed to contract a dragon pet. Would he? Then this is too much. In the face of the murmurings of the younger siblings, Qin Fan's expression did not change in the slightest. 
Neither did he have the arrogance of having won the laurels of the top student, nor did he have the contemptuous feelings of defying others as a result of this. This caused Zhao Li, who had actually been secretly observing this student of his, to nod his head. Aha! Not bad. No arrogance or impatience. There really aren't many young people who can be in that frame of mind. As an existence who had witnessed the video of Qin Fan's college entrance exam with his own eyes, Zhao Li naturally knew just how talented and demonic Qin Fan was at this moment. This was the first dragon master ever to successfully contract a high-ranked dragon in the Dragon Kingdom. It wasn't that the Dragon Kingdom hadn't had the existence of contracted dragons in previous times, but those were all beast masters, and the dragons they contracted with were all some lower-level dragons. The existence of a dragon race that had successfully contracted to a high-level dragon race was simply not there before Qin Fan. Zhao Li can even say, the current Qin Fan had already surpassed countless students of his age and it was not too much to even call him the first person of the younger generation, but it was with such a strong dragon pet as well as strength in itself, he remained unflappable and did not show contemptuous disdain for others weaker than him, profoundly maintaining a humble and calm state of mind, which was very rare, Zhao Li has taught many classes of students, he had seen a lot of heavenly pride, however, he had once seen the heavenly pride, that is, after the outstanding performance in the great examination, then show a look of no one in sight, the old man invincible arrogant posture, sooner or later, this complete lack of humility will get you into trouble, right now, Qin Fan's calmness and serenity caused Zhao Li's inner evaluation of him to rise even higher, under Zhao Li's leadership, Qin Fan also arrived at one of the largest and most luxurious conference rooms in the school, when Qin Fan pushed the door in, he found that it was already filled with people, sitting in the very center of the conference table were 19 teachers, both men and women are present and are extremely ranked, under the casting of one of Qin Fan's Eye of Appraisal, it was revealed that almost all of these teachers' levels were above level 50, and each teacher's aura was extremely uncomplicated. This would be the teacher from the admissions office of the Top 20 Academy that Mr. Zhao mentioned. In addition to these enrollment office teachers whose breath was not simple, there were also some acquaintances of Qin Fan, Sophie, Tian Jinming, Bear Double, Hoi Ba, and several other top students from different high schools. These top students are those who have performed well in the transfer entrance examination and have very good grades, so naturally they are included in the special admission lists of various universities. Noteworthy. Each teacher had two or three college students with them. That's normal. When teachers in college travel, they usually bring a few students out with them, and the students follow the teacher around so they can run errands for the teacher and get some credits or something. The moment. The moment they saw the extraordinary temperament of Qin Fan walk in, the people present all revealed various looks. First, there are the teachers in the admissions offices of the universities. Their eyes instantly burst out with an incomparably blazing look, as if they had discovered a supreme treasure. Su Rose's eyes glowed with a strange color and she took the initiative to walk over and greet Qin Fan. On the other hand, Tian Jinming, Xiang Xuan, and Hoi Ba looked at Qin Fan with slightly gloomy eyes before moving their gaze away. Thinking back to their own attitudes earlier, it suddenly struck them how foolish they had been. At that time, they were still mocking Qin Fan for being a waste of a hidden profession, but it turned out that he had directly taken the college entrance examination and ruthlessly slapped them in the face. As for those college students who came with the teachers from the enrollment office, they placed their eyes on Qin Fan's body with a measuring gaze. Student Qin Fan, you finally arrived. At this point, Lu Jin Liang, the director of the Anning Municipal Education Bureau, who was sitting in the center, smiled and got up. As the person in charge of the Anning City Education Bureau, he naturally had to personally receive the top schools in the country when they came over to enroll students. Here, let me introduce you. Lu Jinliang enthusiastically came over and took Qin Fan's hand, then continued with a smile. This is the teacher of the East Spirit Academy. Yun, this is the teacher of the Feng Tian Academy. He Yalan, this is the teacher of the Sacred River Academy. Xue Shang, this is the teacher of the Yu Star Academy. Cho Chengla, this is the teacher of the Xianyang Academy. Zhang Shan, Lu Jinliang introduced these teachers one by one for Qin Fan, and Qin Fan greeted these teachers very politely and courteously. Through Lu Jinliang's introduction, he knew that these teachers were really representing the top 20 top schools in the country to come over and recruit themselves. Noteworthy, the Southern Cloud School didn't come. It wasn't that he looked down on Qin Fan. Rather, the Southern Cloud Academy is an academy that specializes in cultivating vice professions. All right, I'm not going to talk too much as an old man. Teachers, this is our southern state province's new top student of the transfer college entrance examination. Xin Fan, exactly how to convince this top student to go to your schools is all up to you. After Lu Jinliang finally smiled and said such a sentence, he directly sat back to his original position, smiling and drinking tea. 
and when Lu Jilian's words fell, immediately, a female teacher stood up. She was a teacher in the admissions office of the Ice Spirit Academy, which was ranked 15th in the country, only to hear her softly say, Student Qin Fan, there's no need to say why we teachers are here. Naturally, we want to rob you, the top student of the college entrance exam. As long as you are willing to choose my Ice Spirit Academy, then my Ice Spirit Academy is willing to offer 20 million dragon coins per year, an A-ranked general skill book, and a B-ranked experience resource attached. Chapter 58 Bountiful Conditions, Welfare Mission and as soon as this female teacher's words were out of her mouth, not waiting for Qin Fan to say anything, just off to the side, a middle-aged teacher with a big belly laughed, ha ha, your ice spirit academy is too stingy, isn't it? This is the top student of the college entrance examination in southern state province, and he's also a dragon master. Although none of us have been able to see the video of this top student's college entrance exam yet, I'm sure our principals have all given us extra instructions to make sure we take this top student. Since that's the case, in fact, we can completely treat Qin Fan as a dragon master who was the first ever to successfully contract a dragon race, and this teacher of the Ice Spirit Academy, the conditions you've offered are truly unworthy of this scholar. On my side, the Heavenly Martial Academy is willing to add an additional two times to the conditions offered by the Ice Spirit Academy. Fizzle. As soon as the big-bellied, middle-aged teacher's words fell, a number of people around them immediately sucked in a breath of cold air. The ones who sucked in cold air were naturally the top students of the college entrance examination in the same class as Qin Fan. Triple the feed. 60 million dragon coins per year in scholarships. 3 A-ranked general skill books. 3 B-class experience resources. This kind of handout is actually considered extremely generous in the context of a lack of resources. In previous years, this condition is enough to impress a provincial scholar. The municipal scholar is more than enough. That female teacher from the Ice Spirit Academy also resentfully stopped speaking when she heard that this heavenly martial academy had actually offered such high conditions. In fact, she had already known in advance that she would not be able to recruit this southern state provincial scholar. The conditions offered are no more than a walk in the park. And, she also knew at the same time that this fat teacher from the Tianwu Academy was just as unable to recruit this southern state province scholar. Why? Because the really powerful top five academies haven't even spoken yet. Due to the absence of the Southern Cloud Schoolhouse, only four admissions office teachers from top institutions were present. At this moment, they were still calmly sipping their tea and did not make any conditions, appearing unusually relaxed, naturally because they were prepared for even more lucrative conditions. Ha! This kind of condition from the Heavenly Martial Academy is indeed good, but it's still not enough to take down this scholar. In this case, I, the U-Star Academy, will raise my hand slightly, and double it under the conditions of this Heavenly Martial Academy teacher. At this point, that Yao Xing Academy teacher, Xiao Chang Lu, faintly smiled. All right, Mr. Xiao, don't rub it in either. We're here to recruit this scholar today, not to raise prices in an auction house, and don't make up all those falsehoods. I'll directly state the conditions that my East Spirit School is offering. Yun, the teacher at the East Spirit School, obviously likes things to be cleaner. 100 million dragon coin bursaries per year, 3 A-ranked Dragon Master Profession Skill Books, and 1 A-ranked Experience Resource, and we, the East Spirit Academy, will cover all of student Qin Fan's equipment until his next level 50. Wow! As soon as the words fell, the faces of the entire conference room changed completely. This condition, it's too rich, too. A hundred million dragon coins bursary is nothing. The key was the three A-ranked Dragon Master Profession skill books and that one A-ranked experience resource Ah, It's well known. Dragon Masters are extremely rare professions. At the same time, the output of high-level skill books for this profession is extremely rare. Things are expensive because they are rare. One could imagine how precious these three A-ranked Dragon Master Profession skill books really were. It is no longer something that can be measured in money. Fruity, under this Yun Sensei's conditions, some of the teachers who had wanted to give conditions before were completely silent. The two teachers from the Sacred River Academy and the Flare Star Academy glanced at each other and both stopped talking. It's not that they're petty and unwilling to keep adding conditions. Rather, it was the three A-ranked Dragon Master Profession skill books they couldn't get out of. The secret realm copies under their academy's control did not produce skill books on the Dragon Master profession. The reason why the East Spirit School could afford to give it was because they, the East Spirit School, had obtained a level 50 secret realm copy of the Poison Dragon's Lair a while ago. There is a high probability that the Dragon Master's career skill book will be produced after passing the level. When Yuan saw that the teachers had stopped bidding, he smiled and looked at Qin Fan. Mr. Qin Fan, what's your choice? Qin Fan opened his mouth slightly so he wanted to say his choice. But just then, suddenly a pleasant silver bell voice rang out. 
an annual bursary of 200 million dragon coins, an S-rank dragon master career skill book as well as an S-rank general skill book, three A-rank experience resources, as well as the dragon spirit secret realm. Sheen Fan, these are the conditions of our school. The crowd was startled and turned their heads to look, but it turned out to be the exquisitely beautiful teacher He Yalan. She represents the Feng Tian Academy, and as soon as her words fell, the entire room was filled with people, even the teachers from the admission office in the other academies, as well as Lu Jin Liang, the director of the Anning City Education Bureau, all had their faces jerked viciously, the group of college students even turned pale, hiss, this, my god, this condition, outrageous, it's outrageous, Feng Tian Academy spends such a high price just to recruit a provincial scholar, it can't be helped, Feng Tian Academy's educational resources are the most abundant, so it's natural to be generous, but the key is that the Feng Tian Academy actually gave him the dragon spirit mysterious realm, that's a bit of an exaggeration, the surrounding college students kept whispering, they are all college students who just finished their freshman year and are about to step into their sophomore year, Xin Fan couldn't help but move fiercely inside after hearing the conditions offered by this Yalan teacher, this, she was giving too much, this caused him, who had originally wanted to choose the Eastern Spirit School, to be completely shaken, the secret realm of the Dragon Spirit. Surprisingly, it was the Dragon Spirit secret realm. Sheen Fan, who had traveled to this world for many years, had naturally long heard of some of the relevant information about the major top academies, and in this Feng Tian Academy, it was said to possess a Dragon Spirit secret realm. Inside, it was full of a heavenly treasure called Dragon Spirit Grass. Dragon Spirit Grass. That's food specifically fed to dragon cubs in their infancy. It can also be used as a material for refining medicine. Many of the beast masters who had contracted the lower ranked dragons were looking at the Feng Tian Academy's dragon spirit grass, and went out of their way to buy it at a high price. As a result, I didn't expect Feng Tian Academy to be so atmospheric as to give this fortune directly to Qin Fan. It's totally mind-blowing beyond belief. Student Qin Fan, I want to hear your answer. At this point, He Yalan looked at Qin Fan with a pair of wonderful eyes. Ding! Just as Qin Fan was moving, the familiar system beep actually sounded suddenly, detected that the host is facing a school choice problem, now triggering a welfare task, task content, please choose a school for the host, and you will receive the corresponding reward, choose the East Spirit Academy and obtain the extremely high quality spirit weapon spirit dragon battle armor, select Shengchuan Academy and get 3 S rank dragon master profession skill books, 3 choose the U star Academy and get an SS grade talent, Choose Feng Tian Academy and get a random dragon egg. Chapter 59, he actually contracted a dragon. The mission that was suddenly triggered in front of him instantly caused Qin Fan to freeze. This, okay, this caused Qin Fan, who originally wanted to firmly choose the Eastern Spirit School, to be completely shaken. My choice is, Feng Tian Academy. When Qin Fan's words fell, phew, the conference room, which had an extremely tense atmosphere, slackened. Some of the other teachers from the academy followed suit and laughed bitterly. Let's just say it's not very well prepared. Or, they simply didn't expect the Feng Tian Academy to be willing to give such generous conditions, so bountiful that they were all moved by it. A secret realm was directly ceded to the Southern State Province Scholar. This is too much. It was estimated that when the news spread out, there were many people who felt that the Feng Tian Academy was definitely out of their minds. In the past years, the other provincial top students have never offered such generous conditions to the extreme awe. He Yalan smiled brightly when she saw that this scholar had finally chosen her school. She actually wanted to cheer. It was because she had snagged this first ever dragon master who had successfully contracted an upper dragon race. What these admissions office teachers definitely don't know. He Yalan's real identity was not some enrollment office teacher, but the niece of the principal of Feng Tian Academy, as well as a vice dean of Feng Tian Academy. She was actually present yesterday when the principal of Feng Tian Academy received a confidential video file. Because of the principal's niece doubling as the vice president, she naturally had permission to follow her in and watch the confidential video file. The result was a direct result that left her breath ragged and her jaw dropped. The principal without saying a word directly let He Yalan personally go to the city of Anning. No matter what kind of price to use, must be this scholar to snatch to Feng Tian Academy side. Of course, at the same moment, the principals of the other top academies also watched the video and were naturally excited. It was also ordered to the teachers of the admissions office to snatch this top student no matter how high the price was offered. Apparently, these few admissions office teachers who hadn't watched the video underestimated the determination of their own principal. Also they don't have that much access themselves, thus allowing Hijalan to exploit the situation. It was mainly because the conditions offered by Hijalan were really too exaggerated. A direct gift of an S-rank vocational skill book plus an S-rank general skill book, 
as well as the most crucial dragon spirit mystery realm. That's a secret realm, its value is incalculable. It was estimated that Qin Fan was going to be stared at by all the new students the day he entered the Feng Tian Academy. Very well, welcome fellow student Qin Fan to our Feng Tian Academy. I will personally come to pick you up in about a week's time to head to Feng Tian Academy. Remember to pack your belongings by then, Hijalan said with a smile, her whole being relaxed. And at the moment, on the side, Tian Jinming, Xiang Xuang, Hoi Ba, and the others were so envious that they gnashed their teeth in envy, but there was nothing to be done about it. Su Ro, however, looked at Qin Fan with eyes full of color, and in addition to admiration in her eyes, there was strong worship. She was the being present who was most aware of Qin Fan's strength other than Yalan, Lu Jin Liang, Lu O Yang, and Zhao Li. Well, the belonging of this top scholar has been decided, so let's see what other outstanding scholars there are. The other teachers also hurriedly turned their attention to the other students. However, to their despair, Yalan once again looked at the attractive looking Su Ro and smiled. Su Ro, are you interested in applying for our Feng Tian Academy? I can give you three arranged priest profession skill books, plus three B-ranked experience resources. Fizzle, lean, is your Feng Tian Academy still being reasonable? Where's the booze? You think you're so great because you have money and resources? Thank you, MS. He Yalan, I'm very willing to enroll in Feng Tian Academy. Su Ro's eyes lit up as she nodded. As he spoke, he also glanced sideways at Qin Fan, who was in a state of contemplation. She was very happy inside now. I thought I was going to part ways with Qin Fan, each going to a different university house, but now under MS. Hijalan's lucrative offer. It is surprising that they have come together again. It seemed that her destiny with Qin Fan had not yet come to an end. Actually, what she didn't know was that the reason Qin Fan was in deep thought right now was actually because he had opened the welfare mission rewards in his system warehouse. A random dragon egg. Only a dark dragon egg was lying quietly in the system warehouse. And Qin Fan couldn't even check what kind of dragon was hatching in this dragon egg. Random dragon eggs. Does that mean any dragon of any order can hatch? It would be a real shame if this is unlucky enough to hatch an earth dragon. Just, don't think about it. Qin Fan gently closed the system warehouse page. Just trying to talk. Who knows? Gah. Suddenly, a small fiery red head poked out directly from Qin Fan's collar. Hmm. Originally, Qin Fan as the top student of the college entrance examination was already eye-catching enough. The result was that this little head that suddenly poked out even made everyone present stare in disbelief. This, dragon, I can't believe it's really a dragon. Everyone in the conference room got a good look at the identity of the little fiery red head in front of them. Holy shit, it's a dragon. No way, he actually contracted a dragon. A this, all the students in the room froze outright. Even the teachers in the admissions office were wide-eyed, and Sake stared at the people who were ogling it with round eyes and a very condescending glare. Qin Fan was originally going to press Sake's head back down, but the whirlwind thought, there was actually no need to continue to keep the matter of one's success in contracting a dragon race a secret. Sooner or later, it's all going to be known. And, the important thing was that Qin Fan thought that he also had the power to defend himself, with little wine around. As long as it wasn't a third turn powerhouse that he was facing, then he would be able to survive in peace. So sex also did not deliberately cover up. Let this little dragon cub staring at the rounded golden dragon pupil and this group of teachers to stare at. Gah! As he glared, the little dragon cub even let out a warning demonstrative yelp. It was only that the cry was too cute, to the point that it couldn't make the people around it laugh instead of being scared in any way. I suddenly regret it. Yun sighed softly. The other teachers sighed softly as they stared dumbfounded at the little dragon cub that flaunted itself at them. They, regretted it too. Holy shit! No wonder that he Yalan had thrown out such a high offer. Even going so far as to use a secret realm of resources to fight for this scholar. The feeling was because this dragon master had actually contracted to be a dragon cub. Moreover, looking at the aura of this little dragon cub, sacred and majestic, it was definitely not something that the inferior dragon race possessed. At the same time they are always an eye-opener. It turns out that the legendary superior dragon race is actually so cute in its infancy. If Qin Fan and He Yalan were to know what they had in mind, they would be afraid that they would have to sneer. Cute. I'm afraid you guys haven't seen Sake display a force shaking the sky stance. At that point it is expected that you will only feel despair. Not loveliness. Chapter 60 by Wushuang. Southern State Province. Songfeng Mountain Range. This is a place of beautiful mountains and water. As well as a place of private resources belonging exclusively to a certain powerful family. The moment. Underneath a snow white waterfall that was flying down. A young man around 18 years old sat cross-legged underneath the waterfall allowing these turbulent currents to impact on his body. The youth's body was robust and had a lot of scars on it. His skin was like bronze, 
and his face was like a square. It exuded an aura of ferocity as if it were a wild beast. Soon, off to the side of the bank came an old white-haired man in a suit. He bowed his head very respectfully to the youth and did not utter a sound to disturb the youth's cultivation. Nearly two hours passed like this. The next instant. Roar. Suddenly, a huge tiger beast with a body size of up to three or four meters sprang out directly from the dense forest grass next to him. Magic Tattoo Giant Tiger. Level 28 Fierce Wraith. At this moment, the demon tattoo giant tiger opened its bloody mouth and bit towards the youth sitting in the waterfall. However, in the face of this unexpected situation, that youth did not move at all. Crackle. But just at that moment, the sound of intertwining thunder and lightning resounded violently beneath the constantly rippling water of the waterfall. Immediately, the old man was surprised to see that the dazzling lightning power completely covered the entire water surface. And at the same time, it also enveloped the pouncing demon tattoo giant tiger. Just for a moment, the demon tattoo giant tiger, which was enough to make many transitioners change their expression violently, directly fell into paralysis and unconsciousness under the violent thunder, and its huge size fell down from the air. Wow! When the demon tattoo giant tiger was about to fall into the water, a huge dragon head covered with white scales poked out from the water and opened its huge mouth without mercy, devouring the demon tattoo giant tiger in one bite. Anon! Eating this giant tiger! The huge dragon body that was lurking under the deep water also surfaced at this moment. Soon, a white flying dragon that was tens of meters tall completely revealed its true appearance. The piece of white dragon scale exuded a cold and hard luster under the sunlight. The thick and powerful dragon claws seemed to have a sharpness that was enough to tear everything apart. The thunder that surrounded it even emphasized its extraordinary nature. This, what moved the white-haired old man even more was that this white flying dragon had four snow-white dragon wings behind it. Four-winged wind thunder dragon. A flying dragon species with wind and thunder attributes. White. Sit down. And at the moment, a low voice also came from the stocky figure sitting in the waterfall. Boom. This four-winged wind thunder dragon actually really sat down obediently under this youth's words, and a dazzling white light began to emanate from its body. And soon, it shrunk to the size of a cat. It seemed that as long as they were dragons, they all possessed the skill dragon form transformation. However, each dragon's dragon transformation will also show a different stance. Right now this four-winged wind thunder dragon also possessed four forms. Normal state with balanced wind and thunder attributes. Storm form. Thunderstorm form. As well as the pet form in front of you. Anon. After this little dragon cub, who was addressed as little white, chirped. It fluttered its wings and came to the side of the robust youth. The robust youth also came out of the waterfall and came to the shore, taking the towel from the white-haired old man. Bai Xiao. In a few days it will be the time for you to leave for Feng Tian Academy. The master asked me to notify you and tell you to pack your things. The youth who was addressed as Bai Xiao's full name was Bai Wushuang, profession as a beast master. The level is 25. His status was that of the eldest son of the Bai family, as well as a high probability of being the future heir of the Bai family. To say why, naturally, it was because he was one of the few beast masters in the world who could possess a flying dragon species beast pet. It's well known. In this world, dragons are divided into five classes. From low to high, they are, earth dragon, flying dragon, sub dragon, giant dragon, and holy dragon. It is said that the dragons above the holy dragons are that legendary divine dragons, but mankind has never seen it. Nowadays, even if one looked around the world, there were only a handful of beast masters who could contract a flying dragon species. The number of beast masters who had successfully contracted a sub dragon species was even less than five fingers. As for the gargoyles and holy dragons, sorry to say, but there is no way any human can enslave them in a pact. It was enough to see just how bright the prospect of this youth named by Wushuang in front of him was. If nothing else, he who had successfully contracted this extremely rare four-winged wind thunder dragon would definitely become the strongest group of beast masters in the future. Yeah, I know. I'll pack my stuff, Bai Wushuang faintly said. After drying his hair and putting on his clothes, he asked offhandedly, Who is the first prize winner of this term in Southern State Province? Is it Lin Xioling? Lin Xioling, the famous genius magical girl of the Southern State Province. Profession is dark mage. When Bai Wushuang was in his freshman and sophomore year of high school, this woman was his arch enemy. After that, he obtained the dragon egg of the four-winged wind thunder dragon, and in order to hatch it into a contract, with the help of his family, he came to this Tsangfeng mountain range, and with a lot of hard work, he finally unearthed that a great rare heavenly treasure called wind thunder essence. This wind and thunder essence caused the white family to directly lose seven level 50 transmutants. The reason for this was that when entering the core of the Pale Wind Mountain Range, he met a level 60 guardian magic beast. However, it was fortunate that Bai Wushuang had escaped from death and returned with the wind and thunder essence, and then he managed to tame this four-winged wind and thunder dragon. 
and it was here that he spent the next year practicing meditation. Also kill monsters and upgrade with the four-winged wind thunder dragon. Regarding the matter of missing out on the transfer entrance exam, I wish Wang didn't think it mattered at all. In the eyes of him who now already had a dragon pet, the transfer gauntlet was nothing more than a child's plaything, and he could directly have this four-winged wind thunder dragon push across. It doesn't matter if you participate or not. And, because he had successfully contracted the four-winged wind thunder dragon, he had also obtained a special enrollment quota for the top 10 top academies in the dragon kingdom in advance. Enrollment is possible without transferring to the advanced placement program. The final choice was naturally the Feng Tian Academy, which had the most abundant educational resources and also the most talented people. That's where he'll start a real unbeatable career. He was going to bring his four-winged wind thunder dragon to crush and sweep away all opponents that stood in his way. It didn't matter if it was Lin Xiu Ling or any other opponent. He would sweep through them all mercilessly. Xiao Bai, the top student of Southern State Province is not Miss Lin Xiu Ling, but someone named Xin Fan. The white-haired old man replied softly. Hmm, Xin Fan? Bai Wushuang completely froze. He'd never heard the name before. What's his occupation? Back to young Bai. His occupation is a dragon master. This statement was made. Bai Wushuang's expression suddenly froze. He stared at the old white-haired servant dead in the face and said. Say again. What is his occupation? Back to young Bai. His occupation is a dragon master. Bai Wushuang. Chapter 61. Mysterious Dragon Egg Hatching. The matter of Qin Fan choosing the Feng Tian Academy quickly spread. There were already quite a few people on the internet speculating that this person who had won the Southern State Province Scholarship Crown as a Dragon Master must have contracted a subdragon as a beast pet. Otherwise it's hard to explain what's in front of you. Sure, they wouldn't associate Qin Fan with contracting a dragon pet above the level of a giant dragon. After all, in everyone's perceptions, it was impossible for a giant dragon or holy dragon level existence to be contracted by a human. This Qin Fan had at best contracted to a tougher subdragon species, but even so, everyone could tell that Qin Fan would definitely become a peak powerhouse in the future, provided that he did not die prematurely. During these three days, Qin Fan was busy with many things, not just packing, but also settling in with the Amazons as well as the children at the orphanage. On the second day, Qin Fan's bank card then already had an additional 100 million dragon coins on it. 18-year-old billionaire. You believe that? That's right. In Qin Fan's previous world, a billionaire who was 18 years old and fought on his own simply could not exist. But in this divine realm game and reality fusion of the transfer world, it is a frequent occurrence. In this world, as long as you show enough talent and enough strength, then there will definitely be people who will send a steady stream of money to you. This 100 million dragon coins was naturally half of the reward money that had been promised beforehand from the Feng Tian Academy side. 200 million grants per year, two semesters a year. One semester giving 100 million dragon coins. With money, you can naturally do a lot of things. Qin Fan not only relocated the orphanage to a new compound, but also hired some level 20 or so transmuters for the children of the orphanage to conduct preschool transmutation teachings. This is done naturally to facilitate the preparation of the children for later enrollment in a full-time school. After solving the problem of the orphanage, Sake also awoke from his slumber the next evening. It had already thoroughly digested the S-Class Divine Medicine Heavenly Fire Divine Purity. And Qin Fan, who was connected to Little Wine's heart, could naturally clearly perceive that this little dragon cub had once again become extremely exaggeratedly stronger. Dragon's favorite, Blazing Sacred Dragon, Lord of Endless Fire. Name, Firefly Wine. Nickname, Sake. Sex, Female. Age, Under a Month. Level, 15. Four-dimensional attributes, Strength 3000, Wisdom 3000, Physical Fitness 3000, Agility 3000, Without Any Buff. Equipment, Props to Enhance. After absorbing this S-Class Divine Medicine, Sake's level soared from 12 to 15. The four-dimensional attributes even came to an extremely balanced number of 3,000. Qin Fan had even obtained a 20% inheritance of Xiao Wine's entire attributes because of the SSS-ranked perverse skill of bloodline fusion. Strength, 850, Wisdom, 850, Physique, 800, Agility, 800, No Buffs. Equipment, Props to Enhance. This data, do you dare believe it's something a level 22 transmogrifier could have? The only person in the world who was estimated to have such outrageous panel stats was Qin Fan. It was because he was the only dragon master in the world who had successfully contracted a holy dragon class dragon pet. Other dragon masters. Let's not talk about contracting a holy dragon level dragon pet. Even a sub-dragon species can't contract. Those peak powerhouses of the contracted sub-dragon species were all beast masters. This was because the dragon master's conditions for contracting a dragon pet were simply too harsh. One must require a dragon pet of the gargoyle class or higher to successfully contract.
This also led to the fact that the hidden profession of Dragon Master was actually not as popular as a normal Beast Master. This is why many people feel that Dragon Mastery is a waste of a profession. Watch as Sake awakens from his slumber. Shin Fan also took out the Dark Dragon Egg from the system storage. That was the mysterious dragon egg rewarded by the system during the previous school selection. Mysterious dragon egg, can hatch a dragon cub of random rank. And when this one dark dragon egg appeared, Gah! Little Wine, who was originally enjoying Chin Fan's touch on his head, immediately had a jolt, as if he had met an enemy, and his entire little body went into a state of alert. Its pair of golden-colored dragon pupils stared at this mysterious dragon egg in death, and a low chirp of warning demonstration was continuously emitted from its throat. All right. All right, Sake take it easy, it's not the enemy. Shin Fan smiled and rubbed Xiao Wine's head. Ka? Sake turned his head to look at his master and then at the dark dragon egg, as if to ask, if it's not the enemy, then what is it? Ah, uh, it's supposed to be your future brother or sister. After all, I don't know what kind of dragon is in there. Shin Fan said helplessly. This dark dragon egg he had also used the dragon harnessing technique to try and tame, but unfortunately, failed to tame every time. Previously, when hatching little wine, at least the system gave a hint that asking for divine flame chalcedony could increase the probability of successful taming. But right now there was no hint of this mysterious dragon egg. As soon as little wine heard that what was hatching in here could be its future brother or sister, it fluttered its wings happily and flew next to this mysterious dragon egg, then circled around this mysterious dragon egg non-stop. Every now and then, he even touched this dark dragon egg with his little paw. Watching this scene, Shin Fan was able to put his heart down. He was really afraid that Little Wine would reject this mysterious dragon egg. Gah! Suddenly, Little Wine held this dragon egg in her arms with her two cute little dragon claws and grunted at Sheen Fan. Sheen Fan, who was in tune with Little Wine's mind, read its meaning, tonight I'm going to sleep with this mysterious dragon egg in my arms. Sheen Fan cried and laughed at his words. Still, Sake's request was granted. So Little Wine hugged this dark dragon egg and lay quietly by Sheen Fan's pillow, snoring like a cat while falling into a deep sleep. However, Neither Qin Fan nor Xiao Wine realized it. The shell of this mysterious dragon egg began to fall off quietly. Cold. So cold. Between the haze of confusion, Qin Fan only felt as if a mass of frost had coalesced around his chest, making his entire body feel as if he was in an ice cave. After a few seconds, Qin Fan had also finally awakened from his sleep. Just opened my eyes. He then felt two heavy weights pressing against his chest. One was incredibly hot and one was incredibly cold. Hmm. This caused Qin Fan to completely awaken from his daze at once, and beside the bed were broken eggshells. Instead of a dark color, these eggshells took on an icy blue color like frost. This, hatched, that mysterious dragon egg had actually hatched directly after a night. And little wine and this little dragon cub with an ice blue body also woke up from their sleeping state at the same time at this moment. Then, a pair of golden and crimson dragon pupils just locked eyes with a pair of ice blue and clear dragon pupils. Chapter 62, Taking the Name Chun Han, Nickname Little Cold. Boing. This euphonious yet anxious chirp came from the mouth of this icy blue, icy blue little guy. Obviously, this newborn was given a little wine. On the contrary, little wine, the little guy with a big heart, was still staring at his golden pupils, tilting his head with curiosity as he looked at the ice blue little dragon whose bloodline pressure was not weaker than his own. Have to say. This newly born ice blue little dragon was undoubtedly much more noble than little wine in terms of appearance and temperament. The round body of the dragon presents a clear blue color like ice crystal. And above a pair of dragon wings, there is an extremely good looking snowflake ice pattern. Two crystal like dragon horns were erected on the small head. And the pupils even presented a crystal color as if they were the clear blue of the ice sky. If there's an analogy to be made, Sake is actually the vivacious and cute teenage girl next door. And this icy blue icy blue little one was like a princess in the dragon tribe. Her whole body was permeated with a noble and elegant atmosphere. In the face of Xiao Wine's scrutiny, this ice blue little dragon cub, after its initial panic, raised its dragon head and resumed its previous noble elegance, tilting its head with a haughty face, not looking at Xiao Wine, but instead looking at Qin Fan, who was filled with a dumbfounded face. What surprised Qin Fan even more was, at this moment, he actually read the meaning of this ice blue little dragon cub within himself, servant. What are you still standing there for? Why don't you quickly come over and help this young lady solve this troublesome fellow? This, it thinks of itself as a servant? Hmm, nope. How can one read the other person? However, just as Qin Fan was so dazed, already unable to hold back his inner curiosity, Little Wine first fluttered his little paws and slowly approached, forcing this ice blue little dragon cub into a corner before probing his little nose into the other party's body, sniffing the other party's scent. Ka? Little Wine cocked her head and looked at Qin Fan. He read Sake's mind, is this my sister? 
Boing boing. The icy blue dragon cub chirped in denial at once. Apparently, it wasn't happy to be Sake's sister. The two little dragon cubs had different calls. Sake is crunching, and the little icy blue one was calling. Nope, this doesn't seem to be the time to care about grunting. This instant, Chin Fan suddenly reacted. After carefully sensing the situation, it was dismayed to find that. It was surprising that he himself had already made a contract with this icy blue little dragon cub. This, when was it concluded? He remembered that he had been using the dragon harnessing technique on this mysterious dragon egg before and it all showed taming failure ah, ding. At that moment, the emotionless beep of the system suddenly sounded in his head, detecting that the host is extremely puzzled. The system answers accordingly. The mysterious dragon egg, as a welfare reward, will automatically recognize its owner upon successful hatching, and there are no harsh conditions for recognition. Ah, so it is. At the same time, the detailed information of this ice blue little dragon cub also jumped directly into Chin Fan's mind. Dragon's favor, Frost Holy Dragon, Lord of Winter. Name and nickname, not yet available. Sex, female. Age, under a month. Level, 1. Four dimensional attributes, strength 300, wisdom 300, physique 270, agility 270, without any buff. Equipment, props to enhance. Skills possessed. Ice immunity, as passive skill. As the Lord of Winter. You are immune to 100% ice attribute damage. Frost spit, s active skill. Spits out frost dragon breath forward. Inflicting massive ice attribute damage to all enemies in a certain range in front of you. Embrace of 10,000 snows, active skill. When activated, the surrounding targets that are considered friendly will be sheltered by the power of frost. With the life value and double resistance attributes increased by 80%, the damage increase is increased by 200%. Winter field, s aura skill. When the aura is turned on, all enemy targets within a 1 km radius centered on itself will be affected by the power of frost, reducing their full attributes by 70%. Surprised, Chin Fan was completely shocked. Nice guy, ITM straight up called good guys. This little dragon cub in front of him that had hatched from the mysterious dragon egg was actually on the same level as Little Wine. All of them were the uppermost ranked saint dragons. The four dimensional attributes at level 1 are exactly the same. And the companion skills are more of the same 3s plus 1a combination. Only this frost holy dragon seems to have its abilities leaning more towards support, especially the embrace of 10,000 snows as well as the winter domain skills. One enhances the attributes of friendly units and one weakens the attributes of enemy units. And the percentages of enhancements and nerfs are so exaggerated. Boing. Just as Chin Fan marveled at the terror of this little guy, there was a sudden wailing cry for help in his ear. Turn your head. Nice guy. Little wine was already fulfilling its duties as a sister sticking out its little tongue to lick the frost saint dragon that it considered as its sister. It's well known. When felines want to show care and comfort to their own kind, they lick each other's fur. The dragons in front of me seem to follow the same feline habits. However the frost holy dragon appeared to dislike this sister. It fluttered its little wings with nice ice patterns trying to escape. However, under the suppression of Sake's level 15 level attribute, the two small paws just pressed against it, unable to resist at all. So it could only oink to Chin Fan, who was the master. For help. Well, Sake, can't you see your sister is about to cry? Hurry up and stop. Chin Fan hurriedly pulled the overenthusiastic Xiao Wine away from him, then cradled the pitiful Frost Saint Dragon in his arms. Xiao Wine was pulled away but didn't get angry. His four little dragon claws kept bouncing in place, full of excitement and thrill as he looked at his sister. After the Frost Holy Dragon received the shelter of its master, it was arrogantly raising its little head, ignoring this overzealous sister. Since you're my second dragon pet, it's time for me, as your master, to give you a name. Chin Fan smiled and rubbed the Frost Saint Dragon's little head. Boing! This Frost Saint Dragon that was as high and proud as a princess promised. But at the same time, it also expresses a meaning, that servant hurry up and give this young lady a name. It must be a good sounding one. This made Chin Fan cry and laugh. Still, he began to meditate on it in earnest. For naming, Chin Fan thought to himself that he could still do it. On the name of Snow. He suddenly remembered a line from a game he played in his previous life where a character had changed it based on an ancient poem. When did the riverside first see snow? And when did the river snow first reflect the people? This line is adapted from the old poem when did the river first see the moon? And when did the river moon first shine on the people? There. You're out of nowhere princess-like condescending personality and frosty attributes. It really fits that role. Then you'll be called Saiken. Little one. The nickname will be Chill. Sheen Fan smiled and said. Boing. When the frost holy dragon heard this, the crystal clear icy blue dragon's eyes instantly lit up. Obviously, it's happy with the name. Ka! Sake, who was on the side, chirped happily along with her sister at the moment after seeing that she 
like herself, had received satisfactory names and nicknames from her master. The four little short legs are still bouncing around. Chapter 63 Background Sheen Fan didn't expect that he would just have a second dragon pet. And originally, he was worried that the appearance of a second dragon pet would not make Xiao Wine feel disgusted. But it turned out that when Xiao Wine took this Frost Saint Dragon as her sister, instead of having any dislike, she was very enthusiastic. After all, for Little Wine, it had no parents, and Qin Fan was all it had. Now that a Saint Dragon with a bloodline of the same level as it had appeared, and it was also its sister, it was naturally very happy. It's just that Chill's character seems to be a bit more arrogant. That's why I'm disgusted with the little drink that comes along every time. Although it resented it, it was unable to resist, as Little Wine's attributes and level had far exceeded Little Chill's, so much so that every time Little Chill fluttered its little wings to try and rebel against this passionate sister, it produced no effect. Looking at the two little dragon cubs chasing and playing with each other in the room, Qin Fan smiled all of a sudden. Xiao Han's successful contract could be more than just an additional dragon pet for Qin Fan. Due to the existence of the Bloodline Fusion skill passive, Qin Fan also received a 20% attribute bonus from Xiao Han's side. Jingle bells. Just as Qin Fan was contemplating on how he should bring Xiao Han along to level up, the phone rang. Qin Fan, are you home? I've come to pick you up. This is MS. Hijalan's voice. That's it. Today was the day he was following teacher Hijalan to Feng Tian Academy. Yes, please wait a minute teacher. I'll be right downstairs on my side. Qin Fan said hurriedly. Gah. Boing. The two little dragon cubs that were originally playing with each other were also very good and obedient at the moment and automatically drilled into the dragon pet space. Little Chill was actually much larger than an ordinary pet because it hadn't mastered the dragon shape transformation skill yet, so there was no way for it to burrow into Qin Fan's arms, and although Sake could freely change her body size, she didn't want to leave her sister alone in the beast pet space by herself, so she also followed along and burrowed into the dragon pet space. Generally speaking, whether it was a beast master or a dragon master, they all had absolute control over their pet space. However, Xin Fan didn't constrain the authority much and directly allowed the two little dragon cubs to enter the space if they wanted to and not if they didn't want to. The traveling gifts had been packed into the storage space in advance. So just wear your storage ring and go downstairs. Come to the door. Ama was already waiting ahead of time. She was still looking at Qin Fan with a kind face. And then she urged him with one word to listen to the teacher after he went to the school. To remember to eat on time, not to stay up late, and so on. She is like a mother who sends her child on a long trip to school. The small children of the orphanage also ran out to see Qin Fan off. Where's little wine? Brother Qin Fan, I have to say goodbye to Xiao Wine too. Yeah, where's the sip? The kids have been playing with Sake for a while now and have formed deep friendships with him. What they don't know is that, the little dragon cub that was having fun with them was the blazing sacred dragon that could make all the transmutants change color. Ka? Seemingly hearing someone calling out to it, a cute little head just poked out from beside Qin Fan's body. Whoa, Sake. The children's eyes lit up. Boing. However, to the children's further surprise, the next moment they heard a wailing sound, and there was another cute little head poking out. A pair of crystal clear dragon pupils like blue crystal gems also locked eyes with the group of children. This was naturally little Chill who had some curiosity. Whoa, the children's eyes widened in instant surprise. They had never seen this icy blue little dragon cub before. All right, all right, don't delay brother Qin Fan. The Amma on the side also spoke out at this time to dissuade the children who wanted to continue pestering. Go on. Have a safe trip. Alma smiled and looked at Qin Fan. Qin Fan nodded. After letting Little Wine and Little Chill retract back into the beast pet space, they walked out of the courtyard. Outside the courtyard, there was a limousine parked. Seeing Qin Fan come out, the door of the car directly opened. Sitting in the driver's seat, M.S. Hiyalan had a small mouth. Wearing sunglasses, she was like a fashionable girl. Get in the car. Qin Fan, after getting in the car, Hiyalan then drove the car into an extremely magnificent space teleportation station. That's right. It's the spaceport. This was a transmigration world. And in the context of high technology as well as the fusion of magic, spatial teleportation arrays had already been popularized a long time ago. And, ever since the Divine Realm game merged with the real world, the entire planet's land section had expanded by an unknown number of million times. The territory of each country has also expanded a lot together. There are even many unclaimed lands and islands in the world that have no country to occupy, waiting for humans to explore and dig. With so much expansion of the territory, if the previous mode of transportation is still followed, for example, by airplane, by high-speed rail, by train, etc. Not to mention the fact that it took a lot of time. Let's just say that in the middle of these transportation vehicles in the middle of a long-distance rush, in case they encountered a magical beast's attack then what should we do? 
Things like this happened all the time when the Divine Realm games were just being integrated with the real world. High-speed railroads and trains were all damaged by the sudden appearance of the beasts in the tunnels, and the more serious ones were crashed by the beasts, resulting in the deaths of a carload of people. Airplanes can also be affected by some flying magical beasts, especially at that 10, 000 meter altitude. Once something happens, the probability of passengers surviving can basically be said to be zero. So after the research and development of countless transmigrants as well as scientists, the spatial teleportation magic array came into being and was quickly spread throughout the world. The Dragon Kingdom, as an infrastructure maniac, naturally wanted to popularize this extremely safe and almost accident-free space teleportation array directly throughout the country. Even if a Ning city was just a small, remote city, it had its own space teleportation station. If you are talking about traveling to a destination that is not far away, then you can take a light rail moving train. However, if we are talking about going to a far away place, we 100% must choose a space teleportation array. Also, why did teachers from college admissions offices from all the major provinces manage to get to Anning the day after the results came out? It was also attributed to this convenient and fast space teleportation magic array. Now that Qin Fan was going to follow He Yalan to Feng Tian province, it was natural to choose the space teleportation array for such a long distance, looking at the high-tech intelligent AI robots roaming around, as well as that fully automatic lift transparent elevator, fully intelligent ticket machine. Qin Fan could only marvel at how different it really was from his previous world. Go! Hijalan smiled slightly. Beneath her feet was an extremely large spatial teleportation magic array. Chapter 64 Much Discussed Buzz! When the spatial teleportation magic array under Qin Fan's feet bloomed with a bright light, he clearly felt the magical elements as well as spatial ripples that were violently stirring around him. Relax, don't be nervous, this is the process of the magical array pattern and the power of space fusing with each other. This will also lead to a slight sense of vertigo in the process for those who ride the spatial teleportation magical array. It'll be fine after a bit of acclimatization. He Yalan's clear and pleasant voice also sounded in Qin Fan's ears. Fruity. Next. A slight feeling of dizziness then surged into Qin Fan's mind. The vertigo only surged for a few seconds before it returned. When Qin Fan regained his sight. However, he suddenly realized that all of his surroundings had completely changed. Alright, we've arrived at the Feng Tian Province Dragon Capital Space Teleportation Station. You can go down now. Teacher He Yalan smiled faintly and took the lead towards the outside of the spatial teleportation magic formation. The moment. Qin Fan saw the travelers around him had also all long since become accustomed to stepping into that one spatial teleportation array. This couldn't help but make Qin Fan feel a lot of emotions inside. Such a long distance. Under the effect of this spatial teleportation magic array, arriving in just a few seconds, this was really too much. This is the world of the transfer game where magic and technology merge. Feng Tian Province. Longdu City. This is the city where the Feng Tian Academy is located. It is also the most prosperous and largest city in the Dragon Kingdom. Here it is. Luxury families, powerful sons, business tycoons, global 500 companies, global famous chain adventure guilds, trading houses, alchemists guilds, apothecaries guilds, forging guilds. There should be everything. Simply because this is the capital city of the Dragon Kingdom. No wonder Feng Tian Academy is known as the top university institution with the most abundant educational resources and the strongest comprehensive faculty in the Dragon Kingdom. Noteworthy. As Su Ro was the richest family in Anning City, it was only natural that her home had a private luxury space teleportation magic array that could freely travel to all parts of the country. She had originally wanted to travel to Feng Tian Province with Qin Fan. But yesterday, her father happened to need to make a trip to Feng Tian Province to discuss a cooperative project with some pill refining companies over there. So he let her follow along and go over early. Feng Tian Academy fell in the northern region of Longdu City, near the northern suburbs. However, the surrounding streets and neighborhoods were incomparably busy and bustling, and there was even a large area of connected commercial streets and commercial places in existence. Even if Feng Tian Academy is located in a more remote suburb, as long as its volume and reputation remain, then there will be countless companies and business organizations that will start a series of construction and friendship around Feng Tian Academy. Student Qin Fan. Welcome to our Feng Tian Academy. This is the gate of our Feng Tian Academy. He Yalan smiled faintly and led Qin Fan to the front of the Feng Tian Academy that all transfer students dreamed of wanting to come to. It's bustling and hot. Countless transfer college students wearing the Feng Tian Academy school robes came and went in twos and threes. The aura on all of them was extraordinary. Just to say that between the few glances Qin Fan took, he realized that the lowest level of the students in here was actually level 40. Looking at the group of students they should all be sophomore seniors. Geez. You know, in Anning City, it seemed like the president of that adventure guild was only level 42. 
It turned out that the lowest sophomore in this Fongtian Academy was level 40. This, let's just say it's worthy of being a top A school. This place was bound to be the top place that gathered many of the Dragon Kingdom's heavenly prides. What can be seen is, there were quite a few foreign faces walking towards the Fongtian Academy, looking down at the map and their cell phones, obviously unfamiliar with the place. Apparently, they were also freshmen who had gotten in from all over the country. There were some sophomore seniors guiding those freshmen at the entrance. Only provincial top scorers like Qin Fan had the treatment of being personally transported and guided by teacher Hialan, while other ordinary students naturally relied on themselves to travel alone in the space teleportation array. By the way, in the schools of this world, there is no such thing as winter and summer vacations. On the third day after the release of the results of the college entrance examination, all the university halls around the world also directly opened the new semester to recruit new students from all over the world. Noteworthy. Those seniors who are responsible for welcoming the new students are also people who like to see what's in store for them. When they saw handsome male schoolmates, the older sisters took the initiative to stand out and lead the way for them. While those who met the average once threw the new students a copy of the Fontian Academy new student guidance manual and left the other party to find their own way. And when they see pretty female schoolgirls, the seniors naturally volunteer and meet average schoolgirls or throw a how-to manual for them to self-improve. It seems that no matter what world you're in, you have to look at your face. Hello Dean He. And that's when, when Qin Fan and teacher He Yalan walked through the gates of this grand and imposing schoolhouse. Immediately, a sharp-eyed sophomore spotted her. What makes Qin Fan a little surprised is, these students addressed He Yalan as Dean, not as teacher. Nice guy. This teacher with a mature temperament and a strong female appearance was actually the Dean of Feng Tian Academy. However, it is not known exactly which college, but the fact that she's the Dean is enough to say two things. First, she is very strong. Secondly, her background is definitely not ordinary either. Hello guys, Hijalan also smiled and nodded at the student. Dean He, who is this student? Soon, these sophomores spotted Qin Fan's figure. Qin Fan's appearance isn't really that bad. Fully 1 meter 8 tall. Extremely well proportioned and robust body. Plus handsome and sunny features. Perhaps it was because of his own hidden profession as a beast master. So his body carried its own aura that made small animals love him. A proper teenage girl killer. Oh. He's also a freshman from our Feng Tian Academy. His name is Qin Fan. His occupation is a dragon master. And he is also the top student of the current transfer entrance examination in the southern state province. Teacher He Yalan appeared to have no intention of hiding Qin Fan's identity. The moment he was asked by these students, he directly revealed Qin Fan's roots. And as soon as she said that, swish, Qin Fan felt that in this instant, there were countless lines of sight gazing towards him from all around. Doubtful, curious, inquisitive, dismissive, challenging, arrogant, all sorts of looks, all sorts of colors. The few students who had struck up a conversation with He Yalan were also completely shocked. Scholar of the Southern State Province, they didn't expect this very handsome looking boy to be the much talked about top student from Southern State Province. Yes, it's just highly debated. Three days ago, when the Longwa Education Bureau released the list, everyone in the country who was paying attention to the transfer entrance exam noticed the name Qin Fan, Chapter 65, School Tour. These three days were spent because of the special instructions from the Education Bureau of the City of Anning as well as the official personnel. So no media at all dared to come over and disturb Qin Fan. It also allowed Qin Fan to have a very stable three days, dealing with settling into the orphanage. But this calmness was only what was presented to Qin Fan. Actually, on the major platforms of the internet, as well as in the nation's combat academies, the word Qin Fan had spread. It's more noticeable than the top students from other provinces. To say why, naturally, it was because of the extremely special occupation of Dragon Master. Dragon Master. It's the hidden profession of the Beast Master. It is also recognized worldwide as the most wasteful profession. Once upon a time, the headquarters of the United Association of Global Combat Professions published an extremely authoritative list of career strengths. It was also because of this career strength leaderboard list that was talked about by everyone at the time. Simply because the profession of Dragon Master was ranked in the top three on this list. Officials explained it afterward. The reason why the profession of Dragon Master was placed in the top 3 of the career strength ranking list was because if that profession could really contract a dragon above the level of Megalosaurus as a dragon pet, then it would be invincible. However, it was this explanation that nearly made transmogrifiers all over the world laugh out loud. Holy shit, can you combat professional association not be so funny? How can anyone sign a contract with a giant dragon? Would someone who was a huge dragon be willing to be the beast pet of a human like you? The highest known human record is a contract with a sub-dragon species, and a reciprocal and fair partnership contract at that, not a master-servant contract. 
This profession is the highest profession. There's no need to question it, because no dragon master has ever been able to contract a giant dragon. Go through this thing above. The profession of dragon master was famous all over the world. Whom is notoriously wasted. Right now, a notorious waste of a career. Yet he took the top spot in the southern state province's college entrance exams in one fell swoop. And it is said that the current high school examination questions in the southern state province, or that the most national students headache of the person who made the questions. This is naturally extremely hot and disgust. Crap. Feelings that Dragon Master is him. With the profession of a Dragon Master he captured the top prize of the college entrance examination in Southern State Province. It's simply awesome. He couldn't have succeeded in contracting a giant dragon. Right? How else could he have gotten the first prize? No way. I think he's contracted a sub-dragon at best. Isn't it true that Dragon Masters can't contract dragons below the gargoyle class? It is estimated that this guy has a special chance opportunity. Before there was also a mage with invincible flesh body abroad. That one is not also strange? There were sounds of discussion coming out from around the gate of the academy. Well, I'll take him on a tour to familiarize him with the school. And you guys go on with your orientation. Hard work. Hiyalan didn't care at all when she saw the countless lines of sight gazing at Chin Fan. Chin Fan knew that it was definitely this female dean who had done it on purpose. But on second thought, it's nothing. Because sooner or later one is going to have to deal with these looks of varying colors. After walking into the school, it was only then that Chin Fan realized that the Fontian Academy was not normally big. Tens of kilometers separate both Restaurant 1 and Restaurant 2. You'll also have to use a small space teleportation array to do so. This is the Hall of Secret Realms. If you want to place a copy, you can apply for access here. And the staff will open the door to the corresponding Secret Realm copy for you. This is the Forge Hall. This is the Hall of Enchantment. This is the Skill Library. And the Skill Books inside are redeemable for school credits. This is Arena 1, where students spar with each other and train on weekdays. This is a free trade market. Some props, pills, materials and so on that students obtain. If they can't use them themselves, they can set up a stall here and sell them to others. Of course, if the value is relatively high, you can also hang them on the school's auction house, so the school can help you find a buyer. Have to say, M.S. Hajalan really did her best. Directly, he personally led Chin Fan around the many key venues of the Feng Tian Academy. It made Chin Fan a bit flattered. After all, this M.S., He Yalan was the dean of a certain academy. Since this teacher He Yalan's information was set with privacy permissions, Chin Fan was unable to use the eye of appraisal to check her rank strength. But even so, a top academy dean of a top academy had personally taken a new student on a tour of the academy. Even if this freshman is a provincial top student, he's not qualified, is he? This instant, Chin Fan suddenly understood. Teacher He Yaolan must have already known about his success in contracting a dragon pet. And, presumably she also accessed clear information about the tipple, an owner of a blazing holy dragon. It's really worth a dean taking a personal tour now. This is the dormitory area, where the vast majority of the students live. Finally, M.S. Hijalan was also smiling and making introductions. When Chin Fan looked around, it was actually a cluster of high-class apartment buildings. It is equipped with a wide range of high-tech living machines butlers and extremely comfortable environmental conditions, preferably, one that only a small number of students are eligible to live in. The top villa area. Hiyalan brought Chin Fan to an extremely luxurious area again. Looking up, there were actually 50 luxurious villas standing. There are four luxury villa areas here, all over campus. Only the top 50 in each grade are eligible to stay. Hijalan smiled and continued the introduction. Chin Fan couldn't help but feel a sense of emotion in his heart when he heard this. Sure enough, it's still the same thing. Strength is the name of the game. In this world of transmigration, as long as you have the strength, then you will be able to enjoy the treatment as well as benefits that other people cannot enjoy. Come, this is where you will live for the time being. He Yalan took her slender legs and led Chin Fan to a luxurious villa at the very top of this small hill. The door number on it clearly reads, Villa 1. Chin Fan was slightly stunned. Mr. He. Are you sure this is where I live? Didn't they say that only the top 50 in each grade were eligible to move in? He's just enrolled in school, and he's living in this villa that represents the first in his grade? Oh, actually, our school does an initial ranking every year based on how the incoming freshmen perform on the entrance exams. After watching the recording screen of your battle in the college entrance exam, student Chin Fan, and then after the research decision of several of our deans, we have designated you as the first person among the freshmen so you are eligible to stay in this villa. Of course, in a month's time the school will have a big freshman orientation test. If you don't do well in the big exam, Mr. Sheen Fan, then I'm sorry, but I can only ask you to obediently move out of this villa. M.S. Hijalan smiled and said, 
Qin Fan sniffed and was completely flabbergasted, but just then, ding, the extremely familiar and emotionless tone of the system suddenly sounded. Chapter 66, The New Home Detecting that the host is about to face the big exam for the beginning of the school year, this system releases a brand new challenge task. Task content, please ask the host to sit as the number one freshman in the freshman exam. Mission reward, legendary treasure chest X1, diamond treasure chest X1. Failure penalty, randomly deduct one of the host's own skills of A rank or higher. Here we go. Another familiar system task. Just as well. He would also take the opportunity to learn how many points these top tier heavenly prides from all over the country were capable of. Let's see if they're powerful. Or if I'm powerful with my dragon pet. Well, it's been a long day of shopping. And I'm sure you're tired. So I won't disturb your rest. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock is the commencement ceremony. So remember to go over to the Holy Spirit Assembly Hall at that time to attend. Also, one more reminder, if you want to wear the crown, you have to bear the weight. In the default rankings, you've been placed as the number one freshman by all of our deans. As you know, as one of the five top academies, the students recruited are all the top celestial pride from all over the country, who are powerful and gifted, and are the top handful of existences in their local area. That's exactly why. They've enjoyed flattery for a long time. And now that they see that someone has actually overshadowed them in the rankings, then they're bound to challenge you. That's something I hope you're prepared for. Not only the Feng Tian Academy, but even other academies as well. Those students who are placed at the top will always have to go through the most tests. Before MS, He Yalin left. She also very solemnly instructed Qin Fan with these words. Qin Fan nodded his head seriously as well. In fact, he didn't need to be reminded by Mr. He, he was already mentally prepared. Strength is honored in this transfer world. There is no escaping these challenges. So we have to face them. Looking at MS, he Yalan's far away slender back. Qin Fan also let out a deep breath before entering this extremely luxurious villa no. One, have to say, this villa was the most luxurious Qin Fan had ever seen. It is not only in the high class and flashy furniture decoration, but also in the full coverage of intelligent technology. There was no need for Qin Fan to use any keys or fingerprints to prove that when he stood at the door. There was a high-tech nano camera at the door that scanned Qin Fan's whole body instantly. In less than half a second, it directly recognized Qin Fan's identity and opened the door automatically. After opening the door, an intelligent robot that could fly in the air like an orb came to Qin Fan's side and asked him politely and respectfully whether he wanted to eat or take a bath next. Or maybe it's time for a cozy massage spa. As long as Qin Fan gave an order, all kinds of small and completely space-neutral robots in this villa could be instantly completed. When you want to take a bath, the bath water, deodorant, bath towel, and the entire bathroom will be adjusted to a comforting temperature for you. If you want to dine, it only takes 3 minutes for a delicious meal to be delivered by drone from the school's dining hall one side, of which the dining hall is able to cater to whatever cuisine you want. If you want a massage, then you'll have a high-tech anthropomorphic massage robot ready for you, which is more precise than a human being, both in terms of force and point accuracy. If you want to be entertained, the 100 square meters wide personal movie hall provides you with the best movie watching atmosphere. 3D Max makes you immersed in the scene, and you can browse the world no matter what kind of movie you want, and the copyrights have long been bought directly. If you want to train, there is a small spatial teleportation array at the back of the villa. Just change into your training clothes and stand on it, then you can be transported directly to the fully equipped personal training room, which is not only spacious, but also has accompanying training robots. In a nutshell, the accommodations here are simply top-notch. This will fulfill almost any requirement in your life. In that case, it seems that I really must take the first place in this freshman grand exam. After all, if you fall out of that first place, you'll have to move to one of those upscale apartments. Qin Fan muttered. It is easy to go from frugality to extravagance, but difficult to go from extravagance to frugality. After experiencing such a satisfying stay, Qin Fan didn't want to lose it. This is how top schools treat their students. In any other academic institution, the accommodation would never have been so perfect. Gah! Boing! Without outsiders, these two little dragon cubs were also finally willing to burrow out of the beast pet space. They sat obediently on the gorgeous wooden floor, their two pairs of gem-like dragon eyes constantly surveying the unfamiliar surroundings. Sake's barks were all gah like a cute little girl, and Chill's purr was on the side of a clip sound, like a coquettish little girl. This is our new home now. You can tear it down any way you want. Qin Fan waved his big hand and said with great bravado, the reason he had such a bottom line was naturally because he had intelligent robots to help him clean up the mess, and this one house is dedicated to beast pets to play, there are all kinds of toys here, after all, this luxury villa will also take into account that if the students staying there are beast masters, then it is reasonable to leave the beast pets some space to play around, 
If you keep letting your beast pet hide in the beast pet space and hold it in, it will affect the physical and mental health of the beast pet. Gah! Little Wine sniffed and immediately fluttered his four short legs in excitement and started jumping up and down. Xiao Han, on the other hand, was proudly holding her little head high, looking at her rowdy sister with a look of disgust, as if to say, this young lady is a noble lady, how could she possibly tear down the house? However, soon Chill was really fragrant too, because Sake jumped straight up. The little dragon claw grabbed a soft cotton ball and threw it straight at Little Chill. Bang! Little Chill's head was smashed painlessly by this cotton ball, and he gave an angry winking sound, then glared at Sake, warning it not to come back. As a result, Sake didn't care at all, cackling and letting out a happy shriek before flinging the dragon's tail again and hitting a balloon onto Chill's body. Boing! Little Chill immediately got angry. A pair of small wings with ice crystal patterns fluttered up. A dragon swung its tail in the air and a cotton ball smashed towards Little Wine. Bang! Sake, even with his great agility, did not dodge and deliberately let this cotton ball from his sister hit his head. Then it began to fight back. Thus, bang, 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 bang. Cotton balls and balloons flew and bounced around at a jaw-dropping speed throughout the Beast Pet Playroom. Phew! A balloon just flew by in front of Chin Fan as fast as lightning, so fast that even he almost couldn't react. This, it was only because these toy balls had been treated with special magic plus the fact that this little dragon cub wasn't serious, that they didn't explode. If they got serious, it was estimated that these toy balls would be instantly smashed by these two little guys. And, the playfulness between the dragons was horrible too. Sheen Fan dared to say that if these rapidly flying toy balls smashed into his face, it would be designated as a fiery pain. However, the two thick-skinned and thick-fleshed little dragon cubs were simply fine, still thumping and playing. Chapter 67, Commencement Ceremony, 7 o'clock the following morning. Sheen Fan woke up on time. When he got up, he felt two heavy weights on his chest. Heads up. Unsurprisingly, it was the two rounded dragon cubs lying on his chest, getting up and washing up. The two little ones were surprisingly clean, allowing Sheen Fan to help them both put bath water and scented lotion in that huge bathtub before the two little dragon cubs flopped around in it to wash up. Later on, he was going to attend the opening ceremony of Feng Tian Academy. By the way, let's get the freshmen separated into classes. There were a total of four academies in the Feng Tian Academy. Tactical Academy. Combat Academy. Magic Academy. Strengthening the Academy. The Tactical Academy, as the name suggests, specializes in cultivating strategic commanding talents, which does not require high strength, but requires that the theory as well as the big picture must be good enough. The Combat Academy. On the other hand, enrolls students in all combat professions. The Academy of Magic. On the other hand, only enrolls students of the law profession. The Reinforcement Academy, on the other hand, enrolls some talented sub-professional students. Although it was said that what dominated this transfer world was still the combat profession, the existence of side professions was also indispensable. The elixirs, props, and even equipment that the combat professions needed to use to go down to the duplicates on weekdays were all produced by the vice professions. The grading of the sub-professions is simple. From low to high, they are D, C, B, A, S, Master, Grandmaster and divine. A sub-profession can be mixed up to be rank, and you're mixing it up no matter what city you go to. And with the S rank, master rank, and grandmaster rank, even if you go abroad, the nobles of some principalities must welcome you as a guest. God-level vice professions are not much to say. Belonging to is a national-level strategic talent, inevitably valued by the state. So it's not like there's no way out of a side hustle. Or as the saying goes, if you're talented, you'll be able to mix it up. Walking through the campus, there are a lot of new and tender faces. In this group, there were different demeanors exhibited. After Chin Fan's careful observation, he could probably tell the difference between people with different personalities. For example, carefully observing the freshmen around them, they should belong to the kind of existence that just reaches the threshold of admission. They know that they can't compare to these specially recruited in around them, so they have to be careful when they first enter the campus, and try not to cause any trouble. And some of them walk with a dignified appearance, a look of bland arrogance the kind of needless to see, must be specially recruited in, at least the provincial top 100 of the kind, in their local high school are a handful of pride, today's commencement ceremony was attended only by freshmen, sophomores and juniors are not required to attend and go about their business, when Chin Fan stepped into the Holy Spirit Assembly Hall, it was found that more than a thousand people were already seated inside, Chin Fan had wanted to casually find a seat, but I didn't expect that suddenly from the front row came a pleasant voice as clear as a silver bell, Chin Fan, here, Xin Fan looked up and it was actually Su Ro. Only there were two other girls and a boy sitting next to her. 
Those two girls as well as the boys were also surprised when they saw Su Ro greet Qin Fan, and also because Su Ro shouted out the words Qin Fan, a moment in time, swish, 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 thousands of eyes with different colors across the room directly landed on Qin Fan's body, holy shit, this is the dragon master who took the top prize in southern state province, does it look great, just good looking skin, don't underestimate people, to be able to take this college entrance exam as a dragon master, there must be something special about them, there's a f asterisk king overachievement. You're not trying to say that this Qin fan contracted to a giant dragon, are you? That shouldn't be possible. I think he either broke the limitations of a dragon master and contracted a flying dragon or a sub dragon, or he coincidentally inspired the other occupational traits of a dragon master, which then made him so powerful. That's a fairly well founded guess. And if you're so uninformed as to think he can contract a gargoyle, then I'll have to contradict you. It's not like I'm stupid. The existence of a single adult gargoyle is comparable to the four fourth turned existences of us humans. How could he, a kid of about the same level as us, possibly contract a giant dragon? Various murmurs rang out. Qin Fan's complexion did not fluctuate in the slightest. He just nodded to Su Ro and then casually found a seat for himself. Su Ro still wanted to say something, but she was pulled back by the two girls on the side, while chatting with her about something. The boy, on the other hand, twisted his head and gave Qin Fan a deep look. Then he wrapped his arms around his chest and closed his eyes. Since the Great Hall of the Holy Spirit was large and had many seats, the location Qin Fan picked was rather remote, so there was no one beside him. Yet all kinds of eyes continued to gawk at his body. Buzz. And just at this moment, an incomparably tall figure just stepped out of the spatial void and arrived at the main podium of the Holy Spirit Assembly Hall. And as soon as this figure appeared, the Assembly Hall, which was originally still a bit noisy, instantly quieted down. This was because the figure was clearly a level 90. Fourth turn space dharma god. The space magic fluctuations that permeated its body were even more godlike. Lu Bo Ming, 52 years old, dean of the magic academy, part-time vice principal of Feng Tian Academy. Level 90. Fourth turn spatial dharma god. A gentle smile covered his face, which was not at all old, and his mellow voice slowly spread out from the loudspeaker. First of all, I would like to thank you all for choosing to attend our Feng Tian Academy, and on behalf of the school, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you all. Let me introduce myself here. My name is Lu Bo Ming. I believe you should be no stranger to me, the Dean of the Magic Academy and the host of this opening ceremony. The words fell. The freshmen on stage applauded very facetiously. Joke. This was a legendary fourth turn powerhouse, and it's still a space fairy god. It was the idol that an unknown number of mage professions worshipped. At least Qin Fan was able to observe that quite a few of the law students were looking at this vice principal with excitement on their faces at the moment. Lu Boming reached down and gently pressed his hand before continuing. I know that you young people don't like those long-winded and one set after another speeches, so I won't say much here. I'm sure you all know about some of the school's rules and regulations as well as the code through the Raiders Handbook. Now, there are only two things I have to say. The first is about the default ranking of freshmen. Secondly, it's about the big freshman exam in a month. However, just as Lu Boming's words fell, knock knock, instead, there were three knocks on the front door, then everyone saw that there was a robust boy standing at the doorway who was a full meter nine in height, and to the side of the boys, there was a man and a woman, and look at them, covered in dust and in a sorry state, as if they had just been in a fight, report, the stocky boy gave a lazy snort, it seemed that the vice principal was not taken into account, and the freshmen, who had been silent, were once again abuzz, I'll go, bye Wushuang. There's also sword nerd Fong Tai Ran, and magical genius girl Su Nian Nian. How did they appear together? And all of them still look like dusty wretches? Chapter 68, I'm not convinced. Sword fiend Fong Tai Ran, scholar of the Eastern Spirit Province. Magic genius girl Su Nian Nian, the top student of Xian Nua Province. Fong Tai Ran's profession for harnessing the spirit of the swordsman. Hidden profession. His family generations are practicing swordsmen. And it is said that the Fong family now has three four turns of the sword god sitting in the town is the first East Spirit Province and the first luxury family, with the title of Sword God Family, Sun Yin Yan's occupation for the Chaos Mage. Listen to the name also know as a mage in the hidden profession, control of the power of chaos. Its family is flowing with the bloodline of the elf tribe, but also has two four turns of the God of Law to sit down. It is also because of the elf bloodline. Sun Yin Yan's entire family are handsome men and women, just like the current Sun Yin Yan, a head of waist-length blonde hair like silk, a pair of pointed long ears as well as that golden yellow autumn water long eyes, delicate and flawless features, plus that one mage robe. Nothing signaled that this was a proper top elf beauty. At least the moment Sun Yin Yin appeared, most of the boys in the hall couldn't help but place their eyes on her. 
Even the boy sitting next to Su Ro was secretly glancing at Sun Yin Yin out of the corner of his eye at the moment. These two people, both of them came from extraordinary sources and were strong, and the robust boy with the most conspicuous and arrogant temperament was named by Wu Shuang. Its background is even more extraordinary. The son of the Bai family head of Feng Tian City, a beast master by profession, had successfully contracted a four-winged wind thunder dragon. Although it was only a flying dragon species, an adult four-winged wind thunder dragon was also comparable to a human fourth turn powerhouse. And this Bai Wu Shuang had also mastered the dragon language magic of the wind and thunder systems because he had received the feedback from the four-winged wind and thunder dragon. Sure, in terms of the wind and lightning feeds, it was definitely no match for that legendary storm saint dragon as well as the pale thunder saint dragon. Although Bai Wu Shuang was not a dragon master, however, he was able to contract a flying dragon, which was already the equivalent of a dragon master. More to the point, he could also contract other beast pets. It's not like a dragon master who can only contract dragons. Looking at it this way, it seems that the hidden profession of dragon master is not as good as beast master. The moment. The unanimous arrival of these three was what caused this vice principal to furrow his brows. Why are you late? Three? Dean Willow. We're late for a reason. Sun Yen Yen's clear and crisp voice rang out, and then she raised her jade hand and pointed it by Wu Shuang, saying, I originally woke up late, so I rushed to run over here, and as a result, halfway through the run, I bumped into Bai Wu Shuang, this crazy person, after he knew my name and identity, he had to fight me, I was really annoyed with him, so I couldn't help but step in and fight him, this was heard by the freshman around the room, nice guy, sentimentally, this Bai family Bai Wu Shuang was still a battle maniac, what about Fontaine, Lu Boming looked towards the sword idiot Fong Tai Ran, who knows, this guy holding a long sword was full of coolness and said, I saw the two of them fighting in the middle of my rush, and I watched with itching hands, so I joined in, Liu Bomer, crowd, on the first day of school, these three heavenly creatures did just that, it's just that on campus, I don't have the means to use my full strength, if I were to summon the flying dragon out, both of you wouldn't be my match, Bai Wu Shuang said calmly, come on, this girl hasn't used her full strength yet either, I haven't really drawn my sword yet either, listening to the words of these three prickly students, Lu Boming let out a deep sigh, all right, all right, get in your seats, the three of them sniffed and each found a seat. This time, it was only then that Lu Boming coughed before slowly saying, First of all, let's talk about the default ranking. I'm sure you all already know that every year when freshmen enter the school, our school will rank you in advance with an initial ranking based on your performance in the college entrance exams. If it's a special enrollment student who didn't take the entrance exam, it's also roughly estimated and then ranked. So this ranking, in fact, can only serve as a reference at best, and is not a true ranking. The freshman exam in a month's time will only be decided based on your grades after the curtain falls. In addition, you can now go directly to the school's official website on your cell phones to check your initial rankings. As soon as Lu Boming's words fell, wow, everyone took out their cell phones and rushed to open the school's official website to check the rankings. But the next second, wow, the outcry resumed. All the freshmen looked at that default ranking and let out a gasp of surprise at that moment. Holy shit, how could he be in first place? Sheen Fan, he was ranked first by the deans. No way, why is he in first place? I feel like Bai Wu Shuang is a bit more fierce. I doubt that these deans are selfish. Bai Wu Shuang, Fong Tai Ran, Sun Yen Nian, and Luo Hao are all ranked behind him. Fruity, when all the freshmen saw this initial ranking, the first focus was on the first place, and without exception, all were shocked as well as puzzled. After all, in their eyes, they thought that this unheard of southern state province scholar should not be able to take the position of this freshman first person, right? After the vice principal, Lu Bo Ming, saw that this one freshman's face was flooded with puzzlement, doubt, and even unwillingness, a smile tugged at the corners of his mouth. Very good. The reason they, the deans, are ranked so highly is to have these effects in front of them, especially those few heavenly prides, except for Bai Wu Shuang, Fang Tai Ran, and Sun Yen Nian. But there's still Feng Tian province scholar, Luo Hao. This Luo Hao, was the handsome boy sitting next to Su Ro? Luo Hao's profession was berserker, also a hidden profession. Overall, the Feng Tian Academy had reaped a rich harvest of new students this time around. Enrolling five scholar great heavens pride at once, Qin Fan was naturally counted among these five. At the same time, the top ten in the major provinces, Feng Tian Academy also recruited several people. Overall, this freshman year of Feng Tian Academy could be called the golden year. Heavenly pride abounds. Each fights for the top. Liu Guoming could be too much looking forward to the big freshman exam in a month's time. Of course, the fact that they, the deans, had placed Qin Fan, 
the unheard of top scholar of the southern state province, in first place was not just to arouse the resistance mentality of the major heavenly prides. In the eyes of the many deans, Sheen Fan was indeed the number one that deserved it. After all, he had contracted a blazing sacred dragon. However, what this vice chancellor doesn't know, the current Sheen Fan had actually contracted two dragons, and both were terrifying existences at the Saint Dragon level. Bang! And at the moment, suddenly, Someone directly slapped the seat handle angrily and stood up with a defiant face, only to see this person directly turn his head to look at the always calm Qin Fan and angrily said, I'm not convinced by this initial ranking, I want to apply for a duel with Qin Fan. Chapter 69 Hmm, isn't this Chen Wei? Chen Wei, what's this about? I can't believe you don't recognize him. Ha, huh? he's the seventh best in the current Fungtian province ah, it's an assassin profession, he was ranked 12th in this initial ranking. Holy shit, so it's him. When the boy tapped out, the surrounding freshmen immediately resounded with murmurs, listening to those exclamations around him, as well as the solemn gazes that looked at him. Chen Wei couldn't help but raise his head confidently as well. Mr. Chen Wei, did you just say that you were not convinced by this initial ranking and that's why you wanted to challenge Mr. Qin Fan? Lai Yubamin asked with a smile. Back to Principal Ryu. Yes, I don't think Qin Fan deserves to be the number one freshman here, and the difficulty of the test varies from place to place so it's judged on different criteria. Even if this year's exam question in Southern State Province is indeed more difficult than those of previous editions, but if we let our top students from other provinces take the exam, they can surpass him just the same. So this ranking I don't recognize, express a challenge, and willing to mount a challenge. Chen Wei spoke without being humble and without any fear at all, and as his words fell, the students around him slowly nodded in agreement. Chen Wei has a point, when the exam questions are different in each province. The criteria for judging strength will be different. This Qin fan I think is still not as powerful as Luo Hao, Bai Wu Xuan and the others. That's what I thought. This year's initial rankings look pretty watered down to me. Let's see if this Qin fan dares to agree to Chen Wei's challenge. Listening to the students around him agree with his point of view, Chen Wei inwardly became even more determined to challenge the other side. HM. Before the results of the college entrance exam came out, this Qin fan he had never even heard of. Just a nobody. Before this, Luo Hao. Bai Wu Xuang, Su Nian Nian, Fang Tai Ran and other heavenly prides, which one of them wasn't a famous heavenly pride that was often featured in the newspapers, even he, an assassin who had awakened his s rank talent, was often active in the newspapers, your school ranked the top students from other provinces behind the top students from southern state province, meaning that the top students from other provinces are inferior to the top students from southern state province, right, it certainly resonated with a lot of freshmen, so student Qin Fan, What's your opinion? Lu Bo Ming was also smiling at the moment as he looked toward Qin Fan, whose demeanor from beginning to end was calm and unperturbed. The freshmen around them all landed their eyes on Qin Fan in unison. Most of those looks were contemptuous, dismissive, and bloating. Obviously, in their eyes, if this southern state provincial top scholar really dared to accept Chen Wei's challenge, then the subsequent result would be a high probability that Qin Fan would lose. I have no problem with that. I can agree to his challenge. Qin Fan replied indifferently. Chen Wei was delighted at his words, and smiled proudly and coldly. It's okay, originally thought that you were going to be a shrinking turtle, but I didn't think that you would actually dare to agree to it. Later I will try not to be so heavy-handed, so that you can lose in a decent way. Between the words, it was already filled with extreme confidence. It was as if he was already holding Qin Fan in place. It's normal for him to have that mentality. His profession is assassin. Typical single explosive profession. The advantage of this profession is that not only is it flexible, but it also has extremely high single damage and has the ability to decimate. Maybe let this profession's single brush copy secret realm, is not as good as some other occupations with large range AoE skills, but on the single combat, even Luo Hao, Su Nian Nian, Fong Tai Ran and other top Tianzhou, on this Chen Wei, that is to be a little more serious. After all, the reputation is not a good one. To be able to take the seventh place at the provincial level in Feng Tian province, which is so rich in educational resources, is naturally not an oil lamp. He might not be too good at brushing, but PK between transmutants, that he was very confident. Let's go, go to Arena 1. Chen Wei was about to walk towards the outside after he spoke. Wait, Xin Fan, however, shouted out to stop at this time. Oh, what, it's only now that you feel scared and want to back out? Chen Wei said with a cold smile. You're overthinking it. I'm just trying to place some colorful bets, Xin Fan said coldly. Ro. You say, what's the prize? Just down the initial credits between us. As soon as Qin Fan's words fell. Wow. The surrounding students were in an uproar. Holy shit. 
playing so big? One should know that after entering the Feng Tian Academy, all expenses here need to be paid with credits, eating, forging, enchanting, going down copies, entering wild resource maps, trading with each other, and so on, all require to credits. For freshmen, initial credits will be issued collectively once the initial rankings are finalized. This initial share of credits, which is given to everyone, totals 5, 0, 0, 0 points. When the freshman exams are over in a month and the real rankings are finalized, the credits will start to be distributed according to the rankings again. That is to say, those 5, 0, 0, 0 credits are what a freshman lives on in a month. 5, 0, 0, 0 credits is not a lot for those sophomore sophomores. After all, they've been in school for over a year and have saved up a lot of credits. But for the freshman who had just entered the Feng Tian Academy, it was much more. Because those 5,000 credits also include the resources you'll need to play copies of upgrades during the month. You want to go down to the copy to get stronger. Then you have to spend credits to buy an entry ticket to that secret copy. Qin Fan's opening was to directly take the initial credits as a prize. Isn't he afraid of losing? Or maybe it's just that. He really had contracted the dragon. Otherwise how would he, a dragon master profession, dare to go one-on-one -on -one with Chen Wei, who was an assassin? I'm going. Cool. The opening ceremony has only just begun. And we get to see this freshman's number one dragon master versus Feng Tian province's seventh assassin. I have a feeling Qin Fan won't really summon a giant dragon later, right? Overthink it. At best, you can only summon an earth dragon or a flying dragon. Who do you think has a better chance of winning? It's hard to say ah. If Chen Wei was up against Luo Hao, by Wu Shuang and the others, the chance of winning would be very low. But now that he's up against this unheard of dragon master, I feel that the chance of winning is very high. Not necessarily. Qin Fan is the top scholar of Southern State Province. Who would believe him if he doesn't have two brushes? Then we'll see. This challenge match that was suddenly initiated had undoubtedly caused all the students to boil with excitement. Luo Hao, the top scholar of Feng Tian Province, glanced faintly at Qin Fan, then turned his head to Su Ro, who was at the side, and said in a warm voice, Xiao Ro, who do you think has a better chance of winning? Su Ro said without hesitation, Qin Fan, whom, Luo Hao was slightly startled. Then his brows furrowed as he asked, why? He and Su Ro were sort of childhood friends. At the same time he had a little idea about Su Ro, but he didn't expect this childhood friend of his to be so trusting of this Qin Fan. Ah, uh, intuition. It was always impossible for Su Ro to say that Qin Fan really had a dragon, and it could be a holy dragon. Let's go, let's go, Zoe, to Arena 1. At this time, the two girls on the side hurriedly got up with a smile and pulled Su Ro towards Arena 1. Chapter 70, The Winner. Qin Fan. Soon, a group of people arrived at Arena 1 in a great hurry, and it's still led by Dean Lu Boming himself. There are many rodeo halls in Arena 1. After entering this small athletic hall, all the freshmen had already found a seat. Lu Boming even personally acted as the referee for this challenge match. Without any procrastination, Qin Fan and Chen Wei walked directly onto the top of the ring and confronted each other. Kid, if you really have a dragon, then hurry up and summon it, or you won't get a chance later. I'll show you what it means to be killed in an instant by an assassin profession. Chen Wei said with a cold smile. Ha, just you? It's not worth using my dragon yet. Qin Fan returned the sneer. All right, both sides prepare themselves. Now start counting down to three seconds. The match will begin in three seconds. At this point, Lu Boming was also without any nagging, and seeing that both sides were ready, he started counting down. Three, two, one, game on. The moment Lu Boming's words fell. Swish. A delicate and small purple gold dagger appeared out of thin air in Chen Wei's palm. At the same time, he pointed his toes, and his figure rushed towards Qin Fan's direction without hesitation. It was so fast that it created a subtle sound of breaking wind as he swept past. I'll go, that was fast. Worthy of being the seventh ranked assassin profession in Feng Tian province, this Qin Fan is going to be finished. All the spectators couldn't help but let out a gasp after seeing Chen Wei's speed. Fast indeed. At least some of the ranked freshmen present were unable to capture this Chen Wei's movement trajectory with their naked eyes. Just a breath away, this Chen Wei had then crossed a distance of more than 10 meters and instantly flashed to Qin Fan's back. The sharp dagger in his hand even stabbed directly towards Qin Fan's back without hesitation. Here we go. This is the classic assassin starting attack. Instant shadow plus backstab. These two skills are the most frequently used and also the highest scoring combos in the assassin profession. Instant shadow was a displacement skill exclusive to the assassin profession. Backstab as long as it succeeds, then that attack comes with an additional 120% bludgeoning damage. As long as he was hit by this move, Qin Fan would definitely lose his fighting strength. Although it was said that malicious killing was not allowed, it was inevitable that injuries would occur between cuts. 
There are also healing teams waiting in the arena at all times, and they are all made up of priests. This instant, everyone thought Chen Wei was going to get it, because Chen Wei's speed was just too fast, the angle of the attack was too tricky. Plus, Qin Fan didn't seem to be making any moves at the moment. It seems to have split the difference. However, next, accidental protrusions, just a swish. The original figure of Qin Fan standing in place completely disappeared in an instant. It also made that Chen Wei's aspiring strike land in the air. This, Chen Wei's eyes widened in shock. Ducked. His round-the-back attack was surprisingly dodged by Qin Fan. What the hell is going on here? How did he get so fast? Isn't he a brittle dragon master? Grass. He gritted his teeth. Was about to interrupt the backswinging action that this backstab skill was causing. Suddenly, an icy coldness inexplicably sprang out from within him directly rushing up to his heavenly aura. This was the intuitive feedback of danger perception that being an assassin profession possessed. Danger. This one big word jeopardy just somehow appeared in his own mind. He finally realized that it should be the figure of Qin Fan that had appeared behind him. Damn it. How does he possess such terrifying speed? Already too late to think much. Chen Wei was about to interrupt his skills backswing hard, wanting to use the instant shadow skill to escape again. However, it was a step slow after all. Bang. A fist wrapped in terrifying punching power just directly printed on top of Chen Wei's back. The next instant, the fist energy that resembled a wild and furious wave was like a gangrene that possessed the bone, madly drilling towards Chen Wei's body. Boom! Under the horrified sight of all the spectators, Chen Wei's figure was just sent flying backwards by a punch, crashing heavily on top of the guardrail surrounding the ring. Put! Not only was he sent flying, but a mouthful of blood was spewed out, and then both eyes rolled white and his head was tilted. Chen Wei directly fainted on the spot. Wow. The entire crowd of freshmen directly let out a shocked outcry. Even Luo Hao, Bai Wu Shuang, Sun Yin Yin and the other top celestial pride, who were originally filled with calmness, couldn't help but sit up straight at this moment, looking at what was happening on the stage with a face full of gravity. I'll go. Really? What the hell? One move in seconds? This is too damn fierce. Are you sure this guy is a dragon master? Do unto others as they do unto you. This Qin Fan also rounded his back and then gave that Chen Wei a heavy punch. The key is that the power of this punch is a bit too high. Chen Wei was wearing defense gear on his body. As a result, he was still knocked out by a punch. Shocked and appalled murmurs were heard. Obviously, the result of what was happening in front of them was greatly out of their expectation. They had expected this game to be a stalemate for at least 10 minutes. After all, although they were more optimistic about Chen Wei, Qin Fan was able to get the Southern State Province's scholar crown. So naturally, he wouldn't be a vegetarian. The results were not expected. This more favored Chen Wei was unexpectedly punched by Qin Fan in a second. You don't even see him use his skills, much less see him summon a dragon. It was estimated that out of all the new students, only Vice Principal Lu Boming as well as Su Ro were not that surprised. It was because the Vice Principal had seen Qin Fan's college entrance exam pass video, while Su Ro knew that Qin Fan had a dragon. It was just that they didn't expect Qin Fan's own fighting strength to be so strong. All right, this challenge is over. The winner is Qin Fan. Student Qin Fan, congratulations on your victory. Next Chen Wei's 5,000 initial credits will be transferred to your account. Lu Bo Ming was also loudly announcing the results of the match at this moment. Qin Fan nodded his head, then looked too lazy to glance at the thoroughly unconscious Chen Wei and walked off the stage. And the audience was already looking at the unconscious Chen Wei with pity in their eyes. Whom? It's pathetic. Only just enrolled in school. 5. 000, 000 credits gone but it's time to say no. This Qin fan seems to be really not simple. No wonder he's ranked by all the deans. It was just that I didn't know who was stronger when he was compared to Luo Hao, Bai Wu Shuang, and other top celestial pride. Well, I won't continue to waste your time. Starting tomorrow, it will be prime time for all of you to become stronger. In a month's time, the assessment will officially begin. Work hard to get stronger. After the big exams, the real college program will also open. Dismissed. After Dean Lu Boming finished the sentence, he waved his sleeves and disappeared into thin air. Chapter 71, Different Circles. Sheen Fan, the commencement ceremony is over. Su Ro also left from her seat and arrived in front of Qin Fan with hurried steps to greet him. Qin Fan nodded his head in response. The moment. Then Luo Hao as well as the other two girls followed. Those two girls, one named Luo Tao and the other Feng Yuan Yuan. Luo Tao was Luo Hao's cousin who was a few months younger. 98th in Feng Tian province. Just reaching the threshold conditions for entering Feng Tian Academy. Yuan Yuan Feng is 100th. Noteworthy. The Luo family, Feng family, and Su family all have not a small amount of interaction ties. So these people are considered childhood friends who grew up playing together. Originally, the Su family was already excluded by the Luo and Feng families. 
But it was rumored that the head of the Su family had saved an extremely high status and powerful fourth turn powerhouse. As a result, the Luo and Feng families also once again extended the olive branch of cooperation to the Su family. In this regard, the Su family was naturally happy to see it. Moreover, Su Ro's father had instructed Su Ro to get on good terms with Luo Hao, and it would be best to team up together to make copies and become stronger together. Even Su Ro's father wanted Su Ro and Luo Hao to get together on this. He had naturally heard about Qin Fan. After all, he was his own daughter's group teammate in the college entrance exam. But subsequent consideration of family background and strength, the Su family head then felt that Luo Hao was a bit stronger. After all, Luo Hao was the top scholar of Feng Tian province. Ah, Bang Tian province. It is the province with the most abundant educational resources and strongest teachers in the country. This means that all the transfer students here are stronger than in other provinces. But Luo Hao was able to stand out amongst so many geniuses and demons, which was enough to show that he was powerful and excellent. That was definitely better than Qin Fan, the unheard of top scholar of Southern State Province. Yo, this is the dragon master that Sister Su Ro is longing for, right? It's nice to meet you. My name is Von Yuan Yuan. Feng Yuan Yuan had a googly egg face. Her features weren't refined, only pretty, but her soulful eyes added a lot of points to her. Seems like a pretty normal softy. It's my turn. My name is Luo Tao, cousin of the top scholar of Feng Tian province. He he he. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but Luo Tao's self-introduction carried a hint of inexplicable meaning. It is as if this Feng Tian province scholar is used to suppress the South State province scholar. Hello guys. To this, Qin Fan responded indifferently without any concern. He didn't even bother to pay attention to the hidden needles in these so-called words, because in his eyes, these few people wouldn't cross paths much whether now, or later, and at this moment, Luo Hao was also like a very gentlemanly fluttering gentleman and smiled, long time no see, my name is Luo Hao, I'm very happy to know you, student Qin Fan, Qin Fan nodded his head indifferently, Qin Fan, you should be going down to level up this month as well, right? Su Ro's eyes shone brightly as she looked at Qin Fan, Qin Fan nodded, he did intend to, it wasn't just him, it was expected that all the other freshmen would have the same intention, after all, the great freshman exam would start in a month, this is an important test to determine future treatment, the school is said to open up certain special privileges to students based on rankings after the big freshman test, for example, the top 10 freshmen get 10 free entries into the secret copies a month, or the top 100 freshmen will be given a C-level cultivation resource every month, and so on. These differences in treatment can also directly widen the gap between students. While you're hard at work earning credits and trying to get to your next copy of The Secret World, people have already conquered many copies of The Secret World with their free tickets. The gap will start to widen. That's why this freshman exam is something that all freshmen must treat solemnly. Do well in your exams and enjoy the most luxurious and soothing treatment. If you do poorly on the test, then I'm sorry, you'll just have to watch people leave you behind. By the time people have turned 2 at level 40, you're still crawling around at level 20 or 30. Of course, there was another reason for Qin Fan to go down to the copy. That would be to level up Chill a bit. Sake was now at level 15. But Chill had only just come out of the dragon's egg, not even at full moon, and was only level 1. It was just the right time to use the copy to go level up Chill. This way, when it came to the freshman exam a month later, he or she would be able to have two dragon pets to participate in the battle together. Though it's just as easy to push across and crush with only a small drink. But as the oldest father of the little dragon cub, it would definitely be a pot of gold. All upgraded together. Seeing Qin Fan nod his head, Su Ro's eyes brightened even more. Then why don't we just happen to form a squad of five? With you here, as well as Luo Hao, we'll be able to casually conquer whatever replica secret realm we feel like. Su suggested happily. Yet it was this suggestion of hers. It made Luo Hao, Feng Yuan Yuan, and Luo Tao all frown in unison. Especially Luo Hao who directly made a wink to Feng Yuan Yuan. Sister Shiro, I'm afraid this won't work out well. Seeing this wink, Feng Yuan Yuan immediately whispered, Our team has already invited someone else for the last position. Said, it also looked apologetically at Qin Fan. Student Qin Fan, I'm sorry oh, our team is really full. Qin Fan shook his head indifferently. It's fine. For me, it's the same whether I team up or not. That's the truth. Nothing else. With Sake's current strength, Pushing across all the secret realm copies of the corresponding level would not be a problem at all. Su Ro also apologized and looked at Qin Fan. She didn't know that Luo Hao and the others had invited others into the group. In that case, I'll take my leave. Farewell. Qin Fan didn't want to continue here either. He suddenly felt that he and Su Ro did live in two worlds. She is a famous girl, followed by all the rich and famous boys. 
and he's just an ordinary kid from an ordinary background. It wasn't that Qin Fan wanted to chase after Su Ro. He did not have any male and female feelings towards Su Ro at all. And before, when they went down the copy together, they simply felt that this girl's character was not bad, without the condescension of those other rich girls, so they could take her along for the ride. Now that I'm in college, the circle divide is actually more pronounced. Qin Fan never had iron to go forward to integrate into other people's circle. Then naturally, he would also stay away from Su Ro in the future. The circles are different and the concepts are naturally different. Looking at Qin Fan's back as he left, Feng Yuan Yuan and Luo Tao's eyes both surfaced with a touch of contempt. HM, a pariah with a little bit of kung fu wants to be in their posh team? I'm afraid he's thinking about farts. And then there's, if Luo Hao hadn't taken a liking to Su Ro, then Su Ro wouldn't even be qualified to team up with them. While Su Ro on the side looked at Qin Fan's departing back with complicated eyes. For some reason, she felt vaguely that she had lost something. But when I think back, I wonder what was lost. Chapter 72. Back at mansion number one, the two little dragon cubs, little wine and little chill, then instantly jumped out of the beast pet space. Gah! Little wine immediately jumped onto Qin Fan's shoulder, then rubbed her little head against Qin Fan's cheek. Boing! Even the arrogant little chill came up beside Qin Fan and raised her little face proudly. Qin Fan, who shared a common mind with the two little ones, naturally understood what they meant. Sake expresses the meaning of pampering, master I'm hungry. Hurry up and give me food. Xiao Han's expression was a bit arrogant. Servant. Hurry up and prepare food for this young lady. To summarize, these two cuties are hungry. In the morning when I just left the house I showed off dozens of eggs for each of you already. And as a result it's not even noon yet. And you're hungry again. Really two snackers. Qin Fan was dumbfounded. Still, he picked up his phone, logged into the school's app, and tapped into the cafeteria. Feng Tian Academy has its own specialized app where it is possible to view a wide variety of information, as well as having a variety of convenient functions. It's like, for example, appointments for the services of side professions such as enchanter, forger, and alchemist, restaurant takeout, information on transactions at auction houses and bazaars, and so on. Right now Qin Fan was tapping into the restaurant function, intending to order food for these two little guys. However, when he opened the dining room to take a look, his eyes instantly widened. Prime Genjing Black Hair Pork Tenderloin, 30 credits slash caddy. Extreme Magic Sea Cucumber, 40 credits per pound. Top Quality One Horn Devil Rabbit Leg, 20 credits slash caddy. Expensive. So damn expensive. Actually, they are not really expensive for other students who will only order the finished dishes. One serving of rice with black hair pig's feet in basalt crystal, 10 credits per serving. One serving of Extreme Magic Sea Cucumber Soup, 15 credits slash serving. It really doesn't look expensive but it was ridiculously expensive for Qin Fan, because he's going to raise these two adorable but very edible little guys. Take the tipple. When it was in Anning City before, it had to dazzle nearly a hundred pounds of meat a day. Now with the addition of little chill, then Qin Fan would have to prepare at least 200 pounds of meat a day to make it work. The point is that this school cafeteria sells top quality food. After all, it is the restaurant of the top school. Ordinary Xinjing black hair pig people simply do not stock. Qin Fan cannot buy even if he wants to buy. 200 pounds of meat consumption. Taking that 30 credits a caddy of top grade Xinjing black hair pork tenderloin, it would cost 6, 000, 000 credits a day. Oh, my god. These two little guys could eat Qin Fan straight into poverty. This, Qin Fan's face instantly darkened. Gah, hi. Sake was still pouting and prodding. Little Chill was even fluttering the small wings that were like ice and glitter, circling around at Qin Fan's feet. Ugh, luckily, that idiot Chen Wei sent 5,000 credits over today. Otherwise I'm afraid we won't even be able to get through today. Qin Fan laughed bitterly. Still, he immediately ordered 200 pounds of meat on the campus app. Of course, there were the top grade Xinjing black hair pigs and some other high quality magical beast meat, costing a total of 6, 500 credits. Ding. Soon, after only 3 minutes, an unmanned smart delivery machine airlifted the 200 pounds of meat from the base of the mountain to the top. Seeing these top quality meats, the two little fellows, little wine and little chill, immediately let out low chirps of delight. Qin Fan rolled up his sleeves and carried the 200 pounds of meat back to the kitchen with ease. It was also fortunate that the villa's kitchen was large enough and well stocked with enough cookware for a large grill. Nowadays, Qin Fan's secondary occupation was spirit benefit chef, which belonged to the second turn of being a cook. Other than that, the cooking was already well recognized by Sake. Now this little guy is so mouthy that he likes to eat his master's cooking and nothing else. Clean and marinate the meat you bought and then put it straight on the grill. Two hours later, the two rowdy little guys were full of wine and food, and were already holding their round little tummies. 
nestled in Qin Fan's arms sleepily, looking at these two little dragon cubs that relied on him wholeheartedly, Qin Fan's eyes were tender. However, when he opened his cell phone and saw his credits that only had 3,500 points left, the corner of Qin Fan's mouth couldn't help but twitch. No way. Must get off the copy. Otherwise you're really going to be completely broke. The next day, it's only 8 in the morning. Qin Fan then arrived at the Feng Tian Academy's secret palace. This place housed all the secret realm copy gates controlled by the Feng Tian Academy. Ever since the God's Domain game had completely merged with the real world, the copy secret realms in that game had all descended into reality as well. There are also many copies of secret realms that simply shatter. So much so that the monsters within them run into the real world and wreak havoc. Previously, Qin Fan had seen a lot of reports on TV. A level 70 diamond copy shattered and descended over the capital city of a certain small duchy. And then the people of the entire capital city were all killed in action under the attack of this group of secret monsters. Even some remote towns in the Dragon Kingdom have had this happen. As a powerful country, the Dragon Kingdom naturally had a way to deal with it. Large spatial teleportation arrays have been established in every town and village in the country to facilitate the emergency escape of the local people when they meet the disaster that descends from the shattering of the secret realm, as well as the timely support of the local transmigration legions. There were a total of 50 copies of the secret realm preserved in the Feng Tian Academy nowadays, the largest number of any top academic institution. All secret copies are a minimum of silver and a maximum of legendary. The difficulty of copies below the silver level was too low for Feng Tian Academy to look at. After all, the students gathered here were all the pride of heaven from all over the country, and there was absolutely no need for them to brush copies of secret realms that were too low in difficulty. The moment, in the hall of the secret palace, a number of students were gathered. Freshmen and sophomores are available. You can even find quite a few teams of sophomores with a black eye looking at some of the material. That's normal. The secret temple is open 24 hours a day. Some teams fail to attack the secret realm, so they exit in an emergency and teleport back to the real world but the school does give two chances to re-attack afterward. This has led to some teams losing and losing again and again, and the moment Qin Fan stepped into this hall, swish, no surprises, all of the freshmen gathered here were placing their sights on Qin Fan, mostly because he's really too famous, won the Southern State Province Scholarship Crown as a Dragon Master. Then yesterday, he beat Chen Wei, the seventh place finisher in Feng Tian Province, with one punch. This is truly shocking. There was speculation that this Qin fan had become so powerful that he didn't even need to summon a dragon pet to defeat Qin Wei. There was also speculation that this Qin fan himself had not contracted to a dragon pet, but because of some chance, he had inspired some kind of occupational characteristic of a dragon master, so his own strength had been greatly enhanced. But the most critical, it was still all the deans of the Feng Tian Academy who had set the initial ranking of this dragon master at the number one position for new students. Yo, freshman number one is here, it's going down to the secret copy. Well, he doesn't seem to have any teammates, does he? It's rumored that he was supposed to join that squad of Luo House, but he was rejected by the others. Ha ha, this is also normal, after all, it's still unknown how good this Qin Fan is, and people don't just form teams. There were some murmurs from around the room. Qin Fan still ignored it and went to the front desk, submitted his student ID and started applying for access to the replica. He had already used his cell phone to check out some information on the school forum long before he came. Just pick the copy with the highest difficulty for the corresponding level at the moment. The Forest of Demon Tigers, Troll Grotto, Nest of Ice Serpents, all of them are platinum copies of levels 20 to 25. Each entry requires 1000 credits. Entry to the other difficulty copies requires fewer credits, but the lower difficulty means that the rewards are not as generous. For Qin Fan, who was now facing the predicament of being eaten poor, there was an urgent need to obtain credit rewards by challenging the high difficulty replica secret worlds. And after seeing the information registered by Qin Fan, this sophomore sister who was working part time at the front desk covered her small mouth in surprise. Schoolboy, are you sure you want to enter by yourself? These three copies are platinum level. Senior sister suggests that it's better for you to hurry up and find a few teammates to make a copy together. Oh, as soon as this schoolmate's words fell, the students around them who were still thinking about which copy they wanted to place or who were carefully looking at the information on the copy strategy, all suddenly looked sideways. Holy shit, soloing a platinum level copy? It seems like he doesn't understand how terrifying the difficulty of a platinum level copy really is. Isn't this looking for death? Bad. Couldn't be that he was denied a team application by someone yesterday. So now his brain is pissed off and he wants to go down solo to prove himself. Right? Ha 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 ha, that's really childish. Sheen Fan's eyes grew cold, but he was still too lazy to argue anything with this group of fools. He never argues with stupid people. My mind is made up. So please hurry up and stamp your seal. Senior sister. 
Qin Fan said indifferently. Sister, hurry up and let him go in. We can't stop them if they're looking for death themselves, can we? Alas, I thought that this Qin Fan was a character, but it turns out that I didn't expect that he was also a mindless mangler. This platinum level copy, even if Luo Hao, Su Nian Nian, by Wu Shuang and the others come I'm afraid it's a bit difficult oh. Listening to the urging of the crowd, that senior sister also let out a helpless sigh. Okay, I'll stamp you, but schoolboy mustn't try to be brave. Once something wrong happens, remember to use the city return scroll immediately. Qin Fan nodded, with hardly any hesitation. Taking the credentials and walking into the side hall, he pushed open one of the doors with a platinum coloring. That was precisely the gate that led to the secret realm of the forest of demonic tigers. Looking at the disappearing back, a group of freshmen as well as sophomores shook their heads even more. It's arrogant enough to not even look at the raiders. Ha ha. In less than three minutes I'm afraid the bad news that Qin Fan died inside will come yo. Anyhow, it's also a provincial scholar. Not that much of a dish. I guess five minutes to die. Just as the crowd was discussing with each other in a conspiratorial manner. Suddenly, there was a sound of footsteps coming from the doorway. The crowd turned their heads. It was discovered that it was actually Luo Hao, Bai Wu Shuang, Su Nian Nian, and Fong Tai Ran. And beside them, they were all followed by their respective team members. Luo Hao's teammates were Su Ro, Fong Yuan Yuan, Luo Tao, and Chen Wei, who had just lost the battle yesterday. Chapter 73 The Unreasonable Holy Dragon Bai Wu Shuang was followed by a man and a woman. The male is the 23rd ranked by Da Jiang, with the occupation of warrior. The female is the 42nd ranked Tong Jiajia, with the profession of priest. Sun Yen Yen and Fang Tai ran teamed up, with a man and a woman following beside them. The male ranked 27th, named Zhang Shan, occupation warrior. The female is ranked 41st, named Tao Qian, and is a priest by profession. What you can see is, the basic team configurations are front row, output, and support lineup combinations. Such a downbook team is not prone to surprises in battle. I go, these top celestial pride even chose to make a copy today as well? It's a pity that Qin Fan got in a step faster. Otherwise it would have been really embarrassing. People Luo Hao would rather have Chen Wei, who he defeated, as a team member than him. Come on, he's gone into the forest of demonic tigers all by himself. It's not even known if he'll come out alive and safe. Listening to the chatter of those around him, Luo Hao, Bai Wu Shuang, Su Nian Nian, and the others couldn't help but raise their eyebrows slightly. Hmm. That Qin Fan, how dare he go to the forest of demonic tigers alone? This guy is more or less out of his depth. Even if it was White Wu Shuang who had contracted a flying dragon, it would have to be a group to be secure. Although the flying dragon was indeed strong, Bai Wu Shuang, who was a dragon master, was weak, a proper little brittle skin. That's why a front row warrior and a back row priest are needed for protection. Otherwise, it would be difficult for the flying dragon to kill in the front, while the master was in the back but was attacked by the monster. Sister Shiro, see, it was right not to let him join. He's just a reckless man who doesn't know what he's doing. Feng Yuan Yuan then turned her head to Su Ro. Su Ro looked worried. She knew that Qin Fan had a dragon, but the copy he was entering now wasn't a copy of the college entrance exam. Ah, there was an inexplicable surge of guilt in her heart now. She was brought up by Qin Fan's high school grades. It's only logical that when you go to the same college, you should also team up together. But nay, her father had instructed her to be on good terms with Luo Hao. She had wanted to invite Qin Fan into the team along with her so that she could have the best of both worlds. It was just that he didn't expect Luo Hao, Feng Yuan Yuan, Luo Tao and the others to be reluctant. After a night of careful thought, she finally realized what she had lost. She lost Qin Fan's friendship. Of the two people, Luo Hao and Qin Fan, she sided with Luo Hao. She wondered if she would regret it later. But right now, the fact that she didn't forcefully leave the team to retain Qin Fan might have already indicated her default attitude within her heart. It's still my brother Luo Hao who has the foresight. I'd rather choose the defeated Chen Wei than that reckless Qin Fan. At this moment, Luo Tao was also smiling. Lo Tao, I was just lightly careless. I didn't realize that guy possessed this kind of personal strength as a dragon master. Let me do it again. I'm bound to defeat him. Feeling humiliated, Chen Wei immediately retorted unconvincingly. He did lose yesterday in a way that was too stifling. Carelessly, the opponent caught the backswing of the skill and knocked him out with a punch. And lost credits. If he had been allowed to know in advance that that Qin Fan fellow's personal strength was also good, then he would definitely have adopted a more prudent method of fighting. Nowadays, even the credits for the next copy are borrowed from Luo Hao. Thinking about this, Chen Wei became even more stifled. Shit, when that guy comes out, get him one-on-one -on -one once more and win back all the credits you lost. Alright, go into the copy. 
There's no need to get into anything with a little person, Luo Hao faintly said. Immediately, under the gaze of the crowd, he led the party to push open another platinum-colored door leading to a copy of the Forest of Demonic Tigers. Whom? The Forest of Demon Tigers. Surprisingly, they had also chosen the Forest of Demonic Tigers, before the crowd could be shocked. By Wu Shuang, Su Nian Nian, and Fang Tai Ran surprisingly also pushed open the platinum gate of the Demonic Tigers Forest together. I'll go. This, is this to compete with each other while stepping on that poor bastard Qin Fan in the process? Secret Realm, Forest of Demon Tigers. Grade, Platinum. Level Requirement, 20 to 25. Difficulty is not optional, Inferno. Limit, 1 to 5 persons. Secret Background, this is a forest that was once contaminated by a heavenly demon, and the heavenly demonic scent it left behind has caused the entire forest's creatures to undergo a mutation. So brave intruders ah, must be careful of the sharp claws and teeth that suddenly protrude from the crevices of the dense forest, they will tear you apart without mercy. Ding! You have come to the forest of demon tigers. Current difficulty of the secret world, hell. Number of people breaking in, one person. The teleportation scroll has been automatically issued to your backpack space. Please use it in time in case of danger. Usage condition, chanting for 5 seconds. When Qin Fan detached himself from the dizziness caused by the spatial teleportation, information about this secret copy of the realm was what surfaced in his mind. Meanwhile, he also noticed, as far as the eye could see, an eerie forest that reeked of evil. Trees are twisted and branches are dead. The sky was dim and the silence eerie. Buzz. Before Qin Fan could react, the familiar field mitigation buff enveloped him. Devil Aura Infestation, a venue buff that comes with the Devil Tiger Mystic Realm. The intruder's full attributes are reduced by 30% under the infestation of the Devil's Aura. Applies to beast pets and summons as well. Note, this status can be mitigated by the dispelling and purifying skills of the supporting professions to reduce the negative effects to a minimum of 10%. Roar. And the next second. A roar containing berserk and murderous nature came from the dense forest. Swish. 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 Soon. Ten winged demonic tigers with a pair of wings on their backs, black in color and with white lines on their bodies appeared in front of Qin Fan. Monster, twin winged devil tiger, white stripe. Level, 22. Category, beast monster. Skills, demon shadow. Berserk, deadly pounce. Qualification, platinum. Remarks, originally an ordinary tiger living in this forest, but infected with demonic energy. It underwent a mutation and became murderous and tyrannical. Platinum monster. It was important to realize that monsters under the same level were divided into strengths and weaknesses. And what does this platinum gizmo represent? It represented that their attributes had crushed the elite monsters during the Gao Gao secret realm. Don't look at it as not as hideous and horrifying as the stitching zombie in the secret realm of the college entrance exam, but the power of the attributes that burst out of it were all much higher than it. Of course, it's a bit worse than the tyrant dead corpse in the last level. But you have to think, tyrant dead corpse is the final big boss in that high school mystery. But these ten twin-winged demon tigers in front of him were only the appetizer for the first level in this secret realm. No, probably not even a first level appetizer. At best a warm-up level. Looking at these ten hideous and gruesome twin-winged demon tigers, Qin Fan was actually able to casually decapitate them himself. However, when he thought about the purpose of this trip, it was to level up Little Chill a bit in addition to upgrading and earning money. There was no need for Qin Fan to even give an order. Gah! Boing! The two little fellows that shared Qin Fan's mind just drilled out of the beast pet space on their own initiative. And the moment these two little dragon cubs appeared, buzz, the terrifying pressure of the holy dragon directly descended upon this side of heaven and earth. The moment those ten originally aggressive twin-winged demon tigers felt this terrifying pressure, they let out a low roar of owl, and their tiger bodies actually trembled as they began to start retreating with their heads lowered. Of uh, this, seeing this scene, Qin Fan was also helpless. Gah! Seeing that these ten little Yakuza were so afraid of themselves, Little Wine blinked his reddish golden dragon pupils and was about to flap his wings and go over to smash them with a slap. However, Qin Fan shouted to stop. Stop Little Wine. Let your sister have all three copies of the Secret Realm this time to enrich its combat experience. The experience reward earned after clearing the Secret Realm is shared between the owner and the beast pet together. So even if Xiao Han didn't kill the monsters, as long as he followed Qin Fan through the level, he would still be rewarded. But Qin Fan obviously couldn't do that. He was letting Chill practice a bit through these three copies this time. After all, little Chill had only been born a short time ago. If he didn't fight a little, what would happen if he became a wasted dragon in the future that only knew how to lie flat? Ga Wu. However Sake gave a little worried yelp. As if to say, sister only one level O. If this group of ungrateful little punks heard how to do, the corners of Qin Fan's mouth twitched violently at his words. Please, my little princess, you two are holy dragons. 
These little Yakuza were afraid that they couldn't even break the defense brought about by the dragon scales even if they attacked with all their might, right? Boing! Little Chill was at the moment holding her little head high and proud, disdaining her sister's worry. Immediately, the wings with ice patterns violently revived. Swish! Its icy blue figure had instantly moved in front of those ten twin-winged demon tigers in an instant. Meanwhile, hoo hoo, the entire heaven and earth actually began to undergo climate change, with cold winds and snowflakes rustling down. Put. Under Chin Fan's unbelievable gaze, Little Chill merely swept that ice blue dragon's tail violently. The cold wind that was wrapped up transformed into a sharp blade, and without any hindrance, these ten platinum qualification twin winged demon tigers were sliced into two halves in unison. The devil tiger's hot blood didn't even have time to spray, and his body was instantly frozen. This, Chin Fan was dumbfounded. The reason why he would was because he had never dreamed that Xiao Han's strength would be so strong. Chill is only at level 1 now. The four dimensional attributes are only strength 300, wisdom 300, physique 270, agility 270. In front of you just to a tenth of the properties of the SIP. And this attribute panel was something weaker than this twin winged demon tiger in front of him. But I didn't expect Xiao Han to still second his opponent with a single move. Wait. He glanced around at the howling wintry weather and instantly realized. Field of winter. Little Chill's S rank companion skill reduces the full attributes of all enemies within a 1 km radius by 70%. It was no wonder that this level 22 twin winged demon tiger would be killed by this level 1 little chill. This skill is too unreasonable. Not bad for a holy dragon. Boing. Little chill, who had successfully killed those 10 biplane demon tigers, turned off her aura skill and fluttered her wings, happily coming in front of Chin Fan, proudly holding her little head high. The meaning expressed is self-evident. Servant. Touch this lady. Well well well. Chill is awesome. Chin Fan also reached out with a doting expression and tenderly stroked Xiao Han's head. Chill drifted off like a cat, squinting in comfort. Gah! Seeing this, Xiao Wine on the side was also anxious and came to Qin Fan's side begging to be touched. Fine, fine, touch it together. Everyone on the outside probably didn't expect it. Such a cozy and relaxing image in such a menacing secret world. Chapter 74 Steaming Through After giving the two little ones a head rub, it was only then that Qin Fan turned his sight to this forest that was filled with demonic aura. Initially, it could be judged that the mode of the forest of demonic tigers a platinum level secret realm, was one mirror to the end, it's well known, all of the secret copies of the realm is a corresponding breakthrough mode, there are two broad categories, the first category can be referred to the secret realm during the transitional exam, a copy of the labyrinth of the earth's tomb, which consists of several levels, each of which is a separate space, the portal to the next level will only open if the candidate has passed the current level, that means there's no way for you to ignore the minion tier and jump straight to the boss tier, the second was the one mirror to the end type in front of him, which could be referred to the goblin village secret realm that Chin Fan had met before, which had no spatial breaks. You can even start off by ignoring all the little monsters in your quest for speed and head straight to the boss side to cut him down. These are the most common secret modes, but occasionally there are special secret places. It was said that there had once been people who had entered the special secret realm of plot substitution, where after entering, the intruder would play the role of a certain storyline and there would be different rewards for clearing the level based on their own choices. Of course, these were rare exceptions, and many transmigrators would never meet this special plot secret once in their lives. Although I very much want to let Little Chill practice now, if I can break the record for clearing this secret realm, there will also be an additional reward. Sake, chill, you can start crushing your way through. Don't spare all the little monsters in the entire forest. Even an ant, chop it up for me. Experience, clearance records, I want them all. Chin Fan waved his hand in a domineering manner of a cold president. No way. It's mostly poverty. He was about to be exhausted by these two little guys. One W of credits is barely enough for two meals for these two little guys. He had originally wanted the monsters of this secret realm copy to be Little Chill's companions. However, this will undoubtedly make the passage seem slightly slower, and the rewards are naturally cut down a bit. Then it's just a matter of crushing it all the way through. Gah! Boing! Hearing Chin Fan's order. The two little ones naturally carried it out firmly. After a chirp. Bears. Little Wine's body was already burning with monstrous divine fire. The entire body of the dragon was even from the size of a pet cat in general directly skyrocketed to a height of more than 10 meters. Even the canopy of this secret realm was rendered a scarlet color under this radiant divine fire. Here we go. Sake's second form. Divine fire extinction. Compared to its first form. Power shaking the vault of heaven. This second form was slightly petite. But the magical fluctuations overflowing from its body were incomparably terrifying. The first form focuses on strength. The second form focuses on magic. And right now, 
This magic tiger forest was undoubtedly the place that was most compatible with flame magic. The temperature of the entire secret realm was suddenly pulled up, and many withered trees that were already unable to be ignited by ordinary flames were already showing terrifying signs of continuous scorching under the coverage of the divine fire of the blazing flame saint dragon. On the other hand, Xin Fan and Xiao Han, who were standing next to Xiao Wine, would not be affected by the terrifyingly high temperatures of the divine fire in the slightest. A mechanism has to be mentioned here. Friendly units versus enemy units. If they were considered friendly units by Sake or Chill, then they would not be affected by the little one's collateral attack skills, special effects, and various other factors. Previously, in the goblin village, Su Ro was almost burned to death, and it was also because Sake didn't treat her as a friendly target. In the eyes of the two little dragon cubs, the only people who could be considered as complete friendly targets would be their masters, as well as the beast pets that their masters had contracted, the friendly contracted spirits that they had summoned, and so on. Of course, if the two little dragon cubs were upset, all creatures other than their masters would be treated as enemy units by them. The moment. Seeing her own sister display such a terrifying destructive stance, Little Cold also grunted arrogantly and unwillingly cast the winter domain. Bizarrely, the environment, which was already high temperature due to Sake's second form, didn't have any decrease in temperature due to the sudden arrival of the wintry weather. This two elements of ice and fire were surprisingly able to appear in a secret realm venue at the same time without affecting each other. This is where the mechanic benefit of friendly units comes in. The skills and buffs of both sides will not be offset or affected in any way. That is to say, even if Little Chill applied the buff skill embrace of 10,000 snows to Sake, the blazing divine flame that was burning scorchingly on Sake's body would not be doused by the power of frost as a result. The divine realm game merged with the real world. Not only did it merge the transfer system and the monster mystery realm with each other, but even the mechanics of the game were merged in. Also, in addition to the relationship between friendly units and enemy units, there is also the relationship of neutral units, between classmates, teachers, and passersby you meet while shopping on the street during the day. It is the neutral unit. But, neutral unit doesn't mean safe. It means you can choose to attack the other side or not. It's like, for example, both parties accidentally bumped into each other in the street. A man yelled, what are you looking at? The other one roared, see what you can do. So the two fucked up. Neutral relations immediately turned hostile. Right now, under Little Wine's divine fire roasting and Little Cold's winter domain, if there was really a twin-winged demon tiger here, it would definitely be able to feel what the ice and fire feeling was. Roar. When Sake was in her battle form, her cry wasn't the cute and cuddly Jiehu sound, but a dragon roar that possessed splendor and majesty. And when this dragon roar, which represented the top of the biological chain of all beasts, spread, all the creatures in the entire forest of demonic tigers began to emit trembles of fear. This is the power of the holy dragon. And when it comes to Chile, boing, with all his strength, the little guy also wanted to follow his sister's example, releasing the supreme pressure that belonged solely to the sacred dragon clan. The result was this lovely chirp that sounded like a clip sound. As the master, Qin Fan could only cover his face with both hands, exhale deeply, and forcefully hold back his laughter. Hmm. Can't laugh. Can't laugh. Sake only awakened dragon shape transformation, an exclusive skill of the dragon race, at level 5. If nothing else, Chill would also be unlocking this skill at level 5. But right now, Chill was only level 1 and couldn't get taller and bigger like Sake. Qin Fan didn't expect the little dragon cubs cries to change according to their size, but it's time to say no. Little Chill's 2S rank companion skills had already been cast. The surface of Qin Fan's body already had a layer of light snow white frost power wrapped around it, and at the same time, he could clearly feel a huge increase in his life value, double resistance attribute, and attack power. Sake naturally gained the benefit of this secondary skill. Originally, after Xiao Wine had displayed his divine flame extinction form, it would have been enough to crush this tiny platinum level copy in front of him. Now it also had the support skill of its sister. Little chill. To add to it. Don't think about it. Crush. Absolutely crushing. Anon. Little wine let out a low growl. Signaling its master Qin fan and sister little chill to come onto its broad back. Next. Boom. The pair of huge dragon wings wrapped in divine fire violently vibrated. And a terrifying wave of fire that was enough to burn any two-winged demon tiger swept in all directions and Little Wine had already taken Qin Fan and Xiao Han and instantly soared hundreds of meters into the air. Aha! Because the instantaneous speed of this soaring flight was too terrifying, even Qin Fan's human physique, which had already been increased by the bloodline fusion, felt the blood pressure in his body fluctuating rapidly. A feeling of weightlessness a hundred times worse than when you lift off in an airplane came over you. This, the squeezing pressure from this rising up in the air alone almost made Qin Fan unable to breathe. 
Only little Chill cocked her cute little head, looking at her owner who looked out of sorts with concern. This also made Chin Fan unable to resist spitting. One could only say that it was worthy of a holy dragon body. His human body, which was level 22 and possessed nearly a thousand four-dimensional attributes, was overwhelmed by the loss of gravity of this sudden rise. However, Xiao Han, a small dragon cub that was only level 1, was not affected in the slightest. And while Qin Fan was spitting, Sake is already in endless harvest mode. Buzz, only to see tens of thousands of magical circles of light emerge directly around it. Terrifying magical fluctuations had poured out. Here we go. Dragon magic of the Dragon Clan. It was also a new S rank skill that Sake had acquired in the last system reward. Divine fire from heaven. And it was still a cast in the divine flame extinction form. Magic power is directly increased by 500%. Coupled with little chill skill increase and the fact that those monsters in the ground were also affected by the winter domain skill. Boom. 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 The scene. If someone were to look at the ground from afar. They would definitely be horrified to realize that it was simply like a giant bomber sweeping over the sky of the demon tiger forest. The terrifying divine fire that poured down from the sky was like a nuclear bomb full of destructive power. And in the instant it touched the ground target, it directly blossomed into an unparalleled explosion. All the biplane demon tigers on the ground were dumbfounded. Even that twin-winged demon tiger king that was originally at the center of the forest, full of leisurely enjoying the hair-licking service of those hundreds of female twin-winged demon tigers, was completely dumbfounded. They never dreamed that they would one day have an extinction plague fall on their heads. That's it. The twin-winged demon tiger king, which is sufficiently level 30 and has a platinum qualification, has not yet reacted to what has happened. His own attributes were cut by a full 70%, and then the next second he was blown up on the spot by the rain of divine fire that descended from the sky. Unfortunately there were no hawks that survived. If there is one, then it would rise up in the air and would inevitably be shocked beyond belief to see that the entire demonic tiger forest had been transformed into a sea of divine fire at this moment. Even the demonic chi that had remained in this place for many years vaporized under the burning of the blazing flame divine flame. Chapter 75 Crushing, Passing the Barrier By definition, skill effects are affected by the releaser's own level. It's like, for example, there was absolutely no way that a level 10 transmuter's control skill could affect a level 50 transmuter. This was because every skill of a transmogrifier would have the note, this skill is ineffective to be released on a target that exceeds its own level 20. Of course, each skill is subject to a different level restriction. F-rank skills cannot have an effect on targets that are more than one level above them. E-ranks cannot be effective against targets that are more than five levels above themselves. Level D corresponds to level 10. Level C corresponds to level 15. Level B corresponds to level 20. Level A corresponds to level 25. The S rank corresponds to level 30. And, the more the target's level exceeds its own, the weaker the resulting effect will be. It's like a binding skill. For example, where you cast it on an enemy target that is 5 levels above your own level, and the opponent is bound for 5 seconds. However, if it is cast on a level 10 enemy target, the opponent will simply only be subjected to the binding effect for 2 seconds. This is also called hierarchical advantage. From this also came a social phenomenon that is prevalent in this world, class discrimination. It is only right that higher ranks discriminate against lower ranks. This is why everyone pursues upgrades. Not only in the sense that they can gain more attribute points and learn to unlock more skills, but also in the sense that they can minimize their exposure to other people's control skills. As a level 1 dragon pet, why could Xiao Han's skills affect the level 30 and still platinum 5 star boss, the twin-winged demon tiger king? This is the reason. Together with the fact that Xiao Han's holy dragon bloodline had an unrivaled crushing effect on all living creatures, the 70% weakening effect was able to be fully utilized on the body of this twin-winged demon tiger king. Ding! At this moment, the prompt from the spirit of the secret realm also finally arrived. Congratulations to freshman Qin Fan for successfully clearing the platinum level secret copy of the forest of demon tigers. Current level difficulty, hell. Passing time, 2 minutes and 32 seconds. Performance rating, SSS. Duration rating, SSS. Overall rating, SSS. Your grades have been successfully uploaded to the Feng Tian Academy Data Center repository. The rewards for the secret passage will be issued in one minute. So please ask new student Qin Fan to receive them in time. Hmm. That pastime. Barely. After all, a little bit of time was wasted in the beginning because of the two little dragon cubs begging to be petted. No harm done though. That's definitely good enough for a record. Sheen Fan did log on to the school's app to check the information about the secret realm before he went to bed last night. The best record I can remember for this Magic Tiger's Forest is over 7 points. It's a solo racing record left by a junior. Instead of eliminating the other mini monsters, she is said to have gone straight for the boss. And Chin Fan here. Sorry, total annihilation. 
and it took just over two minutes to pass. This is the Dragon Master with dragons. Buzz, as Qin Fan lamented, the secret rewards come as promised. A treasure chest emitting a purple gold color floated in front of him. Without any hesitation, it was opened directly. Ding, oh fearless warrior, congratulations on clearing the forest of demonic tiger's secret copy. The following are exclusive rewards for clearing the secret world. Reward, 30 W experience points. Reward, 300 skill points. 300 free attribute points. Reward, 1 title of Voltron. Reward, Weapon Tiger King Giant Axe, level 25. Purple. Reward, Jewelry Devouring Demon Necklace, level 25. Purple. In view of the intruder's outstanding performance and his success in breaking the best record in history, additional rewards are triggered. Reward, 6S Rank General Skill Book Divine Flash. Reward, 7A Rank Talent Demon Breaker's Pupil. Abundance. Absolutely scrumptious. Sheen Fan's eyes were already welling up with a flash of thick surprise, without looking at anything else first. Just that 30W experience value is already making Qin Fan ruthlessly excited. It is important to know that the experience gained by professions with beast pets, such as beast masters and dragon masters, after clearing the secret realm is shared between the owner and the beast pet together. This meant that Chill, who was only level 1, would be irrigated with 30W of experience. Ka? At this moment, Little Wine, who had already shrunk back into pet form, was lying down next to the treasure chest, pouting her round little buttocks together with Little Chill and kept surveying the treasures that fell out of the treasure chest. Prompted by curiosity, Xiao Wine stretched out his little dragon claw, grabbed the Tiger King's giant axe that weighed at least 300 kilograms, sniffed it, and then opened his little mouth to bite down. Sheen Fan, who was counting his rewards, only heard a sudden click-shattering sound from the side. Turn your head straight. However, he was shocked to see that the level 25 purple product giant axe was actually bitten out by this little guy. Ah, my 2000 credits. Sheen Fan wailed a purple grade level 25 giant axe, sold to those freshly enrolled in the warrior profession, 2000 credits for sure, after all, just entering this platinum level secret realm would cost 1000 credits for a ticket, as a result, now that this giant axe has taken a bite out of it, the price has to drop to 1, 0, 0, 0 credits, 1, 0, 0, 0 credits, how much meat can I buy now, the current Sheen fan was like an old father who was being eaten up by his little daughter, on the side, Xiao Han saw her master let out a wail, but she let out a giggle, and Sake, the instigator of the sadness, giggled along with her sister when she saw her make a giggling sound, no more biting on anything else, got it, this is food for both of you, if we bite again we won't be able to eat the meat, Qin Fan pretended to scare the two little ones, fruity, as soon as these two little foodies heard that they couldn't eat the little meat, they immediately didn't dare to bite things anymore and sat very obediently in their original places, let these two naughty little guys settle down, Qin Fan also finally had time to start counting the loot. Ambush Tiger, title strength plus 20, plus 10% damage to tiger type monsters. As always, the Mosquito Legs title. Equipment, Demon Eater Necklace. Grade, Purple. Level, 25. Occupation, Unlimited. Attributes, Wisdom plus 50, Agility plus 30. Enchanting Effect, Generate a Magic Shield. The amount of shield is 20% of your own life value, and while the shield exists, your defense and normal resistance increase by 10%. Remarks, when the magic shield is broken, it will enter a 10 minute cooldown. Good stuff. Although the cooldown time is a bit long, this magic shield has an attribute bonus during its existence. A very good piece of jewelry. Very good. Sold. Less 5. 0, 0, 0 credits. To be honest, this devouring demon necklace Jean fan quite wanted to keep it for himself. However, when he thought that he was still raising two small dragon cubs that were like gold swallowing beasts, he could only endure the pain. As for that level 25 purple giant axe, the gaping hole that was bitten out by Sake was so obvious that he didn't even bother to look at it, and sold it for 1000 credits at a low price. Finally, it's the main event. Divine Flash S allows you to perform 3 ultra long range, barrier ignoring flashes in 60 seconds. Remarks, the cooldown time for this skill is 5 minutes. The longest distance per flash can be up to 1000 meters. God skill, a true displacement artifact. Sheen fan's eyes were completely delighted. Holy shit. Maximum distance per flash is up to 1000 meters. This meant that under three consecutive casts of Divine Flash, it was able to pull away from the origin by a distant distance of 3, 0, 0, 0 meters. This skill, whether it's used for offense or to get out of combat, it's a top divine skill. No wonder everyone at this level wants to raid this platinum mystic realm. The emotion of breaking the record also has the probability of handing out rewards of this level. Sheen Fan was very shocked. Maybe some people think it's strange. 
Why would a small platinum level secret realm of level 20 to 25 drop skill books of this level? Shouldn't they only drop from high level, high difficulty copies of the secret world? In that case I'll just have the high level bigwigs come here to brush up on their records. So won't it be an easy way to get S-ranked divine techniques? Herein lies a cognitive error. Said it before. Each secret copy has a level requirement for entry. Take this magic tiger's forest secret realm for example. Its level requirement is 20 to 25. That is to say, those below level 20, or those above level 25, could not enter this secret copy. A level 100 powerhouse wanted to force their way into the secret realm copy. That was certainly possible. But with that, it would trigger the collapse and crumbling of the entire secret realm. So, those who were able to get the highest rewards in their corresponding levels copy of the secret realm were actually people with outstanding natural talent. And then look at that A-rated talent. Pupil of magic breaking, A your dynamic, static, and long distance vision will be superiorly enhanced. While the trajectory of magic flow when the opponent casts a magic skill will be seen through by you. Another great dish. Noteworthy. This a rank talent had been automatically comprehended by Qin Fan the moment he opened the treasure chest. After all, this thing is out of sight and out of mind. Not unlike skill books, props, and equipment. Ding. Your level experience bar is full. Do you want to upgrade directly? Your Dragon Pets Flooring Wine and Chang Han's experience bar is full. Do you want to upgrade them directly? At this moment, two prompts were also ringing in his head. There was no hesitation. Qin Fan directly upgraded his two Dragon Pets first. Buzz. And in that moment, a mysterious and vast fluctuation poured out. Only the two little dragon cubs sitting obediently on the ground bloomed with a dazzling light. Through these glories, Qin Fan could clearly see the bloodline holy patterns on the two little dragon cubs brighten up once again. Obviously, this was a precursor to the bloodline awakening occurring again. In the meantime, outside, the hall in the secret temple. Buzz. The magic array in the other side hall had spatial fluctuations generated. Soon, three teams of figures appeared in unison. Holy shit, it's worthy of being a heavenly pride with indistinguishable strength. Surprisingly, they all came out at about the same time. That's normal. The forest of demonic tigers is a one mirror to the end motive breaking through. The team can ignore the small monsters and kill the boss straight away. The comparison is the time it takes to kill the boss. That's why Luo Hao, Bai Wu Shuang and the others teleported back in about the same amount of time. Ha, huh, that Qin Fan seems to have gone in for quite a while as well. It hasn't come out until now. He's not going to die in there. Is he? I don't know. After all, there's no picture live in there. No need to look. He's probably blocked by the little monsters and hasn't even seen the face of the boss yet. The murmurs of the surrounding students caused Luo Hao, Bai Wu Shuang, and the others to undoubtedly become even more bashful. Even Luo Tao turned her head to look at Su Ro and said with meaning, Sister Su Ro, you should be happy that you made the right choice yet. Chapter 76, It's Too Dull and Boring. The Forest of Demon Tigers. Sake had already completed his upgrade and the crimson glow that bloomed all over his body had disappeared. Its level has also been raised to 17 from its original level 15. Dragon's favorite, Blazing Sacred Dragon, Lord of Endless Fire. Name, Firefly Wine. Nickname, Sake. Sex, Female. Age, 1 month. Level, 17. 4-dimensional attributes, Strength 3500, Wisdom 3500, Physique 3500, Agility 3500, without any buff. Equipment, Props to Enhance. This is the current panel of Sips a whole 30w of experience value, for other ordinary beast pets, was enough to raise them from level 15 to level 20. But for sake, that only bumps it up two levels. The more powerful the beast pet, the more experience it takes to level up. In contrast, the attribute bonuses received for each upgrade are higher. With just a two-level increase, Xiao Wine's four-dimensional attributes were all increased by a full 500 points. I can't imagine. How terrifying this little guy would be if he reached level 40 and stepped into adulthood from his current juvenile stage. On the side, Chill had similarly completed his upgrade. The radiant icy blue light was like a veil wrapping around this cute and noble little guy, and the icy blue divine pattern on the dragon's body became more and more obvious. 